The trash newbie equipment that everyone despises, but you want to buy it back at a higher price. You even want to buy 100,000 pieces at once. Everyone else thinks you're crazy. Little do they know, this is how you become stronger. Because in your previous life, you were the top-ranked powerhouse. But in the battle for the ultimate artifact, you were killed by your girlfriend. What you didn't expect is, the ultimate artifact is actually soulbound, and it came back with you through time and space. You thought this would instantly make you invincible, but when you saw the properties of the ultimate artifact, you were dumbfounded. This artifact doesn't have any attribute bonuses at all, nor does it have any skills. It only has one unique effect, and after reading the description, you finally realized that the amazing thing about the artifact is its infinitely combinable effects. Unlimited fusion of equipment with no level restrictions. The newly fused equipment will inherit all the attributes of the previously fused equipment. And as the fusion quantity increases, it can unlock artifact characteristics. Current progress, 1. 0% you exhale deeply. Feels good. It's worthy of being the ultimate artifact. According to this description, this equipment is simply invincible. This means that with each fusion of a beginner's longsword, the physical attack power increases. If it's possible to fuse 10,000 beginner's longswords, the attack power will directly increase by 50,000. That's really insane. You should know that the biggest pain point in the late game is having to abandon old equipment. And the new equipment may not necessarily have the attributes you need the most. But now, you'll only get stronger with each swipe. Once you obtain the required attributes, you'll have them forever. You won't be limited anymore. And due to the soul binding feature of the ultimate artifact, no need to worry about weapons dropping or getting damaged. It can be said that the world is united as one. Just need to go by new beginner's equipment. The divine map has been online for several days now. Global players have exceeded 1 billion. Many players have upgraded their equipment to common green quality. Basic beginner's equipment has long been eliminated. It's just gathering dust in the equipment slot. You looked at the 10 gold coins in the backpack, suppressing the crazy benefits at the corner of your mouth. You walked straight to the trading market, shaking your head and smiling bitterly at the long queue in front of you. No one has achieved the first kill in the beginner's village yet. So players are all stuck in various beginner's villages, causing the trading market to be overcrowded. The Divine Map, as a 100% realistic game, trading needs to be done in person in the game. Some people complain that this mode is not as convenient as traditional online games, but some people also feel that this gameplay has explosive immersion. Only you know, Shintu is a real-world gamified. Naturally, you can't play it with a pure gaming mindset. I need a stall. You come to the NPC in charge of the market. The administrator is a blind monk. Players like to call him blind monk. The blind monk didn't look up and coldly extended his hand for 9 gold coins. You know there are 7 NPCs in the novice village. They all have their own hidden storylines. This blind monk is one of them. Naturally, you can't hand over the gold coins. Thinking about the background setting of the blind monk, you smile slightly. Master, I have a question to ask. The blind monk withdrew his solemn gaze and looked at two people falling into the trap. Dead people are called the dead. What do you call living people? The blind monk pondered and then said, A living person is calling for help. The players in line behind felt embarrassed. I say, old chap, your jokes are too cold. You might be the first to tell a cold joke to an NPC since the beginning of time. Too bad he definitely won't understand. Just as the players were complaining. After a burst of hearty laughter, the blind monk finally threw a wooden sign with a smile after a long time. I haven't laughed in three years. Young man, I have high hopes for you. Your stall has been exempted. Go to position 9527. The players in the back of the line were all pushing forward. What the heck? Directly giving away a free stall. You know, 9 gold coins is already a large sum in the newbie village. Even ordinary green equipment only sells for 2 or 3 gold coins. Which player setting up a stall here hasn't worked for a long time to afford a stall position? Can I be any more powerless? The hidden way to get a free booth is to tell NPC a bad joke. Although these players may complain with their mouths, their bodies are honestly very confidently telling jokes to the blind monk one after another. But they all end ended up being sent to the spring by the blind monk's staff for rebirth. You catch a glimpse of the fate of these players and can't help but smirk darkly. This blind monk has experienced years of misery and depression. In the previous life, no one ever discovered his hidden attributes. It was your good brother, the fat guy with a big mouth, who discovered the hidden plot of the blind monk. 
Spiritual words. Just as you are looking for your own booth, someone calls out to you. Because the game characters are all scanned from real body data, so they are basically identical to their real life appearance. It's normal to be recognized by acquaintances. You turned your head. A moment of coldness flickered in the depths of your eyes. But there was no ripple on your face. Anger invaded the night. This woman who stabbed herself in the final battle. New Qingwan was wearing an elegant green French suit. She looks delicate and charming. Very appealing. She is indeed very beautiful. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been voted the best joke in the history of Jiancheng University. Have you finally saved enough money to buy equipment to give me as a gift? Mu Qingwan's expression was cold and aloof. Her tone was rejecting and distant. It just opened. You're not yet the unrivaled top-ranked powerhouse. Mu Qingwan is the daughter of the CEO of one of the top 10 gaming companies in Xia Country. Family assets worth billions. In his opinion, he has countless pursuers. You're just one of the ordinary dog dads among them. But he's very good at using men. Even in ordinary men. He will try to squeeze out their last bit of value. I do need a blue superior quality staff. Mu Qingwan looks at you, rarely showing a smile. Consider this as a task I'm giving you. If you can complete it, I'll consider agreeing to have a meal with you. You smirk. At this stage, Players who can put together a complete set of green common equipment are few. A blue superior quality main weapon is worth at least 10 gold coins. In the previous life, you worked hard for 10 days and nights. In the end, all I got was a simple thank you. He didn't even fulfill the promised dinner together. You figured it out. I couldn't help but curse my past self in my heart. Indeed, Lickspittles deserve to die. Mu Qingwan furrowed her brows. A strange feeling surged in her heart. I always feel like the young man in front of me has changed. What's wrong? You're not willing to? Mu Qingwan asked incredulously. Step aside. You can't be bothered to deal with the other person. If it weren't for, even if you can't do anything. You want to kill Mu Qingwan once, and Mu Qingwan is completely confused. Is this still the lickspit a loser he knew? Just as Mu Qingwan was full of doubt and suspicion. But you saw the figure you've been longing to see since your rebirth. You directly pulled Mu Qingwan to the side, apologized to him firmly, and quickly walked away. You dare to pull me like that? Mu Qingwan almost sat on the ground. Xin Yijang's heart trembled. Kong Di shook. You patted the girl's shoulder. Xin Xinwei turned to your watery eyes. Ling Yen was immediately surprised. You're also starting to play this game. You look at the girl in front of you, with a myriad of emotions, now looking back at the past life. It's only now that you realize the person who loves you the most has always been this silly, sweet girl, Xin Yue. No matter what decision you make, the girl will unconditionally and firmly choose, even at the cost of sacrificing herself to save you, even when the game invades reality. I still remember the warmth of the girl resting on my chest. You murmured about the late arrival of the pirated copy. You really wanted to hug Xin Yue and say it's really nice to see you now. But you still restrained yourself. It's because last night I said I wanted to go with you. Is it because of Xin Yue that you're playing this game? Xin Yue blinked her big eyes and asked when she saw Mu Qin Wan behind you. I felt a little disappointed inside. It's really because of sister Mu Shui, right? You invited me. How could I refuse? You know. Xin Ye Wei misunderstood. Laughed heartily. You're starting to play Xin Wei. It's really because of Xin Wei's invitation. Really? Xin Ye Wei is very happy. Quickly open the backpack. Are you playing the warrior profession? I just got three pieces of green common equipment. Did you just register your account? You must be all in white equipment. I'll give you these few pieces of equipment first. You feel a warmth in your heart. Teasing. You only have a total of four green equipment on you. It's too generous to give me three directly. Except for his main weapon, the long bow. I can't give it to you as a warrior profession. This silly girl actually plans to give you all the other three pieces of green equipment. Because these few pieces of equipment are too ugly. I don't like it. Shin Ye Wei raised his head. Stubbornly said. Silly girl. Keep your equipment well. I can handle you myself. Send out the application. Became game friends with Xin Yue. But Xin Yue's big eyes rolled. Still want to use other words to persuade you. She wants to team up with you to fight monsters as soon as possible. I'll take you to fight monsters in a while. You go offline and rest first. Remember to eat more food. This time in the wilderness may not be short. You talked about Xin Yue's clean forehead. Smiled and said, Okay. As soon as he heard you wanted to team up with him, Xin Yue nodded without hesitation and agreed. Excitedly went offline. It wasn't until his puffed mouth couldn't fit in more food that he realized. Wait, clearly, my level is higher. Why did Lin Yan say he's the one taking me? Then he shook his head. Keep stuffing bread into your mouth. 
Anyway, Brother Lin Yan always has his reasons. He he. Nan Qingwan looked at the scene with a blank mind. Lin Yan was actually left aside because of another woman. He felt inexplicably jealous inside. Xin Yue looks good. But in terms of family background and temperament, which part can compare to him? At best, she's just a silly and sweet girl. Lin Yan. Stop right there. Kersen completely ignored him. You quickly found your own stall. The sign is written, High Price Purchase of Novice Warrior Profession Whiteboard Equipment. Limited Time and Quantity Presale. There are distinctions of gold, silver, and copper coins in the Sculpting God sect. Exchange uses decimal system. One gold coin is equal to 100 copper coins. Players are always short of money in the early stages of the game. After working hard to obtain a green equipment, it's a priority to equip yourself. Even if there's a surplus, selling one would only be worth two or three gold coins, and the potions needed for dungeon exploration and wilderness are not cheap. So players are very eager for money. You need money to exchange for beginner equipment. There's no shortage of selling price. Oh my, bro, you actually took a completely useless white equipment. Is there something wrong with your brain? As soon as the sign was displayed, instantly, many people stopped to watch. Ha ha, after playing games for so many years, it's the first time I've seen someone buy a worthless beginner equipment. There must be a demon when things go against the norm. Many people think there must be a catch here. All watching, a stubbled man squeezed in, looking suspiciously at a gold coin. I'll give you the full set of newbie equipment. You rolled your eyes. Is there a lower bid than his? I only want five silver coins. Seeing you really want it. Immediately someone bids. Damn it. Why don't you go grab a set of newbie equipment? Give me three silver coins and I'll exchange. Made a fuss for half a day. You also figured out these people's bottom line. If one silver coin is any less, it's not even enough for the money they waste on saliva. After all, one silver coin is only worth ten bucks in reality. Okay. One silver coin to buy a set of warrior's whiteboard equipment. Hurry up if you want to exchange three copper coins for one item. The crowd immediately immediately started to scramble for it. One piece of equipment after another was crazily thrown, afraid of missing out on a good deal. The backpack capacity of Shintu is quite large, can completely hold 10 gold coins. It was quickly spent. You look at the densely packed novice equipment in your backpack, feeling quite pleased in your heart. Zhuanshan left the trading market. Before leaving, he didn't forget to tell the blind monk another joke, gained a wave of goodwill. You found a secluded place, looking at the hundreds of sets of novice warrior equipment in the backpack, looking forward with anticipation. You stack the two novice long swords in your hand together. With a single thought, they start to merge. My light will flicker for half a minute. The two rusty long knives in your hand merge into one. Although the appearance hasn't changed, but it's obviously sharper. You click to view the details of the rusty long sword and the whiteboard attack time is indeed as you excitedly wave your hand. The attribute of the rusty longsword is an attack power increase of 5. After the fusion of two swords, it becomes an attack power increase of 10. You continue to fuse one novice longsword after another in your hand. After the tenth fusion is completed, the equipment panel undergoes a huge change. The white light emitted by the longsword equipment icon becomes more intense. The sharp longsword has a whiteboard attack increase of 50, with a special feature of sharpness adding 10 armor penetration. It's even more thrilling in your heart. The 50-point attack power increase is terrifying enough. You only have 100 points of health. If you get hit twice, you'll die. And the special feature that only has a chance to appear on blue rare equipment has actually appeared on a whiteboard weapon. Even if you were once the top-ranked strongest, you have never heard of this situation. This rare quality weapon's attributes can't compare to the fun you have with this sharp longsword. The sharp feature can cause an additional 10 points of damage to armor which is very good in the novice stage. You are extremely looking forward to the changes in attributes after fusing 100 novice longswords. What you are most looking forward to is the first feature of the ultimate artifact that is about to be triggered. The light on your hands continues. 100 rusty longswords fused together. The equipment icon of the longsword emits a dazzling white light. The refined treasure sword has a base attack of 500 and a sharpness attribute. Comes with 100 armor penetration refined steel. 1% chance to break high quality weapons. 10% chance to break normal quality weapons. 100% chance to break white quality weapons. You look at the attributes of the refined treasure sword. Swallowed a mouthful of saliva. These attributes are simply amazing. 500 attack points plus 100 armor penetration. You'll die if this sword grazes your skin. You can't even imagine how satisfying it would be to use this sword to slaughter the monsters in the starting village. Moreover, the new refined steel attribute is extremely overpowered. Even high-quality weapons have a chance of being severed. You should know that players with high-quality weapons are few and far between now. 
Even wealthy players like Mulan and Chinwan lack high-quality main weapons, fused with 100 pieces of equipment. The first attribute of the ultimate artifact should have appeared. You feel uneasy. The ability of the ultimate artifact to turn decay into magic is truly terrifying. You open the equipment details of the ultimate artifact. Your expression suddenly changes. The only effect of the ultimate artifact is to infinitely fuse second-tier equipment, currently at 1-1000 progress. A hundredth level attribute attack can permanently increase one point of armor. You take a sharp breath. The ultimate artifact is truly terrifying. The first unlocked attribute is incredibly powerful. In the early stages of the Divine Lord, armor value is even more important than health points. To make the enemy lose health, you need to completely break their armor. And it's quite troublesome to restore health. Need a resting point for potions. Slow self-healing skill. These four ways of regaining health are either costly or time-consuming. While armor can quickly recover as long as you leave combat. So in outdoor adventures, armor is even more useful than health. You can stack armor infinitely. And it's a permanent 10,000 armor. Standing there can even prevent new village players from hurting you. They won't even be able to harm you in the slightest. In the early stages, there are hardly any enemy units that can cause real damage. Your gaze is intense. Your emotions are excited. But what is it? You've selected the next ability. But there's no response from the plus sign. Probably used to upgrade attributes. But I haven't fused enough equipment yet. You retract the panel. Full of anticipation in my heart. Need to make money quickly. Fuse more equipment. You start fusing immediately. Rough cloth pants in the novice suit. Rough cloth top. The light keeps flashing. Just over an hour later. Made from 100 pieces of rough cloth pants. The super equipment made from rough cloth top becomes reality. You click on the details of the two pieces of equipment. Gold silk armor. Whiteboard armor adds 900. Feature. Lightweight. Wearing does not affect flexibility. Silk reduces enemy attack speed by 10% when attacked. Gold silk pants. Whiteboard armor adds 900. Characteristic. Lightweight. Wearing does not affect flexibility. Silk reduces enemy attack speed by 10% when attacked. Really good. You smile slightly. Once the equipment is fused, it is bound to the ultimate artifact. It also inherits its unique attribute. Once the equipment is soulbound. Non-transferable. Cannot be discarded. Cannot be replaced. Non-destructible. Will not drop. In the future, it will evolve continuously through fusion. These few pieces of equipment will grow to an unparalleled level. Even each one surpasses art artifacts. It's already showing an invincible momentum. The feeling of rapid strengthening is addictive. You can't wait to go wild in the field and kill monsters to get gold coins. Online to fight monsters. You sent a team invitation to the only friend in the list, the girl who loves to eat salt. Xing Yu Wei quickly appeared in front of you, pouting. I have eaten two boxes of bread. If you don't invite me again, I'm going to starve myself to death. You're speechless. Lin Yen, have you bought enough potions? It's troublesome to go back in this game. I've saved a lot of healing potions. Let me give you half first. You must follow me in a while. Although you are very good at playing games, but this game is really different from before. You look at this girl who is all yours. The corners of the mouth soften unconsciously. You patted Xin Yu Wei's head. Don't worry, just leave everything to me. One kilometer outside the novice village is the monster area. Various monsters are lurking, hiding deadly danger. Xin Yue tightly holds the longbow and walks in front of you. Her little face is full of vigilance. You glanced at its level. Level 4. This leveling speed is not considered slow among players. The difficulty of the divine map itself is very high. And dying once will cause a level drop. Suddenly, a python suddenly darted out from the corner. Opening its blood-filled mouth, it lunged towards the two heads. Xin Yu Wei unexpectedly shouted out. The first monster we encountered is the agile horse in front of you. What a stroke of bad luck. Spirit Rock. You need to retreat quickly. It's a level 5 monster. We can't handle it. Xin Yu Wei's eyes are determined. Even if it costs me my life, I will delay it for you. There will be a penalty if a level 1 player dies. Can't go online for 12 hours. He made a great shot. All in one go. The arrow hit the green forest python right in the middle causing 223 points of damage to the level 165 green spirit python. Once it gets close, I can't deal with it at all. Xin Yue reveals despair. 
Now he only hopes to buy you more time. At the moment before being hit, a force pulls him back, evaded the attack. Lin Yen, Xin Yue found himself being protected in your arms. Her cheeks blushed, but he immediately reacted. Why didn't you? Before the words fell, a cold light flashed. Only the sound of the sword she echoed in the ears. The expected injury from being knocked away did not occur. Xin Yue turned his head in confusion. The soft body instantly stiffened. The terrifying green spirit python had been beheaded with a single stroke. Lying dead on the spot, the experienced sphere entered integrates into your body, causing you to directly level up to level 2. Oh my god, Xin Yue was stunned in your arms, for a moment, not knowing if it was a dream. A level 5 monster in the newbie village is synonymous with strength. He was actually killed with just one blow, although he didn't see it clearly, but the damage from your blow was at least over 200 points. Xin Yue looked confused. I can't figure it out no matter how hard I think. Ming, you're not going to die, are you? I've been holding it in for a long time. Xin Yue then asked with a puzzled look on his face. Ahem, you touch your nose. This is a woman's intuition. Your guess was spot on. What are you thinking? Clearly, it's because of my skills. Really? Xin Yue blinked his eyes as if in deep thought, then suddenly realized. I got it. Brother Lin Yen, you have a wealth of experience. It's only natural to be more capable. No wonder you can become the president of the online game club. You shake your head in bewilderment. This silly girl is too good at imagining things. But since he has figured it out himself, you won't add unnecessary details. Thought I could take you to the next level this time. Turns out I'm still a newbie. Xin Yue's face is full of frustration. You give a hearty laugh. Reluctant to let go of the girl in your arms, you're already very capable. Just follow me next. Let's try to level up to level 9 together within 3 hours. Level up to 9 together within 3 hours. Xin Yue is so surprised that he even forgets to be shy. Level 9 is the level limit before obtaining the professional template. So far, there are few in the entire newbie village who have reached level 9. Professional online game players usually take several days to reach level 9. But thinking about your exaggerated attack just now, he is full of confidence again. Next is the hunting time. All the monsters we encounter are killed with one hit. The highest level of the newbie village monsters is also level 9. Even the level 9 ordinary monsters have only about 400 health points. They can't withstand your one-hit equipment explosion. Shin Yue's eyes lit up. After killing more than 20 monsters, finally, equipment was dropped. You glanced at the dropped equipment. Short sword, normal attack power plus 10. Instantly lost interest. Casually put it in the backpack. Leveling up is too slow like this. You are very dissatisfied. The nearby monsters are not high level, and the density is also low. The efficiency of grinding is too slow. It took a full 20 minutes to grind to level 4. The most important thing is that you need to attack in order to stack armor. These monsters are too weak. Not a single one can withstand a hit from you. Can't stack up at all. Follow me. You lead Shen Yui quickly towards the depths. The further we go, the more desolate it becomes. The trees are even more withered. Eerie mounds and the sound of wailing surround us. Gulu Shen Yui's palms are sweating from fear. For a girl, this kind of scene is too scary. She can't help but follow closely behind you, almost sticking to your back. There should be a monster spawn point nearby. You carefully recall, casually slicing a level 8 skeleton with a sword. Quick, run. Three embarrassed players roll out of the jungle, all at level 6 or 7. Being strong in the newbie village is too terrifying. I'm never playing games again, mom. I want to study hard. They look terrified, shouting at both of you. If we don't run now, it'll be too late. The hidden monsters here are too scary. It's very likely a boss. It's not something we can handle. You almost burst out laughing. If we really bump into the newbie village castle, these three probably don't even have a chance to escape. They were sent back to the fountain with just one glance. It looks like the direction is correct. You turn your head and smile at Shin Yue. Scared? As long as I'm with you, I'm not afraid of going anywhere. Shin Yue is clearly very afraid. Still a strong and upright chest, said firmly. Follow me. Very soon, a collapsed large grave appears in front of you. A lingering black mist emanates from the tomb. Attracted many undead creatures to gather here. Sense the breath of living people. These skeletons and zombies all have sinister and hollow eyes filled with murderous intent. So many monsters. Shin Yue swallowed hard, holding the bow and arrow tightly. There are at least a hundred monsters here. And those zombies, although the highest level is only nine, but they are obviously much stronger than the skeletons. He probed. Her face turned pale instantly. Graveyard Zombie Elite Level 9. Health 900. Armor 80. Attack Power 40. 
Physical resistance. 10 irresistible 8 skills. Test poison. Passive tearing and frenzy. Much stronger than the monsters encountered before. Shin Yue looked at the dozen or so zombies in the undead group. Tremendous pressure. You shake your head and smile. The three players who just fled obviously treated the elite monsters as bosses. Do you want to retreat? It's safer to follow the raid team with so many monsters. Shin Yue held the bow and arrow although he is only level 5. But as long as you say to fight, he will never hesitate to retreat. These are all our experienced treasures. You look at the densely packed undead creatures in front of you with intense eyes. A smile of excitement forms at the corner of your mouth. You are seen kicking the long blade. You then charge head-on towards the zombie horde, roaring. The undead horde is clearly enraged by you. They roar and charge towards you. The momentum of the hundreds of undead creatures charging is incredibly terrifying. Shin Yoei's face turns pale, but his hands continue to shoot out consecutive sword strikes to help relieve the pressure on you. Unfortunately, even though he is only at level 5, his sword skills are not bad, but the damage caused is negligible for these high-level skeleton zombies. It's as if they are just tickling you, your agile figure is not even affected. With one strike, he shatters the charging level 9 bone spear skeleton with a high health of 409. The undead creature's charging momentum is clearly unified. The explosive damage from this slash scared all the zombies. This slashing feels so satisfying. One slash, one kill, in no time, I've cut down a dozen skeletons. Nom nom nom. Arrows from many distant skeleton archers start flying towards us. One wave just took away nearly 200 points of your armor. Let's take care of you first. Your eyes are sharp and cold. These archers are the only ones who can threaten you. Naturally, they need to be taken out first. Immersed in the state of slaughter. Your mind is incredibly calm. In the next moment, you display a perfect level of skill. Your body moves slightly, avoiding most of the swordsmen. At the same time, using the enemies around you to create blind spots, causing the skeleton archers to lose their target. And this is how you kill your way to the front of the skeleton archers, apart from the first wave of arrows. I haven't been hit by a single sword again. Shin Yue was stunned. The speed of shooting arrows has slowed down. This footwork, this swordsmanship is too cool. Although he has teamed up with you to play other online games before. But what he's showing today is on a completely different level. I understand. It must have been restricted by the those previous online games. The battles in Shindu are closer to real combat. That's why you can unleash your full potential. The girl is completely fascinated. Your swordsmanship and footwork honed through blood and fire can be called the art of slaughter. At this moment, it's a complete one-sided beatdown. Even elite graveyard zombies can't stop your pace. Dead within two strikes. You're like a tiger among sheep. He charged into the squad of skeleton archers with his sword. One slash, one skull shattered. The skeleton archers were chopped into a pile of broken bones. Amidst the frenzy of slaughter, you quickly broke through to level 5. The experience required after level 5 increases significantly. The experience bar visibly slows down. The number of undead creatures sharply decreases. Disturbed a terrifying presence within the collapsed tomb. A hand. A white hand suddenly breaks through the soil from the tomb. Disturbance of dark energy. In an instant, lightning and thunder. Torrential rain pours down. Shun Yue swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This scene is too eerie. Finally came out. Not only are you not afraid, but there's a hint of joy in your eyes. You came here for the guy in this grave. Another hand breaks through the soil. Then, a black figure jumps out of the grave. Over three meters tall. He's pale all over. Wearing animal skins. With nails a foot long. Emitting a chilling corpse aura. Zombie. Shin Yue exclaims in shock. There are actually zombies in this game. He activates the exploration skill. White General of the Graveyard. Level 9 Leader. HP 2999. Armor 260. Attack Power 77. Dodge 25. Magic Resistance Level 20 Skill. Addicted to Poison. Passive. Corpse Gas Corrosion. Undead Summon Tearing Frenzy. More than 5 times stronger than the same level skeleton. Shin Yue's face turned completely pale. He gritted his teeth and put out all his efforts. Trying to use all his meager strength. You looked at the data of the grave white corpse and then froze. I remembered it wrong. Was he really that weak when the grave white corpse first appeared? It was considered a nightmare in the newbie village. You practiced the skill for a long time before successfully killing it. The leader is the strongest monster in the newbie village besides the treasure corpse. I was hoping you could stack a few more armor points, but you shook your head in disappointment. It seems that with your current explosive output, if you want to stack armor, you can only go to the novice village to explode. Don't wait too long. The white corpse is already rushing over at high speed. The speed is obviously much faster than other undead creatures. The moisture is pervasive. The invasion syndrome reduces your speed. The white corpse's entire body is bursting with dark energy. 
and both his health and attack speed have increased by 20%. He cautiously activated the frenzy and chi corrosion skills as soon as he approached, giving it his all to see if you can withstand my attacks. Although you don't have skills, you have top-notch combat skills. Slashing twice in a second with the legendary stacking blade technique. Shin Yue opened his mouth skillfully, cancelling the aftercast delay with the stacking blade technique, instantly doubling the attack speed of the user. Even the top online game gods can count on one hand those who can use this technique. After two strikes, 2 minus 585 appeared above by Zhang's head, making him panic. How strong is his health? Even a level 9 player only has 400 health points. And in his frenzy state, he has over 3,500 health points, including the armor. Total blood armor is close to 4,000. One hit and nearly one third is gone. He's even more ferocious. Sharp nails flying like blades. Unfortunately, in the face of your subtle footwork, Bai Jung can't even touch you. Eat, eat, eat you. The four cat moves like a mouse, darting around, fast with the knife. Accurate. Fierce. Each strike deals close to 600 points of damage to Bai Jung. Bai Jung with critically low health is furious. Start chanting. Prepare to use the skill Undead Summon. But before he could successfully cast the spell, the chanting abruptly stops. Because he has already been killed by the Chaotic Blade. Lin Yen, you're so handsome. Xin Yue couldn't help but wave her pink fists. Such a terrifying white zombie. They didn't even have time to release their summoning skill before being killed and their equipment looted by the white zombie. You turn to start harvesting the remaining undead crowns. The lively bag quickly became silent. Only level 8? It seems like I haven't killed enough. You're not very satisfied complaint. Due to the 55% experience bonus from the team rules, Xin Yue also reached level 8. He excitedly hugged you. Uncontainable joy. I thought it would take at least 10 days to reach level 8. You completed the first kill achievement of leading level monster. About to announce to the whole server. Is it hidden? The game prompt appeared in front of you. Your eyes light up. Firm tone. No. The next moment. The grand announcement resounded in everyone's ears. Congratulations to the player Yen Di for achieving the first single kill of a leader level monster, rewarded with a skill book. Fine weapon x2. 10 free attribute points x50 health potions. Hope players keep up the good work. Create your own legend in the divine world. What? This game actually has a hidden achievement system. How come such great fortune never comes my way? Just as the announcement ended. The new Newbie village erupted in excitement. The sound of discussion was endless. The IDND was also remembered by many attentive people. Forest Graveyard. A team of more than 50 players aggressively approached the Fire Emperor, who was lucky enough to escape. The leader of the team frowned and snorted coldly. The atmosphere around him finally calmed down. It seems that guy's ID is also called Yen D. No, that's not right. He was only level 1 this morning. It's definitely not him. I probably remembered it wrong. Don't just stand there, said the fellow explorer. Each time we attack the gathering place of monsters, there are at least 100 high-level undead, very difficult to deal with. The elder next to the leader, Dehi. The purpose of this mission is to gear up President Xiao and Miss Mu. As soon as we get the gear, we'll retreat immediately. Do you hear me? Got it. The players in the Lee's team are relaxed and chatting. The leading young man is the president of the White Wolf Guild, one of the nine major game guilds in Xia Country. The members of the Lone Prince's expedition team are also experts from the White Wolf branch. They all have a strength level of 7, and they are very confident in their own skills. They completely disregard the gathering place of the undead. Everyone, be careful. The old man looked on cautiously, but he was stunned. The graveyard should have been filled with undead creatures, but now it's empty. There are only two players standing there. Emperor Yen saw the young man with the ID above your head. His eyes lit up. What a coincidence. Ling Yen knew Chang Wan couldn't believe it. So it's really you, Emperor Yen. He quickly suppressed his surprise. Starts calculating in the mind. No matter how you did it, he has to rethink your value for use. He's a guy worth using. Maybe I should consider rewarding him with a meal. Hold him. You just completed the hidden achievement. Young master do scanned you. Which guild are you from? Didn't expect to be beaten by you guys. He doesn't think you can eliminate the monster gathering on your own. Subconsciously thinks you have the support of a large guild behind you. As for why only you are left here, the two of them were most likely guild members who came together and were killed by monsters. He's my classmate, not from any guild. New Ching Wan spoke. Her voice was cold. Du Gongzi looks a bit surprised. Chang Wan, do you know him? New Ching Wan nodded, walked straight ahead. Lin Yen, didn't expect you to be quite capable. Maybe you found some good opportunities, but luck is also part of one's strength. 
Congratulations, you glanced at Du Gongzi in Mu Chengwan, a chill ran through your heart, the starry battlefield of the previous life. In the battle for supremacy among the myriad races, even the strongest individuals cannot reverse the starry sky, especially in the final divine battle. It takes a five-person team that trusts each other to conquer. Mu Chengwan is your girlfriend. Naturally, she's being trained as your core teammate, while Du Gongzi is Mu Chengwan's male best friend. Innate talent is also very high, thought to be the ultimate divine battle consideration. Similarly, he cultivated it as his right-hand man. But when Mu Qingwan was given to you late, the solitary young master even stopped other teammates from saving himself. It is obvious that he is an accomplice to the man and woman. Not only betrayed himself, but also betrayed men. I know you ignored me this morning. Going to find this girl is to deliberately provoke me and prove my presence. Mu Qingwan nurtures a swan-like noble and fair neck unparalleled self-confidence. He has seen this kind of trickery before. Advanced licking dogs often use what they think is sincere to continue. As long as you give me the achievement reward you just got as a gift and join the White Wolf Guild. Not tomorrow. I'll take you out for dinner tonight. How about letting you treat me? You really laughed out of anger. Shen Yue saw your smile, lowering your head in sadness, so you just wanted to use him as a tool. Are you competing with Sister Mu? Xingwan rarely agrees to have dinner with another man. You must cherish it, the solitary young master said insincerely. By the way, if you join the White Wolf Guild, I won't mistreat you either. How about this? 2000 a month. For a college student like you, this can be considered a joy. Consider it. He looked at the private chat from Mu Qingwan. I know your details. Knowing you're just a poor student who plays games to make a living, the Poison Lord couldn't help but sneer. If it weren't for his father recognizing the potential of Shintu, ordered him to recruit more experts. He's even too lazy to talk to you. Hand over the equipment to me first. Mu Qingwan looks at your smiling face. Thought you agreed. Proud look in the eyes naturally reached out. Poor losers are really easy to control. However, the response to him was a cold blade. What? Mu Qingwan couldn't react at all. Things happened too suddenly. You acted too decisively. Then, a minus 330 cold light appeared over Mu Qingwan's head. The head is thrown high into the air, beheading with a single stroke. Satisfying. The pent-up anger in your chest since your rebirth has finally dissipated. A hint of thought has enlightened many, and everyone else except you was dumbfounded for quite a while. Not a single person said a word. How dare you? The poison master was both shocked and angry. A poor student dared to kill his beloved. If you want to kill, then kill. You sneered, looking at the poison master. If you want to die, I don't mind sending you away along with him. Damn it. You have a big mouth. The poison master's anger flares up. He's always been the one to bully others. When has he been bullied? Young master, calm down. The stewardly next to him is sweating profusely. He just killed Miss Mu with one strike. So what? We have dozens of experts. We're not afraid of him. The poison young master is gnashing his teeth. He's only at level 8 now. He can deal at least 330 points of damage with just one strike. If the boss knew we were having trouble with such a top expert, he would definitely not be happy. Stewardly advised. He knows. 330 points is just the upper limit of mooching one's health. It's not the damage limit of this flame emperor. Nonsense. I'll kill him first. Then I'll offer him a 5 million signing fee. I don't believe he won't come crawling. I killed him. Behind the poison master. The experts of the White Wolf Guild all smirked as they stepped forward. In online games, the number of people is the truth. Otherwise, players would not be dubbed with the title of the fourth disaster. You sneer. Protecting Xin Yu Wei behind. You don't need to get involved. The battle will soon end. Xin Yu Wei obediently nodded. The moment when Nu Qingwan is killed. He then understood that you didn't treat him as a tool. At this moment, the secret in your heart is dangerous. You may not even realize that you are walking towards the White Wolf Guild with a knife. Shin Tu does not encourage players to kill each other, and the experience gained from player kills is minimal. The probability of dropping equipment is also very low. After the two of you defeat the Wolf Guild, you will need to kill 10 monsters of the same level. But with your monster killing speed, you will be completely equivalent to non-existent after you punish them and the White Wolf Guild will launch a joint attack. You are just a side figure. The treasure sword in your hand ruthlessly cuts people without any reaction. As soon as they react, they fall to the ground, and their bodies quickly disintegrate. The damage caused by each slash is high, chilling to the core. The damage from this strike is even higher than the combined health of two players. As if taking a leisurely stroll, killing from 10 paces away, one after another, Figures fall at your feet. In the blink of an eye, the White Wolf Guild has been slaughtered. More than 30 people. How is this possible? What kind of monster are you after all? The Lone Lord instinctively took two steps back. 
you're probably a spy for the Tangren faction. Although the experience provided is not much, but it allowed me to stack over 30 points of armor. You nod, this is an unexpected gain. Stop, the poison lord repeatedly waves his hand. We can't get to know each other without a fight. The White Wolf Guild is recruiting experts like you, and I'm in charge, offering you a 300,000 annual salary. Fight my little brother. If your brain doesn't work, go get it treated. Don't appear in front of me again. Every time you appear, I'll kill you. You're too lazy to talk. Walk up to the poison lord. A single slash cut it in half horizontally. You killed our deputy leader. The experts of the White Wolf Guild are sweating profusely. You're trembling just talking. The man in front of us is simply an unreasonable killing god. You first provoke the experts of the White Wolf Guild. Get lost. I'll take you back to the spring. These people don't dare to talk back. They were all scared and fled. The White Wolf Guild's building is full of the poisonous sun's rage. Nu Qingwan sits opposite him. His chest is also heaving violently. He was actually killed by a dog he completely ignored. Your classmate is just too arrogant. The lone son slammed the table in anger. And didn't you say he's a poor student in need of money? I generously offered him a 300,000 annual salary. But he cursed at me, saying I'm crazy. I find it strange too. Clearly, it's the personality of a weak and poor bootlicker. Why does it feel like a different person? Nuang also can't figure it out. Just shaking his head. But soon he didn't care anymore. His personality is destined to fight alone. You won't go far without joining a guild. There's also the support of the whole guild. I want to surpass him. It's a piece of cake, the poison lord said fiercely. In a few days, when the level goes up, I'll definitely kill him a few times to vent. He never thought of real life retaliation. It's just a game. If being killed in the game, then then beat someone up then he can't retaliate moreover once offline retaliation like this is exposed the white wolf guild and even the mushy consortium behind it will be affected let's not worry about him for now right now the most important thing is the first kill of the boss, Muchin, and the game's insider information. Once we get the first kill, the significance will be immeasurable, it's true. The young master also nodded. Getting the first kill of the boss may secure the White Wolf Guild a top 3 position among the 9 major guilds. They, as the privileged class, naturally knew some inside information in advance. This game, Shin 2, is quite involved. Ha, the announcement of the opening of the novice village to the dungeon has been released. The nine major guilds have all started to take action. The young master took a look at the message. Excited about what action? Nu Ching Wan raised an eyebrow. My old man is going all out this time. He organized a 1,000 person raid team. It's to take down the first boss. Young master A.O. ran. This is the strength of the guild. A poor student fighting alone. What will he use to trade at the newbie village exchange market after this harvest? Xin Yue looked at his level 9 experience adjustment. Exclaimed. Lin Yen. You're really strong. It hasn't been 3 hours yet. We're both at level 9 now. Smiling faintly. Don't worry. There will be plenty more to surprise you in the future. Because the announcement of the upcoming dungeon opening. The newbie village is obviously more lively than when you left. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. You ponder. Defeating by Jiang is the hidden condition for opening the newbie village gang instance. Originally, the gang instance would open at least 10 days later. Your return has clearly changed the original timeline. According to the butterfly effect, this may affect the future direction of many things. I don't know how big of a storm this butterfly of mine can stir up. Lin Yan shook his head and smiled, no longer thinking too much. The most important thing now is the first kill of the boss. The first kill of the boss in the newbie village is a crucial part of his plan that he cannot afford to miss. He must obtain it. The accurate opening time for the boss instance is midnight at midnight, so he must make the most of every moment to strengthen himself, otherwise he may fail to snatch the first kill. Because his opponents are not just individuals, but the nine major guilds. Once the boss instance opens, the thousand member raid teams of the nine major guilds will immediately start grinding. In other words, he alone must withstand an army of thousands. The task is daunting. Although the pressure is great, Lin Yan is confident. The rewards he obtained from this jungle adventure are enough to cause a qualitative change in his strength once again. Are you hungry? Let's go offline and have a meal first. I'll take you to fight the boss tonight, Lin Yan smiled at Xin Yue. I just ate two boxes of bread, so I'm not hungry at all, Xin Yue shook her head innocently. Well, then take a nap. The boss raid won't start until midnight. By the way, if you wake up before midnight, you can go to the blacksmith shop. Maybe you'll find something unexpected, Lin Yan said mysteriously. The blacksmith shop? Okay, I'll remember. You should also take care of yourself. Although Shun Yue was reluctant, she obediently logged off. The blacksmith shop was one of the seven special NPCs in the newbie village. 
If Xin Yue could trigger his hidden quest, it would be great. Lin Yan glanced at his loot. First, the attribute points. Attribute points could be freely enhanced for a certain attribute. They were hard to obtain and were considered precious by other players. But Lin Yan didn't mind because he had the ultimate artifact, which could replace the attribute points as long as he fused it with equipment that added the corresponding attribute. Allocate the points. He allocated all the attribute points to attack speed, which was the attribute he needed the most at the moment. It's difficult to increase the attack speed, it only increased by zero. One, he shook his head. To compete for the first kill with a thousand person raid team, he needed faster and stronger burst damage. Health potions are not useful for me, but they can be used by Yue. As for this one star skill book, Lin Yan pondered. Skill books were difficult to obtain in the early stages. Normally, they could only be obtained by killing elite monsters, becoming an apprentice to an NPC, or completing special achievements. So even the lowest one star skill book was more expensive than fine weapons. Fine weapons were priced between 5 to 10 gold coins, but a one star skill book could be sold for at least 20 gold coins. Let's see the specific effect of the skill first. After checking the skill description in the skill book, he immediately dismissed the idea of selling it and decided to learn it. You have learned the one star skill, you have obtained the skill, wave blade stacks. Lin Yan looked at the description of wave blade stacks, swing three blades within one second, each blade increases damage by 20%, and for 30 seconds after casting, attack speed is increased by 10%. Mana cost, 10, cooldown, 1 minute. It's already so powerful at 1 star, it has great potential. As long as the proficiency is high enough, the skill can be upgraded. In the future, it can become one of my trump cards, Lin Yan's eyes were fierce, and he could naturally see the potential of this skill. High burst damage with attack speed bonus, it was a godsend for warriors. Phew, everything is basically settled. Lin Yan looked at the most important loot for him, the equipment dropped by monsters. This time, a total of 39 green common equipment and 3 blue fine equipment were dropped. One of the fine equipment and 2 common equipment are bows and arrows. Lin Yan put these 3 pieces of equipment away, ready to change them all into plain bows and arrows later. Each type of equipment could be fused with the ultimate artifact. This included helmets, swords, upper body armor, lower body armor, and of course, bows and arrows. In the future, all the bow and arrow equipment I get will be used to create a special divine bow for Yue. Lin Yan's eyes were burning with anticipation. This time, I need to plan for the final divine battle in advance. The first thing to do is to cultivate four trustworthy teammates. In his previous life, cultivating the Poison Prince and Mu Qingwan was a last resort. They had the support of a large guild and a large corporation, so they had abundant resources. When the Starry Sky Battlefield opened, they were also the strongest group. At that time, the human race was in a precarious situation, and there was no time to train new recruits. Now, everything is different. I can build a truly trustworthy and invincible core team from scratch. He looked at the remaining equipment, revealing a smile of anticipation. Green equipment can provide about twice the attribute bonus of plain equipment. It would be a waste to fuse them directly, Lin Yan shook his head. The price of ordinary equipment ranges from 2 to 3 gold coins. Selling them and exchanging for whiteboard equipment will greatly enhance his strength. Take this green short sword for example, it only adds 10 attack power, but it can be sold for 2 gold coins. 2 gold coins can be exchanged for 20 sets of whiteboard warrior equipment, which, when fused, adds 100 attack power and 360 armor. Therefore, these green equipment must be exchanged for whiteboard equipment as soon as possible. After a while, when all players advance, the need for gold coins will also increase. At that time, no one will waste time selling whiteboard equipment. As for the excellent equipment, Lin Yan looked at the two excellent equipment in his hand. Starting from excellent quality, weapons will have special characteristics or attribute bonuses. One of these two can provide an additional 10 points of armor penetration, and the other can increase attack speed by zero. 1. 10 points of armor penetration is not useful for me, but the attack speed attribute is important. I will fuse the attack speed equipment and sell the other one for whiteboard equipment. Lin Yan made up his mind. In the later stages, attributes are much more important than simple damage values. As someone who has been reborn, his vision is naturally farsighted. After arriving at the market, he skillfully went to booth 9527 to start selling equipment. Due to the upcoming boss dungeon, the trading market was extremely busy. As soon as he displayed his equipment, it was quickly sold out. This is really crazy. Lin Yan complained, but he was counting money in his hands, not too much, just enough to have 100 gold coins. Then, he displayed the sign that said buying whiteboard equipment, act fast. 
With his previous reputation, no one questioned it this time, and a group of players immediately gathered. Darling, come quickly, that fool is here again. This is a great opportunity to exchange useless whiteboard equipment for money. Brother, stop wasting time. Hurry up and log in, it will be too late if you're late. In the trading market, player nicknames were hidden, and no one recognized Lin Yan as the Flame Emperor. Selling high-level equipment and then buying whiteboard equipment, it's really hilarious. He's probably a professional equipment dealer, but we're taking advantage of it, so let's sell the whiteboard equipment. Although they mocked Lin Yan's foolishness, their hand speed was not affected at all, and they all rushed to sell. With just one silver coin, they could buy a bottle of healing potion. In their eyes, Lin Yan was simply doing charity by distributing potions. Soon, the 100 gold coins in Lin Yan's hands, which hadn't even warmed up, were all spent. Looking at the densely packed whiteboard equipment in his backpack, he grinned. Now he was completely prosperous. You must be the Flame Emperor, right? Lin Yan looked up and saw a capable-looking man with short hair. Being able to recognize him in the trading market with hidden nicknames meant that he came prepared. He was too lazy to pretend, so he nodded and said, Yes, what's the matter? The blacksmith in the newbie village is taking orders for custom equipment. If you pay him 100 gold coins, you can completely exchange it for several pieces of custom equipment. But you chose to buy whiteboard equipment. It's really confusing. The man with short hair smiled slightly. And as the world's first player to unlock hidden achievements, Mr. Flame Emperor is obviously not a fool. What do you want to say? Lin Yan frowned and glanced at the man's attire. When he saw the red star symbol on his clothes, his heart skipped a beat, and he probably guessed the other person's identity. I come from the newly established Eastern Guild, you may not have heard of it. Although it is a new guild, our strength and background are definitely stronger than the nine major guilds. The man with short hair had a serious expression. If you are willing to join us, in addition to a 1 million signing fee, you can also receive a yearly salary of 500,000, as well as other benefits. Lin Yen waved his hand, I'm not interested for now. The background of the Eastern Guild was indeed intimidating, and it even had the qualifications to claim to be the largest in the Xia Kingdom. Because he knew that the background of the Eastern Guild was the Xia Kingdom's official itself. In his plan, the Eastern Guild was an important piece. But for some reasons, he didn't want to have too much contact with them before having absolute strength. That's okay, mister. Flame Emperor can add me as a friend for now. When you see the strength of the Eastern Guild and if you're interested in joining, feel free to contact me at any time, the capable man said without disappointment. The higher-ups of the Eastern Guild also wanted to observe the potential of the Flame Emperor a little longer. Sure, Lin Yan added the other person as a friend and glanced at the nickname of the short-haired man, Cold Front. After saying goodbye, he walked out of the market, preparing to fuse his equipment. Boss, I can see it. This kid took out dozens of pieces of equipment all at once. He's rich. Let's make a move. A thief player who had been lurking outside the market said with sharp eyes. Ha, huh? he's actually the Flame Emperor? This time, the leader of the thieves rubbed his chin. He has at least 50 bottles of healing potions on him. It's definitely worth a shot. The deputy leader beside him was itching to move. They didn't dare to rob the large guild, but Lin Yen, a lone player, dared to bring out so much equipment to sell. He was like a pure, fat sheep. If they didn't rob him, they would feel ashamed of their professional ethics as thieves. Follow him. The leader of the thieves was completely intrigued and waved his hand, leading the thief players to quietly follow. Lin Yan's awareness was very keen, and he immediately noticed that he was being followed. He had a plan in mind. Because of his stealth skill, the thieves were extremely confident and it was impossible for any player to discover their tracking. He went into the alley. This is a great opportunity. It's now. Attack. The leader of the thieves gave the order, and the thieves rushed into the alley excitedly. No one? How is that possible? I saw him go in with my own eyes. Could he be a ghost? The thieves were sweating profusely. Looking for me? Lin Yan stepped into the entrance of the alley and trapped the thieves in the courtyard. He had a faint smile on his face and a sharp gaze. You've already been surrounded by me. Surrender quickly. What nonsense are you talking about? The leader of the thieves, impossible to work, laughed angrily. You do have some skills to detect our tracking, but there are over ten of us and only one of you. How dare you say you've surrounded us? I think you've lost your mind. Kill him. Not only do you refuse to surrender, but you also dare to fight back against me? Then go take a bath in the spring. Lin Yan stepped forward and casually slashed, instantly killing the sharp-eyed thief who was standing in the front. Damn! This one slash made the leader of the thieves turn pale. The one who was just killed was his capable assistant, already an 8th level thief with over 300 HP, and he was killed in one hit. What kind of damage was this? 
No wonder he, a lone player, could bring out so much equipment. He was too abnormal. Brother, no, great, great God, this is all a misunderstanding. The leader of the thieves, impossible to work, pleaded with his hands raised. Misunderstanding? Lin Yan sneered, a group of professional thieves with notorious reputations. What's there to misunderstand? Hand over all the equipment you've stolen so far, or I'll trap you in the spring and kill you until you're all back to level 1. Damn. So you actually wanted to rob us instead. Impossible to work instantly realized and fell silent, we are thieves by profession, and you are a grand thief, right? Stop the nonsense. I'll count to three, if you don't hand it over, I'll attack. Lin Yan's blade flickered. Wait, wait, we surrender. Impossible to work begged with tears in his eyes. Dropping back to level one would take several days to recover. Additionally, thieves were not protected by safety measures, and if they were killed, their equipment drop rate was much higher than that of normal players. If Lin Yan really trapped them in the spring and killed them to level 1, they would lose most of their equipment. Clatter, clatter, clatter. The thieves emptied their backpacks and offered their equipment to Lin Yan. Lin Yan didn't even leave them with any basic equipment, so in the end, these guys were left with just their underwear. Wow, you guys really stole a lot, Lin Yan said with satisfaction. The theft skill allowed him to directly steal items from players' backpacks. This group of thieves, in just a few days, stole hundreds of items, including various potions, accessories, and even two high-quality equipment, in addition to dozens of gold coins. Tisk, it's almost comparable to the total income one made from jungling this time. No wonder you guys chose to be thieves, making money is really easy. Lin Yan looked at impossible to work and smirked. If they regularly treated the thieves group as monsters to farm, the cost-effectiveness would be much higher than jungling. This is all we have. We really earned this money the hard way. Impossible to work side. His life motto was to never work, which is why he chose the thief profession. But today, he was unexpectedly taken advantage of, forced to work for free. It was simply a great humiliation. Ha! Huh? You guys can get your hands on this kind of thing? Lin Yan looked at the potions in his hand with some surprise. Control reducing potion, reduces control time by 10 seconds, one time. Special potions were rare in the early stages and he currently didn't have any means of control reduction, so this potion made up for that shortcoming. Snatching the first kill from the nine major guilds and even the eastern guilds raid team essentially meant snatching time. If the control reducing potion was used well, it might have a miraculous effect. He became more and more tempted to regularly strike the thieves group, this evil force. Alright, you guys can leave now. Lin Yan waved his hand. Thank you, great master. Impossible to work hurriedly left with his subordinates. As soon as they left the alley, they activated their stealth skill to conceal the fact that they were only wearing underwear. Lin Yan didn't sell the ill-gotten gains he extorted. Because these equipment items were labeled as thief gear, if he went to the trading market to sell them, he would be mistaken for a thief. Newbie village players had a deep hatred for thieves. If he attracted a group of thousands of players to gang up on him, he would be exhausted. Although the profits of being a thief are high, the things stolen can only be sold at a low price on the black market so the gold income is not as exaggerated as imagined. Lin Yan found a place with no one around and started fusing equipment. After calculating, he fell into silence. Now, there are only 8 hours left until the boss instance opens. And it takes him 20 seconds to fuse one white equipment, 30 seconds for a common equipment, and 1 minute for a high quality equipment. Even if he spent all 8 hours fusing white equipment, he could only fuse a little over 1,400 pieces. And now he has a thousand sets of newbie equipment, plus the ill-gotten gains, a total of over 3,000 pieces of white equipment. Even if he didn't rest for a second, he still wouldn't be able to fuse them all. Indeed, what the richest man said is correct. Being too wealthy is also a kind of trouble. Lin Yan laughed at himself. Should he first increase his armor or attack power? How much should each be increased? Such luxurious troubles. Lin Yan pondered while fusing. The first kill of the newbie village boss was a very important achievement, and the more beautifully it was completed, the higher the rewards would be. He planned to go with Xin Yue to fight it, but he didn't plan to let Xin Yue participate in the damage output. As long as all the damage output was done by him, it would count as a solo kill. Solo killing the boss would double the achievement rewards. In addition, the instance had four difficulties, normal, hard, nightmare, and hell. With each increase in difficulty, the rewards would also increase accordingly. I must achieve the solo first kill achievement on hell difficulty. Lin Yan's gaze became serious. Only by doing so could he obtain the strongest equipment beyond the hidden plot of the newbie village. Most importantly, this achievement was also a prerequisite for a perfect completion of the hidden plot. Since I'm racing against time, I must maximize my damage output. 
As for armor, I can only try to make up for that shortcoming through positioning. Lin Yan made up his mind. First, fuse all the attack power. Successful fusion, 100 refinement treasure sword, attack power plus 10. Successful fusion, 100 refinement treasure sword, attack power plus 20, attack speed plus 0. 1. The light kept flickering from his hand, and the value of the 100 refinement treasure sword kept soaring. Finally, after fusing 900 more swords, the weapon's radiance became even more brilliant. Has it evolved again? Lin Yan's eyes lit up, repeatedly clicking on the equipment details. Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White Attack plus 5210, Attack Speed plus 0. 1. Special Ability, Iron Cutting, Inflicts 300 Armor Penetration, Swift Decision, 1% Chance to Sever Rare Quality Weapons, 10% Chance to Sever Fine Quality Weapons, 100% Chance to Sever Normal Quality Weapons, 1000 Blades, Can Be Decomposed into Shattered Blades, Which Can Fly at the User's Will or Be Instantly Transformed into a Hole. Note, Consumes 1 Mana Per Second. What a fantastic Magic Blade 1000 Blades! Lin Yan exclaimed, filled with excitement. This weapon, even if his level was 50 from the previous life, would make him ecstatic. But only, white? He furrowed his brows, as he had never heard of a weapon with a, white, suffix. However, considering it was a fusion of ultimate artifacts, it was normal for it to have some unique aspects. And the new Thousand Blades ability is also incredibly powerful. Lin Yan grew more and more fond of it. The biggest dilemma for a warrior was being limited to close combat, only having the chance to unlock long-range damage skills after reaching the third stage, Elite Professional. But with the Thousand Blades ability, his sword could transform into thousands of flying blades, moving according to his own will, instantly turning a melee weapon into a long-range one. With this blade in hand, even if you have a thousand-person raiding party, so what? Lin Yan's mood soared, and he turned his attention to the ultimate artifact page. The requirement for the second fusion effect of the second stage had been fulfilled with 1000 pieces of equipment, so the second ability of the ultimate artifact should have been unlocked. What could it be? He eagerly clicked on the equipment details of the ultimate artifact. Ultimate artifact, unique, unique effect, infinite fusion equipment, third stage, current progress, 1200 slash 10,000 first ability, attack permanently increases armor by one point, plus, second ability, being attacked permanently increases counter damage by one point, plus, another growth ability? Lin Yan was somewhat surprised. Being attacked would increase counter damage, and if the counter damage stacked high enough, then in the future, the damage others dealt to him would be reflected back at them. If combined with high life steal or rapid armor recovery skills, it's almost invincible. Lin Yan marveled. Truly, it was an ultimate artifact, any ability developed to its later stages would be invincible and he simultaneously possessed so many invincible abilities. How can I lose this time? He was in high spirits and quickly continued fusing equipment. Although his attack power had already surpassed the limit of his current level by an unknown amount, his health and armor were not very high. If he were to enter the Hell Dungeon, he would likely fail. Prioritize fusing defensive equipment with physical resistance and magical resistance attributes. Lin Yan's thoughts were clear. Physical resistance and magical resistance were much more precious than attributes like health and armor, which were consumable. Their importance was no less than attack speed and movement speed. Because physical resistance and magical resistance were fixed attributes, if his physical resistance was high enough, it would be equivalent to being immune to physical attacks. Unfortunately, items that can increase physical resistance and magical resistance are extremely rare in the Divine Land world. Among so many items, there are only two. Ding! Fusion successful, gold silk armor physical defense plus 2, armor plus 10. Ding. Fusion successful, gold silk armor magical defense plus 1, armor plus 20. He continued to fuse equipment non-stop. 8 hours passed in the blink of an eye. After the evolution of the magic blade 1000 blades, he fused another 500 pieces of equipment into the gold silk armor. He looked at the attributes of the fused equipment, gold silk armor, white, armor plus 5550, Physical defense plus 2, magical defense plus 1. Special ability, lightweight, wearing does not affect agility, entwined threads, when attacked, reduces the enemy's attack speed by 10%. As expected, there was no evolution. Lin Yan was not surprised. Judging from the evolution requirements of the main weapon, he would need to accumulate 1000 pieces of fused equipment to evolve the upper body armor. Time is running out, it's time to go to the entrance of the boss dungeon. Lin Yan felt a bit regretful. If he had enough time to fuse all the equipment in his backpack, his chances would be even greater. 
He glanced at his attribute panel, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 HP, 400, Armor, 7049 Attack, 5235, Armor Penetration, 300, Physical Resistance, 10, Magic Resistance, 6, Movement Speed, 1, Attack Speed, 1, 2, Mana, 40 Equipment, Golden Silk Armor, White, Armor plus 5550, Golden Silk Pants, White, Armor plus 900, Magic Blade Shenron, White, Attack plus 5210. Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 3rd Tier, Skill, Wave Stacking 3 Blades, 1 Star, Ability, None. Armor over 7000, Attack Power over 5000. With my current strength, I should barely be able to secure the first kill, Lin Yen breathed a sigh of relief. Even though he used to be ranked first in the Heavenly Rankings, he had never attempted to solo a Hell Level instance. In the Divine Land World, this was considered an impossible feat. Let's go boss hunting. Lin Yan sent a team invitation to Xin Yu Wei. Soon, Xin Yu Wei happily bounced over, her face adorned with a smile. Hey, why are you so happy? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow in surprise. Lin Yan, you're amazing. I just chatted with that blacksmith NPC for a while, and he gave me a super powerful equipment. Xin Yu Wei raised the handsome bow and arrow in her hand. Lin Yan glanced at the bow's attributes. Cloud piercing bow, fine, attack plus 25, attack speed plus 0. 3 special ability, armor penetration, deals an additional 20 damage to armor, wow. Lin Yan marveled at the bow. Even among fine weapons, this cloud piercing bow was top tier. It seems like my speculation was correct, Lin Yan grew more confident in his plan. Speculation? Xin Yu Wei scratched her head in confusion. Ha, ah, let's go strategize the boss first. When we come back, I'll give you a big gift, Lin Yan said with a smile. Okay. Xin Yu Wei was delighted to hear that Lin Yan was going to give her a gift. The two arrived at the entrance of the boss instance just before 2359. There was only one minute left until the boss instance opened. At this moment, the entrance to the boss instance was packed with people. Looking around, it was filled with players. If it weren't for the capacity limit in the newbie village, there would be billions of players coming to watch the first boss instance in the Divine Land tonight. A huge countdown appeared in the sky, and with each passing second, the atmosphere became more restless. The thousand-member raid teams from the nine major guilds successively entered, their momentum soaring, becoming the most eye-catching presence in the entire scene. Ming Village was just an ordinary newbie village among many, but the nine major guilds were able to assemble a thousand-member raid team within a few hours, showcasing their influence and strength. This meant that they likely had arranged thousands of members in each newbie village. It seems that these major guilds are determined to secure the first kill of this boss. After all, the first kill of the first boss holds great significance. The guild that obtains it will undoubtedly gain a significant influence. Players discussed among themselves. It would be interesting if there's a dark horse that snatches the first kill from the nine major guilds. That's impossible. The other guilds are far inferior in strength to the nine major guilds. At most, they can only organize a hundred member raid team. They're not on the same level. They've already lost in terms of momentum. Well, what if? I'll remember you, the guy with the ID gaming expert. The lively square gradually quieted down. Because the countdown had begun. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. The newbie village boss instance opened on time, and the players plunged into a frenzy. Everyone chose to enter at the same moment. There are raid teams from major guilds, as well as large groups of free players forming dungeon clearing teams. Players disappear in batches in the square. Lin Yan looked at the difficulty selection page in front of him, normal, hard, nightmare, hell, and decisively chose hell. Whoosh. In the next moment, he and Xin Yu Wei arrived in a huge underground burial space. Brother Lin Yan, is it just the two of us? Xin Yu Wei, being naturally clueless, only realized it when she entered the dungeon and asked in surprise. She could see that the other raid teams had at least hundreds of people. Don't worry, the two of us are enough. When we fight the boss later, don't make a move. Just watch from the side, Lin Yan instructed. Okay. Xin Yue now completely trusted Lin Yan and nodded without hesitation. Lin Yan looked at the group of zombie monsters rushing towards him as soon as they entered the dungeon, a sharp smile appeared on his face. Next, it's the time for slaughter. Why are the attributes of these monsters so high? Xin Yue's eyes were shocked. Lin Yan glanced at the values of the monsters in front of him, underground zombie, elite, level, 9 HP. 4500 armor, 400 attack, 60 physical resistance, 15 magical resistance, 15 skills, corpse poison, passive, self-destruct, bloodthirst, bite, frenzy, poison gas invasion. Lin Yan was not surprised. In the hell dungeon, the weakest are elite monsters, and their overall strength is increased fivefold. 
it can be said that one elite monster here can at least fight 10 level 9 players at the current stage. Don't panic, just keep your distance and attack, Ling Yan gave Xin Yue a reassuring smile. The girl nodded and began shooting arrows. To go from level 1 to level 9, you need the total experience of levels 1 to 9. Leveling up by killing monsters in the wild is very slow. So Lin Yan decided to bring Xin Yue to the Hell Dungeon to quickly level up. Swish. Lin Yan stepped forward quickly and slashed with his sword. The head of the leading zombie was directly cut off by this slash. With a large minus 4900 appearing on its head, the whole place fell silent, and the zombies were too scared to make a sound. Gurgle. An elite monster in the Hell Dungeon was actually killed in one hit. Xin Yue was stunned. Even if she told others about this scene, no one would believe it, they would just think she was bragging. In the morning, Lin Yan's attack power was terrifying, but she could still understand it to some extent. However, this slash of 5000 damage, even if she was dumb, she knew that it couldn't be done with just skill. Die. The sword light was cold, Lin Yan killed all the zombies one by one. The zombies had relatively low movement speed and attack speed. Even with a dozen zombies surrounding him, they couldn't even touch the hem of his clothes. Soon, all the zombies with over 4000 HP died tragically and fell to the ground, and a large number of experience orbs flew out and merged into Lin Yan and Xin Yue's bodies. Let's continue. Lin Yan looked at the bronze gate in front of him and punched it. The majestic bronze gate trembled, and then slowly opened. Countless monster figures appeared behind it, and the dense death energy turned into black mist, as terrifying as a hellish painting. At the same time, in the raid dungeon where the online game expert was located. Because of the expert's good connections, the raid team he joined was very strong, with over 300 people. They were considered the strongest group among the raid teams formed by free players. But at this moment, the expert's face was distorted by fear. What kind of damn terrifying dungeon is this? The game designer has no conscience. How can the first boss dungeon be this difficult? At the beginning, there were a dozen elite monsters with 800 HP and physical defense as high as 15 guarding the gate, and they besieged for a long time. After finally dealing with these monsters, who knew that after the bronze gate opened, hundreds of elite monsters came out from inside, surrounded by death energy, suffocating. And what the hell is that? He trembled as he watched the white zombies killing players wantonly, as if they were in a deserted place. More than 3000 health points, attack power close to 80, and physical resistance as high as 25. This is nothing, attacking him is like tickling him. The online game expert sarcastically commented. White zombie. Commander, level. I remember now, this is the commander monster that was single-handedly killed by the flame emperor as mentioned in the announcement. The captain of the raid team exclaimed. What? He can single-handedly kill such a terrifying monster. The system must be bugged. The online game expert was completely stunned. He had previously analyzed that monsters that can be single-handedly killed must be weak. From this, it can be seen that the commander level should be a level between normal and elite monsters, just with fewer numbers. Now, it's a complete slap in the face. Three white zombies guarding, plus hundreds of elite zombies, players were being harvested like wheat, falling in groups. Soon, the online game expert was stomped to death by a white zombie and respawned back to the instant square. The square was crowded with players, obviously all returning after failing to clear the instance. The square was filled with curses and grievances. Obviously, the difficulty of the instance made them unable to hold back their anger. This was not surprising, because Lin Yan killed the white zombie, causing the boss instance to appear at least 10 days earlier. Apart from Lin Yan, no player had even seen a white zombie, let alone accurately judge the strength of the boss instance strategy. I'm going to write a post to criticize the development team. This is simply unreasonable. I will accuse this injustice. The online game expert angrily exclaimed. The large raid team composed of 300 players was wiped out by the monsters that rushed out of the instance gate without even entering. What a joke. At the same moment, in the White Wolf Guild's raid team instance, thousands of White Wolf Guild members had clear roles. Tanks stood in front to stop the monsters from charging. Mages and archers prioritized attacking the most threatening white zombies. Warriors charged into the group of monsters, retreating to the defensive line to be healed by priests when injured. Everything was in order. From the moment the zombies and white zombies rushed out until now, which was less than three minutes, more than half of them had already been wiped out, while the White Wolf Guild had only lost a few dozen people. Du Gongzi and Mu Qingwan stood in the center of the White Wolf Guild team, not doing much, but received most of the experience orbs from killing monsters. This instance is indeed a bit difficult but it's still not enough for my White Wolf Guild's thousand-member raid team. Du Gongzi fanned himself and smiled calmly. Indeed, if we can maintain this progress, we will most likely be the first to clear it. 
Mu Qingwan also nodded. However, there was a faint figure in her heart that made her feel uneasy. At this moment, in front of Lin Yan, hundreds of zombie limbs were shattered, and he was fighting the last white zombie. The white zombie in the Hell Instance is indeed powerful. He frowned. The elite monsters in the Hell Instance had a fivefold increase in overall attributes, while the commander monsters had a tenfold increase. Underground white zombie, commander, level, 9 health, 29,999 armor, 2,600 attack power, 150 physical resistance, 30 magic resistance, 25 skills, corpse poison, passive, self-destruct, bloodthirst, corpse cheek corrosion, undead summoning, tear bite, frenzy, zombie finger blade, piercing flight. With 30,000 health points, it can almost rival the boss of a normal instance. Lin Yan's expression also became serious. There were heavy guards right at the entrance, so the underground palace must not be simple. She, the final blow fell, splitting the white zombie in half. Enter the underground palace. He knew there was no time to hesitate. He was competing for the first kill with a thousand person raid team, and it was the hell instance. Xin Yue nodded in confusion. Lin Yan's bravery was beyond her expectations. Da Dei. After entering the underground palace, Lin Yan led Xin Yue to explore it. The layout of the underground palace was designed according to the Lu King's tomb, with numerous traps and hidden weapons along the way, as well as new monsters, corpse beetles. Although the attributes of the corpse beetles were not high, their numbers were extremely large, and one careless move could result in death in the tide of corpse beetles. Chi Chi. He swung his sword like rain, not knowing how many monsters he had killed along the way. When he arrived deep inside the Lu Palace, his originally over 7,000 armor had already exceeded 9,000. After completing this instance, I'm afraid my armor will exceed 10,000. Lin Yan's heart was filled with anticipation. Chi Chi Chi. Lin Yan's figure moved, his blade flashing, evading hidden weapons while also cutting down the dark arrows aimed at Xin Yue. His stylish movements filled the eyes of the girl with admiration. Xie. With one slash, he killed the last ten corpse ants, and Lin Yan brought the girl to the deepest part of the underground palace. This place was spacious, as if a mountain had been hollowed out. The underground river converged here, forming a lake. On the island in the middle of the lake, a coffin was imprisoned by chains, lying quietly there. And around this coffin, eight figures stood silently. Their pale bodies emitted a faint green light. Eight armored white zombies guarding? Lin Yan's heart grew heavy. These eight armored white zombies were even more difficult to deal with than ordinary white zombies. Legend has it that they were the eight generals under the Lu King, with almost equal health and armor. Underground Palace White Zombie Armor General, Commander, Level, 9 Health, 29,999 Armor, 26,000 Attack, 180 Physical Resistance, 35 Magical Resistance, 30 Skills, Corpse Poison, Passive, Armor Mastery, Self-Destruction, Bloodthirst, Corpse Cheek Corrosion, Undead Summoning, Bite, Frenzy, Zombie Finger Blade, Flying Thrust. Heads of pale people emerged from the water, their black eyes filled with greed. Underground Palace Water Ghost, Elite, Level, 9 Health, 5,400 armor, 2,400 attack, 70 physical resistance, 20 magical resistance, 18 skills, corpse poison, passive, strangling, water travel technique, bite, frenzy, poison gas invasion. Lin Yen. Xin Yue tightened her bow and arrow in her hand. Just the monsters guarding the boss were so terrifying, how much more terrifying would the boss be? Don't panic, watch me kill them. Lin Yan's voice was reassuring. For now, don't engage in battle and draw aggro. I can handle it alone. With that, he charged forward along the path leading to the island in the middle of the lake. The fierce water ghosts simultaneously leaped out of the lake, densely swarming towards Lin Yan. The scene was terrifying to the extreme. Die. Lin Yan's blade flashed, his movements mysterious, always finding the position with the fewest enemies. But even so, under the siege of so many enemies, his limited movement speed still couldn't avoid getting injured. His armor began to steadily decrease. Wave stacking three slashes. Lin Yan no longer hesitated and used his skill. With the combination of wave stacking three slashes and stacking blade techniques, he instantly killed two water ghosts in front of him. Utilizing the attack speed bonus from wave stacking three slashes, his speed increased significantly. Attack speed potion. He had originally planned to rush to the island in the middle of the lake before using the attack speed potion, but these fierce water ghosts disrupted his plan. The attack speed potion was confiscated from a thief and there were only three bottles, extremely precious. Chi Chi Chi. The magic blade in his hand transformed into thousands of shattered blades, constantly changing forms, and could even transform into a shield to block attacks. In this way, he charged forward, facing the almost endless water ghosts, and finally reached the island in the middle of the lake. 
His originally over 9,000 armor had dropped to less than 7,000. Let's go together. After arriving at the island in the middle of the lake, the water ghosts that could only survive in the water couldn't harass him anymore. He looked sharply at the eight armored generals, his fighting spirit boiling. Roar! The eight armored generals roared loudly, clearly enraged. The chains on the central coffin trembled madly, and then one after another broke, terrifying death energy rushing out from within. The boss was about to be born. The great battle was about to begin. At the same time, in the White Wolf Guild's instance, Poison Prince's face looked grim. There was only one path leading to the island in the middle of the lake, and its width could only accommodate three people walking side by side. The White Wolf Guild's battle formation couldn't be set up at all, they could only rely on continuously piling up numbers. One White Wolf Guild expert after another was pushed into the water and killed by the water ghosts. Almost every meter they advanced, they would lose over 10 members of the raiding team. The short 50 meter road caused the White Wolf raid team to lose nearly half of their members. Report, count the number of people. After arriving on the island, the White Wolf Guild raid team immediately formed a circular defensive formation. Only 350 people left? How can this instance be so terrifying? Poison Prince panicked. They were originally planning to compete for the first kill, but now it's uncertain whether they can even defeat the boss. This unprecedented raid team of a thousand people lost two-thirds of their members without even encountering the boss. Vice Captain, these eight guys are too terrifying, their attacks are incredibly high. Even the tanks can't withstand their attacks for more than four or five hits, the defense line is estimated to be broken soon, the captain exclaimed. Poison Prince gritted his teeth and said, hold on, as long as we take down a few of them, we can kill the boss. Mu Qingwan shook her head and said in a deep voice, the boss has already revived. It hadn't even been 30 seconds since they arrived on the island, and the chains on the central coffin had already broken. A terrifying figure, three meters tall, slowly crawled out of the coffin. It had talismans stuck to its head, dressed in ancient noble attire, and the dead aura wrapped around its body, holding a large seal in its hand. Roar! It swung the seal, causing the ground on Hushin Island to tremble, and hundreds of zombies emerged, charging towards the defense line alongside the eight major generals. Poison Prince's face turned pale, shouting, this is bad. Then, the terrifying figure, standing at three meters tall, stepped forward to the defense line. Green flames formed from the corpse aura in its eyes, and it forcefully smashed the large seal down. In an instant, the dozen or so tank players in front of it were all smashed into minced meat. Damn! Poison Prince screamed. Even Mu Qingwan couldn't remain calm, panic appearing on her face for the first time. This boss is too dominant. Boom! The large seal fell, and Lin Yan rolled to avoid it, but the shockwave still knocked off more than 200 points of his armor. Truly deserving of being the boss that has discouraged countless people in the newbie village. Lin Yan's gaze became serious as he looked at the attributes of the tall zombie in front of him, Lord of the Lu Palace, Boss Hell, HP, 303,066 armor, 56,000 attack, 275 physical resistance, 45 magical resistance, 45 skills, corpse poison, passive, death servant summoning, life and death seal shockwave, tear bite, corpse aura invasion, king's intimidation, death stomp, poison arrow, corpse fire incineration, armor amplification, life devouring. The comprehensive amplification of the boss in the hell instance is also 10 times. Lin Yan dodged the pursuit of the Lu King while fighting fiercely with the eight major generals. Only by killing the eight major generals first could he focus on dealing with this terrifying hell boss. Chi Chi Chi. Lin Yan consumed all the attack speed potions, instantly reaching an attack speed of two. Stacked blades. He used the stacked blades technique, now able to attack three times in one second, with a staggering burst damage of 10,000. If the cooldown for the stacked waves ended, he could even attack four times in one second, with a burst damage exceeding 21,000. Therefore, although the eight major generals were extremely terrifying, under his terrifying output, they quickly fell one by one. However, he did not come out unscathed because he had been avoiding battle all along and had been hit by the Lu King's skills many times. His armor had already dropped to just over 4,000. He now only had 400 HP, and once his armor was depleted, a single skill from the Lu King could take him out. The effect of the attack speed potion has ended. Lin Yan looked at the last armored white zombie that fell and breathed a sigh of relief. Roar! The three meter tall Lu King zombie saw that all the major generals had died, let out a roar, raised the large seal, and on the central island, hundreds of zombies crawled out from the ground. Death Servant Summoning Skill Lin Yan remained calm, these zombies combined were not as threatening as the eight major generals. He could easily kill them with a single slash. With the attribute of stacking armor, these zombies were just a source of armor for him. Chi 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 
After easily clearing the surrounding zombies, he engaged in a fierce battle with the zombie Liu Kang. Buzz. He dodged the Liu Kang seal strike with a sidestep, then fiercely slashed at its leg bend. Pying. While King Liu was kneeling on the ground with a bent leg injury, Lin Yan turned around and fiercely slashed its neck with a knife. This critical hit caused a damage of minus 11,200, making the zombie King Liu howl in pain. Its eyes turned into green flames, and it spat out a mouthful of green poisonous arrows. Lin Yan's demonic blade transformed into a shield of a thousand blades, blocking the arrows and only receiving 30 points of impact damage. Hoo hoo! Green flames spewed out from King Lu's eyes, hitting Lin Yan directly. These flames were like maggots attached to bones, impossible to dodge. Minus 50, minus 20. The burning corpse fire inflicted dual damage of flames and poison, burning away 70 points of Lin Yan's armor per second. Die! Lin Yan took advantage of the cooldown time after King Lu's skill and rushed forward, bursting with killing intent. Chi chi chi! Three consecutive waves of slashes landed on it, combined with the stacking technique, instantly dealing over 21,000 points of damage to the zombie King Lu. The zombie King Lu swung its giant seal and fought against Lin Yan. The divine land game had a blocking mechanism, so as long as the attack could be blocked, only minimal impact damage would be received. Therefore, the swordsmanship and body movement during battles were crucial. In the later stages, almost everyone was a master of swordsmanship and archery. In battles between masters, it was not guaranteed that 10 attacks would cause a single effective damage to the opponent. Of course, Lin Yan, as the number one powerhouse on the heavenly ranking, had completely suppressed his opponents with his skills at the current time point. Even the hell boss had no ability to fight back. Xie, after exchanging blows, Lin Yan preemptively predicted and used a backward displacement and roll to dodge the shockwave skill of the life and death seal. After getting up, the demonic blade of a thousand blades transformed into countless pieces, traversing a distance of five meters, and slashed at King Lu's neck, dealing another 10,000 points of critical damage. In the midst of life and death struggle, King Lu's health quickly dropped to only 100,000. Meanwhile, Lin Yan was left with just over 2,000 armor. Now the attack speed and movement speed are too low, the restrictions are too great. Many sword techniques and skills cannot be executed. Lin Yan shook his head. If his attack speed and movement speed both reach 2, he would have the confidence to kill the zombie King Lu without taking any damage. At the same moment, in the White Wolf Guild's instance. Gurgle. Hurry. We must kill him even if it means sacrificing ourselves. If we're about to die, drink the self-destruct potion and blow him up. Poison Prince went crazy, his eyes bloodshot. The raid team had less than a hundred people left, and they were still rapidly losing members. Unlike Lin Yan's tactics, they concentrated all their firepower on the boss and completely ignored everything else, using meat shields to block death. Grandmas, is there no justice in this world? A newbie village boss with 30,000 health and over 5,000 armor. Poison Prince was desperate. Even if everyone focused their attacks on the boss, it still had 10,000 health remaining. And the members of the White Wolf Guild around him were continuously falling, their attack efficiency becoming weaker and weaker. He knew very well that this raid would definitely end in failure. As expected, 10 seconds later, the captain of the White Wolf Guild raid team had his head crushed by the life and death seal while protecting Poison Prince. Damn it! Poison Prince roared, I refuse to accept this. How could this happen? Mu Qingwan also couldn't believe it. A raid team of a thousand people, and they actually failed the raid. Both of them turned pale, and in the end, they were unwillingly trampled to death. Damn it, this damn designer. Who can defeat this insane boss? Poison Prince ran to the square after his resurrection and cursed loudly. It was at this moment that he realized that there were already three major guild raid teams that had declared failure, and the White Wolf Guild was the fourth top guild to be eliminated. Resentment filled the square. I don't believe anyone can defeat this boss. If anyone can succeed, I'll change my last name to theirs. Poison Prince's eyes turned red with anger. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Guild's instance, a raid team composed of thousands of well-trained special forces calmly surrounded and killed the boss. The boss's health has dropped below 10,000. The first kill should be secure. Cold Front said calmly. Just hunting a monster, for a battle-hardened special forces soldier, it's not a difficult task. Killing this boss is just a matter of time. In another half a minute, we should be able to get the first kill, the deputy officer reported. Lung Foam nodded. It was only natural for the official to take the first kill. He never thought that anyone could snatch the first kill from them. The nine major guilds were far behind. You won't last another half a minute. Lin Yan fought fiercely, his fighting spirit soaring. From the beginning, he knew that his biggest enemy was not the nine major guilds, but the eastern guild. And behind them was the official of the Xia Kingdom. Faster. Faster. 
Lin Yan kept slashing and fighting with Lu Wang. When Lu Wang had only 30,000 health left, it directly crushed the seal in its hand. The terrifying power of intimidation burst out, as if it could command life and death. A one-time control skill, Human King's Intimidation. Lin Yan's body was instantly suppressed by the immense power of life and death, unable to move a step. Oh no, Lin Yan is being controlled. Xin Yue's heart pounded as she tightly clenched her nails, sweat streaming down her face. Break free for me. Lin Yan didn't hesitate at all, directly crushing the control potion he had prepared in his hand. The Human King's intimidation could control him for 9 seconds. If he didn't break free in time, let alone snatching the first kill, with only 2000 armor left, the zombie Lu Wan would kill him in 9 seconds. The control potion could immunize him from control for 10 seconds. His body immediately regained its freedom. Lu Wan was stunned, obviously surprised that the guy he had controlled could suddenly move again. Chi Chi Chi. Stacking Waves 3 Strikes. Lin Yan's mana was depleted instantly after using Stacking Waves 3 Strikes. Stacking Blades. 4 strikes in 1 second, over 21,000 damage. Die. Lin Yan roared, swinging his stacked blades, the cold light piercing through the entire mountain. The 3 meter tall zombie Lu Wang was directly cut into 2 pieces by this strike. Boom. The zombie Lu Wang fell heavily to the ground, raising a cloud of dust. At the same moment, the system prompt followed closely. Congratulations on completing the newbie village boss first kill achievement. Congratulations on completing the hell dungeon boss first kill achievement. Congratulations, you have completed the hell dungeon boss solo first kill achievement. Your feat will be announced to the entire server. Do you want to hide your nickname? No. After seeing the words first kill, Lin Yan completely relaxed, exhaling a long breath, and firmly confirmed. The square was buzzing with discussions, almost all of them criticizing the game's absurd difficulty. After the top guilds like White Wolf Guild were eliminated, the criticism grew even louder. The knowledgeable gamers took the opportunity to write a post titled God Tier Boss Dungeon Difficulty is Insane, No One Can Clear It, which received overwhelming likes and high popularity. Five top guilds have already been eliminated. If things continue like this, there won't be a single person who clears it tonight. Heh, clear it? The dungeon that even my White Wolf Guild can't clear, there's no one in this world who can clear it. Poison Prince's face turned cold. Mu Qingwan also nodded slightly. The first kill tonight would determine the ranking of the top guilds in the future. As the behind-the-scenes boss of the White Wolf Guild, the Mu Family Consortium, she naturally didn't want to see other guilds succeed in their crusade. Just then, the sky above the square trembled. Everyone's gaze was drawn to it. A majestic voice resounded throughout, Congratulations to Player Flame Emperor for completing the Hell Dungeon Boss Solo First Kill Achievement. Reward, First Kill of Boss, Fine Equipment Asterisk 5, Rare Equipment Asterisk 1, Free Attribute Points, 10, Skill Book, 1, Healing Potion, 100, Silver Advanced Template, 1 Hell Boss First Kill Additional Reward, Fine Equipment Asterisk 15, Rare Equipment Asterisk 3, Epic Equipment Asterisk 1, Free Attribute Points, 50, Skill Book, 3, Control Release Potion, 5, Experience Potion, 5, Mana, Healing, Defense, Attack, Agility Potions Asterisk 100 each, Silver Advanced Template, 3 Solo Kill Additional Reward, Fine Equipment Asterisk 15, Rare Equipment Asterisk, 3, Epic Equipment Asterisk 1, Free Attribute Points, 50, Skill Book, 4, Control Release Potion, 5, Experience Potion, 10, Mana, Healing, Defense, Attack, Agility Potions Asterisk 100 each, Silver Advanced Template, 3 Let Players Know, Keep Up The Good Work, Create your own legend in the Divine Land world. After the majestic voice fell, the square fell into extreme silence. Every player who had conquered a dungeon was dumbfounded. Could it be that they had conquered a fake dungeon? This is simply impossible. Poison Prince's veins bulged. A thousand people went to conquer a normal difficulty dungeon and failed. Why can he solo kill a hell difficulty boss? Indeed unbelievable. Mu Qingwan looked at the large character's flame emperor in a daze, feeling very dreamlike. It's too outrageous soloing a boss even a normal difficulty boss has tens of thousands of health how terrifying is a hell difficulty dungeon is he really playing the same game as us these rewards are too generous it takes forever to read them my eyes are dazzled epic equipment skill books and advanced templates any one of them is a treasure that money can't buy not to mention epic equipment i haven't even seen what rare equipment looks like yes after a long silence the square exploded the originally desperate atmosphere turned into astonishment, shock, envy, and excitement. Lin Yan's success proved one thing, boss dungeons are not impassable. How did he succeed? Everyone was pondering. As long as they found out the secret of Lin Yan's success, they believed they could succeed too. I understand. 
The online gaming expert slapped his head, we misunderstood the mechanism of this dungeon from the beginning. Oh, many people looked over. The online gaming expert straightened his chest and proudly said, simply put, the mechanism of the divine land is likely this, the more people who conquer the dungeon, the higher the difficulty, and the stronger the monsters inside. Yes, many games are like this. We did overlook this point, no wonder he could conquer it successfully. Maybe when one person enters, the boss only has a few hundred health. That must be it. Immediately, many players rushed towards the entrance of the dungeon. However, before 10 seconds had passed, these players crawled out of the water with pale faces. Bullshit. Expert, you don't understand, don't talk nonsense. The monster's stats haven't decreased at all, I was torn to shreds by a group of zombies as soon as I entered. What? Impossible. If the difficulty of a dungeon faced by one person and a thousand people is the same, then he, the expert's face turned pale. The players fell into deep self-doubt. At this point, there seemed to be only one explanation left, he was cheating. While the players were scratching their heads, Lin Yan and Shen Yue were caught up in a hidden plot. Brother Lin Yan, the coffin moved. Shen Yue's face turned pale, could there be another problem? I clearly reminded about the first kill. Lin Yan's eyes lit up, finally, it's here. Gurgle. Blood gushed out from the coffin on Heart Lake Island, dyeing the entire underground lake red. A blood shadow rose from the coffin, surrounded by countless resentful souls, the terrifying aura suffocating. Upon closer inspection, it was the deceased King Lu. Finally, liberation. King Lu smiled and looked at Lin Yan with a world-weary gaze. He said, it was you who killed my zombie body, allowing my soul to escape from the sea of blood. As a token of gratitude, I entrust this life and death seal to you. With a wave of his hand, a large seal floated out from the blood coffin and landed in Lin Yan's hand. Lin Yan's eyes flashed with astonishment as he received the life and death seal. It's actually the life and death seal. It's said to be the most legendary treasure of King Lu. Unlike equipment, each treasure has its own unique function. This life and death seal is of extremely high quality. Its power is undeniable, even in the early, middle, and late stages of the game. Lin Yan opened the introduction of the life and death seal, life and death seal, unique treasure, a tribute, in camp, supreme underworld effect can transform undead into in soldiers and summon them to fight for oneself. In a fully awakened state, it can summon 100,000 in soldiers. When the in soldiers pass through, the living retreat and no grass grows. Current state, awakened, first time. It seems that in order to obtain it, I must fulfill the three conditions of solo, hell, and first kill. Lin Yan was amazed at the difficulty of triggering this. In his previous life, no one was able to perfect the beginner's village, so the life and death seal didn't appear until over a year later. It seems that my return has indeed caused a great change. Lin Yan put away the life and death seal. While it was a pleasant surprise, it wasn't what he had been waiting for. After I am liberated, it will appear within three days. Escape from the beginner's village, or you will die. King Lu's voice was low. This is a directional teleportation symbol. When your strength is sufficient, crush it to return. At that time, you may receive unexpected benefits. Remember, you only have one chance. I came here to kill it. I won't leave, Lin Yan smiled faintly. Ha! Huh? King Lu's dissipating figure suddenly solidified again. You actually know who it is. It seems that you are not an ordinary arrival. King Lu's gaze deepened as he tried to see through Lin Yan. Lin Yan did not deny it. Normally, the first stage of the beginner's village storyline would end here. King Lu's words were forcing players to leave the beginner's village within three days after clearing the instance. After advancing and reaching the limit of level 30 professionals, they could return using the teleportation symbol and encounter the hidden boss of the beginner's village, the Thousand Year Blood Corpse. However, no matter what secrets you have, they have nothing to do with me. King Lu brushed his sleeves. I have walked the path I should walk and guarded the way I should guard. From now on, the crown of righteousness will be left for me. Farewell. World. With a carefree smile, King Lu's figure gradually dissipated. Lin Yan frowned. Whether it was the gift of the life and death seal or King Lu's farewell, these were hidden storylines he had never heard of in his previous life. It completely exceeded his expectations. Could these two hidden storylines be related to the legendary Divine Bestowal template? Lin Yan pondered. After reaching level 9, in order to advance to level 10, one needed to obtain the advanced template and become a professional. The advanced template was divided into three grades, bronze, silver, and gold. The higher the grade of the template, the greater the improvements and growth potential after advancing. Above the gold grade, there was the legendary Divine Bestowal template. The Divine Bestowal template is of great importance. Only by using the Divine Bestowal template for each advancement can one become a true god. 
Lin Yan's gaze deepened. This was a top secret message he obtained in the starry sky battlefield. He was the only one in the current world who knew about it. There is indeed a divine bestowal template in the beginner's village, but I'm not sure how to obtain it specifically. Previously, I speculated that it was related to the seven special NPCs in the beginner's village, but now it seems that it may be related to these two hidden storylines. Lin Yan continued to contemplate. The divine bestowal template was his biggest plan in the beginner's village. This is my first move, only success is allowed, not failure. He took a deep breath and focused his thoughts. This battle was very dangerous, I almost died. I can't challenge the hidden boss right now, I need to go back and strengthen myself. There's only one chance to kill the hidden boss, using the teleportation symbol will consume it. Fortunately, the first kill reward this time is very generous. He counted his backpack, including the equipment dropped by the dungeon monsters, I obtained a total of 180 common equipment, 55 fine equipment, 9 rare equipment, and 2 epic equipment. Lin Yan looked at the 2 purple epic equipment. Getting 2 epic equipment at once, what a profit. He grinned. The drop rate for epic equipment is extremely low, killing the boss 10 times and getting 1 epic drop is considered lucky. Getting an epic drop in 1 go should be the bonus of the hell dungeon. This epic bow can be used as Yue's main weapon, as for the other equipment. Ha! Huh? It can actually form the gale set. Lin Yan was pleasantly surprised. The gale set is a divine set for archers in the early stages, directly increasing attack speed by 2. Among these rewarded equipment, he managed to gather two sets of beginner divine sets, a gale archer set and a white armor shield set. I'll give you this set. Lin Yan tossed the gale set to Shen Yue. Lin Yan, you were the one carrying me just now, I can't accept this set. Shen Yue didn't want to take it. Take it, in the future, you'll be a great help to me. Lin Yan patted her head with a smile. Really? Shun Yue was a bit skeptical. The difference in strength between her and Lin Yan was too great, she didn't think she could be of much help. But since Lin Yan said so, she chose to believe firmly. She didn't want to disappoint Lin Yan. Lin Yan didn't explain much either, he continued to look at his spoils. 110 free attribute points, all added to attack speed. With such a high attack value now, increasing attack speed would yield the highest benefits. Phew. He took a deep breath, after allocating these points, his attack speed reached 2. Increasing a warrior's attack speed requires a lot of attribute points. If these points were given to an archer, it could increase attack speed by at least 2 points. But he knew it was worth it. From now on, his damage output would double. 8 skill books? Lin Yan looked through them all, kept 4, and then threw 1 skill book to Xin Yue. Sell the rest. Skill books are precious in the early stages, they could probably fetch a good price. Learn. He took out a skill book called Flame Blade and started learning it. After a moment, he learned the Flame Blade skill. He opened the skill details, Flame Blade, 1 star, unleash a Flame Blade aura with a 5 meter attack range, dealing flame damage, 10% of attack value. After causing effective damage, it can inflict a 10 second burn on the target, dealing 10 points of damage per second. Mana cost, 9, cooldown, 30 seconds. Flame Blade aura, cool, must choose. Lin Yan smirked. Attack range is a pain point for warriors in the early stages, but combining the characteristics of the Magic Blade Thousand Blades with the Flame Blade skill almost makes up for it. Next up are potions. Lin Yan looked at the massive amount of potions in his backpack, except for mana potions, crowd control potions, and experience potions, he gave them all to Xin Yue. A bottle of ordinary health potion can only restore 100 health points. For the battles he would face next, it couldn't be considered a miraculous medicine, it was practically useless. I'm already level 9, just one step away from the Divine Bestowal Template. I need to quickly obtain the Divine Bestowal Template in advance to become a professional. After making up his mind, Lin Yan left the boss dungeon with Xin Yue. As soon as they arrived at the square, countless gazes fell upon them, filled with ardor, admiration, jealousy, and doubt. Congratulations, Lin Yan, for getting the first kill on the Divine Land boss. Mu Qingwan walked over gracefully, with a smile on her face. Compared to her coldness when they first met in the morning, she seemed like a completely different person. Now, besides you, only the Eastern Guild has achieved a second kill, the third kill has yet to appear. Lin Yan nodded, not surprised. The beginner village boss was originally supposed to appear in 10 days, but now most players can't even put together a set of ordinary equipment. If you want to defeat the boss, with the same number of people, you need at least a full set of excellent equipment to have a chance. You're so calm, tell me, how did you do it? If you're willing to tell me the secret, I'm willing to pay 1 million to buy it. The poison prince walked over, fanning himself with a folding fan, confident in his approach. As soon as the first kill announcement came out, 
he investigated Lin Yan, his parents were missing, leaving only him and his disabled younger brother at home. A poor college student who relied on playing online games to support his family, he probably had never seen what one million looked like in his dreams. The players all looked over, their eyes burning with desire. The secret? Lin Yan smiled. Do you really want to know? All right, then I'll tell you. The poison prince sneered inwardly. Who does he think he is? He'll be begging for mercy under my money in no time. Who who? Everyone's breathing became heavy, filled with anticipation. The top three players to kill the boss would receive a notice and a large amount of rewards, and the third place had not yet appeared. Everyone wanted to get the third kill. The secret is, I am strong enough. Lin Yan looked at the poison prince, whose face instantly turned cold. You dare to play with me. The poison prince clenched his fist tightly. And, I warned you, every time I see you, I will kill you. Lin Yan swung his sword, and a terrifying flame blade swept out. You. The poison prince widened his eyes, instantly cut in half by the blade, his body completely incinerated by the flames. Wow. Everyone was shocked by his powerful methods, and no player dared to speak out of turn. Mu Qingwan wanted to lecture Lin Yan, but when she saw his cold expression, she couldn't say a word. Her eyes were filled with complex emotions as she watched Lin Yan's figure until he left the square with Xin Yue. Wow, this Yan emperor is really ruthless. The vice president of the White Wolf Guild, he kills when he says he will. Clean and neat, without leaving any face. I've never heard of this Yan emperor before, it seems he's not a veteran expert on the heavenly or earthly rankings. Regardless, he has made a big name for himself today, I bet all the guilds can't sit still. As soon as he left the square, Lin Yan was forced offline and his consciousness was kicked back into reality. Is it because I'm too hungry that the helmet's forced logout function was triggered? Lin Yan's stomach growled, and his head felt dizzy. He looked at the time, it was already one in the morning. I haven't eaten all day, if I don't log out soon, I might faint from hunger. He ran to the refrigerator and ate three chocolate croissants, then cooked two packs of instant noodles for himself. Ah, much better. He ate a hot dog in one bite and slurped the noodles. Looks like I need to get a nutrient pod, if I use a nutrient pod to play games, I won't have to log out frequently to eat. The nutrient pod was a toy exclusively for the rich, with a price tag of up to 300,000. As a poor student who relied on playing online games to support his family, he naturally couldn't afford it. Ding! Lin Yan opened QQ and explained to the anxious Xin Yue why he suddenly went offline. Boss, is the Yan Emperor who got the first kill on the boss tonight you? It was a message from Fatty. Fatty's name was Duanda, he was his childhood friend, they had been playing online games together since they were young, so he was very familiar with his ID and it wasn't surprising that he recognized him. Yes, Lin Yan had no intention of hiding it. Fatty was also one of the core teammates he planned to cultivate. As childhood friends, he knew Duanda very well. Although this little Fatty liked to tell cheesy jokes, he was very loyal. When his younger brother broke his leg and needed surgery urgently, his parents disappeared, and it was Fatty who came up with 300,000 to help. Damn, boss, you're really a badass, you're amazing. I heard that the thousand-member raid teams of the nine major guilds were all wiped out. Fatty sent a voice message in shock. Did you just find out that I'm a badass today? Lin Yan teased. That's right, I just registered my account today. Boss, you have to take me along. The chubby guy was very excited. This game has been really popular lately. If we can get some good equipment, we can easily make a fortune. Lin Yan sighed with emotion. The chubby guy's family situation was also average, and like him, they were all students who had to consider supporting their families. Don't worry, stick with me, and I guarantee you'll live a good life, Lin Yan said seriously. After you go online, go to the trading market. The market manager is a blind monk. He likes to hear cold jokes, raise his favorability to two stars, and you can become his disciple. Become a disciple? Of an NPC in a newbie village? The chubby guy was a bit confused. Trust me, Lin Yan replied succinctly. Shin 2 was different from most games, the newbie village had many hidden plots. Every time a player advanced to a new level and returned to the newbie village, they would unlock new storylines. Although the blind monk and the other six special NPCs were just guardians of the newbie village, they were all experts. Alright, boss, I promise to complete the mission. Duan de grinned. Someone actually wanted to listen to his cold jokes? Even if there was no reward, he would still do it. After chatting for a while, Lin Yan shut down his computer and went to sleep. The next morning, Lin Yan went to the living room. His younger brother, Lin Feng, had already woken up and prepared a table full of breakfast. Why did you make breakfast? Shouldn't I be the one doing it? Lin Yan looked at the weak teenager in the wheelchair inside. His younger brother was too strong-willed. Even though he was in a wheelchair, he would never let others do what he could do. 
Lin Feng grinned, brother, I'm also a member of this family. Shouldn't I do some household chores? Do you have class today? Lin Yan asked helplessly. Although Lin Feng was disabled, he never gave up on his studies. With his current grades, he could easily get into a top university. I don't have class on Sundays, but I plan to relax by doing some math problems, Lin Feng said. Oh, Lin Yan waved his hand, since you don't have class, then don't study. Ha, huh? Lin Feng was confused, if I don't study, then what should I do? Of course, play games, Lin Yan said naturally. Lin Feng excelled in math and science, making him a natural-born mage. In the previous life, when the game became a reality, he had never played games before, but he was able to comprehend forbidden-level spells in just three days. If he hadn't started late and had a low level, Lin Feng could have been his core teammate. Such a monstrous genius must not be buried. Play games? Lin Feng doubted if he was hearing things, brother, is our family short on money again? I earn some money from part-time tutoring, and I'll get paid next week. Lin Yan shook his head, what I mean is, you don't have to worry about the college entrance exam anymore. Focus on playing games with me. Ha! Huh? Lin Feng blinked, unable to react for a moment, brother, I can definitely get into Tsinghua with my grades. Only then can I truly change our family's destiny. Not taking the college entrance exam. Lin Yan's expression turned serious, what I'm about to tell you next, you can't mention it to anyone else. Seeing this, Lin Feng also calmed down. His older brother had always been a reliable support, so he must have his reasons for doing this. Lin Yan briefly explained the upcoming game that was about to be released. I have never lied to you before, and it's the same this time. Digest the information I've given you first, and come find me after you make a decision. After Lin Yan finished speaking, he returned to his computer room. He believed that with Lin Feng's exceptional intelligence and trust in him, he would definitely make the right choice. Back in the game world, as soon as Lin Yan arrived at the trading market to set up his stall and collect equipment, he was recognized. Emperor Yan. He's Emperor Yan? Someone's mouth dropped open. The person who got the world's first kill on a boss is actually here buying low-level equipment? The players quickly crowded around, making it impossible to move. Emperor Yan, can I take a picture with you? Emperor Yan, how did you manage to get the first kill? The players were all talking at once. Lin Yan's face turned dark. Are you selling whiteboard equipment or not? I've seen Emperor Yen constantly acquiring whiteboard equipment before. Maybe his strength is related to this. Is there a secret hidden in the whiteboard equipment? Someone started to stir up trouble, and as soon as this speculation came out, players instantly became cautious about their whiteboard equipment. Boss Yen, if you don't honestly reveal the secret inside, we won't easily sell our only set of whiteboard equipment. The leader, a man with a hood, said sarcastically. Ha! Huh? Lin Yan recognized the man with the hood. He was a skilled member of the White Wolf Guild, who was always by the side of the Poison Prince. He immediately understood that the White Wolf Guild was causing trouble, and it would be difficult to buy whiteboard equipment in the future. After realizing this, he turned around and left. He needed to focus on getting stronger and had no mood to argue here. If you're willing to pay 10 gold coins for a piece of whiteboard equipment, I'm still willing to sell it. The man with the hood continued to provoke, his face full of mockery. This was both provocation and a test. If Lin Yan really agreed to buy whiteboard equipment for 10 gold coins, it would prove that there was indeed a big secret inside. You're dead, Lin Yan coldly glanced at him and walked away. Emperor Yan, are you joking? This is the trading market. Do you dare to attack me? The man with the hood acted recklessly. His task was to test and provoke Lin Yan. If Lin Yan killed him, then the blind monk would naturally take action to kill Lin Yan. If Lin Yan was killed, it would indirectly avenge the Poison Prince. As for Lin Yan counter-killing an NPC? That shouldn't be possible, right? What's there to be afraid of? Lin Yan swung his sword, and a wave of fiery blade energy swept out, instantly turning the man with the hood into ashes, with his remains scattered in the air. What a cool move. And it even has a flame blade special effect. It feels like he's playing a completely different game than me. The Flame Emperor is too impulsive, he's done for. Although he's strong, he doesn't understand restraint. He won't be able to make it big. Does he really want to fight against NPCs? Many people were amazed by Lin Yan's move, but there were also many who sneered, thinking that Lin Yan was in big trouble. Lin Yan calmly walked towards the exit of the trading market, with all the players following him to watch the excitement. At the exit, the blind monk sat leisurely, collecting tickets. When he sensed Lin Yan coming out, he only raised his eyelids slightly, without any reaction. What the hell? Is there a bug? Admin, he just killed someone in the market. You should punish him. Those who wanted to see Lin Yan's joke were getting anxious. We paid to ensure the safety of the trading market. 
Now this kid kills someone and you don't care. What's the use of you? I won't dare to come to the trading market anymore. The members of the White Wolf Guild took the opportunity to set the tone. Noisy. The blind monk frowned and swept his staff. A terrifying storm instantly descended, accurately striking all the players who were setting the tone, instantly killing them, their souls returning to the spring water. Everyone was dumbfounded. What the hell was going on? Lin Yan sneered inwardly. Did he think he could scheme against him in the Divine Land? He had already raised the blind monk's favorability to one star. With one star favorability, he only killed someone who had provoked him in the market. The blind monk would never lay a hand on him. He just killed someone who deserved to be killed. The blind monk took a sip of tea and said lightly, a waste who actively provokes a strong person and gets killed. Does he deserve to cry injustice? Gurgle. The players were dumbfounded. This NPC was clearly favoring Lin Yan. The flame emperor is too terrifying, his strength is unfathomable, even the NPCs are on his side. Can't afford to provoke him. Let's get out of here. The crowd in the trading market dispersed. After thanking the blind monk, Lin Yan left. Just as he found a secluded place to fuse his equipment, a sense of danger made him alert. He looked towards the bushes in front of him and said, come out. The bald man walked out from behind the bushes. It was Lung Fong from the Eastern Guild. He was surprised and said, indeed, you are the flame emperor. Your perception ability is truly powerful. Do you have something to say? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. It would become difficult to buy blank equipment in the future, which made him somewhat unhappy. As the person who single-handedly killed the hell boss for the first time, your potential has been recognized by the higher-ups. As long as you join the Eastern Guild, you can get a million-year salary contract, plus a 100-square-meter fully furnished apartment in the second ring of the capital. Lang Fong paused for a moment. And we can contact the National Hospital's doctor to treat your brother's broken leg. Lin Yan's heart moved when he heard the last part. A million-year salary plus an apartment in the capital would be enough to completely change his family's financial situation. The opportunity to have his brother's leg treated was also something that couldn't be easily obtained. However, in the end, he shook his head. With his current growth speed, making money was easy. As for his brother's broken leg, he had his own way to treat it. It was not the best time to deepen his contact with the Eastern Guild. All right. Lang Fong showed a regretful expression. He had high hopes for Lin Yan. Since you don't agree, let's not talk about signing a contract for now. I came to discuss another matter with you. Hmm, please go ahead. Lin Yan nodded. I know that you have been buying blank equipment. But after your first kill, news of the secret hidden in the blank equipment spread, and no one is willing to sell anymore. Long Fong smiled. But you can consider buying from our Eastern Guild. Lin Yan's eyes lit up. That's a good proposal. How much do you want to buy? Lang Fong is very confident. He represents the official authority of the Xia Kingdom, and the amount of whiteboard equipment he has in storage is astonishing. I need as much as you have, Lin Yan grinned. Lung Fong was taken aback, clearly surprised. That's a big appetite. It seems that there are indeed secrets in this whiteboard equipment, Lin Yan said without hesitation. Lung Fong nodded, indeed, but they are only useful to me. Lung Fong replied, since we are here to do business, we won't pry into your secrets, but we won't make a loss either. Two gold coins for a set of whiteboard equipment, that's our offer. One gold coin for two sets, Lin Yan countered. Right now, we are your only channel, Lung Fong shook his head, refusing to negotiate. One gold coin can only exchange for one set of whiteboard equipment, which is completely meaningless to me, Lin Yan shook his head and turned to leave. Two gold coins are the price of a green attack equipment, with a fusion attack plus 10. If I exchange for a set of whiteboard equipment, it's equivalent to three novice long swords, with a fusion attack plus 15. The fusion time will also be doubled or tripled, resulting in a loss. It's better to directly fuse with green equipment. Wait, we can discuss it again. Long Foam relented. After a tug of war, Lin Yan finally negotiated a deal for two gold coins and three sets of novice equipment. One green equipment for two gold coins, with an attack plus 10. Exchanging for three sets of novice equipment is equivalent to an attack plus 45, which is a huge profit. Lin Yan smiled slightly and showed the equipment he wanted to sell to Lung Fong. So many. Lung Fong was shocked. He guessed that Lin Yan had a lot of equipment, but it was even more than he had imagined. These equipment, according to market prices, are worth about 600 gold coins. Tomorrow, I will bring 900 sets of novice equipment for warriors here to trade with you. And these four skill books, I'll sell them to you for 50 gold coins, all exchanged for novice bows and arrows. Lin Yan displayed the four skill books. This is even better. Lang Fong paused for a moment, feeling a little embarrassed. 
I don't know about the silver advance template you obtained. I have no intention of selling that, Lin Yan flatly refused. He had his own plans and arrangements for the silver template. All right, Lung Feng sighed, the advanced template was now priceless in the market. In the entire Divine Land, only he and Lin Yan had the advanced template. Whoever had the template could advance one step ahead, which was of great significance. Moreover, what Lin Yan had was an extremely rare silver template. If he was willing to sell it, the Eastern Guild would even be willing to buy it at a high price. Then I'll go back and report first, goodbye. Lung Feng waved his hand and disappeared with a few steps. When there is a will, there is a way. Things will turn for the better. Lin Yan was in a great mood. He sat down and prepared to further fuse the equipment. Rare and epic equipment had inherent attribute bonuses or attributes, so he didn't plan to exchange them for whiteboard equipment and kept them all. This is the first time I'm fusing epic equipment. Lin Yan's eyes showed anticipation. Let's start fusing. Lin Yan held two pieces of epic equipment in his hands. One was a chestplate, and the other was a bow and arrow. He planned to fuse the bow and arrow as the main weapon for Xin Yu Wei. Since each equipment could only be fused into one final artifact, he couldn't fuse any defense equipment for Xin Yu Wei. Buzz. After a full 10 minutes, the fusion of the epic equipment was finally completed. He opened the detailed information of the golden silk armor, golden silk armor, whiteboard armor plus 6550, physical defense plus 10, magic defense plus 10, counter damage plus 181. Special features, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, silk wrap, when attacked, reduces enemy attack speed by 10%, heart protection, immune to 30% of physical attacks on the heart, armor recovery, when armor value is less than 20%, recovers 20% of armor, cooldown time 1 hour. Indeed, the attributes of the epic equipment can be fully inherited. Lin Yan was very excited. The two attributes of the epic chestplate, heart protection and armor recovery, were fully inherited. In addition, he also added 1000 armor to him, and his physical and magical defense both reached 10 points. You should know that his overall armor has exceeded 10,000. Just adding one attribute to his armor is equivalent to him having an additional 2000 armor in battle. This greatly enhances his defense and endurance capabilities. Continue to fuse. Previously, he purchased a total of 3000 blank equipment from the looting thieves. After fusing over a thousand pieces, there are now less than 2000 pieces left. He plans to use all the remaining time today to fuse them. With the sunrise and sunset, a day quickly passes. Except for going offline to eat, Lin Yan uses all his time to fuse equipment. Finally fused all the defense equipment. Lin Yan breathes a sigh of relief. The golden silk armor and golden silk pants have all evolved. He opens the equipment details, soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 11,950, Physical defense plus 13, magical defense plus 13, counterattack plus 200 special features, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, entangling threads, when attacked, reduces enemy attack speed by 20%, heart protection, immune to 50% of physical attacks targeting the heart, armor recovery, when armor value is below 30%, recovers 30% of armor, cooldown time of 1 hour, poison armor, Armor has poison attribute, enemies within a 3 meter range have a chance to be poisoned, once poisoned, movement speed is reduced by 15%, and 50 points of health is deducted per second. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 10,200, physical defense plus 2, magical defense plus 2, counterattack plus 110 special features, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, entangling threads, when attacked, reduces enemy attack speed by 20%, poison armor. Armor has poison attribute, enemies within a 5 meter range have a chance to be poisoned, once poisoned, movement speed is reduced by 15%, and 50 points of health is deducted per second. All the special features have been upgraded, defense and armor greatly improved. Lin Yan smiles with satisfaction. Over time, fuse the remaining attack weapons before having dinner. Soon, he fuses the remaining 100 pieces of warrior weapons into the magic blade thousand blades, and then helps Shen Yue fuse her main weapon. Busy with this, it is already past 10 o'clock at night. Finally, all the fusions are complete. Lin Yan breathes a sigh of relief. He opens his own attribute page, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 Health, 400, Armor, 28470 Attack, 5735, Armor Penetration, 300, Physical Resistance, 23, Magical Resistance, 17, Movement Speed, 1, Attack Speed, 2, Mana, 40 Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 11,950, physical defense plus 13, magical defense plus 13, counterattack plus 200, soft hedgehog pants, 
White, Armor plus 10,200, Physical Defense plus 2, Magical Defense plus 2, Counterattack plus 110, Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White, Attack plus 5,710, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 3rd Tier, Skills, 3 Waves of Blades, 1 Star, Flame Blade, 1 Star, Abilities, None Treasure, Life and Death Seal. These values, in the previous life, I wouldn't even dare to think about them. Lin Yin feels refreshed and full of security. However, I must be cautious when fighting hidden bosses. I'll challenge them after fusing all the equipment from the Eastern Guild tomorrow. Just as he takes off his helmet, he sees his younger brother, Lin Feng, sitting across from him. Brother, are you hungry? Lin Feng hands over the prepared dinner. Hmm. Lin Yan takes the dinner and starts eating. Have you thought about it? I've made up my mind. I believe in your choice, brother. Lin Feng nods. I've already placed an order, and the gaming helmet will arrive tomorrow, then I'll start playing. You're my good little brother. Lin Yan pats Lin Feng's shoulder. Why bother with Tsinghua University? Playing games is the future. Lin Feng and Lin Yan exchange glances and burst into laughter. In perfect harmony, they exclaim, study? What a joke. There's one more thing. Lin Feng looks a little embarrassed. What is it? Lin Yan raises an eyebrow. I'm not an online part-time tutor. My student wants to come to my house. Lin Feng scratched his head. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, let her come. Lin Yan instantly thought of the appearance of a girl and laughed heartily. But she's a girl. I've only seen her through online video. Is it okay for her to come directly to the house? Lin Feng felt a bit awkward. Although he was a science prodigy, he knew nothing about love and relationships. There's nothing wrong with that, a warm welcome. Lin Yan patted his younger brother's shoulder and stood up after tidying up the dishes. I'm full and tired, time to sleep. Hey, bro, I haven't told you her name yet, she's called Chu Qingxian. Got it. Lin Yan naturally knew her name, after all, she was his future sister. He returned to his bedroom and opened the game's message list. There were many friend requests. After careful consideration, he accepted these friend requests and logged out, then went to sleep. The next morning, he glanced at the message list. Brother Yen, you're really popular now. As long as you agree to sign with my Starry Sky Guild, you'll receive a 3 million signing fee plus a 37% live streaming contract. Big Brother Yen, the Frost Guild is willing to offer a 5 million signing fee to sign with you. We, the Azure Dragon Guild, are the top of the nine major guilds. As long as you join us, we'll offer a 10 million signing fee. These were all messages from various guilds trying to recruit him, but the most eye-catching was the last one, Big Brother Yen, join our Vermilion Bird Guild. It's full of beautiful girls, joining the guild means finding a partner, and we'll also give you a 5 million signing fee. They're all generous, but unfortunately, I'm not interested in any of them. Lin Yen shook his head. His ambitions and aspirations were not something these guilds could accommodate. Otherwise, he would have chosen the Eastern Guild long ago. After all, even the highest bid from the Azure Dragon Guild, offering a 10 million signing fee, couldn't compare to the value of the set of luxury apartments in the second ring of the capital city that the Eastern Guild offered. It seems like I'm really popular. Lin Yen scrolled through the webpage. The popularity of his solo kill of the Hell Boss was fully displayed now, even making it to the headlines and hot searches. Many players were discussing topics about him. After all, he single-handedly surpassed the thousand-man raid teams of the nine major guilds. Who wouldn't be curious about how he achieved such an extraordinary record? But this is just one part of my plan. I need fame, the more popular the better. After looking for a while, Lin Yan started logging into the game world, I should go find Cold Front for equipment. Lin Yin Square in the beginner's village. All the equipment you wanted is here. Cold Front said. A pleasant cooperation. Lin Yan counted them and smiled satisfactorily. The transaction is complete. I'll take my leave. If you want to join the Eastern Guild, be sure to contact me as soon as possible. Cold Front said, now that we've defeated the boss, we'll also go to the main city to develop. Lin Yan showed a subtle smile. Defeat the boss and then go to the main city? That's underestimating the plot arrangement of the game world. Although he knew what was going to happen next, Lin Yan didn't remind him, he just left after collecting the equipment. 900 sets of warrior equipment plus hundreds of bows and arrows. Lin Yan worked hard and spent the whole day integrating them all. His strength soared once again. He opened the attribute panel, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 HP, 400, Armor, 44670 Attack, 9325, Armor Penetration, 300, Physical Resistance, 23, Magic Resistance, 17, Movement Speed, 1, Attack Speed, 2, Mana, 40 Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 20,050, 
Physical Defense plus 13, Magic Defense plus 13, Counter Damage plus 200, Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 18,300, Physical Defense plus 2, Magic Defense plus 2, Counter Damage plus 110, Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White, Attack plus 9,300, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 3rd Tier, Skills, Wave Stacking 3 Blades, 1 Star, Flame Blade, 1 Star, Abilities, None Treasure, Life and Death Seal. Armor is about to reach 50,000, Attack Power is close to 10,000. Lin Yen estimated, now the attack power is definitely excessive, but the armor and HP are not optimistic. The hidden boss in the novice villages instance normally requires advancement to, professional, and reaching close to level 30 to have a chance to form a team and strategize. Having less than 50,000 HP and armor is still somewhat unstable. Lin Yen pondered. Although he could continuously kill monsters and stack up armor over time, he was actually very pressed for time. Because only by defeating the hidden boss could the hidden mainline of the novice village be unlocked. Only by clearing the hidden mainline could he obtain the legendary divine template. Without obtaining the divine template, he would be stuck at level 9 unable to advance. Indeed. It's too difficult to advance for the first time using the divine template, Lin Yen fell silent. After a long time, the confusion in his eyes gradually dissipated, and his gaze became completely determined. Some things must be done. The ultimate goal of the divine land is ultimately to become a god. If he slowed down his advancement speed and was not strong enough when the starry sky battlefield opened, Xin Yue's tragedy would inevitably repeat itself. He couldn't accept losing Xin Yue again. Only by becoming a true god can there be hope to single-handedly reverse the starry sky battlefield. If in the end, I can only be a faith god, or a position god, saying that I can change the fate of humanity would be nothing more than a pipe dream. Lin Yan clenched his fists tightly, his eyes burning with flames. In this life, he didn't want to see anyone he cared about die again. He wanted to protect Xin Yue and his younger brother, protect Fatty, protect Xia country and even the Earth civilization. After his thoughts became clear, he made up his mind. He would go and strategize the hidden instance tonight. After making up his mind, he sent a team invitation message to Xin Yue. Which instance are we going to clear this time? I'm already prepared. Xin Yue was very excited and eager to try. Do you remember when I said I would give you a gift? Lin Yan smiled slightly. Of course. I've been looking forward to it for two days. Xin Yue blinked her bright eyes. The two of them had always teamed up to play online games before and had also exchanged gifts with each other. Every time she received a gift from Lin Yan, she was very happy. I'm giving you this bow and arrow. Lin Yan presented the fused bow and arrow to Xin Yue. Such a beautiful bow. Xin Yue couldn't let go of it as soon as she saw it. Although this bow emitted white light and should only be a blank weapon, as long as it was given by Lin Yan, she cherished it like a treasure. Equip it quickly. Lin Yan smiled. Ha! Huh? Shouldn't my current weapon be better than this? Xin Yue was a little puzzled, but still equipped it. Is this a unique equipment? Once equipped, it can't be taken off. Lin Yan nodded, yes. Xin Yue became even more suspicious, but still chose to equip it. Oh my god. After opening the attribute panel, she exclaimed, her mouth forming an O shape. This, Moonlight Bao, is so powerful. It increased my attack power by more than 5,000. Xin Yue couldn't believe it. This kind of weapon could be called a peerless divine weapon at the current stage. No one could withstand an arrow, as long as you like it. Lin Yan smiled slightly. He collected a total of thousands of bows and arrows, allowing Xin Yue's bow and arrow to undergo a second evolution, not inferior to his thousand blade magic sword. Take this life and death seal first. Lin Yan threw the life and death seal to Xin Yue. As a long range archer, with the summoning of undead guardians by the life and death seal, it compensates for the shortcomings in close combat. With this bright moon bow, your overall combat power will be quite impressive. Such a powerful treasure. Xin Yue was very surprised after checking the function of the life and death seal. It can summon hundreds of elite zombies at once. With the bright moon bow, I even doubt if I can solo the boss dungeon. Lin Yan smiled knowingly, that's exactly what I want you to do. Ha! Huh? Xin Yue was stunned. I will go to the hidden dungeon next, and you can use this time to challenge the boss dungeon and get the triple kill reward. Lin Yan explained his plan. With the life and death seal, Xin Yue would definitely find it easy to challenge the Lu Palace in normal difficulty. After all, in the normal dungeon, the Lu King only had 30,000 health and armor, which couldn't withstand the damage of 5,000 per arrow. But the hidden dungeon he was going to was an advanced nightmare dungeon, which was extremely dangerous for Xin Yue. He would be too busy to take care of Xin Yue. Therefore, he came up with this plan to maximize the rewards. 
Didn't the Liu King say that we should challenge the hidden boss after advancing to the professional level? Xin Yuwei tucked her hair behind her ear and said, It would be very dangerous to go now. Don't worry, I'm confident. Lin Yan patted Xin Yuwei's head. According to the plan, let's split up. Yes, sir. Xin Yuwei saluted and said seriously, I promise to complete the mission. After sending Xin Yuwei into the Lu Palace dungeon, Lin Yan's expression became serious. He took out a teleportation scroll without hesitation and activated it. Buzz. His body was enveloped by the power of space and instantly returned to the heart island of the Lu Palace. But this time, there was another path on the heart island. That path led to a huge bronze gate hundreds of meters tall. He walked up to the bronze gate, and behind it, he could faintly hear the sound of miserable wailing. Blood gushed out through the cracks in the bronze gate, emitting a pungent and eerie smell. Open. He slashed with his sword, and the sword energy blasted open the slightly closed bronze gate. Blood rushed out from behind the gate, like a river. The underground lake instantly turned red, and the howls of the water ghosts echoed in the mountain. Lin Yan's gaze became firm, and he stepped into the bronze gate. As soon as he stepped in, the bronze gate closed with a loud bang. Looking ahead, there was a path leading to the yellow springs, with graves on both sides. At the same time as the bronze gate closed, these graves cracked open one by one, and terrifying figures crawled out slowly from them. Indeed powerful. Lin Yan's gaze became serious as he examined the monsters crawling out of the graves. These skeletons wearing mottled armor were surrounded by blood mist, and their eyes flickered with red ghost fire. Burial Ground Bone Fiend, 2nd Rank Elite, Level, 29 Health, 18,600 Armor, 1,900 Attack, 200 Physical Resistance, 50 Magical Resistance, 30 Skills, Corpse Poison, Passive, Bloodthirst, Corpse Cheek Corrosion, Tear Bite, Frenzy, Bone Fiend Blade Dance, Bone Spike, Blood Mist Ghost Fire, Bone Fiend Curse. Come on! Lin Yan's fighting spirit boiled, and he rushed towards the Bone Fiends. The Bone Fiends laughed coldly, seemingly mocking Lin Yan's mere level 9. One bone fiend reached out its hand coldly, and blood mist ghost fire burned and spewed out. If a normal level 9 player touched this ghost fire, it would turn to ashes in less than 5 seconds. Die! Lin Yan moved subtly, avoiding the blood mist ghost fire at the limit distance. Chi chi chi! Two slashes in one second, with the stacking blade technique, he slashed three times in one second, dealing over 20,000 points of explosive damage. The powerful bone fiend was killed in an instant. The Bone Fiends were obviously shocked and all focused on this seemingly weak but extremely terrifying human. These Bone Demons rushed forward, launching the Bone Demon Blade Dance and Bone Spike simultaneously. Lin Yan displayed his intricate footwork and plunged into the group of Bone Demons. The dancing Bone Blades filled every inch of space around him, but he was always able to dance on the edge of the blades, perfectly avoiding all attacks. How is this possible? The Bone Demon's eyes were filled with disbelief. Those who block me shall die. The Demon Blade Thousand Blades transformed into a sword umbrella at times, and at other times, it cunningly slashed, killing all the approaching Bone Demons. A large number of experienced pearls surged towards Lin Yen, but since he couldn't absorb them, they eventually turned into physical objects and were collected into his backpack. Step by step, he walked on the road to the underworld, stepping on the bones of the Bone Demons, moving forward. Rest assured, leave your soul here. At the end of the road to the underworld, a three meter tall, emaciated zombie stepped forward. Green corpse poison rose from its body, causing the yellow spring's flowers within a radius of 10 meters to wither. Obviously, the toxicity was extremely strong. Behind it, three floating undead surrounded it, emitting a chilling frost that froze souls. Hmm. Lin Yan focused his senses to investigate. Buried corpse green zombie, second rank commander, level, 29 HP, 150,600 armor, 16,000 attack power, 350 physical resistance, 80 magical resistance, 50 skills, corpse poison, passive, poison flow burst, corpse cheek corrosion, tear bite, frenzy, copper skin iron bones, bathing in poison armor, chaotic poison mist, green zombie curse, poison flow charge, corpse dissolution assimilation. Buried Corpse Undead, 2nd Rank Elite, Level, 29 HP, 24,000 Armor, 15,000 Attack Power, 250 Physical Resistance, 30 Magical Resistance, 60 Skills, Frost Soul Transformation, Soul Freeze, Undead Mist, Frost Ray, Shared Vision, Same Source Devouring, Death Impact, Undead Tear. Green Zombie. Lin Yan's Heart Stirred. Green Zombies were already considered rare types of zombies in the ancient legends of the Xia Kingdom. They were immensely powerful and extremely evil, with almost no weaknesses except for sunlight. There are also three undead accompanying it. It seems I have to take it seriously. Lin Yan's expression became serious. This green zombie, leading three undead, had a combat power that could definitely rival the King of Lu. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. 
The three undead rushed forward, spewing frost and mist at him. Reduced vision, weakened reaction speed, attack speed reduced to 1. 5. Lin Yan activated his flame blade, and the flames instantly illuminated the front, dispelling the mist and frost. As his vision was restored, the palm of the green zombie, sharp as a knife, stabbed towards him. Clang! Unable to dodge in time, he immediately swung his blade to block. Step, 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 step. The tremendous force from the blade pushed him back more than 10 steps. Indeed, it has immense strength. Lin Yan checked his HP. He completely blocked the attack, but the impact damage alone caused him to lose a hundred points of armor. Minus 100, minus 100. Not good, I've been contaminated by the corpse poison. Lin Yan frowned. The green zombie's corpse poison was too strong, and as long as he got within 10 meters, he would be contaminated. I must finish this quickly. His gaze became serious, and he swung his long blade. The three waves three blades combined with the stacked blades, pouring out explosive damage onto the green zombie's head, instantly leaving several gashes on its forehead. Minus 9100, minus 8900, minus 9300, minus 8999 enormous damage numbers continuously appeared above the green zombie's head. Roar! The green zombie was filled with shock and anger, spewing a curse symbol that hit Lin Yan's chest. Boom! It roared. The toxins and curse symbols on Lin Yan's body exploded together, instantly blasting away over a thousand points of his armor. Damn beast! Lin Yan's eyes completely turned cold, you think you're the only one who can play with poison? He approached and engaged in battle with the green zombie. The three undead continuously spewed frost and mist, disturbing his fight. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Lin Yan merged with his blade, slashing with his sword energy, and flames soared into the sky. The green zombie's attacks could only cause impact damage to him, but he could accurately find the most cunning angles, breaking through the green zombie's defense with every strike, hitting its vital points. The toxic properties of the soft hedgehog armor and soft hedgehog pants were both activated, causing the green zombie to fall into a poison state. With continuous bleeding and explosive output from Lin Yan, the skull of the green zombie was sent flying. Plop! The green zombie's body fell to the ground, and green brain matter spilled all over the place. The three undead creatures scattered in a panic and quickly disappeared from sight. Lin Yan didn't chase after them because this place was already the end of the road to the underworld. Beyond the end was a blood river that stretched for hundreds of meters. Since he hadn't unlocked the flying skill yet, he had no way to pursue them. Just as he was contemplating how to cross the river, a hoarse and elderly voice came from behind, Young man, are you the only one crossing the river? Lin Yan turned his gaze and saw a lonely boat slowly approaching the riverbank. An old man wearing a raincoat was paddling the boat, with a kind smile and cloudy eyes. That's right, Lin Yan nodded. It seemed that if he wanted to go to the other side, he could only take this boat. If you want to ride my boat to the other side, you need to agree to a condition first, the ferryman said hoarsely. What is it? Lin Yan asked calmly. The hidden instance had an extremely high difficulty level, and hardly anyone had succeeded, so there were no relevant strategies circulating. When he first advanced, he came to challenge it and died directly on the road to the underworld, without triggering the ferryman's plot. The hidden instance can only be cleared once, so every decision must be made with extreme caution, Lin Yan thought to himself. I have been trapped here for many years. If you can kill the blood corpse and give me its intact skull, then I can leave this place. The ferryman said in a deep voice. An additional task? Lin Yan speculated with a frown. Many instances had additional requirements, and if these requirements were completed, they would receive more rewards. The head of the blood corpse was likely its weak point. If he wanted to keep the skull intact, he couldn't attack the head of the blood corpse during the battle, which would increase the difficulty of clearing the instance. All right, Lin Yan nodded. This additional condition was not difficult for him. Then, get on the boat. The ferryman grinned. Out of caution, Lin Yan investigated the old man's information, ferryman of the burial ground? No information found? He looked deeply at the ferryman. This old man was not simple. Although he didn't know how the other party managed to block the investigation, it was always wise to be cautious when encountering such a mysterious presence in a hidden instance. He gripped the handle of his knife and stepped onto the lonely boat. Why were you trapped here? Lin Yan asked tentatively. The Divine Land was a real world with many hidden mechanisms that needed to be actively discovered in order to uncover them. He he. The old man's expression stiffened, then he sighed, this is a very long story. This river is wide enough, I think I have time to listen to this story. Lin Yan said calmly. The old man squinted and smiled, it's been a long time since I've met such a patient young person. Then I will tell you. Everyone knows that there are true gods in this world. Thousands of years ago, King Lu, because he believed in the lord of the underworld, 
was bestowed with a treasure, the life and death seal. The life and death seal can reverse life and death. Once a undead creature obtains it, their strength will skyrocket. The former undead king, Evil Chi, was one of the powerful beings who coveted the life and death seal. It commanded the undead army and invaded the kingdom of Lu. In order to resist the undead army, King Lu went to the underground palace with his nine trusted subordinates to activate the life and death seal. But during the activation of the life and death seal, King Lu was betrayed by a despicable traitor. The traitor contaminated the life and death seal with the blood of the undead king. The contaminated life and death seal went into a frenzy, constantly transforming living beings into undead creatures, causing countless deaths and plunging the kingdom of Lu into a disaster. The traitor spread rumors, saying that King Lu intentionally caused the disaster in order to resist evil Qi, with the goal of absorbing death energy to enhance the power of the life and death seal. Oh, Lin Yan suddenly realized. No wonder when King Lu handed him the life and death seal, he said, I have already walked the path I should walk, and I have guarded the way I should guard. From now on, the righteous crown will be preserved for me. It turns out that there is a grievance involved. Lin Yan nodded, gradually sorting out his thoughts. However, he furrowed his brow slowly, feeling like he had missed some crucial point. What happened next? Afterwards, faced with internal and external troubles, the king of Lu had no choice but to sacrifice himself along with his eight loyal followers for the sake of the people and righteousness, the old man continued to narrate. They opened up their own hearts, using their blood to cleanse the contaminated life and death seal. Before his death, the king of Lu used his final strength to kill all the enemies with the life and death seal. And those enemies who couldn't be killed in time were also sealed here. Lin Yan fell silent. The eight loyal followers should be the final boss, the armored white zombies guarding the bronze coffin of the King of Lu. However, this old man must be hiding something. He furrowed his brow. The story before the King of Lu's sacrifice was very detailed, but the story after his sacrifice was quickly summarized in one sentence. The story is over. What does it have to do with you being trapped? Lin Yan's mind was calm, and he asked directly. The old man chuckled, I am the king of Lu's younger brother, voluntarily helping him guard this sealed world. My mission is to wait for powerful adventurers to come and help them kill the sealed undead. After completing the mission, I can leave here. That makes sense, Lin Yan nodded slightly. The old man's identity was the biggest doubt and the key to solving the puzzle. But there was no way to verify whether he was really the king of Lu's younger brother or not. He gripped the hilt of his sword, continuously organizing his thoughts. We've reached the center of the river. The old man's face became solemn, filled with nostalgia. This is the boundary between life and death. My brother placed the life and death seal here to balance Yin and Yang. He glanced at Lin Yan and noticed that he remained unmoved, suddenly showing a righteous expression on his face. Adventurer, if you want to defeat the blood corpse, the life and death seal is an indispensable power. The life and death seal is at the bottom of the lake, and only you can retrieve it. For the sake of the people and righteousness, everything is entrusted to you. At this moment, Lin Yan's heart was calm, and he even wanted to laugh. Go on, keep acting. The King of Lu had already entrusted him with the life and death seal, as the only treasure, there wouldn't be a second life and death seal in the Divine Land. This old man was clearly lying to lure him into the lake. To see through the lies, the key is not to find logical loopholes in this old man's words, but to perfectly clear the Lu King's palace instance. Lin Yan fully understood everything. No wonder hardly anyone in his past life could pass the hidden instance. Adventurer, do you really think you have enough strength to defeat the terrifying thousand-year blood corpse without relying on the life and death seal? The old man shouted urgently, his face filled with anxiety. Seeing that Lin Yan still didn't react, the old man sighed, arrogant adventurer, here you only have two choices. One is to go down the lake and retrieve the life and death seal, and the other is to face the thousand-year blood corpse alone on the other side. It seems that you have already made your choice, I will send you to the other side. No, I have a third choice. Lin Yan instantly drew out the magic blade thousand blades and pointed it directly at the old man, that is to kill you, why would you do that? The old man was shocked, fearful and helpless. But when Lin Yan's attack was about to hit him, a look of extreme malice surged in his eyes. It seems you are an accomplice of the evil spirits, then turn into blood and merge into this blood river. He swung the oar in his hand, colliding with Lin Yan's long knife. Boom! Terrifying power exploded, and shockwaves of blood-colored water surged around the boat reaching a height of one person. You're still pretending at this point. Lin Yan sneered, you're not the king of Lu's younger brother at all, you're the traitor among the nine loyal followers who contaminated the life and death seal with zombie blood. How did you guess my identity? The old man was shocked, shouting loudly. Even if he was being attacked, he wasn't afraid. What he feared was his identity being exposed. Once it was guessed, his camouflage to shield investigation would be broken. 
The dead don't need to know so much. Lin Yan coldly swung his sword. In his eyes, the old man's information panel underwent a huge change. Lu Guo's 6th commander, Wu Cho, 2nd order commander, level, 29 HP, 180,600 armor, 150,000 attack power, 400 physical resistance, 90 magic resistance, 80 special items, water avoiding cape skills, cross slash, blood control technique, close range charge, hypnotic eye technique, eye blocking technique, corpse blood infection, blood arrow technique, soul devouring tombstone, 6 full azura slash, special items. Lin Yan's eyes flashed with excitement, and his attacks became even more powerful. How is this possible? Wu Chao's face turned pale with fear. They had just started fighting, and he had already lost nearly 100,000 armor. Even his oars had cracks. This attack power was beyond comprehension. Escape! He had the thought to escape and immediately jumped into the water. He he, your attack power is indeed heaven-defying, but your HP can't be heaven-defying as well, right? He sneered. Lin Yan chased after him, and as soon as he entered the lake, the armor deduction prompt appeared above his head. Armor, minus 1000, minus 1000, minus 1000. Damn it, no wonder you tricked me into the water, you old bastard. Lin Yan's eyes flashed with anger as he chased after Wu Cho, unleashing a barrage of attacks. He now had over 40,000 armor, and with the armor recovery attribute, he had over 50,000 armor. This HP was already heaven defying, but it still couldn't last for a minute. If it were a normal level 29 player, they would be dead in 3 to 5 seconds. Chi chi chi. Lin Yan went on a killing spree, giving it his all. If he couldn't kill Wu Cho within a minute, his only chance to clear the hidden level would disappear. The divine template would also slip through his fingers. This was a loss he couldn't accept. It's been over 10 seconds. Why aren't you dead yet? Wu Cho's mentality exploded as he was being chased. What the hell are you? Not only was his attack power ridiculously high, but his HP seemed bottomless. You can't escape. Lin Yan shouted angrily. Wu Cho panicked, with less than 30,000 HP remaining. If Lin Yan caught up to him, one combo would take him out. You're crazy. Even if you kill me, you won't be able to get back on the ship. Wu Cho roared. Your HP didn't decrease when you entered the Blood River. You must have a special treasure that resists the erosion of the Blood River, right? Lin Yan smiled coldly, exposing the truth. Wu Chao's face immediately stiffened, cursing inwardly, damn it, he's clearly a young man, how can he be so cunning? Die! Lin Yan caught up to Wu Cho once again and swung his sword. Seeing that Lin Yan was about to kill him, Wu Cho shouted, Lord Blood Corpse, in return for all the favors I've done for you, save me now. The entire Blood River boiled at this moment. Lin Yan's armor deduction speed became faster and faster. Die! He coldly made his move, his sword shadows dancing. With the combination of the triple wave slash and stacking technique, he instantly dealt over 30,000 damage, killing Wu Cho. Collect. He immediately collected all the equipment dropped by Wu Cho. Special item, water avoiding cape. Lin Yan didn't care about the other items and directly opened the details of the cape. Water avoiding cape, treasure, attribute, water camp, supreme, heavenly court function, 1. When fully awakened, it can provide 100% immunity to damage caused by water environments, 2. It allows the wearer to be unaffected by the negative effects of water environments and move freely in water. Current status, 50% reduction in damage and negative effects from water environments. Initial awakening, note, in the blood corpse instance, this treasure can unconditionally immunize against 100% of the blood river's damage. Just as I thought. Lin Yan's eyes revealed excitement. This was the key to breaking through the hidden instance. He immediately equipped the water avoiding cape, and the deduction of over a thousand points of armor per second stopped immediately. That was close. This instance is really tough. Lin Yan cursed inwardly. The blood corpse instance was too difficult. He was already cautious enough, and his strength was extraordinary, yet he almost failed. No wonder there were no guides online in his previous life. He even doubted if any player had cleared the hidden instance. With only 20,000 armor left, even with a 30% armor recovery, I now only have a little over 30,000 HP. Lin Yan frowned and swam upstream. Let's return to the boat first, deactivate the combat mode, restore the armor to full value, and then go to battle the boss. As he moved upstream, the Blood River became more turbulent, and even a huge whirlpool appeared. Despite the 50% negative effect reduction, Lin Yan was still sucked into the river bottom due to the tremendous suction. The bottom of the Blood River was filled with countless skeletons, half buried in the sand. It was a scene of Ashura Hell. It seems that these skeletons are the pioneers who were deceived and killed by Wu Cho Lao Lu before, Lin Yan thought solemnly. Based on the data of various monsters encountered earlier, 
The difficulty of the Blood Corpse instance was probably at the Nightmare Level 2. To conquer the Nightmare Level 2 instance, it generally required a team of players at Level 2 or a small team of Level 3 ordinary players. To conquer it alone? At least a Level 3 top tier player would have a chance. It's still quite difficult for me to match a Level 3 top tier combat power, Ling Yin pondered. His attack power was excessive, but his health and armor were too low. If he could obtain a golden template at each level, by the time he reached the pinnacle of level 3 as an elite professional at level 49, his health could easily reach 150,000, and with the armor and weapons, he could easily break through 200,000 health and armor values. As for each level being a divine gift template, then the health would be even higher, at least several hundred thousand. If his health and armor were so strong, this conquest would be much easier. Ha! Huh? Lin Yen stopped and looked towards the center of the whirlpool. A skinny and evil figure was bound by huge chains, suppressed at the bottom of the Blood River. The figure had no skin on its entire body, revealing grotesque muscles and bones. It spewed blood all over its body, merging with the Blood River, while also absorbing energy from it. Millennial Blood Corpse. Lin Yan's eyes narrowed, and he immediately attacked, slashing with his long sword. Clang clang clang. Before he could reach the Millennial Blood Corpse, several ghost-like creatures intercepted him. Blood River Spirits, Level 2 Elite, Level 29, Health, 25,000, Armor, 18,000, Attack Power, 270, Physical Resistance, 40, Magic Resistance, 50, Skills, Death Roll, Blood River Impact, Water Whirlpool, Blood Burst, Shared Vision, Assimilation, Death Impact, Undead Tear. Crack Crack. The chains binding the Blood Corpse kept breaking and were about to shatter. Lin Yan immediately took action. If the Blood Corpse was released and joined forces with these Blood River Spirits, it would be troublesome. Buzz. The Flame Blade was unleashed, combined with the Triple Wave Slash and the Stacked Blade, instantly killing one of the Blood River Spirits. Seeing this, the other Blood River Spirits immediately started tearing each other apart. Damn it. Lin Yan cursed under his breath. These Blood River Spirits activated their assimilation. Over a dozen Blood River Spirits devoured each other, transforming into a formidable figure guarding the Blood Corpse. Die! Lin Yan engaged in a fierce battle with the Blood River Spirits. The Blood River Spirits moved faster in the Blood River, making it impossible for him to evade. The Blood River Spirits spun madly, bringing terrifying whirlpool impacts. Death Roll combined with Water Whirlpool. Lin Yan rushed into the whirlpool. Since this skill damage was caused by the Blood River environment, he was completely immune to it with the Water Repelling Cloak. The Blood River Spirits also realized this and had no choice but to fight him head on. Death Impact. Undead Tear. Lin Yan dodged the impact with a sidestep and endured the relentless onslaught of the Undead Tear. Sizzle sizzle sizzle. He remained calm yet fierce, targeting all the vital points. As the former number one on the heavenly ranking, he knew the weak points of almost all types of monsters. The powerful Blood River Spirits, under his relentless assault, retreated step by step and were soon killed. Phew. He collected the equipment dropped by the Blood River Spirits with a wave of his hand. Lin Yan quickly approached the Blood Corpse and swung his sword to strike. Millennium Blood Corpse, Boss Nightmare, HP, 150-3066 Armor, 560-000 Attack Power, 810 Physical Resistance, 120 Magical Resistance, 100 Skills, Millennium Corpse Poison, Passive, Skin Manipulation, Blood Witch Curse, Bite, Corpse Chi Invasion, Soul Trap, Flying Bone Spikes, 18 Blood Empty Strikes, Blood Bath, Armor Amplification, Life Devouring, Corpse Flow Explosion. While the Blood Corpse was still trapped, Lin Yan continued to kill it relentlessly. Minus 9,588, minus 9,100, minus 9,491. He struck dozens of times, cutting off more than half of the Millennium Blood Corpse's armor. This feels great. It would be even better if I could just stand here and kill it. Lin Yan felt ecstatic. The hundreds of thousands of damage he dealt were practically free, although it could also be due to him figuring out the identity of the corpse at the right time, gaining a time advantage. Crack. The chains finally broke completely. The Millennium Blood Corpse broke free. Instantly, the river of blood boiled, and a terrifying killing intent enveloped Lin Yan tightly. The real battle begins. Lin Yan's expression turned serious. He still had 18,000 armor points. He was facing a terrifying blood corpse with over 1. 5 million HP and over 100,000 remaining armor points. Although the opponent's attack power was only one-tenth of his own, the difference in HP was tens of times. I can only make up for it with combat skills. Lin Yan thought clearly. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The moment the Millennium Blood Corpse broke free, the bones inside its body turned into flying spikes, crazily stabbing towards Lin Yan. Dense like a rain of arrows. Positioning. 
Although he didn't have any agility skills at the moment, Lin Yan's footwork honed in life and death was still enough to deal with the dense barrage of bone spikes. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. He only got hit twice from the dense bone arrows, losing over a thousand armor points. If I had agility skills, I could completely avoid any damage. Lin Yan stared at the blood corpse. You better drop a agility skill book that suits me. Ha! Huh? The Millennium Blood Corpse was stunned, clearly surprised. Extreme killing intent surged in its eyes as it rushed out, unleashing its ultimate move, 18 blood empty strikes. The Blood Corpse's blood curse power surged, and every part of its body turned into a weapon of attack. Bang bang bang! 18 attacks flowed continuously like a torrential river, each attack carrying over a thousand points of attack power. If all of them hit, even with 20,000 HP, he would be instantly killed. Lin Yan swung his demonic blade, skillfully resolving attack after attack, but his attack speed was limited after all, and he still got hit a few times. Buzz! The blood corpse bit onto Lin Yan's soft hedgehog armor, causing his armor value to drop below 30%, activating the armor recovery effect. Lin Yan's armor instantly recovered to nearly 30,000. You must be running out of mana, right? It's my turn! Lin Yan relied on his swordsmanship to start a close fight with the blood corpse. Minus 9,300, minus 18,500, minus 9,199. The blood corpse's HP bar rapidly plummeted. In the blink of an eye, it lost hundreds of thousands of HP. In the next moment, Lin Yan felt his soul being sluggish, unable to move his body. Blood witch curse combined with soul trap. He instantly realized, crushed two bottles of control breaking potion, and broke free from the controlled state. Roar! The blood corpse's ultimate move followed closely. It opened its mouth and spat out a blood bead, which exploded in front of Lin Yan, countless blood souls rushing out and biting towards him. Corpse flow explosion. Lin Yan immediately retreated, using the water avoidance cloak to move as if on flat ground in the water, constantly attacking to counteract the impact. Even so, this corpse flow explosion still caused him to lose over 3000 armor points. It can be imagined that if he didn't have the control breaking potion and was hit by this ultimate move while under control, he would lose at least 30,000 armor points. Roar! The blood corpse went completely berserk. This combo was its continuous ultimate move, yet it didn't even break through the opponent's armor skin. Buzz! The armor radiance on its body surged, armor amplification. After increasing its armor by 50,000 points, the mana of the blood corpse was completely depleted. With no other options, it could only engage in a bloody battle with Lin Yen. I still have over a million points of armor left. I don't believe I can't wear you down. It hoarsely roared. The two fought fiercely together. At this moment, there were no fancy skills or strategic battles. It was all about the most brutal and bloody melee combat. The blood corpse had a slightly higher attack speed attribute than Lin Yan, and even though Lin Yan's swordsmanship was at a high level, he couldn't defend perfectly. Huge damage numbers kept appearing above the blood corpse's head. Lin Yan's armor value also continued to decrease. In the blink of an eye, they fought for dozens of rounds. Lin Yan also unleashed his true fire, his eyes cold and crazy. Just by looking at their eyes, it was impossible to tell who was human and who was the blood corpse. Minus 888, minus 9178, minus 779, minus 8999, minus 1600, minus 18101 damage prompt after another kept appearing above their heads, from the riverbed to the surface of the river. Boom! The two fought their way onto the surface of the blood river, and in that instant, a terrifying force stirred up a terrifying wave several meters high. Die! In their hearts, there was only the obsession to kill each other. Chi chi chi! In this back and forth, Lin Yen used his supreme swordsmanship to gain a huge advantage even when the difference in armor points was several tens of times. He had slashed the blood corpse's health down to just over 80,000, while his own armor points had dropped below 10,000. Bathing in corpse blood, devouring life. The blood corpse shattered its lower body, and blood continuously washed over its remains, causing its body to rapidly decay. Its attack power skyrocketed under this transformation, doubling directly. With one claw, it cut off over 1,500 points of Lin Yan's armor. Kill! Lin Yan continuously drank mana potions, using flame blade, stacked waves three blades, and stacked blade technique together. In his final explosive output, the blood corpse's health bar was finally emptied. Boom! The corpse of the blood corpse fell onto the lonely boat of Wu Cho, its eyes full of unwillingness, Lord Zombie King. I have waited for you for a thousand years, but it seems that I can no longer serve you. Da day. Lin Yan walked up to it, his eyes devoid of any emotion. He was not someone who liked to waste words. With one slash, the head of the blood corpse fell, completely annihilated. Ding. 
Congratulations on completing the solo first clear of the hidden instance, Hades Blood Corpse achievement. A server-wide announcement will be made soon. Do you want to hide your ID? The system prompt sounded. Lin Yen took a deep breath, then slowly exhaled, resolute, no. Clearing a second-tier Nightmare Instance solo at level 9 was practically a myth in the previous world. And now he had personally created this myth. This fantastical feeling made his heart surge. At this moment, in the Divine Land world, wherever there were players, a grand announcement resounded, congratulations to player Flame Emperor for soloing the hidden instance, first kill of the Thousand Year Blood Corpse boss. Special rewards, advanced fine equipment asterisk 10, advanced rare equipment asterisk 2, attribute points, 100, 2 star skill book, 6, advanced control release potion, 5, advanced experience potion, 20, advanced mana, health, defense, attack, agility potions asterisk 100 each, second tier asterisk silver advanced template, 3, perfectly clearing the hidden instance rewards, token asterisk blood corpse head, skill evolution book asterisk 1. Critical reward, legendary equipment asterisk swordsman's helmet. Please be informed, continue to strive and create your own legend in the Divine Land world. Hidden instance? What is that? After hearing this voice, the players were all confused. Most players hadn't even cleared the Lu Palace instance, so naturally, they didn't know about the existence of hidden instances. But, all these rewards are advanced rewards. Does that mean this is an advanced instance? Damn. We haven't even defeated the boss in the newbie village, and Flame Emperor has already cleared an advanced instance? He's defying the heavens. This Yen Emperor is truly powerful. On the way to the main city, Lung Foam looked up at the sky, his face serious. It seems that we underestimated his potential before. We must report to the higher-ups and ask for better treatment to recruit the Yen Emperor. The leaders of the Eastern Guild beside Lung Foam were excited. And the rewards from clearing the hidden instance are too generous especially the second tier silver advanced template. I think we should go and clear the hidden instance now. If the Yen Emperor can do it alone, we can definitely do it too. Don't be impulsive. The advanced template is good, but we have to wait for the leaders to decide. Long Feng persuaded. All right. The leaders nodded and did not oppose. Lang Feng, who obtained the silver template by killing the boss, had already advanced to a professional. In these two days, he absorbed the surplus experience pearls from the guild's reserves, and his level had already surpassed level 10, far ahead of the entire server. I hope the higher-ups will approve us to clear the hidden instance as soon as possible. Yes, as long as we can get the second-tier advanced template, with our nurturing ability, we can easily create third-tier top experts in a short time and dominate the early stages. The members of the Eastern Guild were eager. Soon, Lang Feng received a reply, the order has come down, send two people to explore the hidden instance. Let's go! Two leaders beside Long Feng volunteered. They were teleported into the hidden instance in a flash of light. I wonder what's hidden. Lang Feng didn't even finish his sentence when he received a message from the two leaders at the spring. We're done. Cleared? Is the hidden level that easy? Lang Feng was a bit confused. Cough. We were eliminated. The two leaders quickly came to Lung Feng's side through team teleportation, their faces pale. That Yen Emperor must be cheating. The small monsters in the hidden instance have over 200 health with one hit. Can you believe it? I didn't even have time to fully check their data panels before I was killed. The regular small monsters have nearly 20,000 health. The boss's health must be off the charts. If the Yen Emperor really cleared it based on his own strength, then his strength must be terrifying to an unimaginable extent. As they spoke, both of them felt a chill. The Yen Emperor was too terrifying. Lang Feng fell into silence, then without hesitation, he sent a determined message to the higher-ups. As long as we can recruit the Yen Emperor into the Eastern Guild, I believe that any price is worth it. How can the gap be so big? The White Wolf Guild's Poison Prince was so angry that he smashed his teacup. Mu Qingwan's expression was complicated, she just nodded, her thoughts unknown. Notify all guild members, log in with me, I want to go and conquer the Lu Palace instance again. This time, we must clear it. Poison Prince immediately stood up and entered the virtual game warehouse. The boss instance square was bustling with noise. Lin Yan's solo clearing of the hidden instance stimulated many experts and guilds. They didn't want to admit that they were being left behind by a lone player, it was too embarrassing. The large guilds reorganized their raid teams and wanted to redeem themselves. In the Blood Corpse instance, on the Blood River Lonely Boat, Lin Yan counted the rewards he received, his eyes shining brighter. 100 free attribute points, let's add them to movement speed first. He made up his mind. He almost couldn't catch up with Wu Cho during the chase, which led to the failure of the instance. If there were similar chase battles in the future, movement speed would be the most important attribute. Allocate points. 
He allocated the 100 free attribute points, increasing his movement speed to 3. His speed tripled instantly. Put away the weapons and potions, organize them later after going out. Lin Yan's gaze fell on the skill books. After his speed increased, he urgently needed an agility skill. If he had an agility skill for this blood corpse instance, the battle wouldn't have been so fierce. Looking through the rewards, Lin Yan's eyes lit up. I actually found it. Ninefold Thunder Flash, two stars, rapidly erupts nine displacements, each displacement has a maximum distance of two meters, leaving behind thunderous remnants and causing a layer of thunder damage to enemies along the path. Mana cost, 30, cooldown, 30 seconds. This mana cost is really not small. Lin Yan took a deep breath, then looked at the skill evolution book in his hand. The skill evolution book was precious and could be used to specify skills for star upgrades. The upgrade from one star to two stars doesn't make a big difference. Since I'm using the skill evolution book, I want it to have the maximum effect. Lin Yan's eyes were determined. Ninefold Thunder Flash, upgrade. Buzz. Soon, the Ninefold Thunder Flash was upgraded. Ninefold Thunder Flash, three stars, rapidly erupts nine displacements, each displacement has a maximum distance of 10 meters, and causes three layers of thunder damage to enemies along the path. Each displacement leaves behind thunderous remnants. After the skill ends, the remnants explode, causing explosive area damage equal to 10% of the attack power within a 3 meter radius. Mana cost, 40, cooldown, 30 seconds. The eruption distance went from 18 meters to 90 meters. The thunder damage also increased by 2 layers. And there's the remnants explosive area damage. Lin Yan nodded, the improvement was obvious. However, the mana consumption was indeed terrifying, using it once would deplete his mana bar. But fortunately, he didn't lack potions. After using it, he could immediately consume a bottle of mana potion to replenish it. Next, are the two most important gains this time. Lin Yan looked at the two items in his hand. Blood Corpse Skull, and, Legendary Equipment, Swordmaster Helmet. I can't believe it, I actually obtained a Legendary Equipment at level 9. Lin Yan examined the Swordmaster Helmet, which emitted a surging orange light. Damaged Swordmaster Helmet, Legendary, Tier, 2nd Tier Armor plus 9999, Physical Defense plus 18, Magical Defense plus 18 Special Abilities, Swordmaster's Heart, Immunity to 30% of Critical Physical Attacks, Swordmaster's Defense, Active, Costs 40 Mana Points, Restores 20% of Total Armor, Purification, Immunity to 1 Spiritual Attack with Damage less than the Helmet's Armor Value, Cooldown, 1 Hour. Note. It seems that the blacksmith in the beginner's village can repair this equipment. Gurgle. Lin Yan's eyes sparkled. Just with the armor boost, this helmet was close to 10,000. And with the swordmaster's heart ability, combined with the chest armor's heart protection ability, I can already achieve 80% immunity to physical attacks on the heart. Lin Yan was extremely excited. If he could have the blacksmith repair the helmet completely, perhaps he could achieve immunity to physical attacks on the heart. This kind of rule level ability, as long as it reaches 100%, it becomes a divine level ability. From now on, he no longer needed to worry about physical damage to his heart, this part would be practically invincible. What does this mean for a skilled player? It goes without saying. I must repair the Swordmaster helmet. His eyes were filled with anticipation. Click. He put on the Swordmaster helmet. Normally, it would be impossible to equip a weapon that was higher in tier than oneself, but the ultimate artifact was just that unreasonable. It completely disregarded the tier of equipment. He clicked on his attribute page, ID, Yen Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 HP, 400, Armor, 55999 Attack, 9325, Armor Penetration, 300, Physical Resistance, 41, Magic Resistance, 35, Movement Speed, 3, Attack Speed, 2, Mana, 40 Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 20,050, Physical Defense plus 13, Magic Defense plus 13, Counterattack plus 299. Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 18,300, Physical Defense plus 2, Magic Defense plus 2, Counterattack plus 139. Broken Swordmaster Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 9,999, Physical Defense plus 9, Magic Defense plus 9, Magic Blade Thousand Blades, White, Attack plus 9,300. Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, Tier 3, Skills, 3 Waves of Blades, 1 Star, Flame Blade, 1 Star, 9-Fold Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Abilities, None Treasures, Life and Death Seal, Water Avoidance Cape. Armor Value officially breaks through 50,000. Lin Yan's heart surged. Including Armor Recovery and Swordmaster's Defense, he now had a total hidden Armor Value of over 80,000. Finally, 
it's the blood corpse skull. Lin Yan's expression became unusually serious. This is the true key to unlocking the hidden plot in the beginner's village. Ha! Huh? Is it related to the unique hidden quest from the divine template? Let me see your true face. Lin Yan took a deep breath, his gaze becoming more solemn. The information he collected in his previous life stopped at the blood corpse core. He only knew that by completing the hidden instance perfectly, he could trigger the unique hidden plot in the beginner's village. And by completing the hidden plot perfectly, he could obtain the divine template. Unlock the plot first. He slapped the blood corpse skull with his palm. Buzz. Two projections appeared from the blood corpse skull. One of them Lin Yan was very familiar with, it was the village chief of the beginner's village. He had a righteous aura and a serious expression. Many years ago, the zombie king tried to seize the life and death seal and return. The strong warriors of the Dragon Summer Empire sealed him, and our village was built to guard the seal of the zombie king. But recently, a cult called the Truth Sect has appeared around the village. They are willing to do anything to open the seal and release the zombie king. I urgently need to reinforce the seal with the blood corpse skull. Young man, quickly hand over the blood corpse skull in your hand to me. The other figure was a black-robed person sitting on a high chair. His gaze was firm, and his voice was full of vicissitudes. We used to guard the seal together with the village chief and others, until three years ago, I discovered the village chief's secret. He was trying to break the seal of the zombie king. There is no doubt that the village chief has been contaminated by the will of the zombie king. I led the righteous villagers to fight against the village chief. But the village chief, who was infected by demonic power, was too terrifying in strength. We eventually failed and fled, and established the truth sect, only to protect the secret. Do not hand over the blood corpse skull to the village chief. Once he obtains it, he will use it to unlock the evil seal of the zombie king. Hand the blood corpse skull over to the truth sect to prevent disaster from happening again. After the two finished speaking, the projections disappeared. Make a choice? Lin Yan frowned. Both sides claimed to be righteous, and their reasoning was logical. He couldn't tell for sure which side to hand the blood corpse skull to. Just as he was contemplating, the majestic system prompt sound spread throughout the divine land once again. Congratulations to player Salt Loving Girl for soloing the Lu Palace instance. Special reward, skill book asterisk 1. Please be aware, strive harder, and create your own legend in the divine land world. On the square, the gathered players were dumbfounded. They were stimulated by Lin Yan's completion of the hidden instance and were just about to challenge the monster instance again, but someone had already soloed the boss instance. There are always freaks every year, but there are especially many this year. Are they really playing the same game as me? Hundreds of people couldn't clear the instance, but one person did it alone. The gap between people is greater than the gap between people and dogs. The players were all shocked and the discussion on the square was intense. The girl who loves to eat salt? The poison prince frowned, this ID seems familiar. It's the girl who has always been with Lin Yan, and we are from the same university. Mu Qingwan said with an ugly expression. What? The poison prince's pupils contracted, and he became even angrier after realizing it, so our white wolf guild is not even as good as a pendant hanging around his neck. Soon, Xin Yue appeared on the square, her face full of excitement. Although she cleared the game on normal difficulty and couldn't compare to Lin Yan, she still felt a great sense of achievement for soloing the boss dungeon. Hey, is Lin Yan still in the dungeon? Xin Yue looked at Lin Yan's status in the friend list and murmured. Salt sister, you're too strong. How did you manage to solo it? Teach us your secret. That's right, did you find a game bug? Quickly share it with everyone. Instantly, a group of people surrounded her, their enthusiasm overwhelming, which startled Xin Yue. I, I just killed all the monsters and cleared the dungeon. Xin Yue scratched her head and honestly explained. Ah, is that so? The players were both amused and frustrated by Xin Yue's unintentional Versailles, unable to laugh or cry for a moment. That's where you're wrong. The poison prince stepped forward, you're too selfish for not wanting to share good things. Sharing the secret would benefit everyone. Don't you understand the meaning of unity? That's right, we are all citizens of Xia Kingdom. If you share the secret, we can all clear the dungeon and reap the benefits, which will enhance the national strength and bring glory to our country. If we can't defeat foreigners when the national war starts, it's definitely because there are too many selfish people like you. Seeing the leading members of the major guilds speaking up, many people began to follow suit and vent their anger. They spoke righteously, but their true intentions were filled with wicked and sinister thoughts. They saw Xin Yue as an easy target to bully, and they put all sorts of labels on her. What makes you think I cheated? Xin Yue explained with a grievance, I really cleared it on my own. Humph. Since the boss dungeon opened, only you and Emperor Yen have been able to solo it. The poison prince smirked, 
and you two are always together. Who would believe that you didn't find a bug to clear it? That's right. Stop pretending, just tell us. Many people chimed in, wanting to force Xing Yue to reveal the secret. The benefits of soloing and teaming up were vastly different. Xin Yue gritted her teeth in anger, I don't want to talk to you. If she didn't have to wait for Lin Yan, she would have logged out directly. Oomph, stubborn, a selfish person like you, who doesn't consider the collective, needs to be taught a lesson to learn your place. The poison prince's eyes flashed with killing intent. Having been killed twice in a row and unable to defeat Lin Yan, he had long held a grudge. At this moment, he not only wanted to know Xin Yue's secret but also wanted to retaliate by killing her. Little girl, I advise you to speak up obediently. The experts from the White Wolf Guild approached. After two days of leveling and monster hunting, many of them had reached level 9 and their strength had greatly improved. Don't come any closer. Although Shen Yue was naive, she was not easy to provoke. Sensing the danger, she pulled her bow and aimed at the approaching enemies. If I can clear the dungeon, I naturally have the ability to kill you all. Ha ha ha. The experts laughed, finding Shen Yue's fierce expression lacking any deterrent power. Many players also approached, wanting to take action. This is too much. I, the hot-tempered captain of the Vermilion Bird Guild wanted to help. Don't act rashly. The red-clothed captain stopped her. There is indeed something strange between her and Emperor Yen. Let's observe the situation first. At least, don't take action until the Flame Emperor appears. The other major guilds watched coldly. You guys have gone too far. Although Shin Yue looked silly on the outside, she was decisive in her actions. Knowing that the situation was irreparable, she immediately started shooting arrows in retaliation. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Three arrows were fired in succession, instantly killing the three nearest level 9 experts. All of them were shot through the throat with a single arrow. What? Many people instinctively rubbed their eyes. Those were level 9 experts, and they were even level 9 experts from the major guild. Including their equipment and armor, the level 9 experts from the major guild had at least 500 health points. Yet they were all killed with a single arrow to the throat. Her attack power is so outrageous. The onlookers suddenly started to believe that Xin Yue had cleared the instance on her own. Kill her at all costs. The poison prince felt a burning sensation on his face. If Lin Yan couldn't be killed, and even the silly and sweet girl by his side couldn't be killed, there would be no point in the White Wolf Guild anymore. Mu Qing Wan frowned and pondered. Her thoughts were racing. Lin Yan and this girl have both displayed astonishing attack power beyond comprehension. There must be a big secret about these two. She narrowed her phoenix eyes. According to the investigation, this girl was just an ordinary player before. To have such a terrifying improvement in such a short time, it must be because of Lin Yan. It seems that the value judgment of Lin Yan needs to be raised to another level. This person is not simple. Previously, Lin Yan was only at the level of someone she reluctantly ate with. But now, she started to consider whether she should keep Lin Yan as a backup plan. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Xin Yue's arrows kept flying, killing one person with each arrow. But there were too many people from the White Wolf Guild, she couldn't kill them all. The cooldown of the life and death seal hadn't finished yet, and her own health points were only 500. Once she was approached, it would be very dangerous. First, kill your way out of the instant square, then log out directly. Xin Yue made her plan. Within the instant square, besides being killed or receiving equipment warnings, one couldn't log out voluntarily. This little girl is so strong. I didn't expect that beneath her cute appearance, she hides such a decisive and bloodthirsty heart. But I'm afraid she won't be able to break out. There are too many people from the White Wolf Guild. Unless her health points are as abnormal as her attack power, she won't be able to hold on. The players commented, clearly just enjoying the spectacle. Ordinary players wouldn't dare to provoke such a powerful major guild. Blood Corpse Instance Lin Yan had just made his plan when the lone boat docked. Without Wu Chou to row the boat, he could only wait for the boat to dock before he could reach the other side. The other side is the exit of the instance, what a clever calculation. Lin Yan felt a chill down his spine once again. The two paths mentioned by Wu Cho, going down the lake to obtain the treasure would result in death from the corrupting blood river. But if he didn't go down the lake and went directly to the other side, he would be teleported out of the instance. Without a perfect clearance of the Lu Palace, it's impossible to clear the hidden instance. Stepping forward, Radiance flickered as Lin Yan returned to the instant square. Why is it so lively? He frowned, sensing something unusual. Pushing through the crowd, he saw Xin Yue struggling to break free from the siege of the White Wolf Guild. In an instant, Lin Yan felt his anger rise to the top. How dare you? A thunderous roar shook the surroundings, causing the players next to him to vomit blood and instantly die as their health bars dropped to zero. With an attack power of nearly 10,000, 
the damage caused by his furious roar was equally terrifying. Many people looked over and recognized Lin Yen, exclaiming, the flame emperor has appeared. The siege came to a halt, and even the poison prince turned his gaze towards Lin Yen. When he saw Lin Yen, his eyes turned red in an instant. Kill him along with her. The poison prince shouted angrily. The first time, he only brought 50 people, and they were killed as soon as they met. This time, he had over a thousand people with him, and 30% of them were level 9. We'll drown you with our sea of people. So, you're from the White Wolf Guild? After today, the White Wolf Guild will no longer exist in the Dark Village. Lin Yan's killing intent boiled, his eyes freezing to the extreme. Xin Yue was his sore spot, and he wouldn't allow anyone to threaten her. Humph, just the delusions of weaklings. The Poison Prince shook his head mockingly. He couldn't figure out how Lin Yan could make the White Wolf Guild disappear from Ming Village. The Flame Emperor is too arrogant. Does he really think he can take on a large guild by himself? Humph, I've disliked him for a long time, and today he's gone too far. Surrendering is the smart choice. TSK, he's clearly just a student who hasn't experienced the harsh realities of society. Many jealous players shook their heads, especially the game understanding brother who had been indirectly slapped in the face by Lin Yan several times. He was jumping in anger, such shameless boasting. Let's see how he gets kicked out of Ming Village by the White Wolf Guild. Lin Yan glanced over and recorded all these players with their sarcastic remarks on his death list. Without any nonsense, he acted instantly. Disappeared? The Poison Prince's eyes almost popped out. How can a warrior have invisibility skills? But in the next moment, a thunderous roar echoed throughout the entire square. Boom 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 boom. Like the thunder of divine punishment, it resounded nine times in a row. And just seconds ago, Lin Yan, who was still a hundred meters away, appeared directly in front of him. What the hell? It's like seeing a ghost. He was so scared that his legs trembled. Die. Lin Yan swung his sword down. The poison prince was instantly cut into four or five pieces, splattering blood and body parts that flew more than ten meters away. The vice guild leader is dead again. The experts of the White Wolf Guild were dumbfounded. Unlike last time, this time the poison prince was killed in an instant under the protection of thousands of people. This method was simply godlike. He really isn't playing the same game as us. This agility. Before the players could finish their complaints, the nine afterimages left by Lin Yan exploded with a thunderous boom. Although the explosion damage was only one-tenth of his attack power, it far exceeded the health of the White Wolf Guild's experts, who only had four to five hundred health points now. Boom 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 boom. The nine afterimages exploded one after another. Within a three-meter radius of the explosion, one expert after another from the White Wolf Guild was blown to pieces, with charred limbs flying in all directions, creating a spectacular scene. Afterwards, more than a hundred experts on the path continuously lost health due to the three layers of thunder damage and died one after another. Gurgle. This shocking scene left everyone dumbfounded. The combat power displayed by Lin Yan was a devastating blow to all the players at the current stage. Even the leader of the strongest guild, the Azure Dragon Guild, had a pale face, how did he do this? Lin Yan, calm down. As a man, don't be so impulsive. Mu Qingwan frowned and tried to stop him, if things get out of hand today, it won't end well. If you still hope to further develop with me, then stop here. Shut up. Lin Yan turned his head and scolded angrily, his eyes icy. What? Mu Qingwan was completely stunned, how dare you? What are you? Do you think you're qualified to point fingers here? Lin Yan sneered, ignoring the stunned Mu Qingwan, and looked around the scene, you all want to know how I cleared the level, right? Fine. Today, I'll generously teach you. Unfortunately, I still need a teaching tool. Playing tricks. What do you want to borrow? The game understanding brother couldn't help but shout in dissatisfaction. Your lives. Lin Yan swung his long knife, and a burst of flame blade light flew out, sweeping through the crowd. Anyone hit by the blade light was burned to charcoal. He plunged into the crowd, and blood splattered instantly. With his movement speed, attack speed, attack power, skills, and armor all overwhelming, he was like a tiger among sheep, freely slaughtering. With his physical resistance now reaching 41, even a level 9 expert without high-level weapons couldn't break through his defense. They could only cause one point of mandatory damage. Looking at the minus 1, minus 1 popping up above Lin Yan's head, the powerful attackers surrounding him were all dumbfounded. How did he do that? The leader of the Azure Dragon Guild turned pale. The Flame Emperor seemed to have no weaknesses, just pure strength. Strong to the point of being unbeatable, strong to the point of being incomprehensible. The guild leaders watching were all shocked. It was only at this moment that they realized that the flame emperor hadn't lied at all, he was truly powerful. And it was a kind of strength that surpassed comprehension. Report to the guild president immediately. 
These leaders immediately reported to their respective guild presidents and uploaded the video. The instant square allowed for recording game videos. Many players were excitedly watching and recording, eager to share them on platforms like Vibrato, Slowhand, and Shendu. With the current popularity of the Divine Land, these cool and flashy videos would definitely trend. We don't believe it. Today, even if we have to drain your blood by force, we will grind you to death. That's right, Flame Emperor, you may be powerful, but before your health runs out, you may not be able to kill all of us. The experts from the White Wolf Guild were also filled with anger and came back to support after resurrecting from the spring. Regardless of whether they were level 9 or level 1, they couldn't break through the Flame Emperor's defense. They were only willing to use their own lives to force Lin Yen to lose a drop of blood. Wave after wave of powerful attackers rushed forward, only to be mercilessly killed. Just as they finished killing one group, another group of experts who had just resurrected from the spring arrived and continued to surround and kill him. The corpses quickly covered the entire square, breaking and filling up at the same time. Blood flowed like a river. Damn. Why do I feel like the Flame Emperor is the boss? You're talking nonsense. He's more terrifying than the boss by 10,000 times. If he were a boss in an instance, we would never be able to leave the newbie village in our lifetime. The players were all dumbfounded. Kill. Lin Yan's killing intense sword, as soon as his skills finished cooling down, he immediately used his ultimate move. In this seemingly endless siege, his strength remained unyielding. In the back and forth killing, he had already lost count of how many people he had killed. Gradually, the average level of the people attacking him dropped from level 8 to 9 to only level 4 to 5. Gurgle. The onlookers were all numb. He must have had thousands of points of armor forcibly deducted, right? How high is his armor value? Could it be over 10,000 points? The beautiful vice captain of the Vermilion Bird Guild exclaimed. That's unlikely. If it were over 10,000 points, then he would truly be invincible. The beautiful leader of the Vermilion Bird Guild shook her head. Although it seems unbelievable, he really is handsome. All the female players present were captivated by Lin Yan's domineering aura. A surge of anger for the sake of a beauty, even if there were thousands of people, I would still go. Which teenage girl hasn't had such a fantasy? So domineering. Go, Flame Emperor. Many female fans began to cheer and support Lin Yan. Is he really an invincible killing god? The more surprised the bystanders were, the more desperate the people participating in the siege against Lin Yan became. From the beginning, they had looked down on him, then became angry, then terrified, and now they were completely engulfed in despair. Lin Yan was like an insurmountable mountain, causing them to develop an unbeatable psychological shadow. Young master, should we give up? If we continue to kill, all of our people in the underworld village will be reduced to level 1. The steward was on the verge of tears. Give up on him? I'll be damned if I do. The poison prince was completely enraged, and hearing this advice made him even angrier. His health must be running out soon. Keep spawning for me. Issue a bounty. For anyone who participates in this siege and dies once, I'll give them 10 gold coins. 10 gold coins were equivalent to thousands of dollars in reality. Giving away so much money, just for participating in a siege, naturally attracted many people to join in. What? Seeing the poison prince so worked up, the steward knew he couldn't persuade him anymore, so he silently left to find the poison prince's father. As more players attracted by the bounty entered the scene, the siege became even more terrifying. The huge instant square had turned into a battlefield, with the sound of killing shaking the heavens. It's too terrifying. The more they watched, the more frightened the onlookers became. Cooldown is over. Shin Yue paused shooting arrows and took out the life and death seal, activating it. Roar! Hundreds of elite zombies joined the battlefield, instantly pushing back a large group of enemies, greatly accelerating the killing speed. How exhilarating! Lin Yan's killing spree intensified, swinging his long knife faster and faster. His attributes, boosted by the two special features of the ultimate artifact, were rapidly increasing. Special feature 1, each attack increases armor by 1 point. Up until now, he had increased his armor by 5000 points. The funniest part was that the damage these people caused him was still less than the armor increased by the special feature. If Poison Prince knew that he was indirectly helping Lin Yan stack armor, he would probably be infuriated. Special feature 2, each time he is attacked, the maximum counter damage increases by 1 point. The counter damage limit has been increased to nearly 5000. It's a pity that the counter damage can only return the damage equal to the opponent's maximum damage limit. Otherwise, even if they stand here and let them attack, they would be worn down. Lin Yan felt a bit regretful. Continue. If at the beginning he killed these people out of anger, now he was filled with joy and wished for more enemies. It would be best if all the players in the newbie village came to attack him, 
so that he could stack armor even faster. He maintained this killing speed, accompanying Shen Yu Wei from night until dawn the next day. He kept killing until everyone was trembling in fear. He killed until no one dared to approach him. This battle is destined to be recorded in the history of online games. Indeed, I even doubt if I'm dreaming. The leaders of the major guilds whispered. The sun rose. The onlookers were numb, and many of those besieging Lin Yan dropped from level 9 directly to level 1. He can't be killed at all. He is the god of death himself. Someone murmured, completely losing the will to fight, their spirits collapsing. Lord Yen, please stop now. This is a misunderstanding. This conflict was caused by the reckless actions of the deputy guild leader. The guild leader has already reprimanded him. The guild leader has sent me to reconcile with you. The voice of the steward of the White Wolf Guild trembled. Regretting it now? Lin Yan sneered, it's too late. He wanted to establish his dominance and make a name for himself. If the guild leader of the White Wolf Guild didn't support Poison Prince, he would have stopped this battle long ago. It was only when the losses became unbearable that they were forced to seek a truce. I'm here to discuss conditions. The steward of the White Wolf Guild repeatedly said, Lord Yen, the guild leader is willing to offer 1,000 gold coins to resolve this misunderstanding. 1,000 gold coins? Lin Yen couldn't help but laugh. Do you think it's not enough? Then, Lord Yen, state your conditions. The steward asked directly. I said, after today, there will be no more White Wolf Guild in the Dark Village. Lin Yan's eyes were cold. Heh, that's a bottom line that is impossible to accept. The steward shook his head. Lord Yen, be more rational. After all, you are just a solo player, while we are a large guild. Forgive me for being blunt, but I really can't imagine what you can do to make a large guild like ours completely disappear from the newbie village. You may be strong, but unless you block the spring and guard our members every day, it's simply impossible for you, as an individual, to achieve this. Oh, is that so? Lin Yan grinned, his eyes calm and full of mockery. How about we make a bet? Lin Yan suggested. A bet? The steward was somewhat surprised, but then he smiled and shook his head. Lord Yen, playing tricks won't work. If you want to bet, just say it. Let's bet on whether I can fulfill my promise before the end of today. Lin Yan's voice was icy. The wager will be a legendary equipment. Legendary equipment? The steward's face turned pale. Since the server opened, the White Wolf Guild didn't even have an epic equipment, let alone a legendary one. I know you don't have it yet, but when you do, I will come to collect the debt. Lin Yan knew that the White Wolf Guild would soon obtain a very powerful legendary equipment. Although he didn't expect Poison Prince, this treacherous person, to honor the bet, he could always go and snatch it later. With a prior bet, it is only natural to seize the opportunity. If he wants to establish his power in the future, he naturally needs to cherish his reputation. He he. The butler sneered, he naturally wouldn't refuse such a good opportunity to receive legendary equipment for free. If you lose, the legendary swordsman helmet in the announcement will belong to our White Wolf Guild. The bet has been made, wait for the good news, Lin Yan waved his hand. He dared to make this bet because he was 100% confident. Afterwards, he left with Xin Yue. The players couldn't help but follow, wanting to see how Lin Yan would make the White Wolf Guild disappear from the newbie village. But to everyone's surprise, as soon as they left the instant square, the two of them went offline directly. What kind of operation is this? I thought he would go block the spring water. But he went offline directly. Does he want to use his influence in reality? What? Emperor Yen is not only handsome, but also a super tycoon in reality. Female fans automatically imagined. Does Emperor Yen need a girlfriend? Don't be so strict about gender. Many male players were also moved. He he. The butler knew Lin Yan's background very well. He was just a poor student. What kind of power could he have in reality? Just an overconfident teenager, he will realize reality tomorrow. At home, Lin Yan took off the VR device and went to sleep. After fighting all night, even an Iron Man couldn't hold on. I should get a virtual game warehouse. After waking up, Lin Yan rubbed his head. A virtual game warehouse could provide nutrition for players so they wouldn't have to eat, and it could also put players in a dormant state while playing games, replacing sleep. Theoretically, players could play games in a virtual game warehouse for 24 hours without going offline. I need to make some money. He took out his phone and saw a video of his heroic slaughter on the lock screen. Wow, it's so popular? Even he didn't expect that his battle video from yesterday would become so popular, to the point that bloggers started naming the battle. They called it the square battle. This matter dominated the hot search rankings on various apps. All the forums were discussing why he was so strong and predicting the outcome of his bet with the White Wolf Guild. His fans believed he would win, but the majority of people thought it was impossible. 
Because no matter how hard they thought, they couldn't figure out how Lin Yan could make the White Wolf Guild disappear from the newbie village. Brother, you're awake? Lunch is ready, have some. Lin Feng said. Hmm. Lin Yan suddenly remembered something. When will that female student of yours come? She'll come for dinner tonight. Lin Feng said. Hmm, no rush then. Did your helmet arrive? Come into the game with me first. Lin Yan got up and walked towards the esports room. Ha, huh? okay. Lin Feng pushed the wheelchair and followed. The two of them put on their helmets and arrived in the dark village. You absorbed all these experience pearls. Lin Yan directly threw a pile of experience pearls to his younger brother. They were all extras from when he cleared the instance. Especially the blood corpse instance, the experience pearls dropped were all second tier, which was considered a huge amount for a level 1 newbie. Buzz. In less than a minute, Lin Feng leveled up to level 9. He was confused. I collected information and the posts all said that leveling up in the divine land was very slow. So there's this kind of operation? Lin Yan smiled slightly. Let's go. I'll take you to meet your teacher. My teacher? Lin Feng was confused. What does he teach? An all-around teacher in math, physics, and chemistry. Lin Yan said mysteriously. Ha! Huh? Lin Feng was speechless. Brother, didn't you say you won't study anymore? So you just want me to change my study environment? Just follow me. Lin Yan patted Lin Feng's head and led him forward in the newbie village. Brother, you seem to be very famous. Lin Feng looked at the enthusiastic, odd, and hateful gazes on the road immediately understanding that his brother was definitely a prominent figure in the newbie village. Sort of. Lin Yan didn't explain much. With Lin Feng's intelligence, he understood everything after taking a few more glances. He didn't need to waste his breath. This is it, Lin Yan said as he looked at the small brick house in front of him, with a sign on the door that read Mage Hut. He knocked on the door, and an old man with a scholar's hat opened it. The old man had a stern face and complained as soon as he opened the door. How many times do I have to say it? If you want potions, go find an alchemist. I'm a spell researcher. I don't sell any damn potions or scrolls. Looks like I need to put up another wooden sign at the door. Don't be angry, we're just here to pay our respects to you, sir, Lin Yan said with a slight smile. The old mage was taken aback, took another look at Lin Yan, and smiled, oh, so you're the flame emperor, come on in then. Lin Feng scratched his head, were NPCs really this intelligent now? I'm just a spell researcher. I don't understand social etiquette or how to treat guests. Feel free to sit. The old mage sat down, picked up a book, and ignored Lin Yan and his brother. Lin Yan looked around the old mage's stone house, which could only be described as simple. Besides piles of books, there was no decent furniture. Thinking about the old mage's background, he couldn't help but sigh, such a wealthy person living such a simple life. Lin Feng, on the other hand, was shocked as soon as he entered, constantly searching through the books with excitement in his eyes. Lin Yan wasn't surprised and let his brother immerse himself in his own world, while he sat across from the old mage, Ching Daozi. After a while, the old mage finished reading a book and looked up to find that Lin Yan and his brother were still there. He couldn't help but wonder, Flame Emperor, aren't you a warrior? What are you doing here? Lin Yan got straight to the point, I want my brother to become your disciple. Ha ha ha. Ching Daozi couldn't help but laugh, Flame Emperor, you really know how to joke. As far as I know, you players don't even care about us newbie village NPCs, right? Lin Yan wasn't surprised. The residents of the Divine Land had their own logic. They called players descendants and believed that they were sent by the foreign gods to gain experience, which is why they could be reborn. They also knew that these descendants referred to each other as players and called the local residents NPCs. It's because. Lin Yan was about to explain his prepared excuse. Forget it, who cares about your reasons? I'll tell you the truth, I've long given up on taking disciples, I won't take any more. Ching Daozi waved his hand, if that's why you came, go back the way you came, I won't see you off. Lin Yan was speechless, Ching Daozi's attitude was so resolute. The several special NPCs in the newbie village were the best choices for apprenticeship in the early stages. If he couldn't become Cheng Daozi's disciple, the golden advancement template he had planned for his brother would be ruined. The advancement templates were divided into bronze, silver, gold, and divine bestowal. The difficulty of obtaining the silver template was already high enough, only the top three players who killed the boss had a chance. In the early stages, out of a hundred people, only a few had a chance to obtain the silver template. The gold template was even rarer, with an extremely high difficulty of obtaining it. Just as Ching Daozi was about to get up to see them off, Lin Feng, who was immersed in the books, suddenly exclaimed, I never thought that this is the true application of mathematical principles to the world's rules, it's enlightening, truly enlightening. He kept deducing with his hands, the flow of mana, directly constructing a spatial bubble. 
Then, the spatial bubble disappeared in his hands and turned into a fireball, ice, earth spikes, black mist, poison gas. This is the truth of the world. Lin Feng murmured, his eyes shining brighter. Earth was a world in its final days, where the rules were not apparent. But in the divine land, there were traces of rules, and by calculating these rule trajectories, one could cast spells. This, this, this? Ching Daozi was dumbfounded, how did you do that? The ability to freely switch between elemental forms was clearly a manifestation of comprehending the essence of mana. The book says so, so I just followed it. It's just that these formulas are all unfamiliar, so it took me more time to calculate. Once I become more familiar with them, I should be able to improve and innovate, and then casting spells won't take so much time. Lin Feng dissipated his mana and scratched his head with a smile. What? You want to improve spells? You even have ideas for creating your own spells. Xing Daozi's tongue was tied, and his mind went blank. Genius. No. Calling him a genius is an insult. He is clearly an unparalleled monster. His hands are trembling with excitement. This talent is too incredible. Just by reading some messy manuscripts, he directly comprehended the essence of the laws and even had the urge to create his own spells. Searching through the classics, there are very few talents like this throughout history. Any one of them is a peerless saint-level powerhouse with extraordinary talent and uniqueness. Lin Yan is not surprised by Cheng Daozi's reaction, after all, he is a peerless monster who comprehended the forbidden curse in three days. If it weren't for his younger brother entering the game too late in his previous life, and his cultivation level was too low to use the forbidden curse, there would be no place for that couple to participate in the final divine battle. Ching Daozi's eyes were glued to Lin Feng, as if he had seen a rare jade, and even drooled. Lin Yan smirked, thinking of Cheng Daozi's stinky face just now and pretended to be regretful, I didn't expect that senior Ching Daozi is no longer accepting disciples. What a pity. It seems that my younger brother and you are not destined. Let's go, buddy. Oh, okay. Lin Feng nodded and was about to leave. Although he was a little reluctant, he had absolute trust in Lin Yan, after all, his brother had saved his life. Hey hey hey, don't go. Ching Daozi suddenly became anxious. Who said I'm not accepting disciples? I didn't say that. It was clearly the dog who said it. Lin Yan's eyes widened. This old man was really ruthless. He even scolded himself when he became anxious. Cough cough, how about this? Let's perform the ceremony to become master and disciple immediately. Tonight, I will impart all my lifelong knowledge to you. Cheng Daozi looked at Lin Yan's expression. His cautious appearance was completely different from just now. TSK, I didn't expect you, old man, to have two faces. Lin Yan smiled in his heart and pretended to ponder but my younger brother, he is just a beginner and doesn't have any treasures. He had already made up his mind to temporarily trust the village chief's faction and hand over the head of the blood corpse to them. After helping them so much, it wouldn't be excessive to collect some interest, right? What? Lin Feng, still thinking like a student, hesitated a bit. Since senior is so kind, then I will accept them. Lin Yan signaled to Lin Feng with his eyes. All right. Lin Feng nodded and accepted the gifts. Naturally, he had to change his words, thank you, teacher. Ha ha ha, good, good. I will do my best to cultivate you into a giant in the future mage world. With your talent, as long as you study hard, you will definitely become a generation's great mage. Xing Daozi laughed with his eyebrows raised and danced with his hands and feet. He pursued the truth of magic throughout his life, ignorant of human emotions, and had the personality of an old child. Lin Yan also nodded with satisfaction. Among the players in the Divine Land, mages accounted for a very small proportion. Because the combat in the divine land was very realistic, no matter what profession one chose, they had to truly understand the fundamental principles of that profession. Those who could become high-level mages were mostly science prodigies. Unfortunately, these prodigies rarely played games full-time. This resulted in the fact that Xiaogua didn't have many mage experts who could hold their ground on the battlefield. In large-scale battles, Xiaogua suffered a lot due to the lack of top-level mages. Then you should study with the master first, I'll go visit the village chief, Lin Yan said with a smile as he bid farewell. It was extremely difficult to increase Ching Daozi's favorability, but now he had directly reached two stars. His younger brother, Lin Feng, had even reached three stars. Visit the village chief? Ching Daozi's smiling face instantly turned serious. He looked Lin Yan up and down, his gaze deep, and finally said, The village chief is fishing in the mountains today, you can find him there. Lin Yan thanked him. Xing Daozi had been a great help, otherwise, he wouldn't know how long it would take to find the village chief. This could also be considered as benefiting from his younger brother. In the pond behind the mountain, Yuan Tianrun, the village chief of Ming village, was fishing. 
You finally came, the old voice of the village chief came. Lin Yan looked at the figure in front of him, his eyebrows raised, you know that I cleared the hidden instance? The village chief shook his head, I sensed it the moment the blood corpse head was born, but I don't know who obtained it. Lin Yan naturally sat down next to the village chief and picked up a fishing rod to fish. You made the right choice, village chief Yuan said with a relieved smile. Lin Yan's gaze remained calm, and he didn't speak. His goal was the divine bestowal template, but he wasn't sure if the choice he made was right or wrong. After a moment of silence, village chief Yuan narrowed his eyes and smiled, looking at Lin Yan, it seems that you didn't choose me out of righteousness. Tell me, what are your conditions? Lin Yan nodded. Dealing with smart people was easy, he didn't say a word, but the other party guessed his thoughts. I have three conditions, Lin Yan said, first, give me a legendary equipment. Second, provide clues about the divine bestowal template. Third, completely expel the White Wolf Guild from Ming Village. As soon as he finished speaking, Yuan Tianrun's pupils contracted, and his gaze towards Lin Yan became deep and dangerous. How do you know about the divine bestowal template? Yuan Tianrun's tone was cold. Everyone has their own opportunities, Lin Yan smiled slightly and didn't answer. Whom? Yuan Tianren pondered for a long time, and the dangerous look in his eyes gradually dissipated, the divine bestowal template is just a legend to me, and I don't know how to obtain it specifically. As for the legendary weapon, it's hard to find even two in the entire Ming village, so it's impossible to exchange for it. Yuan Tianren shook his head, I can exchange it with an epic equipment. As for expelling the White Wolf Guild, it's just a matter of words. I can promise you now. Lin Yan's expression remained calm. He didn't expect to really get such a big benefit. At least it has to be an advanced epic equipment. Lin Yan shook his head, resolute. Yuan Tianren rubbed his chin and looked at Lin Yan. If you insist on an advanced epic equipment, it can be done. I happen to have a task here. As long as you can complete it, I can give it to you. But it doesn't matter if you say it. Lin Yan nodded. Yuan Tianren said in a deep voice, this is an advanced task with extremely high difficulty. If it weren't for the fact that you caused a commotion in the newbie village and obtained the blood corpse head, I wouldn't even mention it to you. Think about it, whether you want to go to the main city to train for a while, advanced away, professional, and then come back to take on this task, or do it now, Lin Yan decisively said. Ha, ah, good. You have courage. Yuan Tianran nodded and directly issued the task. Village Chief Yuan Tianran of Ming Village has issued a task to you, will you accept it? Task details, destroy the truth sex stronghold outside the village task deadline, one week task requirements, kill more than 80% of the truth sex cultists in their strongholds and bring back the head of the stronghold leader. Task rewards, advanced silver template asterisk 1, advanced epic equipment asterisk 1 are their hidden rewards, yes except. Lin Yan accepted the task and got up to leave. He still had a week's time, and he wasn't in a hurry. Now it was time to meet his future sister-in-law. Looking at Lin Yan's departing figure, Yuan Tianran's gaze became deep, and he revealed an inscrutable smile, he's a smart person, but I wonder who you will choose in the end? Back in the newbie village, many players were discussing Lin Yan. He he, Mr. Yan, the Emperor of Flames, is almost at the end of his reign. I wonder if you can fulfill your promise to make the White Wolf Guild disappear from the newbie village. The steward of the White Wolf Guild walked up with a concerned look on his face. It's better to hand over the legendary equipment early so that our guild can recruit you, Mr. Yen, without holding any grudges. Today is the day. Why are you still holding on? Several experts from the White Wolf Guild sneered. Many players gathered around, most of them thinking that Lin Yen was bragging and that his bluff was about to be exposed. They all wanted to see the joke. Lin Yen smiled faintly. Before he could speak, the NPC enforcement team from the Dark Village rushed up, all players from the White Wolf Guild must leave the Dark Village within an hour, or they will be forcibly expelled. This ban is permanent and cannot be delayed. The shouts echoed throughout the newbie village, and the entire village seemed to fall silent. The players were dumbfounded. Did I hear correctly? The NPCs in the newbie village are going to expel the White Wolf Guild. Oh my god, Emperor Yan's methods are too incredible. The NPCs actually listened to him. How did he do it? I told you earlier, our Emperor Yan is not an ordinary person. What he says, he can definitely do. The discussion soared to the sky. After a while, the steward of the White Wolf Guild, who was still standing in place, finally reacted. He looked at Lin Yan with a pale face, as if he was looking at a monster. The experts from the White Wolf Guild were all unwilling and rushed forward to question, on what grounds? How dare you, mere NPCs, expel us players? Who gave you the courage? What qualifications do you have to expel us? The lowest rank of the newbie village guards was at least tier 2. They sneered at the words and said, this is the village chief's order. 
If you dare to cause trouble, I will expel you right now. I don't believe this. You dare to expel A. Before the words were finished, the guard's captain of the White Wolf Guild was killed by a single slash. Go ahead and try. The newbie village guard sneered and sheathed his sword. How dare a level 9 weakling speak disrespectfully to him. Seeing that the NPCs were really going to expel them, the steward felt a sense of unease and logged out before the sword could strike him. He ran away fast. Lin Yan sneered contemptuously. In the White Wolf Guild's headquarters, the steward's face turned pale. That Yan Emperor really did it. I don't know what means he used, but he actually made the newbie village chief issue an expulsion order. Ha! Huh? The poison prince's face turned dark, and a cold light burst from his eyes. He couldn't believe it for a long time. Who is this kid? He actually has such great power. Could it be that he is not just a poor kid from an ordinary family? The poison prince rubbed his chin. Lin Yan had already killed all the high-level experts of the White Wolf Guild below level 3, and the losses were already devastating. After losing this bet, the White Wolf Guild's reputation and prestige would plummet. Their stocks and support behind the scenes would also collapse. The losses were too great. It seems that we must make a strong move to make up for our losses. The Poison Prince's eyes flashed with ruthlessness. If the White Wolf Guild suffered such great losses and still remained unscathed, then they might as well not exist. Since they couldn't do it in the game, they would do it in reality. He was just about to make a plan when he received a call from his father. Are you planning to harm Lin Yen in real life? A cold voice came through the phone. Yes. The Poison Prince nodded. Father, this is the most sensible choice. He he. The cold voice laughed. I just received a call from the military district. They don't allow grudges from the Divine Land world to continue into reality. Give up your unrealistic fantasies. What? What does this have to do with the military? The Poison Prince was shocked. It's just a game, isn't it? The Poison Prince was dumbfounded. Could it be that Lin Yan is the illegitimate child of some high-ranking military officer? Even the military district is protecting him. Nonsense. Shut up. A cold voice paused for a moment. Based on my estimation, it should have nothing to do with Lin Yan as a person, but rather the uniqueness of God's land. Father, what do you mean? The poison prince suddenly realized, his back covered in cold sweat. Leave the newbie village. Head towards the main city, we have wasted too much time already. The cold voice was chilling. Don't make any more mistakes, God's land is too significant, we can't afford to lose. Yes. The poison prince hung up the phone, gritting his teeth. Damn it. You're lucky. I will make you pay sooner or later. Although Lin Yen was abnormal, the guild's advantage became more apparent as time went on. With thousands of people helping him gain experience points, as long as he continuously obtained advanced templates, the level gap would only grow larger. I don't believe you can laugh until the end. Within an hour, the White Wolf Guild had indeed completely withdrawn from the newbie village. This seemingly impossible bet ended with Lin Yan's resounding victory. The gaming community was shocked, Lin Yan had become famous in one battle. And the instigator of it all had already prepared a sumptuous feast with his younger brother. Ding dong. The doorbell rang. Lin Yan's eyes lit up. Little sister is here. As soon as Lin Yan opened the door, a hot figure with wine red wavy long hair burst into view. Hello, brothers. Chu Qing Xian greeted them very familiarly, as if it wasn't her first time here. Tutor brother, I finally get to see you alive. Chu Qingxian saw Lin Feng behind Lin Yan and immediately gave Lin Feng a big bear hug, making the face of this science student blush. Ah, uh, hello. Lin Feng was still worried that the other party would be shy, but he ended up being the one who didn't know what to do. Please sit. Lin Yan invited the two to take a seat. Tutor brother, you taught so well, why did you suddenly quit? Did my mom pay you too little? Chu Qingxian patted her impressive chest. Don't worry, I told her, from now on, I'll pay you 10,000 yuan per lesson. Lin Feng almost choked. He knew that Chu Qingxian came from a wealthy family, otherwise, she wouldn't be able to afford a tutor, but he didn't expect her to be this rich. I plan to focus on playing online games full-time. Lin Feng honestly said, Is it God's land? Chu Qingxuan's eyes lit up. I came this time to persuade you to play this game too. I was still thinking about how to convince you, but you've already figured it out. Her family background was not small, so she naturally heard the internal news in advance. Then let's play the game together? Chu Qingxian looked at Lin Feng with a charming gaze, very proactive. This? Lin Feng looked at Lin Yan. Lin Yan nodded. Great, you two young ones can cultivate teamwork by spending more time together. We will definitely need to team up in the future. Lin Feng almost spat out his soup. Brother, you're only three years older than me, why do you speak like an old man? Is this what they call an elder brother acting like a father? See, our brother agrees. 
Chu Qingxian climbed up the pole, giggling. I don't think our family has a virtual game warehouse yet, right? It's convenient to use that for gaming. I'll have the driver bring two over. That's not necessary. Lin Feng was about to refuse, but Lin Yan smiled and nodded. That's great, it'll be more convenient for us to team up and fight monsters. I'll convert the money for the virtual warehouse into experience pearls or gold coins for you. No need. It's just a toy for gaming. Let's consider it as making friends. Chu Qingxian waved her hand, full of grandeur. Generous. Lin Yan gave a thumbs up. Rich kids are really extravagant. He was just thinking about whether to convert his equipment into gold coins to buy a virtual warehouse. A meal in exchange for two virtual game warehouses worth six or seven hundred thousand, it's really worth it. Lin Feng looked at his brother, then at Chu Qingxian, and then buried his head and started eating. After dinner, Chu Qingxian was very happy. It's settled then, see you in the game. Okay. Lin Yan sent Chu Qingxian away, and jokingly bumped into Lin Feng, can't you see? She's interested in you, don't let her down. Lin Feng shook his head inside, but our family is poor, and I am disabled. I dare not miss such a good woman. Lin Yan paused for a moment and then assured him, don't worry, your leg can be cured. It just needs some time, so don't worry about it. Really? Lin Feng's eyes lit up. Yes, after the game arrives in the world, you can easily find a high-level priest to heal you. It's not difficult at all. Lin Yan patted Lin Feng's shoulder. You must bravely express your feelings. Don't miss out on such a good girl. In life, we shouldn't have regrets. Lin Feng fell into silence. Lin Yan returned to the esports room and found that the game's message list was exploding. Various guild recruitment messages were everywhere. Some offered 3 million, 5 million, and even the Qinglong Guild was willing to offer 80 million. Various gaming conglomerates also directly invited him. Even the richest man in Xia country, Mark Jean, sent an invitation, wanting to sign him for 3 billion. He he. They're really willing to spend money, Lin Yan shook his head. He had indeed gained a great reputation in this battle. With his own strength, he completely expelled the White Wolf Guild and showed his terrifying power in the Divine Land. That's why these guilds and conglomerates were willing to invest in him. Unfortunately, money doesn't mean much to me, Lin Yan shook his head. When the future Starry Sky Battlefield arrives, with the bloodshed of the various races, money will be as worthless as scrap paper. Whoever holds the power, holds the truth. So, I must cultivate my own power and not rely on anyone. His gaze was sharp and determined. After returning to the game, Ling Yen began to organize his thoughts. The task of wiping out the stronghold of the True Faith Church had a one-week deadline. As an advanced task, the difficulty would not be lower than that of hidden instances. The Blood Corpse instance was so dangerous that he almost lost. He must strengthen himself before proceeding. Lang Fong is no longer in the newbie village, and I can't exchange for whiteboard equipment. Newbie village players can't afford second-tier equipment. Looks like I can only go find the blacksmith. Lin Yan shook his head, feeling somewhat helpless. Compared to fair player-to-player -player transactions, the blacksmith's prices were very high, and equipment could only be sold at low prices. When he arrived at the blacksmith's shop, Wang the blacksmith was forging. Brat, what are you doing here? The blacksmith raised his eyebrows and glanced at Lin Yan, obviously having heard of him before. Of course, I'm here to trade weapons with you. Lin Yan smiled. Those newbie weapons are just toys. Didn't they open a trading market for you to buy and sell? Wang the blacksmith frowned. These advanced equipment can't be sold in the trading market. Lin Yan honestly said. Hmm. Wang the blacksmith was somewhat surprised, and his expression became serious. Advanced equipment? Let me see. Lin Yan displayed the weapons from his backpack. 35 pieces of second-tier common equipment, 15 pieces of second-tier fine equipment, 3 pieces of second-tier rare equipment. Wang the blacksmith casually calculated and said, 1,000 gold coins, I'll take them all. Lin Yan furrowed his brows and inwardly cursed the greedy blacksmith, as far as I know, these weapons are worth at least 3,000 gold coins. Ha ha ha, if that brat wants to sell, he can go to the main city. Why come to me? If you want to sell, sell it to me at this price. Wang the blacksmith waved his hand, ignoring Lin Yan's bargaining. Lin Yan was speechless for a moment. This blacksmith was really greedy. If all else failed, he could only start the main city plot early. Lin Yan, you're here too. Shen Yue exclaimed in surprise. You're here too? Lin Yan was somewhat astonished. Uncle Blacksmith is very nice. He asked me to help with some small tasks and gave me a high salary. Shen Yue blushed after being discovered. In fact, she wanted to save money to buy an advanced weapon as a surprise for Lin Yan. Is he your friend? Wang the blacksmith appeared to be in his fifties, with a strong muscular build, and had a sour expression towards everyone. 
Only after seeing Shen Yue did his face soften with a fatherly kindness. Yes, Uncle Blacksmith. He is my best friend. Shen Yue nodded proudly. Whom? The blacksmith nodded, his expression becoming more relaxed. All right, since he's the little girl's friend, we'll make an exception. But I'm in the business of buying equipment, so I can't pay the original price. Otherwise, I won't make any profit. How about this? I'll give you the highest purchase price, 80% of the original price, 2,400 gold coins. How does that sound? Deal. Lin Yan nodded. Even in the main city's weapon shop, he wouldn't be able to negotiate such a high purchase price. Your attitude changed so quickly. Lin Yan felt something was off and checked the other person's panel. Ha! Huh? He was pleasantly surprised to find that Blacksmith Wan's favorability towards him had reached one star. Just as I thought. He smiled faintly. Each NPC in the beginner's village had their own strategy. To unlock their storylines, their favorability needed to be increased. Xin Yue's actions had earned him an extra 1,400 gold coins. Old Wang, do you have any white-grade equipment? Like a set for one silver coin? Lin Yan's mind started working again as he tried to get closer. Do you think I deal in junk? Blacksmith Wang waved his hand impatiently. Even my worst equipment is a first-tier blue-grade fine equipment. All right. Lin Yan sighed, realizing he couldn't exploit this bug. Then show me your goods. He planned to use the gold coins he earned to purchase first-tier equipment. The logic was the same as exchanging first-tier equipment for white-grade equipment. A second-tier ordinary longsword was worth 30 gold coins and only added 40 attack power. But a first-tier ordinary longsword was worth at most 3 gold coins and added 10 attack power. If he bought first-tier equipment with all 30 gold coins, he could increase his attack power by at least 100. Sell the second-tier equipment and buy a large quantity of first-tier equipment? Blacksmith Wang looked deeply at Lin Yan. You really are unpredictable. But since you're the little girl's friend, I'll sell them to you at a fair price. Soon, Lin Yan purchased hundreds of first-tier fine equipment from Blacksmith Wang and also took Xin Yue's Moonlight Bao. In a secluded area of the beginner's village, he began another round of fusion. In addition to my own equipment, I need to strengthen my little brother's and Yue's main weapons. Lin Yan contemplated. If we need to tackle dungeons together in the future, we need to ensure their damage output is sufficient. Yue is a ranged archer, and my little brother is an AoE mage. They can provide explosive damage from the backline under the protection of the life and death mark. So the top priority is to equip them with powerful main weapons as soon as possible. After a round of fusion, all the equipment received a significant boost. Yue and my little brother's main weapons are also taking shape. After putting the Moonlight Bow and Forbidden Staff into his backpack, Lin Yan opened his attribute page, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 Health, 400, Armor, 81519 Attack, 10025, Armor Penetration, 300, Physical Resistance, 45, Magical Resistance, 40, Movement Speed, 3, Attack Speed, 2, Mana, 40 Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 26,050, Physical Defense plus 13, Magical Defense plus 13, Counter Damage plus 4,099. Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 24,500, Physical Defense plus 2, Magical Defense plus 2, Counter Damage plus 4,267, Broken Swordmaster Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 9,999, Physical Defense plus 18, Magical Defense plus 18, Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White, Attack plus 10,000, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 3rd Tier, Skills, Wave stacking 3 blades, 1 star, flame blade, 1 star, 9 fold thunder flash, 3 stars, abilities, none treasures, life and death mark, water avoidance cape. After the previous battle and this fusion, my stats have received a huge boost. Basic armor broke 80,000. Lin Yan looked at the magic knife Chen Run in his hand, his eyes were hot, and most importantly, his attack power. Finally broke 10,000. Prepare for the strategy. Lin Yan stood up, handed the equipment to Xin Yu Wei and his younger brother and walked out of the newbie village alone. I hope this time I can stack more armor. He muttered. At the same time, the Mu group. I've heard about the things these past two days. If it's true as you say, you need to get closer to this Lin Yan. A woman dressed in elegance and luxury, drinking red wine, lazily said. Get closer to him? He's just a poor student. I don't see his value. Even if he's strong now, he's still just in the newbie village. The situation is uncertain now. Mu Ching Wan frowned and analyzed. You don't understand. The woman shook her head. This game, God's Land, will bring about a world-class revolution in the future. Lin Yan's current performance is worth winning over. Wasn't he your lapdog before? Tempt him. 
If you don't even know how to manipulate a man's heart, how can the Mu group trust you? This. Mu Qingwan's face turned pale, and she nodded heavily. I understand. Good, even if you have to turn the tables and manipulate him, you have to do it. I just want to know the secret of his strength. After obtaining this secret, the Mu group will become incredibly powerful. At that time, whether you abandon him or seek revenge on him, it will be up to your own discretion. The woman revealed a cold smile. Everything in this world is nothing more than the word interest. Only by any means necessary can you obtain everything you want. Mu Qingwan's eyes trembled, and her mentality completely changed. I understand, mother. Qingwan will definitely do it. Go. The exit of the dark village. Just as Lin Yan walked out, he saw a group of people banging drums and gongs. Boss, are you going to jungle too? Fatty Duan Day approached. Ha, huh? why aren't you telling cold jokes to the blind monk? What are you doing at the village entrance? Lin Yan teased. Hey, you know how talented I am, the king of cold jokes. Just tell a few to that old man, and he'll be laughing his head off. Duan De was extremely proud. You don't know, that old man begged to take me as his disciple. Then didn't you take the opportunity to extort two treasures from him? Lin Yan smiled faintly. These big shot NPCs in the newbie village are all rich. There's also this kind of operation? I was careless. When it comes to being sinister, it has to be you, boss. Duan De smirked. Get lost. Lin Yan rolled his eyes and casually scattered a pile of experience pearls. Is it true that you're still level 1? Use these experience pearls to level up, enough to get you to level 9. Damn, boss, you're generous. Duan De happily accepted the experience pearls. Just now, I was just bragging. In fact, these days, he had been racking his brains to come up with cold jokes for the blind monk and didn't have time to level up. It was not easy for him to become the blind monk's disciple, so he was still at level 1. What's going on here? Lin Yan pointed to the crowd banging drums and gongs in front. Oh, them? They're from the White Wolf Guild. Fatty smirked. Wasn't Poison Young Master expelled from the Dark Village? He brought people from the White Wolf Guild and joined some kind of truth sect on the way. They're here to preach for the truth sect. The truth sect says that the village chief and his gang are all bad people and want to release a big boss to ravage the land. As long as you join the truth sect and help them destroy the newbie village, you'll be rewarded with a silver template, and the first achiever will be directly rewarded with a gold template. Oh, Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. This plot is a bit different from the previous life. In theory, the truth sect wouldn't recruit players now. This reward is really tempting. If I hadn't already become the blind monk's disciple, I would have wanted to trick them into giving me a silver template. Fatty shook his head regretfully. Why are you regretting? Lin Yan shook his head. Go back and honestly raise the blind monk's favorability to three stars, and I guarantee you'll get a gold template. Damn, is it true? Duan De exclaimed in disbelief. Now players all know the meaning of the advanced template. The bronze template advances, and the overall strength doubles. The silver template, the overall strength triples. And advancing with the gold template, the strength increases fivefold directly. Its preciousness is self-evident. If every stage is advanced with the gold template, the gap between the players who advance with the bronze template will quickly become insurmountable. It is said that there is 1 in 10,000 chances of obtaining the gold template. To get it, you need a great opportunity. Boss, you are truly farsighted and unparalleled in wisdom and courage. You have paved such a road to the heavens for me from the beginning. Duan Deli danced with joy. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. It is extremely difficult to increase the NPC's 3-star favorability, even he is not sure, he can only rely on the fat man's ability. Brothers, did you see that? When we joined the true faith, we were directly given many experience pearls and advanced templates. The expert from the White Wolf Guild boasted, Brother, I am now a true professional. Yesterday, he was beaten up by Lin Yan and was expelled from the newbie village in a miserable state. Today, he has returned after advancing. Who wouldn't be envious of this leveling speed and the great opportunity it represents? How do we join the true faith? I want to go to advanced templates? This is too good. Even if you work hard to defeat bosses, you might not get a silver template, right? The players were extremely envious. Although in recent days, several major guilds have cleared the Lu Palace instance and obtained the silver advanced template, for the vast majority of ordinary players, the silver advanced template is still a luxury. Many people can only choose to join the main city army, obtain the bronze advanced template, and undergo the lowest level job change. Follow me, I'll lead the way. The professional from the White Wolf Guild beckoned, looking proud. Lin Yan sneered. The silver template is precious, and the true faith doesn't have too much inventory. They are just using a few advanced players to deceive the players. It is impossible to give everyone a silver template. 
I was just wondering about the location of the true faith stronghold, and he came over to lead the way. It's like giving a pillow when I'm sleepy. In a sense, the White Wolf Guild can also be considered my lucky star. He shook his head and laughed. You go back and continue to increase the favorability of the blind monk, I'll follow and take a look. Lin Yan instructed the fat man. Okay. Duan Deli came out this time to level up by killing monsters. Now that he has reached the maximum level with the help of Lin Yan's experience pearls, he is naturally not in a hurry. Lin Yan followed the White Wolf Guild all the way. With his strength, it was easy for him to go unnoticed. Soon, he tracked them to a camp. It seems that this is the stronghold of the true faith. Lin Yan concealed his aura and quietly entered the stronghold. As soon as he entered the stronghold, he heard the black-robed priests of the true faith preaching their doctrine. From the calamity caused by the King Lu's corpse a thousand years ago to the evil conspiracy of village chief Yuan's group. So that's how it is. Many players suddenly realized, exclaiming that this is the correct way to open the plot. No wonder it's so difficult to play in the Ming village. It turns out that you need to leave the village to trigger the real plot. The truth is like this. Village chief Yuan is really despicable. The players all criticized. I promise that as long as you help us in the true faith to overthrow village chief Yuan and contribute to justice, the true faith will definitely not treat you unfairly. The black-robed priest pulled the poison prince onto the stage, just like this noble prince who understands righteousness, he is the first to choose to join the true faith. As our first friend, he has obtained an epic weapon and a silver advanced template. I promise that as long as you can bring in 100 friends and relatives to join our true faith, you can obtain the silver template. Is it true? Wow, amazing. The true faith will surely win. Overthrow the tyranny of the old village chief. The members of the White Wolf Guild dispersed among the crowd, setting the rhythm at the right time and creating a very appropriate atmosphere. Lin Yan was speechless. Isn't this just a pyramid scheme? Deceive people to recruit new members into the organization, recruit enough people to receive corresponding rewards. It seems like a cult without a doubt. He sneered, then began to walk around the camp. This stronghold is quite big, I need to find out more before taking action. Lin Yan pondered. Looking at the members of the true faith, there were at least thousands of them, and the weakest were all second-tier professionals. The black-robed priest was even a third-tier elite professional. He scanned the opponent's data, true faith black-robed priest, smurl race, human, white, profession, flame priest level, 35 HP, 67,300 armor, 31,519 attack, 1,750 armor penetration, 300 physical resistance, 45 magical resistance, 40 mana, 6,000. Equipment, spirit fire ritual, true faith leather armor, priest's cloak. Skills, bone spirit cold flame, curse of the fire sea. Due to the level difference, he could only see part of the opponent's information. I wonder how many experts like him are in this stronghold. He was cautious. This priest was obviously an advanced elite professional with a golden template. The data was impressive, with an attack power of 1750, more than twice that of a blood corpse, posing a great threat. Also, the race of the true faith. Is it really white? Lin Yan caught this important information. Emperor Yan, the poison prince, standing on the high platform, caught a glimpse of Lin Yan and his eyes turned blood red. He hated Lin Yan to the core, even if Lin Yan turned into ashes, he could still recognize him at a glance. Your Excellency, he is the village chief's lackey. To kill the village chief, we must kill him first. The poison prince coldly said to the black-robed priest. Oh, the black-robed priest focused his gaze on Lin Yan. They couldn't defeat the old village chief and his group, but if they could eliminate the village chief's lackey, it would be a great achievement in the true faith. Immediately seal off the stronghold and gather all members, don't let him escape. The black-robed priest ordered immediately. In the next moment, the gates of the stronghold closed, and powerful black-robed figures rushed out from all directions, surrounding Lin Yan. Ha! Huh? Discovered? Lin Yan was not surprised, he came here to take down the stronghold after all. Although he hadn't fully grasped the enemy's strength, with his current power, a mere stronghold couldn't threaten him. Capture the thief first. He had a clear goal, his eyes coldly fixed on the black-robed priest. Ninefold thunder flash. Boom. 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 In an instant, he crossed a hundred meters, cutting down anyone who stood in his way. These second-tier true faith disciples, even if they were advanced to silver rank and equipped with weapons and armor, their HP values were still in the thousands. Killing them was a piece of cake. The players present immediately exclaimed in shock at the sight of the massacre. It's him. It's Emperor Yen again. Don't let him escape. The black-robed priest was surprised, Lin Yan's combat power was truly extraordinary. These professional disciples had HP values in the thousands, and yet he could kill them with a single strike? 
How high was his attack power? Boom, boom, boom. Shadows exploded, accompanied by the damage from the triple thunder. Wherever Lin Yan went, blood damage numbers popped up above the heads of these disciples, causing everyone's hearts to tremble. Damn, it seems I have to personally take action. The black-robed priest waved his ritual instrument, and a huge black curse mark formed behind him. Go! The black curse mark struck Lin Yan, reducing his attack speed and movement speed by half, and causing his armor to lose 100 points per second. Damn! Lin Yan frowned. This was his first time facing a third-tier powerhouse since his rebirth, and it was a ranged priest, very troublesome. I must quickly take him down. Lin Yan continued to kill his way through, unimpeded. Occasionally encountering experts, he could defeat them in just two or three strikes. Although NPCs had lower stats than dungeon monsters, their combat skills and skill intensity were generally higher. Why could a skilled player kill dozens of wild monsters with higher stats than him? It was because of his intelligence and combat skills. So, even though the number of these truth cultists is low, they are more deadly and harder to defeat. Unfortunately, in terms of battle experience, you guys are still too inexperienced. Lin Yan's killing intent was raging as he slaughtered over 300 truth cultists, cutting his way to the altar. He glanced at his own condition, my armor has dropped by over 3000 points, mostly due to curses. Gurgle. Poison Prince was drenched in cold sweat. He had thought that after advancing, his combat power would be on par with Lin Yan's, but now it seemed that the gap was still terrifyingly large. They were simply not on the same level. Mr. Poison, now is the time for you to show your loyalty. Immediately lead your subordinates into battle. The black-robed priest was scared out of his wits. He was just a priest, and once he got close, with the terrifying output of the flame emperor, he probably wouldn't survive ten strikes. All right. Without these words, Poison Prince also wanted revenge, follow me. He led the members of the White Wolf Guild to charge down the altar and intercept Lin Yan. Unfortunately, they were simply too weak. The truth cultists occasionally had some experts who could withstand two or three strikes from Lin Yan, but they were taken out by a single strike, with several of them killed clean in less than a minute. This time, I want to see if you can survive. Poison Prince laughed maniacally before his death. He didn't believe that Lin Yan could escape from the truth cult stronghold. TCH. The blade flashed, and the White Wolf Guild was wiped out once again. Lin Yan stepped on the platform built from bones and killed his way up to the altar. Your time is up. He coldly looked at the black-robed priest. Ha ha ha. The black-robed priest laughed loudly. You're too late. My ritual is already complete. Black blood oozed from his body as he shouted, Oh Supreme One, eliminate the enemies in this world. Black mist surged out from the altar, engulfing the truth cultists and players one by one causing them to explode and their essence to be absorbed by the altar. The black mist grew thicker, and a huge skull emerged from it, spewing out an evil aura. At the same time, the altar formation was activated. Four black-robed figures appeared simultaneously, standing at the four corners of the altar, all of them third-tier powerhouses. Flame Emperor, we have been waiting for you. The faces of the four were obscured by their black robes, making them indistinct. Lin Yan's pupils contracted, and his heart sank. These four were all higher rank than the black-robed priest, one level 39 mage and three level 36 warriors. I fell into a trap. He frowned. In his current state, facing five third-tier powerhouses, plus an evil spirit formation, was not good at all. This can't even be considered an advancement quest. His face darkened as he glanced at the quest panel. The original advancement quest had temporarily changed to third-tier elite quest. Damn it. He took a deep breath his mind racing as he instantly thought of many possibilities. Perhaps there was a traitor among the village leaders. Perhaps someone didn't want him to complete the quest and gain the trust of the old village chief. Perhaps the old village chief and the truth cult were in cahoots from the beginning. But regardless of the truth behind this ambush, he had to pass this test first. Only through battle. His eyes gleamed brightly, filled with fighting spirit. Roar! The black skull roared as it engulfed Lin Yan, trying to devour him in one bite. Lin Yan rolled and dodged, slashing with a three-blade combo, cracking the black skull. Die! Before he could even stabilize himself, the weapons of the three black-robed third-tier warriors were already attacking him. Flame blade! He shouted angrily, unleashing a blade of fire that pushed all three of them back. Such bravery in killing the pawns. The highest-ranked black-robed mage praised. He muttered incantations, pointing his staff, and the poison mist turned into a three-meter giant black hand, restraining Lin Yan. Take this opportunity to kill him. The mage shouted. Die. The three black-robed warriors attacked together. Break. Lin Yin drank a potion to break free from the control, spun in the air, narrowly avoiding the three attacks, and kicked the sword-wielding warrior in the face, using the force to fly towards the priest. 
such terrifying battle instincts. The black-robed mage was sweating profusely, and the speed of his incantations increased. Die! Lin Yen, in conjunction with his folding knife technique, slashed twice in one second while under the curse state. Minus 9880 minus 10239, damn it! A single slash deals over 10,000 damage? What kind of monster are you? The black-robed priest retreated in fear, but Lin Yen persisted, relentlessly attacking him. The skeleton head behind him had caught up and crashed into Lin Yan's back. Minus 1999, I must deal with the priest first. Lin Yan's eyes were as cold as ice. The evil fire priest could continuously summon evil spirits with the help of the formation, and one evil spirit posed a greater threat than two black-robed warriors. If he didn't quickly take down the evil fire priest, once he summoned four evil spirits, he would have no choice but to flee. Minus 1888, minus 1789, minus 2333. The evil spirits relentlessly bombarded his back, causing his armor value to plummet. But Lin Yen held on tightly, unleashing a frenzy of attacks and reducing the evil fire priest to pieces. Phew! He was continuously losing health, and the curse debuffs that reduced his attack speed and movement speed disappeared. I've lost over 20,000 armor in this battle, and at least 20,000 of it was because of this black-robed priest. Lin Yen summarized as he fought. I need to find a weapon with curse-restraining properties as soon as possible. He turned around, using the wave stacking technique in conjunction with the folding knife, and hacked the motionless skeleton head to pieces. If you want to die, come and fight. Lin Yan's fighting spirit boiled as he pointed his long knife at the three approaching black-robed warriors. The three were intimidated by Lin Yan's overwhelming killing intent, freezing in their tracks. We were ambushed by five top experts, and the priest even set up the sacrificial formation in advance, yet we were still killed by a single priest. The Emperor of Flame's strength is truly terrifying. The surviving players trembled in a corner, watching this high-level battle that they couldn't comprehend. I don't believe you have so many controlled dispelling potions. The black-robed mage's spells cooled down, and he cast them again. A black hand appeared out of thin air, restraining Lin Yen, allowing the three black-robed warriors to charge forward. Ha! Lin Yen sneered, crushing the control dispelling potion in his hand. Control dispelling potions were indeed rare in the early stages. However, he had achieved several rare achievements that were enough to be announced to the entire server, so he had a considerable number of control dispelling potions and was almost immune to control skills. Frost Cross Slash. Frost Spike. Mountain Splitter. The three black-robed warriors used their ultimate skills, unleashing terrifying power that turned into a hurricane, dispersing the surrounding black mist. Ha! Lin Yan's lips curled up as he swallowed a blue potion, and in the eyes of everyone, he disappeared instantly. Boom! 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 Like thunder descending, lightning struck every 10 meters. It's that move again. The three black-robed warriors were astonished. By the time they reacted, Lin Yan had already forcefully killed his way to the black-robed mage. Quick, save me! The black-robed mage let out a miserable scream, raising his staff and continuously casting defensive spells on himself. At the same time, he took out several scrolls and tore them open with a pained expression. Lin Yan's attack power was too terrifying, and he had to do everything he could to survive. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Various protective shields unfolded around the black-robed mage. The mage's armor value was the lowest among all classes except assassins, so every mage would exhaust all means to collect survival methods. At this moment, he desperately used all his survival methods, making it difficult for even Lin Yan to break through. Bang, bang, bang. Even though he could break through two or three layers of protective shields with a single slash, this old sixth black-robed mage had layered dozens of them on himself. Especially the extremely magnificent earring, which evolved into 20 layers of protection with a single spin. The colorful rainproof covers nested together, making the black-robed mage's defense even stronger than a turtle shell. We're here. The three black-robed warriors rushed over with all their might. If they lost the mage as their long-range damage dealer, they wouldn't be able to save themselves. Saving the mage meant saving themselves. You have a thick turtle shell. Lin Yan had no choice but to turn around and fight the three black-robed warriors. These three individuals have high attack power. Even with tens of thousands of armor, it's not enough to withstand their attacks. He is able to fight against three opponents at once and become stronger with each kill, even gaining the upper hand. This guy is terrifying. The four black-robed powerhouses are all shocked and terrified. Lin Yan's strength surpasses their expectations. He's only been here for a short time, how is it possible for him to be this strong? It seems that the old village chief underestimated him. Lin Yan's gaze sharpens, unaffected by these words. He fights against the three black-robed warriors while also having enough strength to break the turtle shell of the mage. 
blades and sword shadows, chi energy everywhere. Due to the relentless attacks from the sixth mage, Lin Yan's armor value continues to decrease. However, the protective shield of the black rogue mage is also almost destroyed by him. Now is the time. He drinks a mana potion and unleashes the ninefold thunder flash once again. This time, he directly breaks through the black robed mage's last defense and even grabs hold of him. The black robed mage's brain hasn't even reacted yet, and he's already being carried by Lin Yan, flying nearly a hundred meters away. Oh no! The three black robed warriors are dumbfounded. Emperor Yan, you have no sense of honor. They frantically run towards the mage. But it's already too late. I deliberately synchronized the cooldowns of all my skills for this moment. Lin Yan sneers and drinks several mana potions again. Triple wave slash. Triple wave slash, stacking blade technique, flame blade. The three major skills are unleashed, along with the explosive damage from the ninefold thunder flash and triple thunder damage. Minus 10,399, minus 12,899, minus 14,299, minus 10,387, minus 13,330, minus 1,340. In just a moment, Lin Yan unleashes all his skills, delivering the most explosive output so far, surpassing 60,000 damage. He directly blows up the black robed mage, turning him into a pile of flesh. Phew. Lin Yan breathes a sigh of relief, having dealt with this long range control sixth mage, the rest of the battle will be easy. He grabs the exquisite earring in his hand, which is likely a defensive treasure, but he's not sure if it's disposable. No. The three black robed warriors feel a chill down their spines. With the mage dead, they know they have no chance against Lin Yan. Run. The three of them make a quick decision and turn to flee. Lin Yan smirks, you think you can escape? You can't. Oh my god. He won. A level 9 killing a level 39 elite NPC. Emperor Yen is invincible. The trembling players discuss in a shaky voice. The black robed protectors have all run away, brothers, let's escape. The members of the truth sect have completely lost their composure. They won't risk their lives for just a few dozen gold coins of monthly salary. The stronghold falls into chaos, with thousands of people gathered in the truth sect stronghold, all killed by Lin Yan alone. Lin Yan relentlessly pursues the three black robed warriors. They are all third tier elite professionals, and they have all advanced to the golden template, proving their high status in the truth sect. As long as I can obtain a third tier equipment, even if it's just a fine quality one, it will greatly enhance my current strength. Lin Yan became more and more excited as he thought about it, hand over all the equipment on your bodies. His smile fell into the eyes of the three people, like the sinister smile of a demon. He's even uglier than a boss in a dungeon. The black-robed sword warrior commented. Ha! Huh? You talk too much. Lin Yan swallowed a cooldown reduction potion and instantly caught up to the sword warrior with nine consecutive lightning flashes. The sword warrior, whose fighting spirit had collapsed, was killed by him in less than ten seconds. In this way, he chased after thousands of truth sect followers, running through the mountains. Along the way, he also took care of the truth sect followers he encountered. The mountain road quickly turned into a bloody path, with bodies everywhere. So bloody and brutal. He shouldn't be called the Flame Emperor, he should be called the Great Demon King. The players watched this scene dumbfounded, all stunned in place. After a long time, Lin Yan returned covered in blood, holding the bloody heads of three black-robed warriors in his hand. The players' legs went weak. Although they knew it was a game, Lin Yan was a bit too brutal, and he was killing humanoid NPCs. What are you looking at? Are you all waiting to snatch my loot? Lin Yan scanned the crowd with a cold gaze and asked in a cold voice. No, we dare not. The players were afraid of being killed by him in one strike and scattered obediently. Who? Lin Yan put the heads of the five black-robed people into his backpack, looted the stronghold clean, and finally looked at his own status. I've lost nearly 50,000 armor, I almost triggered the armor recovery warning line. His fear of insufficient armor syndrome flared up again. He looked at the mission status bar, mission name, annihilate the truth sect stronghold outside the village mission status, completed mission requirements, kill more than 80% of the truth sect cultists in the stronghold and bring back the head of the stronghold leader. Mission rewards, advanced silver template asterisk 1, advanced epic equipment asterisk 1 mission evaluation, perfect clearance. Hidden rewards have been activated. Hmm, I can go back and ask old Yuan for more information. Lin Yan's eyes were cold. How did the truth sect know that he was going to destroy their stronghold? The news must have leaked, and it must be related to the higher-ups in Ming village. When he returned to the newbie village, he saw his younger brother and Chu Qingxian strolling together in the village. Lin Fang's expression was relaxed and happy. Only in the game could he regain the feeling of having legs. Brother! Lin Feng waved at him. Hmm, did you take Qingxian to meet that tyrant flower? 
This was what Lin Yan had instructed Lin Feng to do before he left. Brother, you're amazing. That female martial fanatic took a liking to Qing Xian at first sight. They had a great conversation, and Qing Xian easily gained one star of favorability. Lin Feng said. Lin Yan nodded, keep up the good work and try to get two stars of favorability and then become her disciple. The female martial fanatic was also one of the seven special NPCs, known as the Tyrant Flower of Ming Village. If Chu Qingxian could learn core skills from her, she would definitely become one of the top experts in the future. Then you guys go ahead and have fun. After waving his hand, Lin Yan went to the village chief's house. He found that Yuan Tianran was not there again. Damn slacking village chief, did he go fishing again? Lin Yan found the fishing pond behind the mountain, and sure enough, Yuan Tianran was there. Why are you here again? Yuan village chief was somewhat surprised to see Lin Yan. Did you find the advanced mission too difficult, so you're planning to give up? I'm here to turn in the mission. Lin Yan presented his mission settlement application. Hmm. Yuan Tianran's pupils contracted, he looked deeply at Lin Yan, and then confirmed the settlement. You really surprised me. He threw the silver template and advanced epic equipment to Lin Yan. By annihilating one of the truth sect's strongholds, you have shown your commitment. I can fully trust you. Yuan Tianren smiled slightly. He stood up and looked at Lin Yan with admiration in his eyes. You can become my disciple. I will teach you the core professional skills that will allow you to see the entire Longsha Empire and be considered a top-tier core professional. Lin Yan's eyes remained calm. He knew that Yuan Tianren wasn't bragging. Each of these hidden powerhouses in the newbie village was a top force in the Longsha Empire. Yuan Tianren is completely qualified to say so. But unfortunately, I refuse, Lin Yan calmly said. Oh, do you think I'm just a small village chief, too weak? Yuan Tianren raised an eyebrow and smiled. He waved his sleeve and pointed his finger at the bamboo forest in front of him. With his finger as a sword, the sword energy passed through like a hurricane. Chi chi chi. The lush bamboo forest on the mountain was all destroyed by this sword energy. Although I am old, I still have some qualifications to teach you, Yuan Tianren said proudly with a hint of pride in his old eyes. Village chief Yuan is powerful, but I am focused on the divine bestowed template. The divine bestowed template comes with a core professional skill, so I cannot accept other core professional skills, Lin Yan explained calmly. Hmm. Yuan Tianren looked at Lin Yan with a deeper gaze. You actually know so much about the divine bestowed template? Even he had only heard about it and never actually seen it. If it's the core skill of the divine bestowed template, it is naturally much stronger than this old man, Yuan Tianren also smiled calmly and did not insist. Unfortunately, with your current strength, it is far from enough to obtain the divine bestowed template. You don't have to worry about it, village chief Yuan, Lin Yan smiled slightly. I have proven my sincerity, and village chief Yuan should also prove your sincerity. My sincerity? Yuan Tianren was taken aback. Since village chief Yuan knows that there is a divine bestowed template in the Ming village, you should know some clues. I need this information, Lin Yan said calmly. Hmm. Yuan Tianren's face completely darkened. Or, you can find and kill the traitor who betrayed me this time, and give me all their equipment, Lin Yan said firmly. You dare. Yuan Tianren said in a low voice, a terrifying aura emanating from him. There can never be a traitor in the Ming village. Yuan Tianren said decisively. Lin Yan frowned and sneered, I was ambushed in the stronghold and had to kill five third-level experts to break free. Whether what I said is true or false, you can check the mission rating. Yuan Tianren's heart trembled. He was too focused on wanting to take Lin Yan as his disciple and didn't pay attention. At this moment, he frowned and restrained his anger. The followers of the true faith once said during the battle that it was you who provided the information, Lin Yan observed Yuan Tianren. This is just sowing discord. Yuan Tianren shook his head. I think I don't need to go through such a big circle to kill you. I can just attack you directly. Who knows if you established a cult under your command to handle the dirty work that you can't be seen doing, just to maintain the village chief's positive image? Lin Yan pressed on aggressively. Then how do you want me to prove it? Yuan Tianren couldn't argue logically and asked in frustration. Clues about the divine bestowed template, or killing the traitor, Lin Yan confidently held his ground. He only wanted the divine bestowed template, and he didn't care about the truth. Crack, crack. Yuan Tianren clenched his fists tightly, then sighed helplessly, I am not unwilling to tell you, but the divine bestowed template is related to past events. Talking about it would reopen old wounds, so I don't want to mention it. Lin Yan also breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, finally, he's going to talk. The reason why he was so firm was to force Yuan Tianren to reveal the hidden story and advance the hidden plot. As long as he kept advancing the plot, the divine bestowed template would be closer and closer to him. When the zombie king evil Chi returned, 
The Longxia Empire fought with all its might, vowing to completely eliminate this hidden danger, Yuan Tianran recalled, in the final battle, I and six other brothers, along with the Empire's Princess Xiaqi, fought against the evil Qi together. After a bloody battle, we finally sealed it here. And the seven of us, one died in battle, one went missing, and the rest were all seriously injured. Yuan Tianran's eyes were filled with sorrow, and he sighed deeply, after this battle, we were honored as the seven heroes of dawn for our achievements. But Princess Xiaqi was imprisoned due to court intrigue. The five of us were disheartened and had to return home to protect the princess. We promised to guard the Ming village for the rest of our lives and never step out of it. In exchange, the princess would regain her freedom. Lin Yan fell silent. The village elder's experience was indeed tragic. Few heroes have a good ending since ancient times. You are going to attack the stronghold of the true faith, and I only told these few trusted brothers in the village, Yuan Tianren said in a deep voice. They would never betray the Ming village. After all, whether they wanted wealth and glory or to sell out for personal gain, they didn't have to wait until today to do it. Do you understand? But my information leaked. That's the truth, Lin Yan shook his head, not satisfied with this explanation. That's right. Yuan Tianren frowned, then a look of shock flashed in his eyes. Could it be? She's back? Who? Lin Yan's eyes flickered. The teammate who went missing in that battle? You're perceptive, Yuan Tianren nodded, his eyes filled with both surprise and confusion. She is the daughter of a blacksmith and a psychic. In that battle, she lost her memory due to mental overload and went berserk. We searched for her for many years but couldn't find any trace of her. She had a psychic contract with me and the others. If it's her, she might indeed know our plans. But if she regained her sanity, why didn't she come back to the Ming village and instead join the true faith? Yuan Tianren shook his head, completely unable to understand. But he couldn't think of any other possibilities for the leaked information. I need to think about this matter, but it is indeed my responsibility that the information leaked and put you in danger. Yuan Tianren took out an advanced epic equipment again. Consider this as my compensation. Lin Yan nodded and accepted it. I have a guess though. Hmm, tell me. Yuan village chief frowned. Even if I tell you my guess, you won't believe it. Just do as I say, Lin Yan whispered his thoughts to the village chief. Yuan Tianren's face changed, then he nodded. I'll follow your words. After the decision was made, Lin Yan returned to the Ming village. Since it's related to Wang the blacksmith, Let's go to the blacksmith shop and see if we can find any clues. I also need to exchange the supplies from the stronghold for weapons. Lin Yan walked all the way to the blacksmith shop. He keenly noticed that there were fewer players in the newbie village, and the players he encountered looked at him with vigilance and hostility. He didn't pay much attention and continued to the blacksmith shop. Lin Yan, Xin Yue looked at him with great concern. Are you okay? What could be wrong with me? Lin Yan was a bit puzzled and asked with a wry smile. Xin Yue said anxiously, you haven't been online for a long time, right? Take a look at this post. Lin Yan frowned and looked at it. It was a post titled The True Faith is the Correct Plot, Emperor Yan Ruined Our Future. The author's ID was none other than the gaming expert. I'm sure everyone already knows about the existence of the true faith and knows the truth of the plot. The village elder and his gang are the real villains. It's not hard to see from the game difficulty design. In the newbie village, we have no hope of advancing to silver, but in the true faith, we can easily obtain a large number of rewards, gold coins, and even silver templates. So without a doubt, if you want to level up quickly, you have to join the true faith. But Emperor Yen went against the tide and destroyed the stronghold of the true faith to prevent everyone from becoming stronger. This directly interrupted our plot, and it's hard to come into contact with the true faith again. He is the sinner of our Xia Kingdom players. That's right. Emperor Yen is just a selfish person. Exactly. I've been wondering why I couldn't defeat the boss and get the advanced template. Does anyone know any other ways to join the true faith? The comments below all agreed with the gaming expert, mostly from players who had been struggling for days without being able to defeat the boss in the instance, filled with resentment. They vented their anger on Lin Yan. Although I dare not go against him in the game, everyone becomes a judge on the internet and spares no mercy with their words. Don't worry about him, Lin Yan waved his hand, not caring about how Dong Gu set the rhythm. Those who followed were all weaklings, after all, a biting dog doesn't bark. Even if they all came at him, it wouldn't be enough for him to take them down with one strike. The elephant never cares about the ant's clamor, because the difference in strength is too great. You work at the blacksmith's shop, you should have accumulated a lot of favorability with Wang the blacksmith, right? Lin Yan asked with a smile. Yes, yes, I've already reached three stars today. Xin Yue proudly showed Lin Yan the armor on her body. Golden Template, and an Advanced Epic Set, all given by Uncle Ironsmith. Hmm. Lin Yan nodded. 
He knew that the blacksmith had lost his daughter, so he would take extra care of kind and innocent little girls. Indeed, he is a blacksmith, and he is indeed generous. Apart from the mage Ching Daozi, Wang the blacksmith was the richest person in the village, with a full set of advanced epic equipment at his disposal. Lin Yan had to fight a bloody battle and destroy a thousand person stronghold just to obtain two pieces of epic equipment from Yuan Tianrun. In comparison, the old village chief was really stingy. You brat, you're here again. Wang the blacksmith walked out and looked at Lin Yan with an unfriendly gaze. It was probably similar to how an old father would look at a yellow haired kid who was stealing his cabbage. Fortunately, Lin Yan showed his strong strength, which earned him the approval of Wang the blacksmith's heart. I'm here to change equipment, Lin Yan stated his purpose directly. This wave of attacking strongholds could be said to have earned him a lot. Although the drop rate of NPCs was not as good as that of monsters, the resources in the strongholds were very valuable. This time, he changed a total of 3,000 pieces of fine equipment. All right, all right, you've almost emptied my inventory. Wang the blacksmith waved his hand in disdain. He had prepared thousands of pieces of fine weapons, which were enough for the new players in the beginner village to exchange for. Who knew that he would encounter Lin Yan, the sixth son, who cleared out his inventory in one wave? I do have a high demand, Lin Yan smiled slightly. Several thousand weapons would be enough for him to fuse for a while. After he finished fusing, Wang the blacksmith's weapon inventory would probably be refreshed as well. By the way, Lin Yan, the blacksmith uncle said he wants to invite me to a feast tonight, do you want to come too? Xin Yue asked eagerly. Sure. Lin Yan's heart moved, and he immediately agreed. The Divine Land was a real world, so of course they could have a meal. Some top-notch dishes could even increase attributes after eating them. After reaching 3-star favorability with these special NPCs, they could indeed enjoy a meal with attributes, which was much more precious than free attribute points. Free attribute points could only increase existing attributes, but attribute meals could possibly unlock unknown attributes. Moreover, he originally wanted to investigate the blacksmith, and Xin Yue had helped him a lot. You always think about this brat whenever there's something good. Wang the blacksmith shook his head with some pain. Attribute delicacies were extremely precious. Even he felt heartache when he invited one more person. But Lin Yan was calm and composed. The business he did with Wang the blacksmith was enough to make the other party earn a lot. It was reasonable for him to have a meal and replenish his health. Afterwards, he found a secluded place to start fusing equipment. If I'm not mistaken, I will have a conflict with Wang the blacksmith tonight, and even have to fight. Lin Yan organized his thoughts. With my current combat power, it's impossible to win. I can only try to survive for a longer period of time. So, this fusion must be used to enhance my armor. Buzz. Having made up his mind, he began fusing. Now he could fuse three pieces of fine equipment in one minute. He worked tirelessly, continuously accumulating armor. Ten hours later, he had fused a total of 1,800 pieces of fine armor. The total armor value has exceeded 190,000. Lin Yan calculated. Including a 50% armor recovery, it's still less than 300,000 health armor value. I still need to add. He took out the two advanced epic equipment rewards from Yuan Tianran's mission. Fuse. Buzz. Lin Yan took a deep breath and opened the equipment page, soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 90,050, physical defense plus 18, magic defense plus 18, counter damage plus 4,599. Special features, lightweight, does not affect flexibility when worn, entangling threads, reduce enemy attack speed by 20% when attacked. Yuan Armor Shield, armor comes with a counter damage shield equal to 10% of total armor, can be activated again when out of combat. Soft Hedgehog Pants, white, armor plus 76,300, physical defense plus 2, magic defense plus 2, counter damage plus 4,867. Special features, lightweight, does not affect flexibility when worn. Yuan Armor Shield, armor comes with a counter damage shield equal to 10% of total armor, can be activated again when out of combat. After fusing the two pieces of equipment into an epic equipment, they both gained the Yuan Armor Shield special feature. Lin Yan smiled with satisfaction. He now had an additional 20% counter damage shield. With the shield provided by this earring, it should be enough. Lin Yan took out the exquisite earring dropped by the black robe mage. This earring can activate a shield with 200,000 armor value. But unfortunately, it can only be activated once a day. I've done my best. Whether I succeed or fail depends on how much strength Wang the blacksmith has left. 
He opened his own attribute panel, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 Health, 400, Armor, 200019 Attack, 10025, Armor Penetration, 300, Physical Resistance, 45, Magic Resistance, 40, Movement Speed, 3, Attack Speed, 2, Mana, 40 Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 90,050, Physical Defense plus 13, Magic Defense plus 13, Counter Damage plus 4,599, Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 76,300, Physical Defense plus 2, Magic Defense plus 2, Counter Damage plus 4,867, Broken Swordsman Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 9,999, Physical Defense plus 18, Magic Defense plus 18, Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White, Attack plus 10,000. Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, Tier 3, Skills, Stacked Waves 3 Blades, 1 Star, Flame Blade, 1 Star, 9 Fold Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Abilities, None Treasures, Life and Death Seal, Water Avoidance Cape. Who would believe that this is the attribute panel of a level 9 player? Lin Yen grinned. Hmm. He glanced at the panel of the Ultimate Artifact. I have already fused over 9,600 weapons, and I'm about to unlock the third artifact feature. He stood up feeling a sense of security. After the battle between the Seven Heroes of Dawn and the Blood Battle of Evil Oddities, they were all seriously injured. Their combat power is far from their peak, but they were all once strong at the hero level. A skinny camel is still bigger than a horse, so I have to be cautious. Lin Yen returned to the blacksmith shop. The food is ready, just waiting for you, you little brat. Wang the blacksmith was annoyed by Lin Yen taking advantage of his attributes, and when he looked at Lin Yen, his nose wasn't a nose, and his eyes weren't eyes. Thanks. Lin Yen grinned and sat down with Xin Yue. Gurgle. He drank a glass of strong liquor and felt extremely refreshed. Ding. Your lifesteal has increased by 0.1%. Lin Yen didn't care. He mainly relied on his armor now, so lifesteal wasn't much help to him. Uncle Blacksmith, drink more. Xin Yue didn't know Lin Yan's plan, but since Lin Yan asked her to encourage the blacksmith to drink, she didn't think there was anything wrong with it. The blacksmith was also happy and kept drinking enjoying the meal. Ding. Your lifesteal has increased by 0.1%. Ding. Your health regeneration speed has increased by 0.1%. Ding. Your. Lin Yan's mouth twitched, and he cursed inwardly, can't you give me something useful? Are you targeting me, one the blacksmith? Ding. Your critical strike rate has increased by 0.1%. It was only at the end of the meal that Lin Yan triggered a useful attribute. A0. 1% critical strike rate. What's the difference between having it and not having it? Lin Yan was speechless. But having something was better than having nothing. Previously, he couldn't hit the enemy's vital points, so he couldn't trigger a critical strike. Now there is at least a chance. He comforted himself. Uncle Blacksmith, did you have a daughter before? Xin Yue asked according to Lin Yan's instructions. Hmm. Wang the blacksmith, who was originally drunk, suddenly became alert and looked sharply at Lin Yan. You're investigating me. Lin Yan's eyes narrowed. He was indeed one of the former seven heroes of Dawn, alert and sharp. However, he didn't imagine that he could get a hero level powerhouse drunk with just alcohol. Don't misunderstand, I was just chatting with village chief Yuan and these things came up. Lin Yan smiled slightly. He actually told you all this? Wang the blacksmith shook his head. It seems he really approves of you. His aura gradually weakened, like a lonely old father, instantly aging quite a bit. He sighed, tears welling up in his eyes. Indeed, I had a daughter, but I failed to protect her and lost her. Speaking of which, Bauer and the little girl look somewhat alike. One the blacksmith took out a photo from a box. The photo showed a lovely girl chasing butterflies, with Wang the blacksmith smiling behind her, bathed in warm sunlight with lush flowers and plants. Hmm. Lin Yan keenly noticed the girl's earring in the photo, and his pupils contracted. It was the same earring used by the black-robed mage, a treasure that could instantly activate a 20-layer defense shield. If his previous thoughts were just speculation, now he was about 80% sure. This earring is very beautiful, he deliberately praised. Hmm. I personally made it for her, Wang the blacksmith said proudly. These two earrings are a pair. When activated together, they can trigger a million-point armor defense shield. It's one of my proudest works. Bauer is a psychic mage with weak defense, so I made her many defensive treasures. Unfortunately, what ultimately broke her was not external harm, but the heavy burden on her mind. Lin Yan was taken aback, feeling fortunate. If the black-robed mage had obtained a complete pair of earrings, the battle would have been dangerous. 
The single earring he confiscated from his backpack could only activate a 200,000 point shield. Since you personally made it, there should be only one in the world, right? Lin Yen continued to probe. Of course, Wang the blacksmith nodded. The materials used to make these treasures are too expensive. I can't even bear to make them for myself. Hmm. Lin Yen nodded, his gaze gradually turning cold. So, you betrayed the village for the sake of your daughter. Wang the blacksmith's heart shook, angrily shouting, What nonsense are you suddenly spouting? Xin Yue, who was immersed in a melancholic atmosphere, was also startled and pulled on Lin Yan's sleeve. Lin Yan, you can't lay a hand on him. Lin Yan pulled Xin Yue behind him, and with his other hand, he took out the earring from his backpack. This is the spoils I confiscated from attacking the truth sex stronghold. You just admitted that this is the only treasure, and that you personally made it for your daughter, right? You. Wang the blacksmith looked at the earring, his eyes instantly turning bloodshot. What are they doing? He roared, on the verge of losing control. Terrifying power surged from him, causing the walls of the blacksmith's shop to crack. Lin Yan shouted to Xin Yue, Go. I can handle this. All right. Xin Yue gritted her teeth and left, knowing that staying here would only cause trouble for Lin Yan. Now that you know so much, the nether village can no longer tolerate you. Wang the blacksmith's face turned cold. You're clever, but perhaps too clever for your own good. Will you leave the nether village on your own, or will I kill you until you can no longer be resurrected? It's your choice. Are you so confident that you can defeat me? Lin Yan smiled lightly, his tone relaxed. Ah, I know you have some skills, but compared to me, you're far behind. Wang the blacksmith's confidence came from his absolute strength. Killing you only takes one move. After that, I'll wait at the spring, silently killing you several times in the dead of night until you can no longer return. The whole thing will go unnoticed. Are you planning to kill the little girl too? Lin Yan paused and asked seriously. Wang the blacksmith hesitated, then sneered, no one will believe her words. Enough talk. Give me your choice. Lin Yan shook his head. You can't kill me. Humph. Wang the blacksmith became angry and laughed. You really don't know fear. He made a powerful move, almost instantly appearing in front of Lin Yan. Boom. Thunder descended, and Lin Yan immediately activated the ninefold thunder flash. Wang the blacksmith was also extremely fast, and as soon as Lin Yan's afterimage appeared, it was destroyed by him. This brief chase made Lin Yan's heart pound. Wang the blacksmith was the first person to match his explosive speed after unlocking the ninefold thunder flash. Die. Wang the blacksmith threw a punch. Lin Yan directly used his earring, and a 20-layer defense shield appeared. Crack, crack, crack. Wang the blacksmith's heavy punch shattered the defense shield one after another. Just one punch had an attack power of over 10,000. Lin Yan's pupils contracted. Fortunately, he was fully prepared, otherwise this punch would have sent him to his death. He wouldn't even have time to trigger the armor's recovery. Heh, it's useless. Wang the blacksmith roared, once again throwing a heavy punch and breaking the remaining defense shield. Lin Yan retreated a few steps, relying on his exquisite footwork to make up for his lack of speed, perfectly avoiding this attack. Even so, just the wind from this punch scraped off over a thousand points of his armor. This is really exaggerated. Lin Yan broke out in a cold sweat. With his current strength, facing the top power of the Dragon Summer Empire was still too difficult. Although Wang the blacksmith was not at his peak, he was still a hero-level powerhouse who could fight against the Zombie King. You actually managed to dodge my punch. Wang the blacksmith was momentarily stunned. The difference in attack speed and movement speed between him and Lin Yan was unknown. Although the opponent used the defense shield to buy some reaction time, being able to dodge this punch proved that his combat intuition and footwork were at a terrifying level. At least, several realms higher than him, a hero-level powerhouse. Who exactly are you? One the blacksmith's gaze became even deeper. But no matter what, you will die today. He revealed a long-handled giant hammer and swung it towards Lin Yan with a loud crash. Before the hammer even reached him, the gust of wind lifted the entire floor of the blacksmith shop. So fast. Lin Yan knew he couldn't dodge it. His combat skills surpassed the current era, but the difference in movement speed and attack speed was too great. In the face of absolute strength, skill lost its meaning. If you want to bite into this bone, you'll have to break a few teeth. Lin Yan went crazy. He consumed various potions, instantly breaking free from the control effects caused by the powerful wind pressure. He used all his skills at once, continuously replenishing his depleted mana with mana potions. The blacksmith's hammer and Lin Yan's attacks landed on each other at the same time. Boom! Lin Yan's figure was instantly thrown back, and the golden light on his armor shattered in an instant. At the same time, a blood-red number floated above his head, minus 148,980. Thump, thump, thump. 
Dozens of meters away, Lin Yan stopped his figure, his fighting spirit still boiling. Wang Taijian widened his eyes, not dead. How is that possible? He had been hit by his hammer, yet he didn't die. After breaking my elemental armor shield with one strike, you caused such a huge amount of damage. Truly worthy of your title as a hero. Lin Yan triggered his armor recovery, and at this moment, his armor was restored to nearly 160,000 levels. Impossible. Wang Taijian roared in anger. He knew Lin Yan was extraordinary, but this was too much. He, a heroic level powerhouse, couldn't even kill a mere level 9 warrior with a frontal hammer strike. Drip. A drop of blood slid down his face. He belatedly touched his cheek. I'm actually injured. He, a heroic level powerhouse, was actually injured in a battle against a level 9 junior. Good. You're good. Wang Taijian continuously nodded in shock. Truly gifted by the heavens, but it's a pity. It's such a pity. The more terrifying you are, the more I can't let you threaten my daughter. Wang Tiejian's gaze turned completely cold, filled with anger, he made his move and struck with his hammer. Boom! Lin Yan's figure instantly disappeared. Boom, boom, boom. Wang Tiejian's hammer struck empty air, landing on the ground and creating a huge crater with a 3 meter diameter, causing the earth to shake. Dust and debris rose, stones flew like rain. Relying on the ninefold thunder flash and his extreme combat skills, Lin Yan continued to fight with Wang Taijian. He actually managed to deplete over 100,000 of the opponent's health again. Good, good. Wang Taijian also unleashed his anger. He had fought several rounds against Lin Yan without being able to do anything to him. It was like slapping himself in the face. Boom! A terrifying hammer strike fell, its speed reaching its limit. The extreme attack speed overwhelmed Lin Yan completely, and he was sent flying nearly a hundred meters before he could stabilize himself. He looked at his armor value, even with top-notch unloading techniques, I still lost 120,000 armor. Boom, boom, boom. Wang Taijian turned into an afterimage, closing in at extreme speed. Yuan Tian run, how long are you going to wait? Show yourself. Lin Yan cursed as he was forced into a corner. Ahem. An awkward cough sounded, and a terrifying sword intent instantly descended. Yuan Tianwen's figure appeared before Lin Yan like a ghost, so fast that even his afterimage couldn't be seen. He stretched out his big hand and actually blocked the angrily descending iron hammer in midair with his bare hand. Boom! The energy spread out, causing the ground to sink. Wang Taijian saw Yuan Tianrun and his pupils contracted. He immediately retracted his hammer and respectfully saluted Yuan Tianrun, brother Yuan. Yuan Tianrun looked at Wang Taijian with a complex gaze. This kid has joined the true teachings and came back to Sao Discord between us, so I had no choice but to take action. Wang Taijian wanted to struggle a bit more. No need to say more, I've been listening nearby the whole time. Yuan Tianrun shook his head. Ah, Wang Taijian was stunned. You've been here the whole time. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. Did you think I'm an idiot? The reason he dared to fight against Wang Taijian was because he had relied on Yuan Tianrun, who he had arranged as a reinforcement in advance. You old man, you're so unreliable. Lin Yan looked at Yuan Tianrun. If I hadn't called out just now, were you still not planning to make a move? Yuan Tianrun laughed heartily, stroking his beard. He knew he was in the wrong and didn't argue, your strength truly shocked me, young friend. Being able to exchange so many moves with old Wang going all out, I can't help but be curious about your limits. Ha! <laughs> Lin Yan knew Yuan Tianrun was confident in his crowd control abilities and didn't pursue the matter further. He looked at Wang Taijian. You promised me that once the spy is captured, you will kill them. Wang Taijian sighed and lowered his head. Brother Yuan, please make your move. I won't resist. Just my daughter, you must save her. Before Wang Taijian could finish speaking, Yuan Tianrun waved his hand. We are like brothers, and you were forced to sell information because of your daughter. I won't kill you. Lin Yan's eyes remained calm. He never thought that Yuan Tianrun would kill Wang Taijian, after all, Wang Taijian was his loyal brother and a top fighter in Ming village. The only reason he brought this up was to take advantage of the situation. Young friend, give me face and spare him. If you want the divine template, Wang Taijian cannot die. Yuan Tianrun sincerely pleaded. Are you threatening me? Lin Yan asked in return. No. When we sealed the zombie king back then, we used the power of some divine templates. And to restart that power, power is the key. Yuan Tianrun continued. Power is probably being controlled now. If we rescue her and she finds out that we killed her father, she definitely won't be willing to help us find the divine template. Ha! <laughs> Lin Yan sneered. The old man's mouth was really strict, only willing to reveal a little information about the divine template when pushed to this extent. However, death can be forgiven, but living with guilt is hard to escape. 
Yuan Tianren's face turns serious. Wang Hao, don't you have a legendary equipment? Bring it out. Wang Taijiang obediently took it out, feeling heartbroken. He had put in countless efforts and spent decades to refine this legendary equipment to the fourth rank, and now he had to give it away. But he accepted his fate. Lin Yan put the legendary equipment into his backpack and a smile appeared on his face. Oh, I just realized. Uncle Tai Jiang is really desperate to save his daughter, I can totally understand. Yuan Tianrun was speechless. Could you change your stance any faster? But, since I understand you like this, you should also understand me a little, that's fair, right? Just a legendary equipment, it can't compare to the suffering I almost died for. Lin Yan changed the topic. Yuan Tianrun couldn't help but cry and laugh. As an outsider, Lin Yan could be resurrected after death, just like the local NPCs who would disappear after dying. But he knew that Lin Yan just wanted more benefits. So, tell me, what will satisfy you? Lin Yan immediately took off the helmet of the Swordmaster, and the helmet instantly returned to its original appearance. I want you to repair this legendary weapon. This is, the Swordmaster's helmet. Wang Taijiang and Yuan Tianren couldn't stabilize their emotions when they saw the helmet, their energy surged, and their bodies trembled violently. Ah, the Swordmaster's helmet was lost for so many years, I never expected it to be in your possession in the end. Yuan Tianren shook his head. The Swordmaster was the leader of the Dawn Seven Heroes, he died in the decisive battle against Evil Chi, and it was a forever pain in the hearts of those who survived. I will do my best to repair it. Wang Tiejian's eyes turned red, his tone resolute. What's going on? Such a commotion. Female warrior Chibawangwa, Mage King Daozi, and Blind Monk all rushed over. After learning the previous situation, their emotions were mixed. The most important thing now is to rescue Bauer, the niece. Wang Taijian nodded. I pretended to join them before, giving them some insignificant information in exchange for their trust. Lin Yan chuckled. Your insignificant information almost got me killed. Wang Taijiang scratched his head, smiling awkwardly. Lin Yan knew that Wang Taijiang thought of himself as an outsider, dying once wouldn't matter. Hmm. In the time you spent with them, did you find any clues about Bauer, the niece? Village chief Yuan asked. Wang Taijiang nodded slightly. Yes, but I can't be sure. Oh, Yuan Tianran urged, tell us. Wang Taijiang nodded again. She should be in the secret base of the truth sect, but there are many strong guards inside. If we launch a direct attack, they can easily hold Bauer hostage and put her in danger. It's indeed quite troublesome, Yuan Tianrun frowned. But they have been pressuring me to poison you all, probably intending to launch an attack on the village. Wang Taijian glanced meaningfully at Lin Yan and said, I was initially conflicted, but thanks to young Emperor Yan, I was able to spill everything out. Ah, we really owe it to Emperor Yan. Yuan Tianrun sighed, regretting that Lin Yan didn't choose him as his teacher. This is a difficult situation. Qing Daozi rubbed his chin. If you don't poison them, you'll be suspected. If you directly launch a strong attack, it will endanger Bauer and the others. Lin Yan looked at the pensive crowd and felt that they were scrutinizing him intentionally or unintentionally, which made him increasingly suspicious. Yuan Tianren couldn't hold back any longer and asked, Does young Emperor Yan have any brilliant plan? I do have a plan, but it's not necessarily brilliant, Lin Yan casually replied. Oh, please tell us, Qing Daozi and the others eagerly asked. We'll use their own tactics against them, lure the enemy away from their base. Then, we'll strike at their stronghold. Lin Yan explained. First, we'll spread the news that all the high-ranking members of the village are poisoned, attracting the True Faith sect to attack. While their base is vulnerable, I'll go to the True Faith sect's secret base to rescue Wang Bauer. Great. Brilliant plan. Everyone praised, their expressions exaggerated. Truly worthy of the chosen one, so clever. Lin Yan furrowed his brows. The conversation between these people always made him feel something was off. The mage's reaction to the truth was too indifferent. Moreover, as the top heroes of the Dragon Summer Empire, they must be both intelligent and brave. Why would they boast about such a simple plan? Everything tonight seemed like a deliberately arranged plot. Yuan Tianren seemed to sense Lin Yan's caution and explained, to prevent the True Faith sect from suspecting us, none of us can leave the village. But it's too dangerous for you to rescue Bauer and the others on your own. We were hesitant to mention this plan, so we had to wait for you to bring it up. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. These old folks were truly cunning. Dealing with them required being more cautious. Cough, don't worry, you won't lose out. I can guarantee that as long as you can rescue Bauer, you can ask for anything, and we will do our best to get it for you. Qing Daozi assured, patting his chest. That's right. The tyrant flower also waved its hand arrogantly. The blind monk, Yuan village chief, and Wang Taijian all looked expectantly at Lin Yan. 
he he. Lin Yan shook his head. If he wanted to obtain the divine bestowed template, he had to rescue Wang Bauer. He had no other choice. Show me your sincerity first, he said. Yuan village chief laughed. I knew you wouldn't reveal your hand until you see the rabbit. He then directly presented a task. Task name, rescue Bauer task details. Retrieve the missing daughter of Wang Tai Jin, the soul mage Wang Bauer task rewards, legendary weapon, swordsman sword, 100 attribute points, 3rd rank silver advanced template, 1000 advanced potions, 10,000 gold coins. Lin Yan looked at these rewards, already very tempted, but he remained calm and silent. You really have self-control. Yuan village chief shook his head helplessly. Well, since you have the sincerity, I will naturally do my best. Lin Yan nodded, happily accepting the invisibility cloak and taking on the task. I'll take my leave once the helmet is repaired. I'll go to the forge first to refine the legendary weapon I obtained. He still felt that village chief Yuan and the others were a bit strange, but his goal was powerful equipment and the divine template. As long as he could obtain these two things, it didn't matter what plans and thoughts the people in Ming village had, it had nothing to do with him. After Lin Yan completely disappeared, the smile on village chief Yuan's face gradually disappeared. This child is indeed terrifying. He has only been here for a few days and he can already fight with old Wang, exchanging blows multiple times without defeat. He even made me lose. Old Wang touched the scab on his face and chuckled. Old Wang, you're not good enough. It seems like you really have gotten old. The mage teased. Fortunately, everything is going according to our plan. As long as we are cautious, the big things will be accomplished. Village Chief Yuan waved his hand and said seriously. This brat has already proven his ability to complete the stronghold mission. Why do we still need to put on this act tonight? Wang the blacksmith complained, he even tricked me into giving away my only legendary weapon. And my invisibility cloak, the blind monk chimed in. Get lost. The invisibility cloak was originally meant to be given to him according to the plan. Wang the blacksmith angrily retorted, you didn't tell me beforehand, or else I wouldn't have agreed to act in this play with you. If we had told you beforehand, would you have been willing to accompany us in this act? Yuan Tianran glanced at Wang the blacksmith, saving Bauer is of great importance. If we don't thoroughly understand this kid's strength, I think you would be the first to oppose letting him go save her. Wang the blacksmith awkwardly coughed. Alright, if we can exchange Bauer's return for just one piece of equipment, that would already be a great stroke of luck. Ching Daozi patted Yuan Tianran's shoulder. The seven heroes of the dawn rely on each other for life and death. They will never betray each other. Wang the blacksmith knew that the moment he found out his daughter was still alive, he discussed this matter with village chief Yuan and the others. All of this was just a scheme to test Lin Yan's true strength. Of course, the most important thing is that we need the trust of the flame emperor. Yuan Tianren's eyes were profound, in order to make him think that we are unaware, you will have to bear this blame. Ha ha ha, if he can really save Bauer, I would gladly bear a hundred blames. Wang the blacksmith laughed bitterly and shook his head, but it's a pity that we are being closely watched by the true teachings, we can't personally take action. Although we have tested the Flame Emperor's true strength, it still feels unstable without us personally taking action. After all, the true teaching's secret base is still a dangerous place for him. Begin fusion. Lin Yan looked excitedly at the fourth tier legendary equipment in his hand, the snowy wind boots. First tier blank, second tier professional, third tier elite professional, fourth tier is a master. A fourth tier master can be considered the backbone of the Longsha Empire, an absolute expert no matter where they are placed. Adapting to the fourth tier master's legendary equipment, I've hit the jackpot. Lin Yan was extremely excited. He opened the equipment details of the snowy wind boots, snowy wind boots, legendary, tier, fourth tier armor plus 666,666, physical defense plus 200, magic defense plus 200, movement speed plus 5 special abilities, wine walk, active, doubles movement speed, consumes 40 mana per second, song in the snow, doubles the effect of agility skills, cooldown, 3 minutes, avoiding heaven's net, wind and snow dual attribute attacks have a 10% chance to dodge, 1 slash 100, instant wealth. Lin Yan equipped the snowy wind boots and bound them to the ultimate artifact. Then, he continued to fuse the equipment in his hand. The true teaching's secret base was many times more dangerous than the stronghold, even though this time it was estimated that the experts inside would come out in full force. But there was still a possibility of encountering true fourth-tier master powerhouses. He had to be extremely cautious. Buzz. As Lin Yan continued to fuse, after more than 400 pieces, the ultimate artifact once again emitted a radiant light. The ultimate artifact has awakened to the fourth tier. He looked at the page of the ultimate artifact, ultimate artifact, unique, unique effect, infinite fusion equipment, fourth order, current progress, 
10,000 slash 1000000 first order attribute, attacking permanently increases armor value by 1 point, plus, second order attribute, being attacked permanently increases counter damage by 1 point, plus, third order attribute, killing an enemy unit permanently increases armor recovery by 1 point, plus, every time I kill someone, I can gain 1 point of armor, recovery, Lin Yan's eyes lit up, he was currently lacking in means of recovery, and this was it, if he could stack the armor recovery, no one would be able to kill him even if he stood still. The plus sign behind the attribute finally lit up. Lin Yan repeatedly clicked on the plus sign behind the first order attribute. It really leveled up. His eyes brightened. First order attribute, attacking permanently increases armor value by 100 points, plus, directly increased by 100 times. Is it that powerful? Lin Yan swallowed his saliva. In other words, now he only needed to swing his sword once to permanently increase his armor by 100 points. Continue fusion. His eyes gleamed. The feeling of rapidly becoming stronger was truly addictive. Soon, he completed the fusion of all the equipment in his hands. Awesome. Lin Yan punched the air in excitement. With this fusion, his attack power directly increased from 10,000 to 30,000, and his armor reached over 800,000. With the armor recovery and the elemental armor shield, his total armor was approaching 1,500,000. Even if I encounter a master level powerhouse, I have nothing to fear. Lin Yan smirked. The True Faith Church is now flourishing, and many players have advanced to the Second Order. Even if a Silver Second Order warrior at level 29 has reached full level, their attack power is only a little over 200. But now, Lin Yan's physical defense and magical defense have both reached over 200, and players can't break through his defense, only causing a little force damage. After he casually kills an enemy to trigger armor recovery, combined with counter damage, he can truly become invincible. Phew. He stood up, this wave of enhancement can be said to be epic, the helmet should be repaired soon. Lin Yan returned to the beginner's village. Many players were discussing. I heard that the higher-ups in the dark village have all been poisoned. It seems that there will be major changes in the plot soon. Yes. It seems that the True Faith Church is indeed the right choice. My friend joined the True Faith Church and is already level 20. I think we shouldn't waste time here anymore, hoping to level up by raiding the Lu Palace. Who knows when that will happen. That's right, that's right. Brother, quickly tell us how to join the church. Shu, that plague god, Emperor Yen, is here. Let's not discuss this. If he charges in and takes over the true faith church base again, we won't have a chance to advance to silver. Yes. Lin Yan ignored the player's discussions and went straight to the blacksmith shop. Old Wang, is my helmet repaired? Lin Yan shouted. It's repaired. Blacksmith Wang nodded, looking regretful. Ah, it's a pity that the battle with Evil Chi was too intense. Our weapons were all damaged beyond repair. Even I find it difficult to restore the helmet to its peak glory. But I did my best. Lin Yan nodded and took the swordsman's helmet. He checked it. Swordsman's helmet, legendary, grade, 4th order armor plus 1 million, physical defense plus 100, magical defense plus 100 attributes, swordsman's heart, immune to 50% of critical physical attacks, swordsman's defense, active, costs 40 mana points, restores 20% armor to the whole body, purification. Immune to one spiritual attack with damage less than the helmet's armor value, cooldown, one hour. That's great. Lin Yan was excited. The swordsman's helmet was originally a fifth order legendary item, although it was forced to be downgraded due to that battle. But its data and attributes were far superior to ordinary fourth order legendary equipment. He opened the attribute panel, ID, flame emperor race, human, yellow, class, warrior level, 9 HP, 400, armor, 186, 7401 attack, 30025, armor penetration, 300, physical resistance, 345, magic resistance, 340, movement speed, 8, attack speed, 2, mana, 40, HP recovery rate, 0, 5%, life steal, 0, 1%, critical strike, 0, 1% equipment, soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 90,050, physical defense plus 13, magic defense plus 13, counter damage plus 4,599, soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 77,000, physical defense plus 2, magic defense plus 2, counter damage plus 4,870, swordmaster helmet, legendary, armor plus 1 million, physical defense plus 118, magic defense plus 118, Snowy Wind Boots, Legendary, Armor plus 666,666, Physical Defense plus 200, Magic Defense plus 200, Movement Speed plus 5, Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White, Attack plus 30,000, 
Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, Tier 4, Skills, Wave Stacking 3 Blades, 1 Star, Flame Blade, 1 Star, 9 Fold Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Abilities, None Treasures, Life and Death Seal, Water Avoidance Cape, Cloak of Invisibility. Basic Armor, Officially Over a Million. Lin Yan's eyes flickered with flames. We can set off now. Although Wang Tai Smith has roughly figured out the route, I still need to find the specific location myself. Lin Yan arrived at the deep mountains that Wang Tai Smith mentioned. The scale of the True Truth sect was large, and the power supporting it was terrifying. Its hidden base was extremely difficult to find. Hmm. Lin Yan's eyes lit up as he saw two familiar figures on the road. It was Poison Prince and Mu Qingwan. What a stroke of luck. Lin Yan smiled faintly. Following these two people would definitely lead him to the headquarters of the True Truth sect. He kept his distance and followed behind. What? Aunt Mu actually wants us to get close to that poor loser? Poison Prince waved his hand. Absolutely impossible. According to my mother's speculation, his strength is already not inferior to those top-ranked experts in the closed beta. His potential is at least among the top ranks. Mu Qingwan said calmly, Head, Aunt Mu really thinks highly of him. Poison Prince shook his head. The top ranks represent the top 100 experts in Xia Country's history. With just a poor loser like him, ranking among the top ranks? That's laughable. My mother has never made a wrong judgment. Mu Qingwan's eyes turned cold. The latest internal news suggests that the Divine Land may have an impact on reality in the future. If the news is true, then all forces will face a major reshuffle. Even the Mu family consortium will need to hold onto the thigh of a strong individual in that era. Qingwan, we control the White Wolf Guild, with such a huge force behind us, leveling up and becoming stronger is as easy as drinking water. Poison Prince said proudly. Not to boast, even if those top-ranked experts, so what? It's only a matter of time before we surpass them. We ourselves are our biggest reliance. There's no need to seek others. Mu Qingwan laughed at Poison Prince's arrogance. Don't be too naive. The experts on the top ranks are as strong as demons, beyond our imagination. Even with the support of a guild, it's not enough. This is my mother's decision, you don't need to say more. Gar. Poison Prince clenched his teeth, his eyes bloodshot. But Mu Qingwan's mother was the main backer of the White Wolf Guild, and he didn't dare to defy her. Mu Qingwan looked at Poison Prince's expression and comforted him, moreover, we're just temporarily gaining his trust, taking advantage of him. As long as we find out his abnormal secret and find an opportunity to join forces and kill him, the future world will be under our control, won't it? Poison Prince's face finally eased, and he nodded slightly. That's true. Mu Qingwan smiled faintly. Poison Prince was her most stable pawn, and she couldn't abandon him. She wouldn't do something foolish like breaking her own lackey's leg before embracing the thigh of a top-ranked expert. Lin Yan followed behind, listening to these conversations clearly. What a pair of dog men and women, it turns out that in their previous life they had planned this way. It's just that I was too powerful, and they never had a chance to kill me. So they took advantage of my weakest state during the final god battle to launch a sneak attack. His killing intent grew stronger. However, he knew that things wouldn't be so simple, but he had already figured out the initial motivation of this pair of dog men and women. Soon, they arrived at a cave. The guards of the cave were all second-tier professionals, and the leader was a third-tier elite professional. Token! The leader shouted. After Poison Prince took out the token, the leader activated the energy matrix. Lin Yan immediately equipped his invisibility cloak and swaggered into the portal of the matrix. Indeed, they are cautious enough. With this matrix, it can not only deceive people's vision but also serve as a defense, Lin Yan rejoiced. Fortunately, he paid attention, otherwise, even if he knew the location of the base, he would have crashed into this invisible matrix triggering an alarm. After entering the cave, they passed three levels and four layers of mechanisms in succession. Lin Yan followed Poison Prince and Mu Qingwan to the underground base of the Truth Sect. Why do I always feel a chill behind me? Poison Prince frowned. Maybe it's because there's heavy Yin energy underground. I also feel a chill on my spine, Mu Qingwan comforted. Lin Yan followed a step behind the two, unable to help but chuckle at their words. He casually tripped them, causing them to fall flat on their faces, and then he floated away. Damn it! How can I get beaten up like this while playing a game? I'm really frustrated. Poison Prince raged in helplessness. When he turned his head, he saw Mu Qingwan with messy hair and a crooked mouth and couldn't help but burst into laughter. But soon he stopped laughing as both of them were emitting poisonous mist from their heads, and their health was continuously decreasing. We're inexplicably poisoned. There's something wrong with this underground base. We're probably cursed. Poison Prince wailed. Lin Yen, who had already walked far away, glanced back and sneered. 
These two really had good luck. Just by touching them, he triggered the poison armor attribute of the soft hedgehog armor. I should go find the blacksmith's daughter. He continued searching in the underground base. The more he looked, the more shocked he became. The underground base was extremely large, capable of accommodating tens of thousands of people at least. The maximum number of players that could be accommodated in the dark village was only 100,000, and this underground base was almost the size of a newbie village. The villages chosen to be newbie villages were not ordinary villages, and their areas were quite large. Boom boom boom. In the largest central hall of the space, countless people were busy, and there was the sound of machinery roaring. What are they building? Lin Yan looked solemnly. These large-scale machinery were constantly operating with the support of mana crystals. The atmosphere was eerie, with black mist swirling around, as if they were constructing some giant creation. Hundreds of summoners were constantly summoning undead creatures and delivering them to these large-scale machinery. Once a summoner's mana was depleted, a blue potion would be sent over for replenishment. If they slacked off even a little, they would be beaten up by the third-tier elite overseer. It seems that these players were deceived into coming here to work as laborers. Lin Yan almost laughed out loud. It was true that advanced templates were being sent here, but they needed to sign a labor contract with the truth sect first. The players couldn't understand the text on the contract and only wanted the silver template, so they signed it without really understanding. This kind of contract would only be invalidated if they deleted their account and stopped playing. It would only end after the contract time was fulfilled or if they successfully escaped from the base within a certain time. To be scammed while playing a game, it's truly unbelievable. He shook his head, took a picture of these large-scale machinery, and resumed his search. I thought one hour would be enough. Lin Yen felt the pressure. But the underground base was really too big, and its structure was complex. It was quite difficult to find the place where Wang Bauer was imprisoned within an hour. Hurry, the elder is about to preach. All of you, gather immediately at the preaching altar. Move. The third-tier elite disciples shouted continuously. Lin Yen frowned and followed along. With so many people and so much noise, maybe he could obtain some useful information. However, the moment he stepped into the preaching hall, he was stunned. The so-called elder standing on the altar, wearing a red veil dress, stood amidst a sea of black-robed figures. With a magnificent earring on her ear and eyes like rubies, she exuded a sinister and elegant charm. It was Wang Bauer. Lin Yen couldn't hold back anymore. Damn it, I came to rescue you, but you ended up becoming a cult elder? What's going on? Lin Yen furrowed his brows. Wasn't it said that Wang Bauer was being controlled? But now it seemed that she not only wasn't restricted, but also became an elder of the true faith sect. Has she betrayed us? Lin Yan furrowed his brows. Could it be that the blacksmith and his daughter had both betrayed them, and everything last night was just a trap for him? He rubbed his chin and shook his head. It's also possible that she's pretending to submit and gaining the trust of the true faith sect. These people are all cunning, one more sinister than the other. We can't just judge by appearances. He pondered and decided to wait and see. Soon, he noticed that Wang Bauer's body movements and facial expressions were very stiff. Something's not right. Lin Yan furrowed his brows. However, he couldn't gather much information from Wang Bauer's speech alone. I have to wait for the right moment. Lin Yan rubbed his chin. He had also thought about secretly carrying her out while she was sleeping, but unfortunately, the invisibility cloak only allowed him to be invisible alone. In any case, the difficulty of the mission has suddenly increased. He felt like vomiting. Originally, he just had to find Wang Bauer and secretly bring her out, but now he had to knock her out. He didn't dare to bet that she was definitely pretending to surrender. What if she started a fight as soon as she appeared? He didn't think he had the ability to break through all these barriers. Although the true faith sect was currently weak with all their strong members out, it couldn't be underestimated. To forcefully abduct a powerful enemy from here under multiple layers of security, at least a hero level strength was required. Why do I always encounter these kinds of things? Old man Yuan is probably intentionally setting me up every time. He glanced at the mission level and indeed, it had changed from a third tier elite mission to a fourth tier master mission. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. If I have the chance, I must max out my luck value. He muttered. Items that could increase luck were rare treasures, and in the cultivation world, they were called treasures of fortune. The difficulty of obtaining them could be imagined. Soon, the preaching was over, and the enchanting and glamorous Wang Bauer walked down from the altar. Lin Yan followed her all the way. Wang Bauer led him through twists and turns in the underground base for more than 20 minutes before finally arriving in a secret room. Lin Yan could only follow inside. Wang Bauer sat in front of the tea table, her crimson pupils slowly fading away, turning into green pupils. She filled both cups on the table. Come out, 
I know you followed me in. Lin Yan was stunned, and his killing intent instantly surged. This father and daughter were indeed colluding, trying to lure him into a trap. However, he didn't move. The invisibility cloak would only become visible when attacked, and he didn't want to expose himself prematurely. I am a psychic mage. Although my strength has been greatly damaged, I was once a hero-level powerhouse. You can conceal your aura, but you can't conceal your psychic power. Wang Bauer sighed, I don't have much time left. I am not your enemy, please believe me and reveal yourself. You can just speak. Lin Yen didn't reveal himself. He spoke while moving at high speed, making his voice evenly reverberate in the room, making it impossible to determine his exact location. All right. Wang Bauer's speech speed increased. You should be sent by my father. I assume you know all the previous circumstances. What should I know? Lin Yen couldn't help but complain. Wang Bauer completely ignored him and said urgently, After that battle, I lost my memory and became an idiot. The true truth sect found me first. Their soul mage took advantage of my idiocy and turned me into a blood servant. Later, my main consciousness awakened, but it was too late. I have been hiding for so many years, waiting for this moment. She took out several treasures and placed them on the ground, speaking more urgently, the accumulated soul power over the years is only enough for my main consciousness to awaken for one hour. With so much time, it's enough for you to escape with me. Lin Yan said calmly, not enough. I used most of the time to prepare these treasures. Wang Bauer said urgently, now, I only have 10 minutes left. The soul mage controlling me has been monitoring my location. As long as I leave his range of one kilometer, he will notice. So, I can't escape without killing her. This treasure can knock out my blood servant. Wang Bauer threw a small bottle to Lin Yen. The second treasure can be used to awaken my main consciousness at any time, but there are only 8 minutes left. The third one is a map of the underground base. You can use it to find the soul mage's training room. Once you find him, awaken me immediately. I will use my soul power to seal the space so that your battle with him won't be discovered by others. But, you only have 7 minutes at most. I leave everything to you. If you have any more questions, wait until I'm out. Wang Bauer's green pupils were sincere and eager, I entrust everything to you, this is the only chance, please, stranger. After speaking, her eyes turned red again. In the next moment, she coldly shouted, who's here? I sense you. If you don't come out, I will release a ranged spell to kill you. Lin Yan cursed silently, feeling a chill on his scalp. This behavior was even more bizarre than schizophrenia. He acted decisively and splashed a few drops of liquid from the small bottle onto Wang Bauer's face. Plop. Wang Bauer instantly fainted, her body going limp, and Lin Yan held her in his arms. Tisk, you're quite cunning. Lin Yan shook his head helplessly. He had many questions he wanted to confirm, but Wang Bauer only had seven minutes of consciousness left, so he didn't dare to waste it casually. To find a way out in such a desperate situation. With her personality and intelligence, she's wasted living in this divine land. She should really play in a spy movie. Lin Yan sighed, and sister. You don't even know my strength, yet you assume I can kill the soul mage controlling you. The more Lin Yan thought about it, the more speechless he became. If that soul mage was a hero-level powerhouse, it would be a miracle for him to escape with his life today. But her plan is indeed the only hope in this dead end. Lin Yan organized his thoughts. If he directly carried Wang Bauer away, it would alert the soul mage and he would be intercepted halfway, unable to escape. To leave, he had to kill the soul mage first. And to silently kill him, he had to do it before Wang Bauer's seven minutes ran out. I hope that soul mage isn't too strong. Lin Yen sighed, his gaze becoming determined. After confirming the location on the map, he hugged Wang Bauer closely and controlled her to walk out of the secret room. Elder. The True Truth sect disciples bowed their heads when they saw Wang Bauer. Da da. Wang Bauer walked past them confidently. Don't you think Elder Wang is acting strange today? One disciple asked. When is she not strange? Every time I see her walking and talking, it's like seeing a zombie, stiff and terrifying. Another disciple's voice trembled. Indeed, let's continue with the plan. The key to the return of Wang is about to be successfully forged. The disciples all went to the forging hall. Lin Yan, with Wang Bauer, arrived at the soul mage's training room. The practice of the spiritual master is very taboo to have any noise around, so there is no one here, and there is only the spiritual master in the secret room. The spiritual master can sense invisibility and must awaken it now. Wake up! Lin Yan used the second folding fan treasure to hit Wang Bauer's buttocks. Surprisingly, it feels pretty good. You! After waking up, Wang Bauer felt a pain in her buttocks and glared at Lin Yan. But now time is precious, so she immediately used the mental shield, six and a half minutes left. Only one chance. 
Lin Yan nodded and entered the meditation room. Hum. In the meditation room, incense was burning in the furnace, and smoke filled the air, making people feel calm just by standing in it. A figure with its back to the door, wearing a black robe with red patterns, should also be an elder of the True Doctrine Church. Lin Yan frowned. Although he was not sure about the opponent's strength, things had already come to this point, so he couldn't retreat. Ha! Huh? The person in the black robe made a questioning hum, as if sensing something. But in the next moment, thunderous sounds exploded in the cave. Ninefold thunder flash. Boom boom boom. Thunder echoed in the meditation room, and before the person in the black robe could react, they were already hit by several blades. The person in the black robe's robe was shattered, revealing the face of an old woman with detestable golden hair and blue eyes. So it's an old lady. Lin Yan sneered and casually cast a probing spell. True Doctrine Church Spiritual Master, now race, human, white, occupation, spiritual master level, 55 HP, 937,000, armor, 301,519 attack, 21,700. Equipment, spiritual staff, skills, demonic nightmare, treasures. The level difference is too big, and the information that can be probed is too little. Lin Yan frowned. Because of the ultimate artifact, he could continuously become stronger without leveling up. So he didn't need to rush to level up, just patiently gather all the templates of the divine bestowal of each stage. There will probably be many situations in the future where there is a large level difference in battles. I have to quickly get a high level skill book for probing, otherwise I will have too little information about the enemy and be at a disadvantage in battle. Know yourself and your enemy, and you will never be defeated. Old thing, your strength is not good enough. Lin Yan smiled faintly. At the same time, he breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately this old thing wasn't a hero level character. But this was also normal, hero level characters were considered the strongest in the Dragon Summer Empire, and the True Doctrine Church probably didn't have many of them. They must have all come out to deal with Village Chief Yuan and the others. Kill. He kept slashing. Mage type professions like himself knew that their defense and armor were low, so they desperately collected treasures and scrolls to protect themselves. And mages were usually wealthy so this old spiritual master definitely had a lot of defensive treasures. If he wanted a quick victory, he had to constantly suppress the opponent and not give them time to use their protective artifacts. In just a dozen seconds, the bewildered spiritual master had lost all of their armor and lost over 200,000 HP. No! Now's eyes flashed with intense fear. At this rate, she would be killed in one or two minutes. Die! She immediately used her ultimate skill, Heart Flow Burst. The immense mental power turned into substance and formed a huge vortex that engulfed Lin Yen. Within the vortex, terrifying mental arrows continuously shot towards Lin Yen, each carrying a dreadful amount of damage, and then exploded in Lin Yen's mind. Boom 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 boom. Now's eyes flickered with madness. This was her signature move, as long as she had mana, heart flow burst would not stop. If the opponent had no means to counter mental attacks, they could only passively endure and be completely beaten. And before her mana was depleted, she could cause nearly a million points of damage. Even a warrior of the same level would be instantly killed by this move. Sizzle 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 sizzle. The mental storm engulfed Lin Yan madly. But there was never a deduction of HP above Lin Yan's head. Now was confused and finally felt that something was wrong, immediately terminating the flow of her explosive skill. You didn't take any damage at all? How is that possible? Lin Yan's eyes flashed, and he saw an opportunity. He grinned confidently and said, I have mental immunity, so don't struggle. In fact, this was the third special feature of the Swordmaster's helmet, Purification. Every hour, he had a chance to be immune to spiritual attacks that dealt less damage than the helmet's armor value. The Swordmaster's helmet had exactly 1 million armor value, and the opponent's explosive skill had just depleted 1 million armor value. That's why there was still a sliver of health left. No, this can't be possible. In all these years, I've never heard of anyone in the Dragon Summer Empire being completely immune to spiritual attacks. Now was shocked, her eyes bloodshot, shaking her head in disbelief. The means to defend against spiritual attacks were already scarce, which was why psychic mages were feared by others, let alone being completely immune to spiritual attacks. She kept retreating, clearly frightened by Lin Yan. Unfortunately, you've encountered your archenemy. Lin Yan's confidence radiated as he played the role of a golden horse actor. He had to completely intimidate now with this clever misunderstanding. The methods of a psychic mage were strange, and if the opponent intentionally struggled with him, it would be easy to buy time. But he didn't have time. He he, so what? Now's face twisted in madness. This is the base of the true faith church. Although the high priest is not here, there are still dozens of elders. 
They will definitely come when they hear the commotion here. You're doomed. Lin Yen shrugged. I've already taken care of all of them. You're talking nonsense. Now sharp voice grew louder, but her will to fight grew weaker. She frantically started summoning blood servants, hoping to get Wang Bauer to come and reinforce her. The personality of the blood servant keeps fighting against me, and the time I can stay clear-headed is getting shorter. Please hurry. Wang Bauer's telepathic message came through. She was maintaining her mental barrier while resisting the backlash from the blood servant's personality and was on the verge of collapse. Lin Yan's heart sank, but his face remained confident. Old lady, then tell me, why hasn't anyone come to save you until now? Giggle. Giggle. Now's mental pressure grew stronger, her psychic power began to riot, and her expression twisted. No, it's not like that. Lin Yan approached now while devilishly inducing her. If you don't believe me, go and try to break down the door. But don't blame me for not reminding you, my subordinates have already taken control of the entire True Faith Church base, and you've been robbed. You can't even leave this door. Now couldn't hold on any longer and turned around, crazily trying to ram the door. But the door to the meditation room was sealed by Wang Bauer's mental barrier and couldn't be opened. No, 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 how can this be? Now's face was filled with despair, her mental pressure increased, and she was on the verge of madness. You have nowhere to escape. Lin Yan walked up to Now. Surrender willingly. Now completely broke down and shouted, Even if I die, I will take you down with me. You're immune to spiritual attacks, right? He he, then let's die together. Her eyes turned bloodshot, her psychic power swelled, and her entire body swelled up like a balloon before exploding with a loud bang. Boom! The terrifying impact sent Lin Yan flying. Although his armor was severely depleted, a satisfied smile appeared on his face. Old lady, you finally scared yourself to death. The old lady's self-destructive power is quite strong. Lin Yan spat out some dust. The meditation room was completely destroyed, and he had lost 800,000 armor. With a thought, he collected Nao's spoils and checked them, feeling extremely fortunate. If Nao had used these life-saving scrolls, he would definitely not have been able to kill her within five minutes. Outside the meditation room, Wang Bauer's heart trembled. Why is there such a commotion? After such a big commotion, everything fell into silence, making people feel extremely fearful. What's going on? I only have one minute left now. Do you need me to go in and help you? If I help you, I can probably last for only 30 seconds. Wang Bauer panicked. After so many years of hiding, is everything about to be ruined? Why are you in such a hurry? This old lady committed suicide. The secret room door opened. Lin Yan brushed off the dust on his body and walked out with a dirty face. What? Wang Bauer was pleasantly surprised. Are you really a hero level powerhouse? She was just taking a gamble as a psychic mage had many means of self-preservation. And from the moment Lin Yan went in until he came out, it only took a little over two minutes. To be able to kill a master-level psychic mage so quickly, he must be a hero-level powerhouse at the golden advanced stage. Do I look like a hero-level to you? Lin Yan shrugged. Ha, huh, I am indeed only level 9. Then how did you manage to quickly deal with that person in just two minutes? Wang Bauer couldn't believe it. Mages really value their lives. Lin Yan answered without answering instead taking out a few high-level scrolls he had obtained and shaking them. Just these few things alone would take me several minutes to break through. Wang Bauer became even more confused. So, from the beginning, I knew I couldn't force my way in. Lin Yan smiled faintly. All right, stop teasing me. I don't have much time left. Tell me so I can die in peace. Wang Bauer pouted. Ha! Huh? Lin Yan was somewhat surprised. The person who cursed you is already dead, but your blood pact is still intact. Wang Bauer nodded. I did all this just so that the True Faith sect wouldn't use me as a bargaining chip to threaten my father and Uncle Yuan. But now that I've lost my pact holder, I will soon fall into a coma and wither away within 10 days. Lin Yan was moved. This girl had planned to calmly face death from the beginning. The blood pact curse is almost impossible to break, so after I fall into a coma this time, we probably won't have a chance to talk again. Wang Bauer's face showed a hint of loneliness and sadness. So, satisfy my curiosity a little. Lin Yan nodded. Forgive me for being blunt, but I have figured out the fatal weakness of your psychic mages. What is it? Wang Bauer asked in confusion. That is, psychic mages generally have very fragile minds. Lin Yan shrugged. Wang Bauer became an idiot due to mental overload, and now couldn't handle the mental pressure and self-destructed, which proved this point. Hmm. That's because our psychic power is too strong. Even a slight emotional fluctuation can cause our psychic power to go out of control. We are already the best at controlling emotions in this world, but in the end, we are still affected by it. Those who manipulate the mind and spirit also suffer greatly. 
You are really smart to have noticed this. Wang Bauer smiled. Thank you, stranger. Her body began to sway, and she was about to fall into a coma. Finally, can you tell me your name? Lin Yen. I will remember it. Wang Bauer completely lost consciousness and once again fell into Lin Yen's arms. You won't die, I promise. Lin Yen whispered softly. He wasn't acting on impulse, but rather, the key core of the divine template was Wang Bauer. She must not die. Activating the invisibility cloak once again, he carried Wang Bauer out of the underground base and arrived at a cave on the surface. The token. The leader of the elite team at the checkpoint reached out and said coldly. Lin Yen controlled Wang Bauer's body and handed over Nao's token. Boom. The leader of the elite team inserted the token into the magic array, and then his eyes widened. This isn't your token. Lin Yen was stunned, realizing that he had been exposed. Damn it, you cult, playing with what black technology? Tokens can still bind identities. But he had already reached the ground, and with his current strength, he was capable of breaking through these levels. He didn't bother to conceal himself, he carried Wang Bauer on his back and slashed his way out. This elite leader was obviously not an important figure like the black robe sacrifice. Upgraded from a silver template, his total health and armor were only a little over 20,000 and he was instantly killed with one slash. Enemy attack. The professional disciples next to him exclaimed, immediately preparing to sound the alarm. But Lin Yan was too fast. Swoosh. He moved swiftly. With his current movement speed of 8 points, he appeared as fast as a phantom in the eyes of these disciples. Swoosh. 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 These gatekeepers were all low-level bronze template cannon fodder, with only 2 or 3 thousand health points. He could kill 10 of them with one slash. Boom. Boom. Boom! He broke through the levels and defeated the enemies along the way, passing through three levels and four cards before the alarm was finally successfully sounded. Only the last level left. Lin Yan looked at the densely packed pursuers behind him, none of them able to catch up to him. Are you all snails? He couldn't help but mock. Oh my god, what did I see? Elder Wang floating in the air. Ghosts in the void killing people. The disciples were all scared stiff. He's fucking invisible. You useless pieces of shit, chase after him. We absolutely cannot lose Wang Bauer. Otherwise, we will lose our trump card in suppressing the dark village. The master level experts of the true faith were going crazy. He he. Lin Yan looked at the outer protective formation that had just closed. This was the weakest layer of the energy shield, its main functions being invisibility and triggering alarms. He threw all of Una's precious items at the energy shield. Then he unleashed all of his abilities, crazily bombarding it. Boom. 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 Boom! A frenzy of explosions, in a short period of time, over a million points of damage hit the shield, directly creating a small hole. Lin Yan carried Wang Bauer on his back and leaped out. Looking at the distant sunrise, he felt relieved. Breaking through the formation meant that he had successfully escaped. You guys can chase after me slowly, I'll bring the beauty back to the village first. Lin Yan had the time to turn around and wave mockingly at the pursuers, then with a few jumps, he disappeared into the dawn forest. Damn it! The masters of the true faith were filled with hatred, but they couldn't do anything to Lin Yan. Lin Yan carried Wang Bao all the way back to the dark village. Before he even entered the village, he heard intense fighting sounds, the ground trembling slightly, and distant dust flickering. Leave the Wang blood. A roar came out, and Lin Yan could tell it was Yuan Tianrun's roar. He he, you old bastards thought you could trap and kill us, but little did you know that we were also playing you. The man in the black robe and mask sneered, we came to the dark village this time for this thing. Now that we have the Wang blood, we don't need to stay any longer. He he he. Lin Yan looked from afar and immediately recognized this man in the black robe and mask. He was the spokesperson of the true faith that Lin Yan had seen after triggering the selection with the blood corpse's head. He is the leader of the true faith. Now that we have the Wang blood and the trump card of Wang Bauer, you have already lost. Surrender early. The masked man threw his cloak. He held the Wang blood in his hand, his tone arrogant, as if he was looking down on the world. Hmph, if everything goes as planned, Wang Bauer should have already been rescued by my people. This is just a matter of exchanging trump cards, Yuan Tianren said indifferently. Ha ha ha, do you really think that kid can rescue Wang Bauer from my heavily fortified underground base? The masked man laughed loudly, let me tell you the truth. Wang Bauer was never imprisoned by us, she was trained by a psychic mage to become a blood servant. Even if you send that kid, no matter how talented he is, it is impossible for him to bring Wang Bauer back. What did you say? Qing Daozi's face turned pale. As a mage, he understood the trouble of this situation the most. Yuan Tianrun also fell silent, understanding that Lin Yan's mission this time was a matter of life and death. 
Wang Taijian was extremely saddened to find out that his daughter had been turned into a blood servant. Why are you so downcast? This is a disgrace to the name of our seven heroes of dawn. A domineering voice sounded, and the female warrior, Bai Hua, stepped forward, that kid hasn't been reborn in the spring yet, the outcome is not determined, and the desperate situation is still far away. The spirits of the group were shaken, and their eyes became determined. Moreover, even if we fail, so what? We have even subdued the zombie king before. Are we afraid of a small true teachings? Bai Hua pointed her fist at the iron-faced man. We will fight to the last drop of blood. That's right. Yuan Tianrun nodded slightly. And, for some reason, I still have confidence in that kid. Ha ha ha. The mighty seven heroes of Dawn and Longsha can only console themselves with fantasies now. The iron-faced man sneered. If that kid can bring Wang Bauer back in this situation, I will surrender immediately. So what? It's a deal, no turning back. Lin Yan's frivolous words appeared, breaking the tense atmosphere and bringing silence to the scene. What? The iron-faced man looked at Lin Yan in shock, and when he saw Wang Bauer behind him, his body trembled. This is impossible. As long as a hero-level powerhouse touches the formation, it will trigger an alarm. If it's not a hero-level, it's impossible to escape from the underground base. Bauer. Emperor Yen. When Yuan Tianrun and the others saw Lin Yan appear, even with their composure, their eyes couldn't help but turn red. Wang Taijian rushed over instantly, protecting Lin Yan and preventing the iron-faced man and others from attacking. Ha ha ha, Yuan Tianrun laughed heartily. How about it? The heavens assist the righteous and not the evil. Come back to the right path. Suppressing his anger and shock, the iron-faced man's eyes turned bloodshot. Heh, just exchanging trump cards. Besides, Wang Bauer is about to die, so we still win this time. Who will have the last laugh, we will soon find out. Retreat. He shouted, and the several black-robed figures behind him turned into black mist and quickly left the village. Yuan Tianren looked at the disappearing iron-faced man with deep eyes. Yes, we will soon find out. You actually did it. Xing Daozi walked up, amazed. When he heard that Wang Bauer had been turned into a blood servant, he had already given up hope completely. Amit Ba. Emperor Yen, you truly are an incredible existence. The blind monk also clasped his hands together, feeling emotional. You guys just love these illusions. Wu Baihua walked up, pushing the blind monk and Cheng Daozi aside, and hugged Lin Yan with her fiery figure. Little brother, you're so handsome. Big sister loves you. Cough cough. Lin Yan struggled to breathe under her ample bosom and broke free. Now is not the time to celebrate. Ha! Bauer is back. It's a great victory. Why isn't it time to celebrate? Wu Baihua was taken aback. Why is Bauer unconscious? Wang Taijian anxiously asked. The blood servant of the mind is different from ordinary blood servants. The contract is deeper. If the contract is not lifted from the soul within 10 days, Bauer will wither and die. Qing Daozi had known everything from the beginning, so he didn't show any joy from start to finish, and his face was somewhat sorrowful. No! Wang Taijian's eyes turned bloodshot. I've been searching for Bauer for so many years, not just to see her for a brief moment and bid her farewell. Isn't there any solution? Yuan Tianrun also asked repeatedly, his expression heavy. Although Wang Bauer was the weakest in terms of combat power among the seven heroes, her importance was unquestionably the highest. If she really died, it would be a huge loss for the Longxia Empire. Most importantly, it would completely sever the connection between the village and the Divine Gift Template, and Emperor Yen would probably not stay in the village anymore. He had realized that Lin Yen was the key variable to breaking the deadlock, and he couldn't afford to lose him. There is no absolute in everything. Xing Daozi shook his head. Old Xing, think of a solution quickly. Aren't you the strongest mage in the Dragon Summer Empire? Please, save my daughter. One the blacksmith grabbed Cheng Daozi, as if holding onto a lifeline. Xing Daozi shook his head and smiled sadly, do you think I don't want to save your niece? It's just that this method is even more difficult than reaching the heavens. Even if I say it, it will only increase despair. For a father, knowing the solution but not having the ability to achieve it is much more cruel than feeling hopeless from the beginning. If we don't say it, how do we know it's a dead end? Lin Yan spoke up. Although the seven heroes were powerful in the Dragon Summer Empire, their perspective still couldn't compare to his. What they considered hopeless, they themselves might be able to accomplish. Even if you don't believe in us, you should believe in young Emperor Yan. He is a person who can create miracles. Wu Baihua patted Lin Yan's shoulder, still optimistic and determined. This? All right. Qing Daozi said, first, various auxiliary medicines, such as flame spirit wood ash, clear heart crystal pendant, stalactite liquid, etc. Although precious, we can still obtain them. 
The most difficult part is the two main medicines, the thousand-year willow wood heart and the remnants of the Book of Truth. I have only heard of these two treasures, but I have never seen them myself. Lastly, and also the most difficult point, is the medium for administering the medicine. It requires the ancient national treasure of the Lu Kingdom from a thousand years ago, the Yin Tianzi Life and Death Seal, which has been lost for countless years. Everyone's breath hitched. If the two main medicines were rare in the world, then the Life and Death Seal was purely a legend. No one knew if it even existed, let alone where to find it. I don't know if the Life and Death Seal you're talking about is this? Lin Yan's calm voice came out as he held the Life and Death Seal in his hand, smiling as he asked. You actually obtained the legendary Life and Death Seal. Xing Daozi's eyes were almost popping out. This was a treasure that only existed in legends. It's just luck, just luck. Lin Yan smiled faintly, modestly saying, Truly a man who can create miracles. Wu Baihua was extremely happy and couldn't help but embrace Lin Yan deeply once again. Now, we only need the thousand-year willow wood heart and the remnants of the Book of Truth. Xing Daozi rubbed his chin. I do have some clues about the thousand-year willow wood heart, but as for the remnants of the Book of Truth, there are currently no leads. I'll go inquire about it. The blind monk stood up. That's great. Yuan Tianran nodded. Having maxed out his intelligence skill points was one of the blind monk's hidden attributes. Although he couldn't see with his eyes, he could hear everything in the world. This thousand-year willow would heart. Xing Daozi was about to continue speaking. Lin Yan interrupted, I think we should settle the rewards for this mission first before discussing future matters. With the cunning personalities of these six old men, if he didn't bring it up, they might really forget about his reward. Don't worry, you have done us a great favor, we naturally won't be stingy. This is your mission reward. Yuan Tianren handed over the equipment to Lin Yan. Lin Yan saw the backpack prompt, you have obtained, swordsman sword, 100 attribute points, third rank silver advancement template, various high level potions x1000, 10,000 gold coins. Why are these the only rewards we agreed on? What happened to gratitude? This mission has increased in difficulty midway, old village chief. I suspect you specifically targeted me? Lin Yan activated his traditional skill, bamboo pole racket. Ahem. Yuan Tianran's face turned red. I miscalculated. What compensation do you want? A skill book for an immunity skill. Lin Yan made a bold request. Immunity skills were extremely rare and scarce. As long as the skill effect included the words immunity, it would be at least a 5-star skill. This. Yuan Tianren shook his head, skill books for immunity skills are too rare, we don't have them in the dark village. How about you change your request? Lin Yan shrugged. He didn't expect to actually extort an immunity skill from the old village chief. He was just hoping to negotiate for a high-level detection skill book. Lin Yan stretched out his hand and said, just give me a few hundred free attribute points and tens of thousands of gold coins as compensation. That would be the best. You really dare to ask. Yuan Tianren smiled helplessly and then gave Lin Yan the skill book for advanced detection and 100 free attribute points. Thanks. Lin Yan grinned. Sometimes you have to be shameless. If he had been honest, he wouldn't have gained anything today. Never expect others to be kind. Brother Wang, I saved your daughter. Next time you sell me equipment, it should be cheaper, right? Lin Yan joked. Don't worry. Wang the blacksmith directly gave all his inventory to Lin Yan. These are free. From now on, all our transactions will be at cost price. Lin Yan nodded and glanced at his own and the five dawn hero's favorability, all of which had increased to three stars. Brother Yen, do you have any other requests? Yuan Tianran asked politely. Of course. Lin Yan nodded, pretending not to understand Yuan Tianran's false politeness. Ah. Uh, Yuan Tianran's face stiffened. He should have known better than to ask. The new disciples you've taken in are all my friends. I hope you can wholeheartedly cultivate them on their path of cultivation. Lin Yan said sincerely. Don't worry, they are our own disciples. We will definitely do our best to cultivate them. Xing Daozi was the first to promise. His favorability towards Lin Feng had already reached three stars upon their first meeting. Yes, I will nurture the little girl as if she were my own daughter. Wang the blacksmith also nodded. If it weren't for Xin Yue, he wouldn't have been able to find his daughter and he was grateful. The blind monk and Wu Baihua also nodded to reassure Lin Yan. All right, I've finished making my requests. Now let's talk about the matter of the thousand-year willow heart. Lin Yan said. He attached great importance to saving Wang Bauer. If he could save her, he should be able to obtain the divine gift template. Well, when I traveled the continent in my early years, I once obtained a teleportation scroll in a cave, Qing Daozi said in a deep voice. According to the cave's ancient book, the place the scroll links to is the secret realm where the Willow Demon Clan resides. 
Perhaps this clan possesses the thousand year willow heart. Then let's go get it quickly. Wu Baihua said eagerly. Xing Daozi shook his head. The teleportation scroll is already damaged, and masters above the grandmaster level cannot use it to teleport anymore. And the most crucial thing is that once the thousand year willow heart leaves its body, it will quickly lose its essence. Only a few secret techniques can preserve its essence. For example, the blind monk's reincarnation curse. The blind monk nodded. Reincarnation curse was his core skill, his ultimate move. The only way now is to pass this move on to my disciple, but his combat power is not high. Everyone looked at Ling Yan at the same time. A master below the grandmaster level with an extraordinary combat power. This teleportation scroll was simply made for him. Ahem, young Emperor Yan, it seems that we have to trouble you again, Yuan Tianren said with some embarrassment, his face turning red. The seven heroes of dawn, who were once awe-inspiring in the Dragon Summer Empire, were all powerful, but when faced with a problem, they couldn't do anything and had to ask a younger generation for help. Well, I'm the kind of person who loves to help others. Lin Yan smiled slightly and rubbed his fingers. That's it. Don't worry, I understand. Yuan Tianran patted his chest. As long as you can bring back the Thousand Year Willow Heart, I will give you another legendary equipment. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. Just a few days ago, this old man said that there were at most one or two legendary weapons in the Dark Village. Now he already had three of them. And now there's another one. These old guys with dark hearts, not a single honest one among them. Then it's a deal. I'll go and cultivate first, and then I'll set off with Fatty. Lin Yan accepted the task speechlessly and bid farewell casually. I'll take this time to properly discipline my wayward disciple. The blind monk knew time was of the essence and also left. After everyone dispersed. What are the chances of his success? Yuan Tianren asked Qing Daozi. Qing Daozi shook his head. The Willowwood clan has a notorious reputation. It's probably not easier to infiltrate than the true doctrine base. This time, we're going for a treasure hunt. Even if we calculate everything, there's probably only a slim chance. Soon, Lin Yan found a secluded place. He took out the legendary weapon he had just obtained, the Sword of the Swordmaster. It's said to be the main weapon of the strongest hero in the Dragon Xia Empire for the past hundred years. Lin Yan was extremely excited. With this fusion, my combat power will at least reach the threshold of a golden hero. From now on, no one in Dragon Xia can stop me. Not many left. Advanced Detection Technique Skill Book, Use. Lin Yan thought. Congratulations, you have obtained the Advanced Detection Technique, Advanced Detection Technique, 3 stars. You can obtain all panel data of enemies within 3 levels, with a maximum level difference limit of 60. For now, it's enough for anything below King rank. Lin Yan felt relieved, as he believed in knowing oneself and the enemy in battle. If he could obtain all the information about the enemy, he could formulate strategies on the spot. The further he went, the more important it was to anticipate the enemy's moves. Next is the free attribute points. Lin Yan used all his attribute points, comprehensively improving his data, especially the mana he urgently needed. Although he didn't lack mana potions, his mana limit was only 40 points, and good skills required over a hundred points of mana per use, rendering them useless. I've saved up a lot of gold coins, but I can't use them. Lin Yan shook his head. The blacksmith had already given him all his inventory, so even if he had money, he couldn't buy a large quantity of cost-effective weapons in the beginner village. However, with the weapons I have now, I can strengthen myself for a while. Lin Yan contemplated. He continuously fused, rapidly increasing his attack and defense. He had also heard of the Willow Demon Clan, and to challenge their secret realm, he needed at least hero-level strength. But now he only had 10 days at most, so he had to hurry. I also need to fuse a main weapon for Fatty. Lin Yan pondered. Fatty was the core of completing the mission this time, so he couldn't let him be killed as soon as he entered the Willow Demon Clan's secret realm. I'll make him a counterattack shield. Lin Yan decided. Fatty was going to inherit the core skill of the blind monk, the nanny tank root. Considering this characteristic, pairing his main weapon with a counterattack shield was the most suitable. He could follow the path of a shield warrior in battle. Able to attack and withstand, absolutely formidable. In the blink of an eye, three days had passed. Lin Yan's strength had made tremendous progress. After fusing this swordmaster's sword, this mission will be successfully accomplished. Lin Yan's excitement surged. He liked to save the good stuff for last. Buzz. Light flickered as the weapon fusion was completed. Lin Yan opened the attribute page of the Thousand Blades of the Magic Sword, Thousand Blades of the Magic Sword, White, Attack plus 100,000, Attack Speed plus 0. 3, 
critical hit rate plus 5% special features, iron cutting like mud, with an additional 300 armor penetration, decisive action, 1% chance to sever rare quality weapons, 10% chance to sever fine quality weapons, 100% chance to sever ordinary quality weapons, 1000 blades, can be decomposed into broken blades, which can fly at the user's will or be instantly reassembled. Note, consumes 2 mana per second, integrated, for each piece of equipment in the Swordmaster set, armor absorption increases by 1%, Swordmaster's secret technique, activates the power of the sword's soul sealed within the Swordmaster's sword, doubling the damage of the next attack, Swordmaster's battle spirit, summons the Swordmaster's battle spirit, the duration of which increases with level, and its combat power changes with the user's fighting will, it's a pity that this sword was also damaged in that battle. Otherwise, as the main weapon of the Dragon Xia Empire's number one hero, it would undoubtedly be terrifying. Lin Yan shook his head with some regret. But even with some damage, the provided characteristics were still terrifying to the extreme. First of all, there was armor absorption. This was equivalent to the lifesteal trait corresponding to health points. With the Swordmaster's helmet he currently equipped, he could restore 10,000 by 1% equals 1,000 armor with each basic attack. To know, before he could only obtain a small amount of armor absorption by killing enemies. This is a qualitative leap. If I can gather the Swordmaster set, the speed of armor recovery will reach a terrifying level. Lin Yan had another expectation in his heart. Why are there plus signs after the first two attributes? Lin Yan clicked to see and found that from now on, if the newly added attributes are not satisfactory, they can be fused to enhance the abilities of cutting iron like mud and decisive blow. Not bad. Lin Yan nodded in satisfaction. A pile of weak attributes is no match for a top level attribute, just like the difference between ordinary and divine level attributes, it's like night and day. For example, when decisive blow is maxed out, even legendary weapons can be completely severed. Lin Yan was extremely excited. He exhausted all the useless attribute terms and upgraded cutting iron like mud and decisive blow to level 2. Upgrade some of the armor's attributes too. He upgraded the entangling silk and poison armor attributes. Now, when fighting against me, you will have your attack speed reduced by 50%, even hero level opponents won't be able to handle it, right? Lin Yan grinned. After upgrading Entangling Silk, both the upper and lower armor can reduce the opponent's attack speed by 25%, and his continuous damage ability has also improved. The combined attributes of the upper and lower armor can cause a total of 40% slow and 600 points of continuous damage. He glanced at his attribute panel, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 Health, 400, Armor, 2850 Attack, 1000, Armor Penetration, 1000, Physical Resistance, 543, Magical Resistance, 538, Movement Speed, 8, Attack Speed, 2, 5, Mana, 400, Health Recovery Speed, 0, 5%, Life Steal, 0, 5%, Critical Strike, 6% Equipment, Soft Hedge Armor, White, Armor plus 60W, Physical Defense plus 113, Magical Defense plus 113, Counterattack plus 4600, Soft Hedge Pants, White, Armor plus 55W, Physical Defense plus 100, Magical Defense plus 100, Counterattack plus 4900, Broken Swordmaster Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 100W, Physical Defense plus 118, Magical Defense plus 118, Snowy Wind Boots, Legendary, Armor plus 666,666, Physical Defense plus 200, Magical Defense plus 200, Movement Speed plus 5, Magic Blade 1000 Blades, White, Attack plus 100,000, Critical Strike plus 5%, Attack Speed plus 0, 3%, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 4th Order, Skills, Stacked Wave 3 Blades, 1 Star, Flame Blade, 1 Star, 9 Fold Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Advanced Detection Technique, 3 Stars, Abilities, None Treasures, Life and Death Seal, Water Avoidance Cape, Stealth Cloak, Awakening Fan. With various means, even if I were to fight against a golden hero, I still have a chance to win. Lin Yan was full of confidence, his fighting spirit boiling. To achieve such great achievements in such a short time, one couldn't help but marvel at how powerful the ultimate artifact was. After everything was ready, Lin Yan saw a fat man with a bruised and swollen face at the entrance of the Ming village. What happened? Why do you look so miserable? Lin Yan jokingly asked. Don't mention it. That unlucky master of mine, when he came back, I don't know what medicine he took wrong, suddenly gave me devil training, forcing me to inherit his core skills in three days. And he's like he's been transformed, he can't even listen to a joke anymore. Duan did complain tearfully when he saw Lin Yan. 
Big brother, these past few days have been a disaster for your chubby brother. Ha ha, Lin Yan laughed immorally. You're still laughing at me. Big brother, you have no conscience. Duanda's already round body swelled even more with anger. Here, let me compensate you with a good piece of equipment. Lin Yan threw the thorn shield he had fused to Duanda. Without hesitation, Duanda bound the thorn shield, white grade. What kind of quality is this? Damn. Damn 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 damn. What is this? The fat guy was dumbfounded. What grade is this weapon? How am I worthy of having it? It increases over 200,000 armor and over 10,000 attack power? And the first attribute is, immediately returns 1% of the damage as armor value when attacked, with no upper limit on counter damage. The second attribute is even more outrageous, attacks can inflict damage equal to 1% of the total armor value. Hmm. Lin Yan nodded, smiling slightly. How about it? Isn't this equipment amazing? It's too precious. This equipment is so powerful that it would probably be worth millions to the rich. They would be willing to pay. Duan just shook his head. I can't accept it. Ah, anyway, once you bind this equipment, it can't be dismantled or replaced. Even if you regret it, it's useless. Lin Yan shrugged and spread his hands. Ah, Duan De laughed helplessly. Boss, you. Let's not talk about so many empty words between us. Follow me from now on, and I'll take you to new heights. Lin Yan patted Duan De's shoulder. Boss, I love you so much. Duan De hugged him affectionately, but Lin Yan quickly dodged. I don't like men. Don't make me change my mind. The fat guy scratched his head. These attributes are just perfect for me. I'm getting a bit too excited. Oh, Lin Yan was puzzled. With 200,000 armor, your attacks only deal 2,000 damage. The fat guy shook his head vigorously. No, no. If you knew how insane my master's core skill is, you would understand why I'm so excited. Tell me about it. Lin Yan became interested. The rebirth curse has three movements, salvation, survival, and same fate. The fat guy's expression turned serious. The movement same fate allows for sharing half of the armor value of friendly units within a certain range. It can be shared with up to six teammates. If I have a few high armor tanks by my side, my armor and attack power will skyrocket. Lin Yan took a sharp breath. It was said that the Dawn Seven Heroes might be the strongest hero group in the history of the Longsha Empire, even surpassing the king. Now it seemed that it wasn't just a rumor. Just imagine, during a battle, if the blind monk uses same fate, and the Dawn Seven Heroes share all their armor, how terrifying would their individual armor become? Faced with these seven monsters, even the zombie king, who had been fierce for a thousand years, was defeated. Before, he wondered how a king-level creature could be defeated by heroes. Now, Lin Yen could only sigh and say, Zombie King, Evil Chi, you are truly powerful. Can you bind me and try it out? Lin Yen smiled. Sure. The fat guy placed his hand on Lin Yen's shoulder, and in the next moment, his eyes widened in shock, unable to say a word. Oh my god. After a long time, Duanda finally reacted. My armor has increased by over 1. 4 million. My attack power and counter damage have also skyrocketed by 14,000. Boss, you've been hiding your true strength too well. He knew Lin Yen was strong, but he never expected him to be this strong. He could only share half of the armor. In other words, Lin Yan's armor was already close to 3 million. Ha ha ha, invincible, boss. With our combined strength, we are unbeatable. The fat guy excitedly danced around. Together, he and Lin Yan had nearly 5 million armor. Lin Yan smiled faintly. The fat guy had only seen current players and beginner village bosses, so his perspective was limited. In the late game of this game, there were countless monsters with various data. 5 million was only terrifying in the early stages. Well, let's head out. Lin Yan said seriously. Boss, please speak carefully. If you say things like that, I'm scared. The fat guy was startled. Lin Yan grinned and, with the fat guy, found Chung Diozi. You all need to think carefully. It's dangerous to go there. The Willow Demon Clan has means to counter intruders. If the worst happens, you may be trapped in the secret realm and unable to return. Ching Daozi said in a deep voice, this is the teleportation talisman. If the worst case scenario happens, it will be activated. It can ignore spatial constraints and forcefully teleport the user thousands of miles away. Don't worry. Lin Yan took the teleportation talisman and grinned. By the way, fatty, since you're so heavy, if I teleport with you, will it shorten the distance? Boss, you're so mean with your words. Fatty rolled his eyes. You've ruined the solemn atmosphere of the wind blowing and the cold water. Keep it in your heart. If I dare to take you, I will definitely bring you back. Lin Yan's voice was reassuring. He had some dealings with the Willow Demon clan in his past life, so he had a certain degree of confidence to take on this mission. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't risk his own safety, even with the divine gift template. Buzz. Lin Yan triggered the teleportation scroll in his hand and entered the teleportation passage with Fatty. Young Emperor Yan, it's all up to you. The mage bid farewell with a bow. After the teleportation passage closed, Yuan Tianlin's figure appeared, rest assured, this kid wouldn't agree to this if he didn't have some confidence. Brother Yuan. Qing Daozi greeted. The most important thing now is to protect the treasure. The true doctrine has obtained the king's blood, and the creation will awaken soon. Yuan Tianlun's eyes were profound. With Tian Gang's character, even if he knows that the treasure won't wake up, he will still do everything he can to assassinate and increase his chances of winning. Whom? Qing Daozi nodded solemnly. The young emperor has his battlefield, and we have our own. Yuan Tianrun waved his sleeve. All we can do now is fight with all our might. With that, he stepped out of the house, pointed his sword, and beheaded three disciples hidden on the roof. Thump! Lin Yan stepped out of the teleportation passage with Fatty. Boss, why do I feel such a gloomy atmosphere here? Fatty trembled. It was a desolate forest, with a thick black and purple demonic energy, greatly reducing the field of vision. The site was filled with withered and blackened willow trees, oozing green liquid and emitting a foul smell. The Willow Demon Clan shouldn't be like this. Something has happened here. Lin Yan's eyes narrowed, then he shouted, Not good. Try not to breathe the air here. Ah, uh, boss, can you please say that earlier next time? Fatty's face had turned purple, and his eyes rolled back. Negative numbers like minus 500, minus 500 started appearing above his head. Sigh. Lin Yan helplessly took out the awakening fan, a treasure given to him by Wang Bauer that could awaken the mind. Smack. He slapped Fatty's face with the fan, leaving an imprint on his chubby face. Ouch, that hurts, boss. You're really ruthless to your brothers. Fatty glared. Ha! Without saying a word, Lin Yan kicked Fatty hard, sending him flying. Boom! In the instant Fatty flew out, a bloodthorn vine with a ghostly aura descended from the sky and pierced into the ground. The entire ground cracked and dust flew as a result of this attack. Fatty climbed up with a dirty face and muttered, Boss, can you please hold back a bit next time with your kick? Lin Yan swung his sword and dealt 100,000 damage to the bloodthorn vine in front of him. Let's get rid of these troublesome things first. Alright. Duanda held up his counterattack shield and pressed down on the bloodthorn vine as if Mount Tai was pressing down on it. The vine struggled frantically but was continuously counterattacked, causing its injuries to become more and more severe. In the end, even before Lin Yan could make a move, the bloodthorn vine was crushed to death by Duanda. Wow, this thing gives so much experience. I just leveled up. Duande exclaimed in surprise. With the golden template given by the blind monk, he had already advanced to become a professional. Don't worry, if we're lucky on this trip to the Willow Demon Clan, you might reach full level in the second tier. Lin Yan casually said, examining the Bloodthorn Vine in detail, then frowned. This isn't a creature of the Willow Demon Clan. It seems that something has happened to the Willow Demon Clan. He stood up and walked towards the depths of the purple mist with the fat man. Along the way, there were withered and charred willow trees, and they encountered several ambushes from bloodthorn vines. Lin Yan casually killed them and gave the experience orbs to the fat man. So cool. Duan de grinned, he had leveled up several times along the way. These vines are all around level 30 to 40, third tier creatures. Just killing a few of them is enough for you to level up, Lin Yan smiled faintly. After walking for a long time, the purple mist gradually dissipated. Finally out, it was so oppressive back there. The fat man complained. Stop. Who are you people? Several slender figures blocked their way. These figures had human forms, but their hair was made of willow branches, swaying in the wind, elegant and eerie. We're just two ordinary adventurers, Lin Yan casually replied. Adventurers? You're lying. Whether you're lying or not, outsiders are not welcome in the territory of the willow spirits. Leave immediately, or we will attack you. The female captain of the willow spirits angrily shouted. We're not here to enter. We just wanted to ask if you have any thousand-year willow wood hearts for sale. Duan De asked bluntly. So you're also colluding with the bloodthorn spirits, thieves plotting to steal our tribe's treasure. There's no need to say anything, just kill them. Several willow spirits said angrily. Hey, look who we've encountered. The princess of the willow spirits? If we capture her alive, the willow chief will definitely agree to hand over the willow wood heart. That's right. Just as the willow spirits were about to attack, a group of humanoid creatures covered in bloodthorn vines appeared, their eyes filled with excitement and bloodlust. The female captain's expression changed, realizing that they were outnumbered. She protected the willow princess behind her and said guardedly, when the fight starts, prioritize escorting the princess away, I'll hold them off. Anya, 
The Willow Princess looked anxious, choosing to stay behind was as good as sacrificing herself. How about we make a deal? Lin Yan calmly suggested. You're in cahoots with them. What else is there to say? Captain Anya glared at Lin Yan. Did I ask you? Lin Yan looked directly at the princess. I'll take you out, and you'll take me to see the leader of the Willow Spirits, how about that? Stranger, why should I trust you? Anya frowned. If you don't have a brain, then don't talk. Duande couldn't stand it anymore. My boss is trying to do business, stop blabbering. You. Anya's face turned pale with anger. Princess, don't trust them. They just want to deceive you. After a moment of contemplation, the Willow Princess smiled and said, All right, I trust you, as long as you do what you say. Okay. Lin Yan nodded and directly pulled the Willow Princess to his side, then swaggered out with the fat man, leaving the encirclement. The leader of the Bloodthorn clan was dumbfounded. Seeing that Lin Yan was really taking the princess away, he couldn't help but become furious. Do you think we don't exist? This kind of contempt was too insulting. If you don't want to die, step aside. You're not worth my time. Lin Yan said indifferently. Giggle. The leader of the Bloodthorn clan instantly rushed over, the Bloodthorns on his body turning into blood shadows, attacking Lin Yan. Lin Yan coldly glanced at him, since you want to die, I'll grant your wish. He instantly drew his sword. With the combination of the three waves slash, flame blade, and stacking blade, he instantly dealt hundreds of thousands of damage. The leader of the Bloodthorn clan was instantly cut into several pieces and lay in a pool of blood. Gurgle. This terrifying scene left everyone stunned. So strong. The soldiers of the Bloodthorn clan were sweating coldly. The captain was a max level elite, but she was killed in an instant with just one strike. Tada. Lin Yan took the princess and walked leisurely towards the outside of the encirclement. For a moment, no one dared to stop them. Why are you still standing here? Do you all want to die? Lin Yan scanned the surroundings with a cold and sharp gaze. The captain is dead, let's retreat. Yes, yes, yes. The warriors of the Bloodvine clan had no fighting spirit and turned around to escape into the purple mist. Anya was stunned. Did she just scream and shout at such a terrifying boss? Her face turned red with embarrassment as she lowered her head and led her subordinates to follow Lin Yan, leaving in shame. The princess curiously looked at Lin Yan, seemingly contemplating something. Dada. Soon, they arrived at the core hall of the Willow Demon Clan. The clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan anxiously looked at the battle report, his brows furrowed in worry. Clan leader. The princess has returned. Someone reported. The clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan's eyes lit up, standing up and saying, My daughter, you have finally returned. Did you bring back good news? Princess Lu shook her head. The Peony clan and the White Poplar clan are unwilling to lend a helping hand and are just watching from the sidelines. Humph. They are truly ungrateful. They have benefited so much from us in normal times, but when it comes to needing their help, they keep making excuses. Although the clan leader of the Willow Demon clan was angry, he was also helpless. The clan leader of the Blood Vine clan has broken through to the hero stage. Although it is only the silver rank advancement, he has ultimately entered the realm of hero. Our Willow Demon clan is in danger this time. Lin Yan listened on the side and already understood the situation. The clan leaders of both the Willow Demon clan and the Blood Vine clan were originally full-level golden masters. But now, the clan leader of the Bloodvine clan has obtained the Silver Hero Advancement Template, becoming a hero, which is why he ambitiously wants to annex the Willow Demon clan. Who are these two? The clan leader of the Willow Demon clan noticed Lin Yan and the fatty. They are adventurers and also my lifesavers. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't have been able to come back, the princess introduced generously. Oh, the clan leader of the Willow Demon clan was extremely grateful. Two adventurers, I am deeply grateful for your great kindness. Is there any treasure you want? My Willow Demon Clan will do our best to fulfill it. Old Clan Leader, you're really kind. We happen to want a Millennium Willow Heart. Do you have any? The fatty asked directly. At this moment, the Old Clan Leader's face stiffened, and the whole scene fell silent. The Willow Heart is the essence formed within our clan's body. If it's a hundred or a thousand years old, we can still negotiate. The Clan Leader of the Willow Demon Clan shook his head. A Millennium Willow Heart, even with the Willow Demon Clan's inheritance for so many years, there are only three of them, all of which are treasures of the clan and cannot be exchanged for any price. How about you choose another treasure? Lin Yan's eyes flickered, confirming that it wouldn't be so easy. Hey, old man, didn't you just say that the Willow Demon Clan is about to be wiped out? Why keep the treasures of the clan when you're on the verge of extinction? Weren't they all taken away by the enemy? I love speaking the truth. The fatty spoke his mind without any concealment. How dare you? Who do you think you are to say such things? We can wipe out the Bloodvine clan in an instant. 
Several Willow Demon Clan generals were furious, their eyes spewing fire. You're so powerful, yet you had to go out and seek help? The princess almost got kidnapped? The fatty sneered, full of disdain. You? The Willow Demon Clan generals drew their weapons, wishing to fight the fatty right away. Everyone, calm down. The clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan coughed and eased the atmosphere. His gaze was profound as he looked at Lin Yen. If you really want the Millennium Willow Heart, it's not impossible. As long as you can help our clan repel the Bloodvine Clan and save us from this disaster, I can naturally give it to you. Hee hee, clan leader, do you really think a few cats and dogs can repel the Bloodvine Clan? Just based on him? Several Willow Demon Clan generals sneered. My mind is made up, there's no need for you to say more. The clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan waved his hand, then smiled at Lin Yen. I just received a confidential report that recorded the whereabouts of the Blood Vine Clan leader. If you can kill him on the way, I will consider it a success and you can take the Millennium Willow Heart. How about that? Deal. Lin Yen nodded. However, you need to show your sincerity. The clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan nodded, issuing the mission. The mission is just like the Oath of the Heavenly Path in the Cultivation World. Once violated, there will be terrible punishments. Lin Yen glanced at the information, mission name, assassinate the Bloodvine Clan Chief mission level, silver rank 5 mission criteria, successfully kill the Bloodvine Clan Chief and bring back its head. Mission reward, 10,000 year willow would heart mission time limit, one day Lin Yen nodded. If you still don't trust me enough, I can send my beloved daughter and the first general of my willow demon clan, Anya, to accompany you on the mission. The willow demon clan chief said with a grand gesture. Let's do it this way. Lin Yan nodded and led Duan De out of the hall. Princess Lu Fu glanced at the Willow Demon Clan chief, smiled lightly, and then left the hall with Anya. Inside the hall, several Willow Demon generals asked in confusion, Clan chief, why did you give such an important secret report to him? Regardless of whether he has the ability or not, we haven't determined if we can truly trust him. The Willow Demon Clan chief smiled mysteriously, you will know everything tomorrow. Outside the Willow Demon Clan territory, Princess Lu Fu walked side by side with Lin Yen, are you really going to assassinate the Bloodvine clan chief? Lin Yen nodded, yes. Don't you find it strange? Lu Fu bit her silver teeth and hesitated for a long time before asking. What's strange? Lin Yen raised an eyebrow and asked with a smile. My father first sent me to seek help at great risk, and now he sent me with you to carry out this dangerous mission. Lu Fu's eyes were firm. Since she had made up her mind to speak, she couldn't hesitate anymore. Oh? So you've already figured it out. I thought you were stupid. Lin Yan smiled lightly and said. Lu Fu was confused. Please explain it clearly. Lin Yan nodded. This was originally your family's business. It has nothing to do with me. And I don't want to say much. But since you brought it up. Let me remind you. You will eventually die at the hands of your father. In his previous life. He had learned some information about the Willow Demon Clan. The future Willow Demon Clan chief would become the Willow Demon King, and his most famous achievement was wiping out the eight major Demon Clan secret realms and becoming the king of a domain. After becoming the king, he also killed the greatest contributor, his own daughter and the female general, Anya. His early actions were weak and inactive, but once he showed his fangs, he became cruel and swift, earning him the reputation of being the most cunning and ruthless Demon King. Lu Fu remained silent for a long time, then smiled bitterly, I thought I was the only one who saw through my father's disguise. I didn't expect. His ambition was already known to everyone? Lin Yan didn't explain much, just shrugged. Even if he didn't know the future, repeatedly sending his daughter to do tasks that were as good as sending her to her death, the Willow Demon Clan chief definitely had no good intentions. Since you know his ambition, you should understand that this time he wants us to assassinate the Bloodbind King, he must be planning to use us as a scapegoat. Lu Fu said urgently. Hmm, I know. Lin Yan nodded. You know and still go? Anya couldn't hold back anymore and complained. The boss has his own plan. You idiot, don't talk too much. Duanda, although he was also confused, instinctively wanted to retort Anya. Lin Yan smiled slightly. Do you have a better plan? Lu Fu's eyes flashed with a hint of fierceness. Since you have the courage to kill the silver rank hero Bloodvine clan chief, do you have the courage to kill my father? Lin Yan was stunned. Wow, this is truly a filial daughter. This family is so loving and virtuous, they are the role models of the new era. He is heartless, don't blame me for being unrighteous. Lu Fu's comb eyes filled with fierceness, if he wants to kill me, why can't I kill him? Are you brave enough to fight me? If you succeed, I will naturally give you the 10,000 year willow wood heart. Lin Yen sighed, helping you obviously doesn't have as much winning potential as helping your father. Don't you think so? With the same bargaining chip, there is no way to move me. Lu Fu gritted her teeth and directly issued a mission to Lin Yen. 
Lin Yin calmly looked at the information, mission name, assassinate the leader of the Willow Demon Clan mission rank, golden fourth rank mission criteria, successfully kill the leader of the Willow Demon Clan and ensure the safety of Lu Fu before she takes over as the leader. Mission rewards, 10,000 year Willow Wood Heart plus 100 attribute points plus 10,000 gold coins mission time limit, one day hmm, I can consider it, I'll take the mission. Lin Yan had his own plans, and he smiled slightly as he accepted the mission. Alright, now follow me back to complete the mission. Lu Fu turned around to return to the clan. What's the rush? Lin Yan smiled faintly. Ha, huh? then do you need to prepare for anything? Lu Fu frowned. Of course, I have to go kill the Blood Vine clan leader first. Lin Yan said naturally. Are you playing with me? Lu Fu was furious. In business, there is always a sequence of events. If I don't bring back the head of the Blood Vine clan leader, will your father completely trust me to assassinate him? Lin Yan casually made up a reason. He had his own calculations. What? Lu Fu furrowed her brows, thinking that what Lin Yan said made some sense. Fine, but do you really have the confidence to kill the Blood Vine clan leader? If you want to stay alive, listen to me. Lin Yan stopped wasting words and walked towards the secret route to the Blood Vine clan leader. We're getting close. Lin Yan's expression became serious as he walked through the purple mist. The Blood Vine clan had already invaded the Willow Demon clan, occupying most of their secret realm. So it was easy to encounter the Blood Vine clan soldiers, and once they encountered them, they would attack without mercy. Killing these monsters is really profitable, I've leveled up several times. Fatty grinned. Is that all? This time when we leave the secret realm, I guarantee you'll level up to the maximum of the second rank. Lin Yan sneered, he had already predicted what was going to happen next. Stop. He waved his hand, and everyone stopped in their tracks. They pushed aside the grass in front of them and saw a camp. This was a temporary camp, of high standard. The soldiers patrolling and guarding outside were all elite warriors of the third rank. It seems like this is where the Blood Vine leader is. Lin Yan pondered, you guys stay here, I'll go in and investigate. Ha! Huh? Lu Fu was somewhat surprised, you? Before she could finish asking, Lin Yan had already activated his invisibility cloak and disappeared from everyone's sight. Invisibility. Lu Fu broke out in a cold sweat. This adventurer's trump card was truly terrifying. Both invisibility skills and invisibility treasures were extremely difficult to obtain. His identity is not simple. Lu Fu became more and more convinced that she had found the right helper. Step by step, Lin Yan moved through the enemy camp as if he were in an uninhabited place. The Blood Vine clan had a low probability of having psychic mages. The demons preferred to play as brute warriors and didn't like technical skills such as mental spells. Soon, he saw the figure of the Blood Vine clan leader in the central camp. He was looking at a map, analyzing the battlefield situation, with no one around him. Heh, just as I expected. Lin Yan smiled faintly, returned to the bushes, and revealed his figure. How is it? Duan Dei asked repeatedly. Apart from these elite guards at the gate, there is only the Blood Vine leader in the camp. Lin Yan truthfully replied. Humph. After advancing to the hero level, this Blood Vine thinks he's invincible and believes that there is no one in the world who can match him. Leaving the camp defense so empty, it's simply arrogant. Lu Fu said coldly. Not really. Lin Yan shook his head, it seemed that besides being filial, Lu Fu's intelligence attribute was not high. In the midst of a march, how could the whereabouts of a leader be easily discovered? The blood vine deliberately leaked his whereabouts, wanting to lure the enemy in to kill him. Lin Yan analyzed. The assassin who comes to kill him must be a top expert from the Willowwood clan, so he can easily eliminate many troubles. Lu Fu suddenly understood, and said in realization. That's right. Lin Yan nodded. The assassin's hidden assassination damage is multiplied by 10, and if it's a critical hit, the damage can be doubled again. So, the top assassins trained by each ethnic group have the opportunity to assassinate and kill enemy leaders. Even if they cannot assassinate them, they can still cause serious injuries, causing them to lose their best condition in subsequent battles. After all, regaining health is extremely difficult in this game. So what do we do now? Lu Fu was a little frightened. She didn't expect this. If they had rushed in recklessly just now, they would have fallen into the Blood Vine Chieftain's trap. First, find the experts ambushing around him and eliminate them all before taking action, Lin Yan said directly. You two follow the fatty. We'll split into two teams and clear the area along the arc from two directions. When we meet, we'll have cleared a circle. Okay. Lu Fu now had great trust in Lin Yan, after all, he had just saved her life. They got to work immediately. Lin Yan set off directly, with his experience and intuition he could easily detect the ambush. It would probably be difficult for the fatty and his team to clear perfectly, 
but this time they were just aiming to weaken the blood vine's ambush force. Ha, hey, there really is an ambush, Lin Yan crouched on a tree branch, looking down at the blood vine leader sitting cross-legged, waiting for the blood vine to strike. He sneered. A level 60 silver master? Not worth mentioning. He pounced down directly, wielding his flame blade, using the triple wave slash and the stacked blade technique, instantly dealing a damage output of 5 to 600,000. Who? The blood vine master who was waiting cross-legged hadn't even stood up yet, his eyes wide open in shock, and he was directly killed in an instant. It was a calamity from the sky. He was cut into five or six pieces while sitting, blood flowing. Lin Yan didn't stop at all, continuing to clear the ambush. Along the way, he killed more than a dozen silver masters. There are really a lot of ambushes. Lin Yan frowned. He had cleared more than half of the circle himself, and although the fatty's team had three people, their efficiency was not as fast as his alone. Ha! Huh? A golden master? Lin Yan looked at the strange man in front of him, manipulating the blood vine on his body like tentacles, sucking the blood of a young female willow demon. Only level 50, a newly advanced golden master, he sneered. Masters of the blood vine race like this were extremely rare, and this person was probably the son of the blood vine chieftain. It's a bit difficult to kill him instantly, Lin Yan frowned. Even if he had just advanced to a golden master, his health would still be in the millions, and with his armor, his health and armor values would be close to 2 million. Boss, what should we do? The fatty had also finished clearing the area and joined Lin Yan. Let's attack together and see if we can kill him instantly, Lin Yan said in a deep voice. Kill him instantly. That's impossible. You should know that he is the son of the blood vine chieftain, a golden master. Although he just advanced, his health and armor values alone are close to 2 million. And you felt it was unbelievable. This value was scarier than her own. If he could be killed instantly, wouldn't she be able to be killed instantly too? You're talking too much again. Big chest, no brains. Duan De had always disliked Inya. I can provide a magic scroll that can instantly cause 600,000 points of damage after it explodes, Lu Fu said calmly, starting to add up the damage values. My reincarnation can cause one second of control effect, the fatty said in a deep voice. And during this time, I can probably deal 100,000 damage with all my strength. I can only provide 50,000 damage. And Inya blushed. As the number one warrior of the Willow Demon tribe, her attack value was too pitiful in comparison. She really wanted to find a hole to hide in. Since there's a control skill, it's easy. I'll make up for the remaining damage gap, Lin Yan smiled slightly. Damn, boss, are you serious? The fatty widened his eyes. We're still lacking one. Two million damage. Don't worry, leave it to me. Lin Yan waved his hand. Let's do it. In the next moment, the four of them didn't hesitate anymore and erupted with full force. The fatty chanted the reincarnation spell controlling the blood vine scion. Lu Fu threw a scroll, and venom gushed out, directly corroding away his 600,000 armor. The fatty and Inya rushed over, giving it their all to attack the blood vine scion, removing another 160,000 armor. Who are you guys? The eyes of the blood vine prince were blood red, approaching rage. But as soon as he broke free from control, a punch was thrown. A powerful figure descended. Attack speed potion. Poison potion. Fire potion. Ice potion. Mana Potion, Shrink Potion, Stacking Blades, Stacking Waves 3 Blades, Flame Blade, Ninefold Lightning Flash, Poison Armor, Counter Damage, Wind Walking, Song in the Snow, Cutting Iron Like Mud, Swordmaster Secret Technique, Swordmaster Battle Soul. At this moment, Lin Yan unleashed his full potential, unleashing the most brilliant combo since his rebirth. Die. Although the attribute and damage boosts from a single bottle of potion were minimal, Lin Yan had a lot of potions. Coupled with the damage doubling effect of the Swordmaster secret technique, Lin Yan's combo directly dealt over a million damage. No! The Blood Vine Prince was sent flying into the air, taking out a communication jade card, about to crush it. You have no chance! Lin Yan leaped up and swung his long sword down. Poochie! The Blood Vine Prince, who was already just a skin of blood, was instantly cut in half by this strike. Crack! The two halves of his body fell to the ground, with red and green blood flowing, and a large number of experienced pearls and treasures scattered all over the place. Truly a satisfying one-shot kill. The chubby guy exclaimed in awe. The damage output from the leader was simply terrifying. Lu Fu and Inya also looked at Lin Yan as if they were looking at a monster. In their eyes, the combo just now was like a god descending to earth. The real battle has just begun, don't be stunned. Lin Yan tapped Lu Fu's head to snap her out of it. He looked towards the central camp. Just now, he had used the ninefold lightning flash, which must have alerted the blood vine clan chief. Sure enough, in the next moment, the formation around the camp started to move, 
and the entire sky turned blood red. Thick blood vines grew from the ground of the formation, dancing with bloodlust. A burly figure walked out from the tent, with blood vines entwined behind him emitting a terrifying blood glow. His gaze was sharp as he surveyed his surroundings. Come out. The answer to him was a talisman. Boom. The talisman exploded in front of him, flames spewing out and turning his face into black carbon. Above his head, a prompt floated down, minus 400,000. Ha ha ha, so funny, trying to act cool? But it only lasted for three seconds. The sarcastic remark from the chubby guy came. Boom. Thunder roared again, and Lin Yen appeared in front of the bloodvine chief in an instant. With the flame blade striking down, under the flames, the upper half of the bloodvine chief turned into black carbon. Roar. The bloodvine chief was enraged, and the blood vines behind him struck out, moving at an extreme speed. Sizzle sizzle. The following attacks from Lin Yen were blocked by the densely packed blood vines, forcing him to retreat. Even though he was strong enough now to face a hero-level expert, he still had to be cautious. Because after advancing to a hero, they would have their own core skills, which, once unleashed, could reverse the battle. No hero should be underestimated. He used an advanced detection spell, Bloodvine Chief, Vine Disaster Race, Demon Race, Wood, Class, Mage Warrior Hero Level, 70 HP, 8. 13 million, Armor, 7. 25 million Attack, 127,000, Physical Resistance, 300, Magic Resistance, 300 Equipment, Enchanted Guandao, Vine Armor Bloodplate, 1000 Year Vine Boots. Skills, Vine Shield, Life Drain, Vine Iron Whip. Wood Escape Technique, Earth Escape Technique, Wood Wing Glide, Blood Mist, Empty Armor Explosion, Blood Vine Domination, Deadly Entanglement, Core Skill, Blood Dragon Blood Slaughter Technique Treasure. With a difference of 4 ranks and a level gap of over 60 levels, even an advanced detection spell can't fully obtain its information? Lin Yan's expression became serious. He chose the full divine route, and this small price had to be endured. Above advanced detection spells is the Eye of Detection, a 5-star skill that beginners probably can't obtain in the newbie village. Just as he was pondering, the Bloodvine Chief sneered, Lu Yao Clan Chief is still so foolish. Did you really think it would be so easy for me to reveal my whereabouts to him? You all fell into my trap. Today, none of you will escape. Lin Yan sneered coldly, this kind of petty trickery can only deceive a 3-year-old child. You demon clan should just be honest and be straightforward warriors, don't learn the scheming and plotting of humans, it only makes you a laughingstock. You're still talking tough even when facing death. Vine disaster roared loudly, my warriors. Come out. Come out. Come. Embarrassing, long-lasting silence, no one responded. Vine disaster's face showed a hint of horror, looking at Lin Yan in disbelief. What have you done to them? Stop struggling, we've killed all your ambushes. Duan de sneered. What about my son then? My son, come out and fight alongside me. Vine disaster panicked. He was the only candidate for the next leader of the Vine clan. He couldn't afford any mishaps. Are you looking for him? Lin Yan coldly laughed and threw the head of Vine Disaster's son out, rolling to Vine Disaster's feet. No, my son. Vine Disaster's eyes instantly turned bloodshot. Do you know that you are provoking a true hero? Just a silver hero. Lin Yan raised his sword. He had long wanted to fight a hero. Die. Vine Disaster roared in anger. Since that old ghost of the Willow Demon killed my son, I will also kill his daughter. He charged straight towards Lu Fu. Lu Fu's face turned pale. She had just advanced to a golden master, and being approached by a hero, she would be killed soon. Oomph, you underestimate my meat shield too much, don't you? Fatty held up the thorn shield and stood in front of Lu Fu. Oomph, what nameless nobody dares to stop me? Vine Disaster laughed in anger. He checked Fatty's level and found that he was only in his twenties, it was simply laughable. A second-tier professional dared to stand in the way of his level 70 hero? This was not how one saw death. He was incredibly confident, believing that this one strike would be enough to take Fatty's life. Boom! The Guan Dao struck the thorn shield, causing shockwaves that overturned the surrounding land, but Fatty remained motionless. Minus 30,000. Because of a perfect block, Fatty only suffered block damage. Take this shield attack. Fatty smashed the shield onto Bloodvine's face. The counterattack, combined with Fatty's attack, caused Bloodvine's armor to plummet by 50,000. How is this possible? Vine Disaster was dumbfounded, as if in a dream, are 20 something level adventurers all this powerful now? It's ridiculous. Damn, this was simply defying the heavens. There's something even more ridiculous, do you want to see? Lin Yan had already killed his way to Vine Disaster's back and struck with his sword. Hoo hoo. Vine Disaster was extremely wary, swinging the blood vine behind him to block Lin Yan's attack. He looked fearfully at Lin Yan, this kid was obviously the most terrifying one. 
Vine Disaster glanced at Lin Yan's information and almost kneeled on the ground. Level 9? Holy shit! Each one was more heaven-defying than the last. His mind, previously clouded by anger, suddenly became much clearer. These two adventurers were too abnormal. He had to treat them with caution, otherwise he might capsize in the gutter today. It seems like you've become much more clear-headed. Lin Yan nodded, in that case, today's show will officially begin. What are you talking about? Blood Vine Tower frowned and questioned. Chief Willow Demon, are you hiding in the shadows, planning to take advantage of the situation? Do you think you can benefit from the conflict between us? Show yourself. Lin Yan shouted loudly, his voice resonating throughout the entire purple mist forest. What? The old Willow Demon himself has come? My father has come too? Vine Disaster and Lu Fu were both shocked. TSK TSK. The wind stirred, dispersing the purple mist, and an old figure walked through the demonic wind. He he he. I'm impressed that you can guess my intentions. You adventurers really do come prepared. The sinister laughter of Chief Willow Demon, Lu Gui, echoed. So you really came. Vine Disaster sneered, you've always been mediocre and cautious, why suddenly so brave? You know that I've already broken through to the hero stage, yet you dare to risk your life, aren't you afraid that I'll kill you along with the others? Kill me? Just by relying on you? Liu Gui Fusho Erli, Baki Si, Heping Rijian De Chishir Wan Chuan Butong Lu, Ta Sen Ren Xiao, Ben Lei Jiwang Jini De Shou Chu Diao Wa Dinur, Mei Xiang Dao Ni Jing Ran Chuan Dao Jia Zhong Dibu, Bei Yai Xiao Xia De Mei Axian Shua De Tuan Chuan Juan, Jiran Rusi, Na Nai Men Jiu Ichi Si Zai Zhili Ba, Liu Gui Yin Chen Lang Ma, Chishir Chang Xiao, Xia Jia Dao Di Shir Zen Mi Wishi, Liu Fu Mang Lu, Lin Yan Zuji Ao Itio, Hen Ming Xian, Kaishi Shir Teng Ze Sheji Yo Mai Fu Liu Yao Izu, Mi Fu Qing Jiang Ji Suan Ya Ji Teng Ze Zhi Shou Jie Ju A Suai Yo Ma Fun, Ru Jin Yin Kan Ji Wa Pei Teng, Ta Ji De Qin Zi Chu Shou Jie Ju A Suai Yo Ma Fun, Ta Zi Liu Da Jin Ri De Zhen Chun Hu Yan Hua Cheng Zhi Ge Ju Mian, Jin Jing De Zhan Dou, Sai Gang Gang Kaishi, Han, Ni Zhe Bian Chu Kaishi Shir Wa Mei Shang Dao De, Ben Lei Zhe Ka Shir Bin Zua Tai Anya Wa Fing De Ji Hua, Liu Gui Fen De Kan Jiu Lin Yan. Ruafe Lin Yan Poe Lita Dijiwa, Tajo Ka Jeja Liu Fuji Si, Jifa Liu Yaoizu de Tuan Jia Jishin, Ming Zhang Yan Chuan de Daija Suwayo Liu Yaoizu Feng Kuang Fujo, Iju Jia Jua Dia Suwayo de Hua Huan, Juma Wan Mei de Jihua, Chuan Beja Yin Di Ge Poe Lu, Na Yo Rua, Tang Zaiman Buzeho de Leng Xiao Yi Shang, Nitsu Tsu Yai Huang Jin Dashi, Ye Gan Dawa Dijui, Wa Yi Ji Shou Do Nung Nia Sini, Lin Yan Wu Na Yado, Jiteng Zai Keshi Yudian Suan, Liu Gui Rusi Shang Hang Yin Rin, Shinji Zui Ho Cheng Wei Dai Wangja, Shirley Shang Zai Rin Ye Hui Tsang Jua, Rugwa Ta Sua Li Bu Tsua, Liu Gui Ru Jin Bing Ran Yi Jing Shiring Shang Jie Lu, Yi Ji Shou Nye Si Wa, Liu Gui Ning Xiao Yi Shang, Da Shou Yi Jua, Luz De Liu Tiao Ru Hai Yi Ben Hang Sower Chu, Xie De Ke Pa De Qi Shir Pai Zai Teng Zi Shin Shang, Dash 25W, Teng Zai De Hu Jia Bei Zhe Yi Ji Da De Posen, Deng Ji Yue Gao, In Song Zi Ji Xin Chi Din Eng Li Yue Chang, Suaran Lin Yan Yo Gaji Tan Chi Shu, Dan Ye Jiu Wing Xiong Kai Ki Zhang Jing Zhuang Tao, Sai Nang Qing Gong Tan Chi, Liu Ya Zu Zu Zhang, Liu Gui Zhang Zu, Ya Zu, Mu, Ji Ek Ya Fa Ying Xiong Ding Ji, 70 Xing Ming Ji Liang, 1305 W, Hu Jia, 1100 W Gong Ji, 207000, Wu Kang, 600, Fa Kang, 600 Zhuang Bei, Liu Ya Chu En Zhang, Taliu Shui. Jinang, Liu Mu Fengchuan, Xingming Suizu, Mu Duanshu, Ta Duanshu, Liu Fu Sha, Ying Xiong Jimao, Duya Jisheng, Liu Yo Tongyu, Ye Liu Jijie, Samu Jimia Hashin Jinang, Bao Wu, Guoran Shi Ying Xiong Jie, Erki Haishi Huang Jining Xiong, Lin Yan Mu Guan Ning Zhang Dao Jidian, Zoran Gang Gang Jinjie, Dun Huang Jining Xiong De Zhanli, Fang Yin Long Xia Digua, Do Kanchen Kangu De Kanzai, Tang Zai Mian Si Ibai, Ta Gang Tupo Jiu Po Dai De Sha Lai, Halo Mo Shin Suan, Chin De Zhu Chi De Liu Gui Ibi, Shizai Shir Tai De Lian Lu, Ren Jie Do Jin Jie Huang Jin Ning Shan Lu, Eren Bu Shang Bu Shang, Man Ching Fa Da Tsai, Tang Zai, Ji Ran Kan Ching Le Xing Shir, Bian Ing Gai Ching Chu Shu Wei Tsai Shir Wei Men Gong Tong De Diren, Lin Yan Mo Ran Chu Xing, Xian Lian Chou Sha Lu Liu Gui, Zai Suan Chi Ta Churin, Ta Ji Su Wei Yao Xian Lai Sha Tang Zai, Jiu Shir In Wei Lia De Liu Gui Tsang Lu Yi Shou, Rugwa Liu Gui Jin Shir Huang Jin Ning Shang, Zai Bi Shu Yao In Rui Gu Xin De Lili Ang Jin Lai, San Fang Ji Hung, Sai O Kanung De Shang Zhang Ji Mudi, Yuan Lai Ni Da De Shir Zhiga Zhui, Liu Gui Ling Xiao Yi Shang, Keshi Ye, Zai Jua Dui De Shir Li Man Qian, Yi Chie Do Shir Tu Lao, Tai Yu Dimi and Rong Wei Yidi, Shin Ru Qing Feng, Xuan Jian Sha Dao Tang Zai Man Qian, Fa Zhang De Xia, Kepa De Guang Mang Bu Fa, Wu Shu Liu Tiao Tsang Fa Zhang Zhang Yan Qin Er Chu, Zhang Tang Zai Ji Jie Bu Fu, Liu Tiao Bu Duan De Suwa Jin, Tang Zai De Hu Jia Bu Duan De Bang Kui, 
Suiho, Liu Gui Shuangjin Zhuanchen, Rufang Ben Shaolin Yan Minchen, Huai Shi De Xiaozi, Wei Yao Rong Ni Hovui Chusheng Zai Zhiga Shiji Shang, Liu Gui Nu Hui Sheng, Lin Yan Keishi Gangjili Chachuan, Don Tabu Shin Yai Zhiomph. Lin Yan's figure disappeared in an instant, and the ninefold thunder flash was activated. You want to compare agility with me? Lu Gui sneered coldly, activating the earth escape technique, moving as fast as the wind, not slower than Lin Yan's ninefold thunder flash, and even surpassing it. Flame blade. Lin Yan swung his sword and clashed with Lu Gui while moving at high speed. Lu Gui had too many branches, and in order to break through his defense, Lin Yan could only exchange injuries with him at his current attack speed. Chi Chi Chi. Several branches broke through Lin Yan's defense. If they hit, it would cause tens of thousands of damage at the very least. Lin Yan threw out Wang Bao's earring. Wang Taijiang had given it to him as a gift for this mission. Bang bang bang. Several layers of defense shields were generated in front of Lin Yan, but these branches kept piercing through them. Just one attack had already destroyed nearly half of the defense shields. Roar. You damn demon. Feng Zai broke free from Lu Gui's entanglement, his blood vine swirling around him, and he caught up, directly using his ultimate move. Blood Dragon Blood Slaughter Technique. His body twisted with numerous blood vines, transforming into a wooden dragon, with a surge of blood mist, extremely fierce, wanting to bite and kill Lu Gui in one bite. Lu Gui's Demon Protection. Lu Gui's demonic energy surged, transforming into a set of demonic armor. Crack. The moment the blood vine wooden dragon bit down, the demonic armor shattered, and Lu Gui's chest was pierced, with red and green blood splattering, causing him to grunt. Minus 770,000 even with the demonic armor protecting him, Lu Gui still lost 700 to 800,000 armor from the bite. Pa! Lu Gui spat out a mouthful of blood, sinisterly grinning, blood dragon blood slaughter technique, is that all? Lin Yan was not surprised. A future king would definitely have a strong and resolute character. Fatty, protect Lu Fu, I can't take care of you guys anymore. Lin Yan instructed, charging forward once again. Lu Gui, Feng Zai, and Lin Yan fought together, each other's mortal enemies, with extraordinary strength, instantly creating a cloud of dust, and their blood chi sword. Such a terrifying battle. Lu Fu's cold sweat dripped, is this what a hero level battle looks like? Kid, you forced me to use my trump card, you have some skill. Lu Gui's eyes were filled with madness, then he took out a blood card from his pocket and crushed it. Boom! The blood colored card instantly exploded, and a wave of blood surged outwards, completely restraining Feng Zai and Lin Yan's movements. Die! Lu Gui shouted loudly, killing intent bursting forth, and the branches behind him transformed into death scythes, slashing towards the two of them. Lin Yan sneered, continuously taking control dispelling potions, instantly freeing himself from the restraint. The thousand blades of the demon blade turned into a shield, blocking all the attacking branches. Even so, he still suffered nearly 100,000 impact damage. Feng Zai was even more unlucky. He was restrained for a full 10 seconds and suffered over 3 million damage. Damn it! Feng Zai panicked. Although Lin Yan was low level, he had too many tricks up his sleeve. If they continued like this, he would definitely be the first to die. You think you're the only one with a trump card? He directly emptied his mana bar, and his body twisted. The blood vines wrapped around his body pierced into his body, and he no longer had a human form. The blood vines continued to grow and intertwine on his body. In the end, his entire body transformed into a giant wooden dragon over 10 meters long, made of blood vines. The core skill of Feng Zai, Dragonification of the Wood. Lin Yan's gaze froze. The dragon of Feng Zai roared, directly entangling Lu Gui within it, and with the life absorption, Lu Gui's armor kept shattering, and his body was decaying. Oomph! Life extraction! Parasitic poison bud! Lu Gui had long collected a lot of information about Feng Zai and knew how to counter him. In the next moment, various poisonous buds grew on the body of the dragon of Feng Zai, exuding green poison pus, corrupting the wooden dragon's body. These poisonous buds connected to Lu Gui's body, achieving a delicate balance between his armor loss and absorption. Buzz. Between the flicker of a thought, within a hundred meters, willow trees sprout and quickly grow into towering trees. These willow branches are extremely long, transforming into countless ropes that tightly bind the vine disaster dragon, layer upon layer. Willow Demon's Continuation. Lin Yan's heart sank, and his magic sword transformed into a protective film, then he threw out many life-saving cards he obtained from the deceased psychic mage, now. He continuously resisted the erosion of the Willow Demon's realm. Bang bang bang. Many defensive shields continuously shattered, but they were never completely broken through. Oomph, you little brat, you're quite resourceful. I'll deal with you later. Willow Gui's eyes turned cold. If he didn't use his trump card soon, 
the vine disaster would break free. Grass and trees extinguish. He waved his staff and unleashed his ultimate move. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. The willow demon's realm within a hundred meters instantly withered, filled with deathly aura. Any living creature tainted by this aura would die along with the grass and trees. Roar, roar, roar. The vine disaster dragon continuously twisted and struggled, clearly suffering immense pain. Even though Lin Yan had perfect defense, under the influence of the deathly aura, his armor was constantly losing durability, not to mention the completely bound vine disaster. Roar! The vine disaster's eyes turned bloodshot, and numerous thorny wooden spikes grew on its body. It exerted all its strength, finally breaking free from the bound willow branches. It slapped Willow Gue with its tail, then a dragon swing of its head sent him crashing into the sky. Willow Demon Old Ghost, today I will kill you. He unleashed the empty armor explosion technique, continuously bombarding the Willow Demon in the air. He attacked eight times in total, sending the Willow Demon flying a hundred meters high before it exhausted its strength. Boom boom. The two of them fell from the sky. The Vine Disaster Dragon's body was covered in corroded and tattered wounds, and its armor was completely shattered. Willow Gue was bathed in blood, and his chest plate was also broken and collapsed. Although they looked miserable, both of them were filled with killing intent, like two battling demonic dragons. Pa! Willow Gue wiped the blood off his face. Is this your trump card? You can go to hell. He raised his arm, which unexpectedly transformed into a sharp spear. Spear of the hero. Sizzle. He thrust the spear into the already heavily injured and stiff vine disaster dragon's eye, causing blood to spurt out. It's almost over. Lin Yan checked and saw that the heavily injured vine disaster only had a little over 3 million health left. If he didn't save it now, he would have to face Willow Gui alone. Boom! He unleashed the ninefold thunder flash, smacking the vine disaster's head with a fan. The effect of the awakening fan was simple and brutal, it awakened the spirit. This fan was equivalent to giving the vine disaster a shot of stimulant, instantly invigorating it and restoring its combat ability. A good template determines the upper limit of one's combat level. These two didn't have much difference in strength before, but because Willow Gue advanced to the golden rank, the Vine Disaster was basically being beaten down. Lin Yan's desire for the divinely bestowed template grew stronger. Hold him for three seconds, and I'll deliver a heavy blow. Lin Yan shouted. He directly took out Nao's last resort scroll and crushed it. Buzz. A terrifying mental attack burst forth, dealing a huge blow to Willow Gue and exposing his weakness. Roar. Now, if he wanted to survive, he had to listen to Lin Yan. The vine disaster no longer hesitated and entangled and controlled Willow Gue. Lin Yan erupted with all his strength, once again using all his potions and skills to maximize his output. Your daughter prepared nine tier five scrolls to kill you. Take them now. He pressed five scrolls against Willow Gue's face. These scrolls were secretly exchanged by Lu Fu using the thousand-year-old Willow Wood Heart. She had long sensed the crisis and made countless preparations to kill her father. Boom 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 boom. The five scrolls, along with Lin Yan's wave of powerful output, continuously dealt massive blows to Willow Gue. Minus one. Two million. Minus one. Thirty-three million. Huge damage numbers kept appearing above his head. In just three seconds, Lin Yan completely depleted Willow Gue's armor value, and all his equipment shattered. Bastard. Beast. Willow Gue was furious to the extreme. He hid his clumsiness throughout his life, not even making a sound when advancing to the golden hero level. But now, he unleashed his full power and suffered such a huge loss? He was furious to the extreme. This trump card was originally meant to deal with my daughter's counterattack, but now you're using it. Lu Gue took out a bottle of potion and drank it eagerly. His whole body swelled several times in size, and his leaves turned into a metallic sheen, dangerous and sharp. Die! Lu Gue went berserk, his muscles bulging, and his veins popping out. He exerted all his strength and tore apart the entwined vine disaster dragon from the middle tearing a dragon apart. Unbelievable. The chubby guy beside him trembled in fear. He had thought that by teaming up with Lin Yan and binding 5 million armor points, he could dominate the world and roam freely in the Divine Land. But witnessing today's battle made him realize how naive he was. It brought a huge shock to his obese heart. Poo, poo, poo. Lu Gui bathed in dragon blood, threw the dying vine disaster on the ground, stomped on it, and crushed its skull. Die. Lu Gui's eyes revealed madness as his huge foot descended once again, about to completely finish off the vine disaster. Stop! Lin Yan appeared in front of the vine disaster in an instant. The vine disaster's eyes showed joy. Does this mean it doesn't have to die? Lu Yao's heart sank, afraid that Lin Yan would use some strange means again. He hesitated for a moment. Let me enjoy the experience alone. Lin Yan's eyes showed joy as his attack speed reached its peak. 
He took the lead and cut off the Vine Disaster's wooden dragon head with a single slash. Buzz. The moment the Vine Disaster was killed, a massive amount of experience orbs surged out and were collected by Ling Yan into his backpack. Then, he took the equipment and treasures that the Vine Disaster had dropped and left like the wind. What have you done? Lu Gui was furious to the extreme. After advancing to the hero level, the experience required for leveling up increased dramatically. After killing the Vine Disaster, he could have leveled up with it. But this sixth emperor Yen took the lead? Lin Yen grinned, enough talk, fulfill your promise quickly. Even if I tear you into a thousand pieces, it would still be a favor. What else do you want? Lu Gui's anger made the leaves on his head stand up straight. The task you gave me was to kill the Vine Disaster and bring its head to you. Lin Yen threw the Vine Disaster's head to Lu Gui. Now that I've completed the task, are you going to break our agreement? I'll kill you. Lu Gui's eyes turned red with anger. Lu Fu laughed on the side, the Emperor Yen was really disgusting. I submitted the task, but you became my enemy and refused to pay. This is equivalent to breaking the oath of heaven Lin Yen sneered. Pooh, Lu Gui spat out a mouthful of blood, and the prompt of minus 3000 kept appearing in his mind. How could he carry the treasure of the clan with him? Lin Yen grinned. According to the rules of the Divine Land, this situation meant that Lu Gui had broken his oath and would be punished. Unless he died or the other party fulfilled the oath, the punishment would not end. Emperor Yen, did you plan for this too? Lu Fu looked at Lin Yen with even more admiration in her eyes. I don't need to fight you anymore. I'll keep you occupied. In less than an hour, you will be dead. Lin Yen said calmly, Kek, Kek, ha ha ha. Lu Gui laughed angrily, do you really think you're clever? With my strength, killing you is as easy as killing ants. Do you think it will take me two hours? He made a move, turning into a purple misty shadow. In his frenzied state, his speed was almost twice as fast as before, even Lin Yan's ninefold thunder flash couldn't match it. But this also came at a price. The corrosive effect of the frenzy potion caused him to lose 3000 HP per second. It seems like you only have half an hour left to live. Lin Yan smirked. Die. Lu Gui was completely enraged, and his attacks became even more frenzied. Even with Lin Yan's abilities, it is not to be underestimated the impact damage in the berserk state of the golden hero. In just a minute of fighting, his armor was stripped off by millions. Do you still think you can survive until the end now? Lu Gui laughed wildly, his eyes wild and terrifying. Lin Yan's face remained calm, but his heart sank. The vine disaster was really useless, it was just destroyed after helping him remove all of Lu Gui's armor. Even as a tool, he couldn't even do it properly, despite saving him twice. The battle power of the golden hero is too terrifying. He has used so many trump cards, utilized so many advantages, and exhausted all calculations. It's difficult to kill him. Lin Yan clenched his fists. Strength. Although his strength was superior to all current players, he was still far from being able to manipulate the entire divine land. He continuously consumed potions and threw out all the vine disaster treasures he had just obtained, even if it meant destroying them, just to buy time. SSS. He searched for tricky angles to continuously inflict substantial damage on Lu Gue, but the opponent's health bar was too thick, and even with bloody battles, the outcome was still unclear. Boss, I'll help you. Fatty shouted, abandoning Lu Fu and the others. If the boss was in trouble, who would care whether these two burdens lived or died? He stood directly in front of Lin Yin and said, I'll buy you time, boss, you just focus on dealing damage. Duanda's eyes were determined as he held up the thorn shield, continuously enduring damage for Lin Yen. Good brother. Lin Yen nodded, and the pressure immediately lessened. Damn it. Lu Gui's eyes flickered. With Fatty joining, his chances of winning instantly decreased by 30%. Humph. Everything is within my control. Although he was angry, Lu Gui remained calm. He looked at Lu Fu, a bloodthirsty smile playing at the corners of his mouth. My obedient daughter, after I drain you dry, I should have enough time to make it back to the base camp, right? Lu Fu's face turned pale, and she instinctively wanted to escape. But how could her speed compare to Lu Gui's? Almost instantly, she was caught up to, and with a swing of Lu Gui's staff, the vines enveloped Lu Fu and Inya. Life extraction. Boss. Fatty panicked. If Lu Fu died too, then the thousand-year willow heart would truly be lost. Lin Yan sneered and waved his hand. No rush, let the bullets fly a little longer. Lu Fu had long been prepared for Lu Gui. She had hidden her desire to kill her father for many years and must have many tricks up her sleeve. How could she only have those few scrolls? Even if Lu Fu doesn't have any tricks, we don't need to rush to make a move. We need to preserve some strength. Otherwise, if Lu Gui dies and we are also heavily injured, it will be us who die. Lin Yan said coldly. 
Are you saying that Lu Fu is also an enemy? Fatty exclaimed. Can a woman who has had the desire to kill her father since childhood be a good person? Lin Yen grinned. Damn, I suddenly don't know how to play games anymore. Duan Du complained. To play this game, you need to have 800 tricks. Otherwise, you won't even know how you died. Are these NPCs also cunning? Emperor Yen, save me. Lu Fu urgently called out. Her health was rapidly decreasing, and seeing that Lin Yen had no intention of rescuing her, her eyes gradually turned cold, and panic disappeared from her face. Indeed not easy to deal with. She grinned and looked at Lu Gue. Father, how much do you think I resemble you? Lu Gue's heart skipped a beat, realizing that things were not good. His daughter had inherited his patient nature, and now she was finally going to show her fangs. Please accept my challenge. Lu Fu directly submitted three mission requests. What? Lu Gue's eyes widened, and he shouted in shock, all three clans agreed to support you. You deceived me just to make me break my promise at this moment. Similarly, he had come alone this time and had no way to fulfill the mission promise. And now he and Lu Fu were in a state of hostile conflict. Minus 15,000th the health deduction prompt on his head suddenly changed from 60 hundred per second to 15,000. Not finished yet. Lu Fu threw out more than 10 task applications in succession. You've been deceiving me since over 10 years ago. You clearly completed these tasks, but deceived me into thinking you failed. Lu Gui roared, delivering a heavy blow. Minus 50,000 his visible blood volume decreased rapidly, decreasing crazily. It's not over yet. Lu Fu gritted her teeth and spat out a doll, then bit it with her silver teeth, directly shattering the doll. Poo, Lu Gui sprayed blood all over, his eyes filled with horror. You secretly cursed me with the same heart curse. Oh my goodness, this woman is ruthless. Fatty just realized that the woman standing behind him was like this, and he shivered in fear. She's practically demonstrating a hundred ways to kill her father. Tap, tap, tap. Lu Gui took several steps back. The same heart curse could bind the hearts of the caster and the cursed person. As long as the same heart curse was shattered, both sides would suffer a heavy blow and lose blood according to their respective percentages. Damn it! You don't want to live anymore! Lu Gui exploded in anger. He had over 10 million health points, and in his fight against Ling Yen, he only lost a little over 4 million. But in less than 10 seconds, his daughter killed 6 million. Lin Yen was also astonished. This girl was truly ruthless. Normally, he only needed to deal 6 million damage to kill the fully leveled golden master Lu Gue. But with the scroll she brought out, the total damage was at least over 10 million. Whoever she set her sights on would be skinned alive. Unfortunately, Jiang is still the old ginger. Lu Gue is 6 years older than her and secretly leveled up to the golden hero stage. Lin Yan shook his head. If it weren't for himself, Fatty, and Vine Disaster's wholehearted assistance, even if Lu Fu calculated everything, she would never be able to kill Lu Gue. Die. Lu Fu's mouth also bled as she looked at Lin Yen in a pitiful manner. If you don't make a move now, I'll really die. Lin Yen narrowed his eyes. My armor has just started to recover. If you hold on for 10 more seconds, I'll come immediately. You. Lu Fu gritted her teeth. Don't you want the thousand year willow heart anymore? Lin Yen remained indifferent and didn't answer. In the final battle, it was about who had more composure. Who knew who was still hiding some trump cards? The closer to the end, the less careless one could be. My good daughter, it seems like you've run out of cards. It's my turn. Lu Gui took out his trump card from his pocket for the third time, a wine jug. Lin Yen frowned and didn't make any rash moves. Who knew what kind of medicine Lu Gui was selling in his gourd? Lu Gui looked around, sneering coldly, with just a few rotten fish and shrimp like you, you still want to kill a true golden hero? How naive. He threw the wine jug directly into his mouth, biting it with his sharp teeth and shattering it. The blood wine inside gurgled into his throat. It's a skill effect doubling potion. Lin Yan's pupil shook, and he lowly shouted. Quite knowledgeable. Lu Gui glanced at Lin Yan, grinning, you're impressive, but unfortunately, you chose the wrong opponent. He shouted loudly. The high level skill doubling potion could triple the effect of his next skill, but it couldn't affect core skills. Willow spring in the woods. He shouted loudly. Who, who? His health points crazily increased. The Willow Spring in the Woods skill, which originally only restored 20% of his health, suddenly changed to restore 60%. Lu Gue, who had already dropped to just over 3 million health points, instantly recovered to over 10 million. Tremble. Despair. You ants. Lu Gue roared. Lin Yan furrowed his brows. This Lu Gue truly lived up to his title as the Silent King. He had so many trump cards, he was practically an unkillable cockroach. Good daughter, you're the best to kill. How about exchanging your life for your father's? 
Lu Gui sneered and instantly made his move. Although his health had recovered to 10 million, he was still under the debuff of losing 50,000 health points per second. The situation was not optimistic, and they had to finish the battle quickly. Emperor Yen. Lu Fu let out a miserable cry, his face turned pale, and it seemed like he was about to die. Fatty became anxious because he knew that the heart of the Thousand Year Willow was important to Lin Yen. If Lu Fu really died, their mission would definitely be ruined. Stay calm. Lin Yan's eyes were cold and unaffected. As a true world, these high-ranking NPCs had climbed up the ranks through intelligence and strategy, so it wasn't easy for them to die. Damn Emperor Yen. Lu Fu gritted his teeth and summoned a broken golden bell. The bell swelled in the wind and transformed into a three-meter size, ancient and mottled, enveloping Lu Fu within it. Oomph, obedient daughter, I didn't know you were hiding so many good things until now. Lu Gui sneered, and his body swept with willow branches, fiercely attacking the golden bell. However, in the first instant, his expression changed drastically. Minus 194,300. Minus 215,789. Huge damage numbers appeared above his head. A full counterattack treasure. Lu Gui widened his eyes. How could you obtain a treasure of this grade? Tsk TSK TSK. The golden bell shook and was already damaged to the extreme, on the verge of completely shattering. Heh, turns out it's a piece of junk. Lu Gui finally breathed a sigh of relief. This daughter was too terrifying, he had to go all out to kill her first. Otherwise, if he gave her time, who knows what terrifying move she would come up with. Kill, kill, kill. Lu Gui's killing intent surged as he unleashed various attacks. After dealing nearly 2 million damage, the golden bell shattered completely. Lin Yan felt a pang of heartache. If he had obtained the golden bell, perhaps the blacksmith Wang Tai could have repaired it. Oh my god, this girl is wasting her talent by not becoming the best actress at the Golden Horse Awards. Fatty shook his head, I really thought she had nothing left, who knew she would pull out such a hidden treasure. The city is full of tricks, I want to go back to the countryside. Lin Yan nodded. He also wanted to take this opportunity to teach Fatty the way of survival in the Divine Land. If he had really attacked and fought with all his strength just now, and then Lu Fu directly used this treasure to kill him, he would have been the one to be killed. Die. After the golden bell shattered, Lu Fu was continuously attacked by Lu Gui, and her health rapidly decreased. She was only a golden master, and after exhausting all her special means, being killed was the only outcome waiting for her. Take action. Lin Yan shouted, and the ninefold thunder flash was used, blocking Lu Gui's attacks just seconds before Lu Fu was killed. You finally decided to save me. Lu Fu's eyes were filled with annoyance. Lin Yan grinned, I was heavily injured just now too. I immediately came to save you as soon as my armor recovered a bit. Wasn't it difficult for me? Miss, you should know how to be grateful. Lu Fu rolled her eyes, you didn't even lose a drop of blood, you've been losing armor the whole time, and you were heavily injured. Who would believe that? Lin Yan was speechless. Yes, he didn't lose any blood, but when she saw him lose blood, he was probably already dead. Lu Fu let out a sigh of relief and loosened her grip on a certain item in her hand. Then, she glanced deeply at Anya beside her. Anya's cold sweat also subsided a bit, and she nodded at Lu Fu. If you want to hurt our boss, you have to get past me first. Fatty's fighting skills weren't as high, but he had learned from the blind monk and had the thorn shield given by Lin Yan, so he also engaged in a fierce battle with Lu Gui. But he was clearly the one being beaten up. Hold on for just over a minute, and he'll die. Lin Yan said as he crazily unleashed his attacks. With his and Fatty's combined attack power, their damage output rate definitely exceeded 150,000. Lu Gui had been enduring the health deduction buff for a long time, and it was clear that his life was coming to an end. Damn it all. Lu Gui's eyes turned red, and his killing intent reached its peak, remember. It's you who forced me. Old bastard, do you still have any trump cards? Duan De couldn't help but curse, his mouth full of profanity. There is another chapter later, you can join my tomato fan group, you can see it on the homepage, his core skill hasn't been used yet, be careful. Lin Yan reminded. The core skill of a hero level character is his deepest hidden card. Understood. Fatty inherited the mantle of the blind monk, naturally knowing how powerful the core skill is, his eyes also filled with seriousness. Lin Yan knew that Fatty had some misunderstandings. The Dawn Seven Heroes, since the founding of the Longsha Empire, can also be regarded as the strongest hero group. The ordinary golden hero's core skill can't be compared with these few at all. However, he didn't explain, it's always better to be more cautious. Would spirit incarnation. Lu Gui finally couldn't help it and directly used his core skill. Buzz. Another Lu Gui suddenly emerged from his body. However, this Lu Gui was obviously an energy body and not solid. Incarnation type skill? 
Lin Yan's eyes narrowed. The incarnation can inherit half of the original body's values and does not inherit any negative buffs. Fortunately, it's not the most disgusting clone type core skill. He breathed a sigh of relief. If it was a clone skill, not only could it inherit all of its own attributes, but as long as one clone survived, it wouldn't be considered dead. Die. Lu Gui, along with the Lu Gui incarnation, his attack speed suddenly increased, and the pressure instantly skyrocketed. Lin Yan's eyes tightened. He still had a hidden card that he hadn't played yet, but if he revealed it now, there would be no chance to turn the situation around later. Lin Yan frowned and shouted at Fatty, before we set off, did the blind monk give you anything good? Use it now. Fatty complained, that old man is so poor, he didn't give me any treasures at all. He just gave me a few teleportation scrolls to escape. Why didn't you say so earlier? Lin Yan's eyes lit up, and he threw all the movement speed potions, agility potions, burst potions, mana potions, armor enhancement potions, and defense doubling potions in his hand to Fatty. Hold on to that incarnation. Fatty was confused. What do you mean? I don't like old men. Although he complained, he immediately followed Lin Yan's command, ignoring the intense damage, and hugged the Lu Gui incarnation. Use the teleportation scroll. The incarnation is different from the clone. If the main body dies, the incarnation will automatically disappear. Lin Yan shouted, move it away, then escape immediately, drag him for two minutes, and everything will be over. I can't use the teleportation scroll while in a continuous injured state. Fatty complained. Do you have any control methods that you haven't used yet? Lin Yan hurriedly looked at Lu Fu. If we fail to hide our abilities any longer, we will die together. Even if I die, I can still resurrect, but if you die, you will truly be gone. Lu Fu was reluctant, but in the end, she took out a yellow ceiling paper, this can provide 5 seconds of control. Originally, this was my last means of escape. Don't let me down. Lin Yin grinned, don't worry. But in his heart, he complained, I don't believe you, you definitely still have some tricks up your sleeve. After saying that, he directly imprinted the yellow ceiling paper on the wood spirit incarnation. Now is the time, activate the teleportation scroll. Lin Yan shouted. Okay. Duan De quickly activated the teleportation scroll three seconds later. He disappeared along with the Lu Gui clone. No. Lu Gui became even more crazy, completely losing his mind. He was truly desperate. After preparing so many methods and being a golden hero, was he really going to be killed by these ants? This is a killing game that has been planned for decades for you, so leave in glory. Lin Yan shouted, fighting crazily against Lu Gui. Lu Fu was left with only a sliver of health, and if she was touched by Lu Gui again, her thousand-year willow wood heart would be completely ruined. Die for me. Lu Gui had truly exhausted all his cards, reaching the end of his rope, and became completely insane. Lin Yan's killing intent, combined with the debuff that deducted 50,000 HP per second, rapidly decreased Lu Gui's health. Lin Yan's situation was not optimistic either. His armor was now less than 800,000, entering the final desperate stage. The two of them fought fiercely, knocking down countless trees along the way, and the ground was swept away by the aftermath of their battle. No! Lu Gui's desperate roar shook the entire dense forest. The battle was finally coming to an end. Lin Yan's eyes sharpened, a murderous intent burst forth, and he swung his sword down, aiming to take the last 100,000 HP from Lu Gui. Buzz! However, Lu Fu appeared in front of him with an Ya. Teleportation symbol? Lin Yan was surprised. Teleportation symbols could only move a hundred meters in an instant. The relocation symbol was extremely precious, only the highest level of the Dragon Xia Empire, like the Seven Heroes of Dawn, could obtain it. Otherwise, with Lu Fu's personality, she would have run away long ago. You want to steal the kill? Ha! Lin Yan sneered. He himself was an expert at stealing kills, how could he be careless? He had long been on guard against Lu Fu trying to steal the kill. Get lost. He kicked out. His foot swept across Lu Fu's face, sending her flying and distorting her face. In the next moment, he punched Inya in the chest, flattening the rise and fall of her chest, and fiercely threw her to the ground. Puff. The two women spat out blood, looking at Lin Yan in disbelief. They never expected that Lin Yan would still be so wary of them and attack so ruthlessly. Lu Gui, your destiny should have been to become king but I will cut off your path to becoming king. Lin Yan's killing intent was like a rainbow. I refuse. I refuse. Lu Gui's eyes turned bloodshot. In the last moment of his life, only a flash of a knife remained in his eyes. Gurgle. His head rolled off, blood splattering. A generation of heroes fell. A huge experience pearl surged towards Lin Yan, and he waved his hand, collecting all the items that Lu Gui had dropped into his backpack. Rest in peace. Be a good monster in your next life. Lin Yan looked at Lu Gui's headless corpse. 
It stood there motionless, unwilling to fall. Lu Fu looked at Lin Yan's back, her eyes filled with murderous intent. But Lin Yan had only lost his armor, and she hadn't seen him lose any HP until now, which made her extremely wary. Otherwise, she would have attacked long ago. Congratulations, chief. And Ya, who was beside them, had keen eyes and immediately knelt down to congratulate him. Lin Yan curled his lips. Lu Gue's body hadn't even cooled down yet, and this woman couldn't wait to establish herself. His companion hasn't returned yet. Should we take advantage of this opportunity? And Ya took the opportunity to whisper in Lu Fu's ear. Lu Fu's eyes flickered. Now she only had one last card, and the cost was too high for her to accept. Lin Yan was as powerful as a bottomless pit, and she couldn't figure him out. Want to kill me? Lin Yan jokingly looked at Lu Fu. Heh, Emperor Yan, you misunderstood. We just wanted to help you, but you overreacted. Lu Fu's eyes flashed with light, and her heart was in a frenzy of struggle, to fight or not to fight. Hey, I've really exhausted myself, even Fatso's legs are broken. A voice came from afar, completely dispelling Lu Fu's thoughts. She sighed and made a wise choice. The Bloodvine army was still ravaging the territory, and as the new leader, she had to quell this disaster before she could gain the support of the people. If she used up all her cards here with Lin Yan, the elders of the Lu Yao clan would definitely take advantage of the situation and make it impossible for her to successfully ascend the throne. Emperor Yan, how about we make a deal? Lu Fu said. Hmm, go ahead. Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. Smart people always took what they needed, so he wouldn't lose out by listening to the terms of the deal. We form an alliance. You help me deal with the invasion of the Bloodvine clan, and in the future, the Lu Yao clan will fully support you with an unconditional army. Lu Fu looked at Lin Yan, unmoved. And you will also receive the position of an honorary elder of the Lu Yao clan, with the authority to mobilize resources within your jurisdiction at any time, and permanent access to the Lu Yao clan's teleportation array. Lin Yan grinned. All right, but there's one more condition. You have to fulfill the benefits your father promised me. Lu Fu's face stiffened. The Lu Yao clan only had 3,000-year-old Lu Wood hearts, all of which were treasures of the clan. Now he was asking for two of them to be given away. There's no room for negotiation on this. Lu Fu shook her head, her eyes turning cold. This is what your Willow Demon clan owes me. If you don't give it to me, I will immediately join the Bloodvine clan and destroy your Willow Demon clan. The 3,000-year Willow Wood hearts will all be mine. Lin Yan's eyes were filled with a murderous intent. You think you can exchange one willow wood heart for me killing your father and solving the vine disaster? You're dreaming. You're twisting the truth. And Ya angrily retorted. Nonsense. If it weren't for our boss, you would have died long ago. How dare you speak so arrogantly here? Duanda couldn't stand it anymore and had to argue with Anya. You. Anya's chest heaved with anger, and the place that had been kicked flat swelled up again. All right. What the flame emperor said makes sense. Lu Fu sighed. If the Flame Emperor really joined the Bloodvine clan, the chances of the Willow Demon clan surviving would be slim. Her dream of becoming a queen would be shattered. Just two hearts, just two. Flame Emperor, please set out and kill the enemy now. She said resolutely. No rush, I'll wait until all my injuries have fully healed. Lin Yin and Fatty sat cross-legged, chatting leisurely, not in a hurry at all. Squeak, squeak. Lu Fu gritted her teeth. This Flame Emperor was really cunning. He was just an adventurer, not someone like her who was born in the whirlpool of power. Why was he so sly? Princess, what do we do now? And yet asked anxiously. Lu Fu smiled faintly, no rush, let the Bloodvine clan and the Willow Demon clan fight each other. After both sides are severely weakened, we will take action. Otherwise, if we clean up the Bloodvine clan and the Willow Demon clan turns against us, we will have to go through a lot of trouble again. Damn, boss, are we going to take action now? Why have we been waiting for so long? Duanda couldn't hold it in any longer and wanted to kill. These experience pearls are enough for you to level up to the second rank. Level up first, Lin Yan threw the experience pearls to Duanda. Buzz. Duanda leveled up and activated the team voice chat. Boss, what's this about? Lin Yan smiled faintly, let the Bloodvine clan and the Willow Demon clan fight each other. We'll take action after both sides are severely weakened. Otherwise, if we clean up the Bloodvine clan and the Willow Demon clan turns against us, we will have to go through a lot of trouble again. Damn, boss, you're amazing. You shouldn't be playing games, you should be an emperor. Duan did admired him greatly. The boss's mind was spinning too fast. Lu Fu was anxious on the side. Every minute they delayed, more members of the Willow Demon clan would die. The Flame Emperor is clearly procrastinating. If he doesn't make a move soon, we will be defeated. And Ye was extremely anxious. Forget about him, let's go support the front line first. 
Lu Fu knew Lin Yan's thoughts, but at this moment, she couldn't stay calm either. After all, whether the Willow Demon Clan could win or not didn't have much impact on Lin Yan. Lin Yan glanced at Lu Fu, who was about to take action, and then stretched lazily, slowly getting up. Ah, I was seriously injured just now, and it's only now that I've recovered. It seems like I've wasted some time. Lu Fu was so angry she felt like vomiting blood. She had enjoyed watching Lin Yan anger the Willow Demon Clan just now, but now she felt disgusted by his behavior. All right, hurry up and follow us to the battlefield. Lu Fu didn't want to spend another second with Lin Yan and just wanted to get rid of this jinx as soon as possible. All right, Lin Yan grinned and beckoned to Fatty, then he and Lu Fu went to support the front line. The purple mist battlefield was filled with the sound of battle. Nearly a hundred thousand warriors from both clans were engaged in a fierce battle on the edge of the purple mist forest. The scene was grand, and the battlefield seemed endless. The battle was nearing its end, and the situation was extremely brutal. The purple mist had been stained red by blood, and the red and green blood mixed together to form rivers, with bodies densely covering the ground. The Willow Demon Clan's defense line had completely collapsed, and the warriors with severed limbs and arms lay on the ground, waiting to be slaughtered one by one. The sound of desperate screams and the bloodthirsty crows circling in the sky made the battlefield seem like the end of the world. Pull yourselves together. The princess is here with the heads of the Blood Vine Clan leader. And ye shouted loudly, boosting morale. Lu Fu raised the heads of the Blood Vine Clan leader and his son high in the air. The father and son of the Vine disaster have been completely annihilated. The Blood Vine tribe should no longer resist. Surrender immediately or face merciless death. The warriors of the Blood Vine tribe trembled at the sight. That's the chief's head. Both the chief and the deputy chief are dead. No. These warriors were filled with despair and grief, their fighting spirit completely gone. The situation on the battlefield instantly reversed. Don't believe her slander that shakes the morale of our troops. The Willow Demon tribe's front line has already collapsed. They are desperate. The marshal of the Blood Vine tribe shouted from a high point, beating the war drum to boost morale. Damn it. Lu Fu gritted her teeth. The enemy marshal's fighting ability was indeed formidable, otherwise the Willow Demon tribe wouldn't be in such a miserable state. At this stage of the battle, whoever loses morale first will lose. Lin Yan stepped forward, grinning. Once I take the marshal's head, this war will be over. What? Lu Fu widened her eyes. The flame emperor wanted to take the enemy marshal's head amidst tens of thousands of chaotic soldiers. Lin Yan said no more, his ninefold thunder flashed and he cut through the entire battlefield like thunder. Any enemy in his path was slaughtered. Who is that? The marshal of the blood vine tribe clearly noticed Lin Yan, he was just too powerful. No one in the midst of the vast army could match him. The one who will kill you. Lin Yan had already ghostly appeared on the platform, and with one slash, he aimed for the marshal. Protect the marshal. The blood vine tribe's vine armored soldiers all surrounded the marshal, fighting desperately to protect him. But they were all just third order elite warriors, and with a casual swing of Lin Yan's blade, they were all killed. The marshal's eyes filled with despair. This human strength was too terrifying. They couldn't stop him at all. Countless thoughts flashed through his mind, and in the instant before Lin Yan's long blade reached him, he resolutely knelt down. Please listen to me. You're about to die. What else do you have to say? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. The marshal was drenched in sweat, speaking urgently, You are a human, not a member of the Willow Demon tribe. We have no deep-seated hatred with your tribe, right? That's right but I have taken on a mission from the Willow Demon tribe, and you must withdraw your troops. Lin Yan said calmly, whether he killed the Blood Vine tribe or not was irrelevant to him, completing the mission and gaining benefits was enough. The Blood Vine tribe is willing to withdraw unconditionally, the marshal said firmly. He instantly analyzed the situation. Now that both the Blood Vine father and son were dead, and only the princess of the Willow Demon tribe came out to oversee the situation, it was likely that the Willow Demon tribe's chief was also dead. And this human and the blood vine tribe had no deep-seated hatred, they could easily stabilize the situation. At this moment, the battle between the two tribes temporarily came to a halt. Tens of thousands of people watched eagerly. The life or death of the marshal would determine the outcome of this battle. I can completely kill you and then kill all of you until the blood flows like a river before you withdraw. Lin Yan began to display his traditional skills. Tell me, why should I let you retreat safely? The marshal's eyes turned, and he grinned, I understand. My tribe is willing to offer our ancestral treasure, a thousand-year blood vine. That's enough to spare your life, but not enough for the blood vine tribe to withdraw safely. Lin Yan shook his head. Now that he held all the initiative, he naturally wanted as many benefits as possible. The marshal gritted his teeth, realizing that this human was indeed not easy to deal with. Fine, as long as you can ensure the blood vine tribe's safe withdrawal, 
we are willing to appoint you as an honorary elder, allowing you to freely use our resources and the Blood Vine Tribe's teleportation array. The marshal carefully observed Lin Yan's expression, and finally gritted his teeth, the Blood Vine Tribe can also assist you unconditionally once, without any reservations. Lin Yan's expression finally eased. This was basically the highest bargaining chip for negotiations with the Demon Tribe. Alright, in the end, both of you must sign a one-year ceasefire treaty, within which you are not allowed to attack each other. Lin Yan added. Both the Willow Demon and Blood Vine Tribes could assist him once, and he didn't want to waste these two trump cards before he had the chance to use them. Losing one trump card for no reason would be a pointless loss. I have no objections here, I just don't know if Princess Lu Yaozu will agree or not. Feng Shui Huoshue Danying glanced at Lu Fu. Lu Fu smiled without smiling. Now that the situation is strong, she can't afford to offend the Flame Emperor, so she can only nod, it's up to the Flame Emperor to decide. Good. Lin Yan laughed loudly. Then let's swear by the heavens and cease the war. Both sides shall cease fire. Feng Shui stood up, took a deep breath, and made a vow with Lu Fu. That's right. There is no grudge in this world that cannot be resolved. Your two clans must live in harmony and not invade each other. Lin Yan took the many treasures handed over by Feng Shui and grinned. Flame Emperor, farewell. Feng Shui bowed to Lin Yan, without saying much, and withdrew his troops directly. Although it seemed like he lost, he actually gained. With the deaths of Feng Zai and his son, as the highest esteemed figure of the Blood Vine Clan, he brought in such a strong human guest elder. The next Blood Vine Clan leader will undoubtedly be him, Feng Shui. The Blood Vine Clan retreated, leaving behind countless corpses and a mess. Lin Yan returned to the Lu Yaozu territory with Fatty and Lu Fu. Lu Yaozu's main hall. What? Your father is dead. The clan leader's funeral is truly a great tragedy. Put. Cough. Cough. Since Lu Gui has already died, the clan cannot be without a leader for a day. I think we should elect the next clan leader. Several elders quickly accepted, almost laughing out loud. Then I won't stand on ceremony. I have the highest position and seniority in the clan. Does anyone object to me becoming the clan leader? The eldest elder stood up and asked with a smile. Before my father died, he clearly said that he wanted to pass the position to me. Lu Fu frowned. What evidence do you have? Lu Gui's death was unclear. I suspect that you, this rebellious woman, killed your father and seized the position. The eldest elder made baseless accusations, but unexpectedly guessed the truth. I can testify. These two human guest elders can also testify. Anya stood up. Humph. These two are also enemies. You conspired with humans, murdered the old clan leader, and seized the position of clan leader. You all deserve to die. The eldest elder frowned and shouted. The other elders remained silent, smiling as they watched the struggle between the two. What the sixth elder said is right. That's right. The sixth elder is wise. The sixth elder understands righteousness. We all support the words of the sixth elder. In an instant, the many elders who had been silent all stood up and stood behind the sixth elder. Ha! Huh? The eldest elder was stunned. Didn't you all agree to support me? So it turns out you are all on the side of the sixth elder. These elders all smiled, standing behind the sixth elder, expressing their intentions through actions. Lin Yan observed everything calmly. A biting dog doesn't bark. The one with the greatest power and deepest hidden in the Lu Yaozu is this sixth elder. He really is the sixth elder of the clan. Duan De commented on the side. Lu Gui and his daughter, as well as the sixth elder, are all cunning individuals. In the task you agreed to before, I included a condition. You must ensure my safety before I take over. Lu Fu looked at Lin Yan repeatedly. Are you threatening me? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. I dare not. Lu Fu forcibly suppressed the anger in her chest. She knew Lin Yan's character well. With the current situation, she couldn't possibly become the clan leader without Lin Yan's help. She took a deep breath. A wise person doesn't speak in riddles. Name your price. You have quite a few enemies in the clan. To be honest, this matter is not easy to handle. Lin Yan grinned, not speaking directly. You shall have half of all the items captured on the battlefield this time. Lu Fu knew that Lin Yan was forcing her to cut her own flesh, and felt even more distressed. This condition is only enough for me to kill this old dog. Lin Yan pointed at the eldest elder. Who are you calling an old dog? The eldest elder was furious. After all, he was a silver master and couldn't be insulted so lightly. I'm calling you an old dog if I say you are. Who gave you the courage to argue with me? Lin Yan's eyes were icy, and a burst of killing intent erupted as he made his move in an instant. He had to make everyone realize that at this moment, he was the one who held the balance of power. Displaying a strong approach was the best method. Humph, ignorant fool. Let me teach you a lesson, young man, don't be too arrogant. 
The elder arrogantly made his move, exuding great confidence. However, before his words even fell, his body fell into a pool of blood, his corpse shattered and splattered, staining the entire hall red. The noisy hall of the Willow Demon Clan suddenly fell silent. Gurgle. Many elders were filled with fear, even the sixth elder who sat securely on the fence frowned. Although the elder's strength was not the strongest among the elders, he was at least a full-level silver master. Yet, he was killed so quickly. Young friend, as long as you support me as the clan leader and help me kill the traitor Lu Fu, I can promise you our clan's precious treasure, the Willowwood Heart. After considering for a moment, the sixth elder spoke in a deep voice. Lu Fu has already promised me two of them. If you want me to help you, in addition to her demands, you need to add one more. Lin Yan said calmly, absolutely impossible. The elders of the Willow Demon Clan were furious. Didn't that mean that all three of the clan's precious treasures would be given away? What was the difference between that and being wiped out as a clan? Emperor Yen. These six elders are ruthless and unscrupulous. It is absolutely impossible to agree to their promises. Please believe me, after this is done, I will give you half of the clan's hidden treasures. Lu Fu also became anxious and threw out her final bargaining chip. Lin Yen did not respond, but smiled and looked at the sixth elder. The sixth elder frowned and then sneered, Emperor Yen, I advise you to see the situation clearly. This is the territory of the Willow Demon Clan. Do you really think you can single-handedly oppose the entire clan? Why not? Lin Yen shrugged, don't tell me you think you're strong? With his current strength, if he was willing to pay the price, it was not impossible to wipe out the entire Willow Demon Clan. But the price would be great, so it was better to prioritize peace. You. The sixth elder's eyes darkened, fine, fine, fine. Since you won't listen to my advice, then I have no choice but to kill you, the outsider. He considered himself to have many trump cards, and with his power, he could even contend with Lu Gue. It would be too much of a loss to exchange half of the Willow Demon Clan's heritage for killing Lu Fu. In his calculations, killing both Lin Yan and Lu Fu should not require half of the Willow Demon Clan's heritage, it would be a profitable deal. Activate the formation. The sixth elder shouted loudly. Many elders immediately responded, and the Willow Demon Clan's grand formation lit up, emitting a terrifying energy fluctuation, as if it intended to exterminate gods. Lin Yan's eyes turned cold as he looked at Lu Fu. You must have prepared for this situation, right? A woman who could kill the patient King Lu Gui would not overlook this step. He didn't want to fight the Willow Demon Clan to the death. As a clan's territory, they must have many hidden means, and it would be too troublesome to fight. Sigh, nothing can escape Emperor Yan's eyes. Lu Fu sighed and waved her hand, directly taking control of the core of the Willow Demon Clan's formation. Then, she raised her eyebrows and shouted, Why aren't you attacking? Are you hesitating, wanting to betray me? As soon as her words fell, the sound of blades piercing flesh could be heard. The sixth elder widened his eyes, unable to believe it, and turned his head. Behind him, the third elder, whom he trusted the most, lowered his head and drew out a poison dagger, then kicked the paralyzed sixth elder away. You. You. The sixth elder had planned for many years, but he had never doubted the third elder. At this moment, his mind went blank. The third elder sighed, sorry, sixth elder, rest in peace. I was also forced. Hiss. Lin Yan rushed forward and directly killed the paralyzed sixth elder. The sixth elder's head rolled off, his eyes wide open, as if he couldn't believe that the third elder had betrayed him. Now, does anyone else have any objections? Lin Yan asked indifferently. This. The elders of the Willow Demon Clan were currently without a leader, so they all knelt down, we are willing to listen to Lord Yan's orders. Yes, they were not afraid of Lu Fu, but of Lin Yan. Lu Fu's expression was complicated. Although it seemed like she had won in this power struggle, she had actually won a Pyrrhic victory. Her power all came from Emperor Yan. It could be said that Emperor Yan would be the true clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan in the future. She was just a spokesperson. Once I inherit the position of clan leader, I can use resources to quickly increase my level. When I have enough strength, I can consider regaining my influence. Lu Fu suppressed her dissatisfaction and temporarily accepted reality. Hmm. Lin Yan nodded, very satisfied. This was almost the best result he could achieve in his visit to the Willow Demon Clan. Fatty was stunned by Lin Yan's actions. Originally, they were only here for a 10,000-year Willowwood heart, but in the end, the boss directly brought the Willow Demon Clan under his command. This was too surreal. Lu Fu, who had resigned herself, dared not have any crooked thoughts anymore. She obediently took out everything Lin Yan needed from the clan's inventory. The Willow Demon Clan's treasury now truly belonged to Lin Yan alone. Manage the Willow Demon Clan well. I hope that the next time I come, you will have become a hero-level powerhouse. After receiving all the items, Lin Yan entrusted Lu Fu. 
The stronger the Willow Demon Clan, the more beneficial it would be for him. This demon clan would be of great use in the future. Lu Fu will do her best. Lu Fu nodded and personally opened the teleportation channel for Lin Yen. The elders stood respectfully behind her, while the ordinary members of the Willow Demon Clan stood at the back, admiring and grateful. Lord Yen, take care. Benefactor, please come back to visit us often. These simple-minded clan members had no idea what a power struggle was. In their eyes, Lin Yen had turned the tide and saved the entire Willow Demon Clan. Otherwise, they would have been destroyed by the Ironhoof Clan long ago. Calling Lin Yen a great benefactor was not an exaggeration at all. Lu Fu snorted coldly, peasants will always be peasants, ignorant and foolish. Not only can they not see the truth, but they also worship an enemy who has grievances against our clan. Lin Yen glanced deeply at Lu Fu. He knew that Lu Fu was not content, but for now, he had to keep her to maintain the stability of the Willow Demon Clan. He didn't have the time or energy to truly manage a clan. Lu Fu, take care of yourself. He patted Lu Fu's shoulder and disappeared into the teleportation array with Fatty. Lu Fu was almost frightened by Lin Yan's gaze. After confirming that Lin Yan had completely disappeared, she took a deep breath and felt like she had come back to life. Rest assured, Emperor Yan, I won't let you down. A slight smile appeared on her lips, her eyes deep. Ming Village. The movement of the targeted teleportation had long alerted Qing Daozi. Yuan Tianren and the high-level members of Ming Village stood guard in front of the teleportation channel, as if facing a great enemy. Any force that could use a teleportation array must have had a golden hero in their ancestry at least. Tada! In the next moment, Lin Yan walked out of the teleportation channel with Fatty. Yuan Tianren was immediately stunned. They didn't use a broken teleportation scroll to leave, so why did they return through the teleportation array? However, now was not the time to be puzzled. Wang Taijin quickly approached, his face extremely nervous as he asked, Did you succeed on this trip? Fatty flipped his hand, and a 10,000-year Willow Wood Heart appeared in his hand. Once the Willow Wood Heart left the Willow Demon Clan's treasury, its life force would continuously diminish. It had to be preserved by Fatty's core skill. When they saw this item, Yuan Tianren and the others breathed a sigh of relief. I didn't expect you to really do it, young friend. Qing Daozi understood the difficulty the most inside. That was the Willow Demon Clan's ancestral treasure. How could it be easily handed over? The twists and turns in the process were probably only clear to Lin Yan himself. Old man Yuan, you almost got me killed this time. You have to give me an explanation. Lin Yan angrily confronted him, venting his anger. What does this mean? Yuan Tianwen looked confused, completely unaware of the situation. See for yourself. Lin Yan submitted the mission. When we set off, it was clearly a silver rank 5 mission, but it suddenly changed to a gold rank 5 mission halfway. Ah. Yuan Tianren's pupils contracted, filled with uncertainty. He was shocked because in order to prevent any mistakes in the mission upgrade midway, he had set the mission to the highest level, yet the result was still lower. He doubted because in a gold rank 5 mission, there should have been at least one gold hero or 10 silver heroes appearing during the completion process. How did Lin Yan complete this mission? Lin Yan smirked, taking advantage of Yuan Tianren's burnt-out brain CPU, and pressed on, in short, the benefits you promised me before are definitely not enough. I risked my life this time. At the very least, I should get two legendary weapons, right? This statement immediately startled Yuan Tianren, who shook his head repeatedly. Two legendary weapons, you really dare to ask for them. Old man Yuan, are you planning to go back on your word? Lin Yan frowned. Ahem, no. Two legendary equipment is difficult to promise, so please ask for something else, and I'll do my best to compensate you. Yuan Tianren coughed awkwardly. This kid was quite skilled in PUA, clearly knowing that he was pushing for more, but you couldn't find any fault with it. Then, just give me four skill upgrade books, whatever you have. Lin Yan opened his mouth confidently. Yuan Tianren held out two fingers and said, two books, no more. That's settled then. Yuan old man, you're really fair. Lin Yan grinned. In his expectations, getting one book would be good enough. After all, skill upgrade books were very difficult to obtain in the early stages. Ha! <laughs> Yuan Tianren knew he had negotiated poorly, but he wasn't angry. After all, without Lin Yan, they wouldn't be able to retrieve Lu Muxin. In their hearts, Wang Bauer's life was more valuable than any treasure. This is the legendary equipment I promised you. Yuan Tianren handed the equipment and upgrade book to Lin Yan. Yuan Senior, you're so generous. Lin Yan was extremely satisfied, and even changed how he addressed him. I also have some information about the remnants of the Book of Truth. We'll be able to confirm it completely tonight. We'll have a meeting at the village chief's house at 10 o'clock tonight, the blind monk said in a deep voice. Great. 
Wang the blacksmith nodded repeatedly, wishing he could hug the blind monk. Then I'll go practice first. Lin Yan stretched lazily and said, but in reality, he went straight to the blacksmith's shop to find the silly girl. Lin Yan, you're back. Xin Yue immediately rushed over and hugged him. After a while, she realized her face was as red as an apple. Missed me that much? Lin Yan teased. Ah, you've been gone for two days. How could I not miss you? Xin Yue scratched her cheek and clumsily changed the subject. Oh, by the way, I've learned a lot of forging techniques from Uncle Blacksmith these past two days. Here, this ring is for you. Lin Yan took the ring from Xin Yue and checked the details. Can this treasure provide 200,000 armor defense? Lin Yan was surprised. Wang the blacksmith had been studying forging techniques for decades and was still a hero level powerhouse, but the treasure he made for his daughter could only provide a million armor. Xin Yue, on the other hand, had created a treasure that could provide 200,000 armor in just two days. She was a forging genius. In the previous life, she hadn't developed this kind of god level potential. Wait. Lin Yan imagined Xin Yue swinging a big hammer to forge equipment. Hmm. On second thought, forget it. The image is too beautiful, I can't imagine it. What are you thinking? Xin Yue blinked her big eyes and asked curiously. Ahem, nothing. Lin Yan grinned. I also brought you a gift. Really? What is it? Xin Yue exclaimed. Lin Yan took out nine arrows from his backpack. The top treasure of the Willow Demon Clan, Willow Demon Arrows. Xin Yue took them and checked the information her eyes brightening. These nine arrows can each have an armor-piercing effect equal to their attack power. And the arrow speed can increase by 10. Most importantly, the nine arrows are connected, so after hitting the target, they can automatically return. Such powerful arrows. Lin Yan smiled. Willow Demon arrows were the top treasures of the Willow Demon clan, and he had brought all nine of them. Thank you, Lin Yan. Xin Yue couldn't contain her emotions and pecked Lin Yan's cheek. Suddenly, Lin Yan felt refreshed, as if all the hardships and intrigues in the Willow Demon Clan were nothing. He wanted to hug Xin Yue, but she had already shyly turned and run away. Lin Yan scratched his head, knowing that he couldn't rush things, so he turned to fuse his equipment. Boss, you looking for me? Fatty grinned, clearly benefiting a lot from the blind monk this time. Looks like you've gained a lot, Lin Yan joked. It's all thanks to you, boss. It's like the saying goes, he who walks with the wise grows wise. Oh no, it's he who walks with the righteous becomes righteous. Fatty scratched his head and laughed awkwardly. Since I've helped you so much, I have a small favor to ask. You won't refuse, right? Lin Yan grinned. Fatty felt a chill run down his spine. This trip to the Willow Demon Clan had given him a deeper understanding of Lin Yan's cunning. Boss, please don't laugh. Whenever I see you smile like that, I know it's not a good thing. Don't worry, it's a good thing. Lin Yan smiled faintly. You also know that releasing skills can improve skill proficiency. When the proficiency is high enough, the skill can be upgraded, right? Hmm. Fatty nodded cautiously. So today, you'll be my punching bag. I'll hit you a few times to help increase the proficiency of your defense skill. I've put a lot of effort into your growth. Lin Yan patted Fatty's shoulder with a serious tone. As expected, nothing good comes out of this. Fatty sighed, boss, you actually want to improve your own attack skill, right? Lin Yan coughed, realizing that his son had grown up and couldn't be easily fooled. My flame blade and triple wave blade experience points are almost full. This is mutual help and mutual benefit, right? Lin Yan squinted and smiled. Is that so? Fatty muttered, then why don't you hit your way and have mutual benefit with her? Nonsense, you're the only one who can withstand my attack. Who else can? Stop talking and let's start training. Lin Yan grinned and swung his blade directly at Fatty's head. Ouch. Boss, you're really ruthless. Fatty was beaten up, his face swollen and bruised, sighing in pain. But he couldn't fight back, so he could only bear it obediently. Buzz. Finally upgraded. Lin Yan's heart moved. The experience points of Flame Blade and Triple Wave Blade were already at the critical value, but each set of attacks dealt hundreds of thousands of damage. Besides Fatty, there were not many people who could withstand such an attack. Alright, let's end today's special training. Lin Yan grinned, I'm going to practice, you keep up the good work. 6. Fatty made a hand gesture to Lin Yan and then ran away dejectedly. Although he muttered that he would never participate in such things in the future, he was actually looking forward to it. After all, fighting against Lin Yan would greatly improve his combat skills. It could be called top-level teaching, at least much better than his own master, Blind Monk. Skill Upgrade Book, Use. Lin Yan used two skill upgrade books on Flame Blade and Triple Wave Blade. The higher the rank, the lower the success rate of upgrading, so he didn't plan to take the risk of using the upgrade book on the Ninefold Thunder Flash. 
Skills below 4 stars have a basic success rate of 100%. When upgrading from 3 stars to 4 stars, the success rate drops to 50%. Buzz. Skill upgrade successful. The prompt came. Lin Yin checked the details of the two skills. Triple wave blade, 3 stars swing 3 blades within 1 second. Each blade increases damage by 50%. After casting, attack speed doubles for 1 minute. Special, every 3 casts will have 1 critical strike. Mana cost, 80, cooldown, 1 minute. Flame blade, 3 stars swing a flame blade aura with an attack range of 10 meters, dealing flame damage equal to the attack value. After causing effective damage, it can inflict 10,000 points of burning damage per second on the target. Mana cost, 90, cooldown, 1 minute. The improvements are significant. When fighting against hero level enemies, in terms of skill quality, I won't be inferior. Lin Yen rubbed his chin, but compared to the number of skills, it was a bit lacking. Looks like I have to extort Yuan Lao and the others for a bit. Although the Willow Demon Clan also had skill books, either they were exclusive to the Demon Clan or their star level was not high, so they didn't provide much help to him. Next, it's equipment fusion. Lin Yan looked forward to it. This time, he gained a lot of equipment from the Willow Demon Clan. Just the spoils of war on the battlefield were enough for him to fuse for a while. This legendary equipment? Lin Yan carefully examined the equipment given to him by Yuan Tianrun. It turned out to be the upper body armor of the Swordmaster. So, I almost have all of the Swordmaster's equipment. Lin Yan's heart stirred. You see, the Swordmaster's sword has a special characteristic. The more pieces of the Swordmaster set are gathered, the higher the absorption ratio of the armor. Fusion. The equipment continuously fused in his hands until the moon rose above the willow branches. It's time for the meeting. Lin Yan glanced at his attribute page, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 HP, 400, Armor, 10 million Attack, 150,025, Armor Penetration, 1000, Physical Resistance, 1330, Magic Resistance, 1325, Movement Speed, 8, Attack Speed, 2, 7, Mana, 400, HP Recovery Rate, 0, 5%, Life Steal, 0, 5%, Critical Strike, 11%, Armor Absorption, 1000 Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 5,700,000, Physical Defense plus 500, Magic Defense plus 500, Counter Damage plus 5,000, Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 3,500,000, Physical Defense plus 500, Magic Defense plus 500, Counter Damage plus 5,000, Swordmaster Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 1 million, Physical Defense plus 118, Magic Defense plus 118. Snow Walking Boots, Legendary. Armor plus 666,666. Physical Defense plus 200. Magic Defense plus 200. Movement Speed plus 5. Magic Blade 1000 Blades. White. Attack plus 150,000. Critical Strike plus 10%. Attack Speed plus 0. 5. Ultimate Artifact. Unique. Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 4th Tier, Skills, 3 Waves of Blades, 3 Stars, Flame Blade, 3 Stars, 9 Fold Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Advanced Detection Technique, 3 Stars, Abilities, None Treasures, Life and Death Seal, Water Avoiding Cape, Stealth Cloak, Awakening Fan. Armor over 10 million. Both physical and magic defense are over a thousand. Lin Yan counted his gains and grinned. Finally, the critical strike rate is over 10, and the armor absorption has reached a thousand. With the 3% armor absorption provided by the integrated attribute, every strike I make can restore 5,500 points of armor. And, the Swordmaster's armor I fused this time also provides a special and insane attribute. Lin Yan clicked on the Swordmaster's self-healing attribute, Swordmaster's self-healing, recovers 1% of armor value per second, with this attribute, my armor recovery per second has reached 100 plus. Lin Yan's heart surged. Even if he faced powerful heroes, he would not be inferior. Recovering over a hundred thousand armor per second, even if you are a hero level character, your attack power would be at a similar level. If I go to the Willow Demon Clan this time with this setup and panel, I won't need to waste so much effort killing Willow Gue. Lin Yan clenched his fist, feeling the immense power that made him incredibly confident. With his combat experience and this panel attribute, he would definitely be the number one figure in the Dragon Summer Empire. Maintaining this speed, how powerful will I become in three years? Lin Yan fantasized. After collecting his thoughts, he went to the village chief's residence. Yuan Tianrun, Qing Daozi, and others were waiting there. Oh, you two are here too. Lin Yan looked at the fat guy Duanda and his younger brother Lin Feng with surprise. 
The fat guy came back at max level and was given a third tier golden template by the blind monk. He has now reached level 31 and advanced to an elite professional. I am now the master's direct disciple, so of course, I have the qualifications to participate. The fat guy respectfully said to the blind monk, without a trace of his pitiful appearance when he mocked the blind monk. Hmm. Lin Feng was about to say something, but Lin Yan waved his hand, you don't need to speak. He was well aware of Lin Feng's position in Qing Daozi's heart. When they first met, Lin Feng's talent almost scared Qing Daozi to death. After accepting him as a disciple, Qing Daozi treated Lin Feng as his most precious treasure, pouring all kinds of benefits and resources onto him. Even though Lin Feng hadn't gone out to fight monsters, he had already reached level 35 as an elite professional. This is the treatment that only geniuses receive. Lin Yan sighed. Let's not waste time and get straight to the point. Qing Daozi's face turned serious as he spoke. I have found the exact information about the Book of Truth asterisk fragment. In three days, it will be publicly auctioned at the Black Iron City Trading Fair. Black Iron City? Lin Yan frowned. The Black Iron City is located at the border of two major empires. It is a neutral and free city, a lawless zone, extremely chaotic. Many forces are mixed in it, emphasizing free trade. Only in a place like this can the remnants of the Book of Truth possibly be found. Qing Daozi nodded. Similar treasures, if discovered in the two major empires, would have long been monopolized by the imperial family and nobles, with no chance of falling into the hands of others. Although the Black Iron City is chaotic, this may be our last chance, Yuan Tianran also nodded. Now we are bound by Bauer in the altar, unable to leave. We have to trouble young Emperor Yen to make a trip. Lin Yen reached out without saying a word. Yuan Tianran's mouth twitched. Why are you so skilled, kid? Stop talking nonsense, give me the money quickly. Saving Wang Bauer is not just my business, Lin Yan said confidently. I'll do it, I'll do it. Wang the blacksmith was eager to save his daughter and handed his gold card directly to Lin Yan. There are one million gold coins in this gold card, spend it as you please. As long as you can save my daughter, I'm willing to spend it all. Lin Yan was speechless, Wang the blacksmith was indeed rich. He truly lived up to his profession as a blacksmith, casually handing out a million gold coins, although it might be his entire savings. Indeed, these old foxes were all hidden millionaires, they had to be squeezed hard. I also have 500,000 gold coins here. As the administrator of the trading market, the blind monk, although poor before, had collected a lot of player protection fees during this time. One gold coin per player, 9,000 gold coins for 10,000 players. I have not saved much money due to my obsession with martial arts. This money is all my savings, spend it all. Wu Baihua took out a 30,000 limit gold card generously. Black Iron City is different from other places. There, being able to buy items through auctions is just the beginning. The real skill is being able to successfully leave the Black Iron City, Qing Daozi shook his head. There are restrictions on teleportation in the Black Iron City. If you want to get something and run away, it's as difficult as reaching the sky. Everyone fell silent. Indeed, money was the easiest trouble to solve in the Black Iron City, but the hardest part was whether or not they could survive and bring the treasure out of the Black Iron City. Then what should we do? We can just abandon the altar. I'll carry Bauer on my back and go with Emperor Yen. Let's see who in the Black Iron City can stop me, Wang Hao. One the blacksmith's killing intent surged, his dominance leaking out. As a member of the strongest hero group in the Dragon Sia Empire, he had the qualifications to say such words. Although I am old, a mere Black Iron City does not have the ability to snatch things from my hands. Wang the blacksmith disregarded everything for the sake of his daughter. Shut up. Yuan Tianrun frowned. Have you forgotten what the biggest obstacle is for us to leave the village? Wang the blacksmith was immediately speechless, his eyes filled with endless killing intent as he looked towards the east. Even though they had returned to the village to save the imprisoned princess and retired, the Dragon Xia Empire's royal family still feared them greatly and strictly forbade them from leaving the village. Therefore, the greatest obstacle for the Dawn heroes was not the Truth Sect, but the Dragon Xia Empire's royal family. Once we few old folks dare to leave the village, what awaits us is a bloodbath. In that case, the compromises and sacrifices we made back then would all be in vain. The blind monk's voice trembled. Although he was persuading Wang the blacksmith, he couldn't help but feel a burning rage in his heart. Damn it! Wang the blacksmith roared, his eyes bloodshot. What about my daughter then? I finally found her. My daughter absolutely cannot die. If she dies, no matter what price I have to pay, I will stain the dragon Xia royal family with blood. Wang Hao, calm down. Yuan Tianren shouted. They may be strong, but they were still powerless against a powerful empire's royal family. If they had any chance of winning, they wouldn't have chosen to retreat and compromise back then. 
Just as the atmosphere became heavy and oppressive, I have come up with a plan, but I don't know if Emperor Yan agrees. Xing Daozi looked at Lin Yan with a deep voice. Please speak, Lin Yan said politely. These brothers are currently immersed in the sadness and anger of the past, so it's better to go along with the flow. In the next three days, I will pass on my core skills to Lin Feng. Once you obtain the remaining pages of the Book of Truth, Lin Feng can start using advanced spatial forbidden spells. Xing Daozi stroked his beard. I will meet you at the teleportation array in Ming Village, and we should be able to break through the spatial restrictions of Black Iron City. However, there is one requirement. You must withstand at least 10 minutes of siege. No problem, Lin Yan nodded. He thought it was no big deal. Although your task is only to withstand for 10 minutes, the danger you may face is even more perilous than last time. Xing Daozi spoke honestly. Black Iron City is not like the Willow Demon Clan. It is a mix of all sorts of people, and you have no idea what kind of ruthless characters are lurking there. Even if a few heroic experts who want to kill and seize treasures appear at the auction venue, it wouldn't be surprising. Lin Yan grinned. Don't worry, as long as you are reliable, there won't be any problems. After this wave of strengthening, he wouldn't even frown when facing a golden hero like Lu Gue. Golden heroes are well known in both empires. In a small auction in Black Iron City, it wouldn't suddenly produce several of them, right? Take me with you. With my armor, we can hold on for a bit longer, the chubby guy volunteered. Sure, Lin Yan nodded. Master, it won't take three days. I have seen your core skills, and if you use them three more times, I should be able to understand them, Lin Feng said directly. Bauer's condition is getting worse, we can't delay any longer. Let's leave tonight. Xing Daozi was stunned by his words and smiled, shaking his head. My disciple, I know you're a genius, but I dare say that my core skills are the strongest among all the heroic mages in the Longsha Empire. Its power is no less than a forbidden spell. Master, please go ahead and use it, Lin Feng's gaze was firm. Xing Daozi shook his head. His disciple was still too young. He had no idea how high and deep the mountain was. All right, let me show you a little something. Xing Daozi nodded. It was normal for young people to be a bit arrogant, but they also needed to guard against arrogance and impatience. He waved his big hand, and the space around his body instantly collapsed and then expanded. Finally, it turned into a spatial bubble. My core skill, dreamy bubble. With the body of a hero, I can dabble in spatial magic and stand alone in the world. Xing Daozi's face was filled with immense pride. Spatial magic was not something that a heroic mage could easily touch. But he had an extraordinary talent and managed to figure it out. When he first used it, it shocked the entire mage world. He continued to use it, and before 10 minutes had passed, Lin Feng nodded, waved his big hand, and under the fluctuation of mana, a small spatial bubble emerged around him. Inside the village chief's house, there was suddenly silence. Ha! Xing Daozi's heart was unstable, and the spatial bubble almost went out of control. Fortunately, Lin Yan acted quickly and slapped Xing Daozi on the back of his head with the awakening fan, waking him up and retracting the spatial bubble. Oh my goodness! Xing Daozi circled around Lin Feng, unable to believe it. When he used the spatial forbidden spell with the body of a hero, he was hailed as a rare genius in the mage world. But his disciple, a level 35 elite professional, just glanced at his core skill and directly used it. What would that make him? A genius that appears once in a thousand years, no, once in ten thousand years. I originally thought that even with your talent, it would take you three days to learn my core skill, but I never expected. I never expected. Xing Daozi muttered in a daze. Everyone in the room, except for the chubby guy who had no idea what this meant, and Lin Yan, who was not surprised at all, was confused. Xing Daozi, I know you have taken in a genius, but this is going too far. This talent is unreasonable. I think within three years, he will be able to achieve the position of a mage king. Yuan Tianren, Wang Hao, Blind Monk, Wu Baihua, and a few others were sizing up the two brothers, Lin Yan and Lin Feng, as if they were looking at monsters. These two brothers, one killed a golden hero at level 9, and the other comprehended spatial forbidden spells at the third rank. They are both extraordinary. It's simply unbelievable. Good, good, good. Xing Daozi went from being unable to accept it to becoming ecstatic. Lin Feng's talent was even more incredible than what he had imagined. Even if he boasted before, he wouldn't dare to boast this big, but Lin Feng actually achieved it. Ha ha ha. In the future, I will have a disciple who will become a king of magic, or even a saint of magic. I am destined to leave my name in history. Xing Daozi laughed to the sky. He had no wife or children in his life, and everything he did was for pure magic, to climb to the highest peak of magic. Unfortunately, that battle broke his foundation, preventing him from further forging the bones of a king. However, in his old age, he received such a talented disciple. In Lin Feng,
He saw the hope of realizing his lifelong wish, and tears almost flowed from his laughter. All right, we're all old folks, and we're still injured. We can't be too happy or too sad. Take care of yourself and don't laugh yourself to death. Yuan Tianran also felt happy for his old friend, but he was also afraid that he would die from laughter, so he quickly comforted him. Since everything is ready, we can set off tonight, he quickly changed the topic. Lin Yan shook his head, old man Yuan, did you forget something? Now that there was a solution, the atmosphere improved, and he started to tease him again. Ah, Yuan Tianren slapped his head, oh, you see, I was so happy that I forgot for a moment. He fumbled around in his pocket and took out a gold card, ahem, this is. 20,000 gold coins. Lin Yan looked at him disdainfully, old man Yuan, are you playing with me? As the village chief, you're so stingy? Yuan Tianren's face turned black, do you think it doesn't cost money to maintain such a big village? Do you think we can feed so many people for free? For these years, we haven't been allowed to leave the village, we've been relying on our savings, having these 20,000 gold coins is already good enough. Lin Yan was speechless. Yuan Tianren, who should have been the richest, turned out to be the poorest in the Dawn Heroes. He was truly an exemplary and honest village chief. Alright, the mission funds have been given out. What about the mission rewards? Lin Yan asked. Although the money seemed like a lot, in reality, it would be used up in an auction. After all, the Book of Truth was not cheap. And even if it wasn't used up, these cards had to be returned. At most he could use the money inside to buy some treasures he liked. Sai, forget it, forget it, Yuan Tianren gave the mission information without saying anything, mission, retrieve the fragment of the Book of Truth rating, silver rank 5th order requirement, bring back the fragment of the Book of Truth within 3 days and hand it over to Mage Qing Daozi. Reward, legendary equipment, lower body armor of the swordmaster. Lin Yan grinned, I knew you still had legendary equipment, just be more straightforward next time. After saying that, he didn't hesitate anymore. He took Lin Feng and Duwanda and walked towards the outskirts of the Dark Iron City. The Dark Iron City does not provide any spatial services, the internal space is sealed, and there are no teleportation arrays. If you want to go there, you can only walk. With this reason, Lin Yan extorted hundreds of teleportation symbols from Qing Daozi. Brother, isn't it a bit extravagant to use teleportation symbols to travel? Lin Feng scratched his head. I just found an excuse to get these teleportation symbols. I didn't say I would use them. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. Boss, you're so cunning. Duan De gave him a thumbs up. If you're itching for a fight, do you want to spar with me again? Lin Yan glanced at him. Ahem. Boss, you are wise and brave, quick-witted. You are simply our moral role model. Duan De immediately became serious. All right, let's get on the road. It will take at least two days to get from here to the Dark Iron City, Lin Yan smiled. The Dark Iron City is not far from the border between the Longxia and Roland empires. This border area is constantly being tested by both empires, and there is constant conflict and chaos, with no one inhabiting it. Along the way, there were many bandits and robbers. But those who can become bandits are not powerful. How many masters can a mountain stronghold have? Even if they are notorious bandits, their strength is not enough to be seen in front of Lin Yan and his group. Although their levels don't seem high, they are all abnormal. They easily killed all the thieves and bandits they encountered along the way, accumulating a lot of experience points. The public security is too chaotic. Just by traveling, Fatty has reached level 43, Duan decide. Yes, the border of the empire has always been a place of poverty and war, Lin Feng also reached level 45. Lin Yan smiled faintly, it's not that much, mainly because whenever we encountered roadblocks, we directly wiped out their lairs, so we leveled up quickly. I estimate that we have already wiped out most of the strongholds and bandit dens along the way. We can also be considered as eliminating harm for the people, Lin Feng nodded. In the past two days, killing bandits made him feel like a hero. Dada. The three entered the city of Black Iron and headed straight to the most luxurious inn. The best private rooms, three of them. Swipe the card. Lin Yan waved his hand generously, after all, it wasn't his money. Seeing a big customer coming, the waiters were very attentive, serving them diligently. Wait. A lazy voice came. Lin Yan's heart sank. Is there going to be some vulgar competition for the VIP rooms? He turned around and saw a handsome young man with a folding fan in his hand. Do you need something? Lin Yan frowned and asked. Seeing how generous you are, I believe you must have an extraordinary background. I came here specifically to make friends, the handsome young man arched his hand and smiled. Not interested, Lin Yan shook his head. Black Iron City is a mix of good and bad, it's always better to be cautious. Coming to Black Iron City at this time, you must be here for the auction, the handsome young man said confidently. I have exclusive information about the auction that I believe you would be interested in. Hmm. Lin Yan paused and looked at the handsome young man. 
Name your price. You are indeed generous. The handsome young man waved his folding fan and extended a finger, 10,000 gold coins. That's a high price, Lin Yan furrowed his brows, if it's not worth that much, you'll bear the consequences. Of course, the handsome young man nodded, here is the list of items for the auction, as well as the forces interested in these items. He approached and lowered his voice, but judging by your aura, you must be here for the highlight of the auction, the remnants of the Book of Truth, right? Lin Yan coldly glanced at him without responding. The handsome young man nodded, that's right. The remnants of the Book of Truth are related to the legendary Divine Template. Once you gather three pieces, you can obtain a guide and acquire a Divine Template. Even the royal families of the two empires are drooling over it. The fact that such a treasure can appear in an auction is all thanks to the uniqueness of Black Iron City, heh. Just with this information, it's not worth 10,000 gold coins, Lin Yan naturally knew about the remnants of the Book of Truth. It was related to the Divine Template, and even without the matter of Wang Bauer, he would have come to Black Iron City. Of course, what if I tell you who the strong contenders for the Book of Truth are, as well as their weaknesses? The handsome young man grinned. Hmm. Lin Yan raised an eyebrow, deal. The handsome young man nodded, grinning, there aren't many forces qualified to compete for the Book of Truth. If they don't even have a golden hero as their backer, they won't dare to make a move. You don't have to worry about those small fry, you only need to pay attention to these three people, Long Wen Jin from the Dragon Summer Empire, Stana from the Roland Empire, and the High Protector of the Truth Sect. Hmm. Lin Yan's pupils contracted, all three of them are here in Black Iron City. Long Wen Jian is the leader of the Golden Guards of the Dragon Summer Empire and is also known as the strongest of the new generation in the empire. He has already reached the level of a golden hero. Stana is the third princess of the Roland Empire. On the day she was born, she gained the attention of the Sea God. Now, she is already a golden hero and, along with Dragon Sword, is renowned in both empires. As for the great protector of the true faith, he is an old powerhouse. He used to travel between the two empires in his early years and was extremely mysterious. He has been a silver hero for over 10 years now, and his level is at least 80. This is their specific information. The handsome young man took out a confidential letter. Money in one hand, goods in the other? Lin Yan nodded. He had only heard stories about these three people in his previous life and had never fought against them, so he didn't know their weaknesses. Especially the great protector of the true faith, if he really is above level 80 he would be completely beyond the range of advanced detection spells. Having advanced knowledge of information is very important. Well, let's go to the auction then. After selling the information, the handsome young man didn't waste any time and waved goodbye. After studying the information for a while, Lin Yan went to sleep. The next day, Lin Yan, along with Lin Feng and Duanda, entered the auction venue. This was the largest auction in Black Iron City, personally controlled by the Black Iron City Lord's family. To maintain such a large free and neutral city in the border area between the two empires, one can imagine the origins and status of the Black Iron family. In Black Iron City, only the industries under the Black Iron family's control are protected, and no conflicts are allowed. Even if there is a fight on the streets outside the Black Iron family's industries, no one will intervene. It is like an emperor of the border. I can't believe that the two empires would allow such a city to exist, it's ridiculous. Duan De exclaimed. Lin Yan smiled faintly. He knew the reason, there were no conspiracies or complex causes. It was simply because the Black Iron family had a transcendent king-level powerhouse. The king level was a watershed. It was extremely difficult to advance to that level, and there was basically no possibility of challenging higher levels below the king level. Even the Dawn Seven Heroes, the strongest hero group in history, who defeated the zombie King Ichi, were hailed as legends. Having a king-level powerhouse was equivalent to a force possessing a nuclear weapon, and no one would provoke such a force. It's really luxurious. In this desolate land, in a towering city that suddenly appeared, there was a magnificent auction tower. It felt like a dream. Lin Yan took out his gold card with a million in savings, verified it, and sat directly in the VIP seat. On the VIP seat, Dragon Sword, Stana, and the Great Protector sat next to each other, their faces calm but their muscles tense, silently competing against each other. Lin Yan's arrival broke this silent confrontation. All three of them looked over, clearly surprised. Being able to sit in the VIP seat represented having at least a million gold coins. Daring to bring a million gold coins to Black Iron City, interesting. I've never seen him before. Did he also come for the remnants of the Book of Truth? The three of them observed Lin Yan, each with their own thoughts. Lin Yan ignored them and calmly sat in the main seat. Buzz. The three of them tentatively released their auras. Lin Yan frowned, his eyes turned cold and his aura turned into a gust of wind, extinguishing the auras of the three people. Indeed, not simple. 
The three of them dared not underestimate Lin Yen anymore, nor did they continue to test him. Duanda and Lin Feng sat in the back row of the VIP seats, enjoying the benefits of being VIPs. The auction quickly began, and Ling Yen closed his eyes to rest. The small fish and shrimp in front were not interesting to him. He wanted to make sure he could buy the remnants of the Book of Truth. As for other treasures, he would see if there was a chance to snatch some after leaving. One item after another was auctioned off. They were all rare treasures from outside, which showed the value of this auction in Black Iron City. Next item, remnants of the Book of Truth. The beautiful auctioneer on stage twisted her mature waist and raised her voice a few notches. It's here. Lin Yen opened his eyes, his expression becoming serious. Dragon Sword and the other three also straightened up, no longer lazy. The famous name of the Book of Truth's remaining pages needs no introduction. This is a gift left by the three gods in the world. The beautiful auctioneer, Zhu Chun, seductively opened her lips and enticed, by collecting the three pages, you can obtain a clue to the divine template. I'm sure everyone here can't wait. The auction begins now, starting price, 1 million gold coins. Wow! Even though they had heard of the famous name of the Book of Truth's remaining pages, the auction hall erupted in astonishment. They never expected the starting price to reach such a terrifying level. Gurgle. Many people's eyes turned bloodshot. If they could obtain such a top treasure, they would live a life of wealth and prosperity without a doubt. In the Black Iron City, committing crimes was not illegal. 1,500,000 gold coins. Long Linda lightly made a bid. The red-eyed patients with soaring desires in the audience immediately wilted after seeing Long Wenda's figure. Even this person has come. It seems that I have no chance with this treasure. Who would be foolish enough to compete with a golden hero for a treasure? You see, in the Black Iron City, it's not illegal for you to commit a crime, but it's also not illegal for someone to kill you. 1,800,000. Stana raised her sign beside him. 2 million. The chief guardian of the Truth Church followed closely. As the bidding continued, the discussions in the hall grew louder. Obviously, they were all shocked by this monetary offensive. Lin Yan also frowned. Two million was equivalent to the purchasing power of 200 million in reality. These people really didn't hesitate to spend money. They were willing to spend a fortune for the possibility of obtaining a divine template. It can be imagined that they didn't feel the slightest bit of heartache when spending money, and they probably didn't hesitate to exploit the people. Soon, the price was called out to 2,800,000. The tension between the three individuals grew stronger. Lin Yan rubbed his chin. The seven heroes of dawn could all think of ways to escape, and these three individuals had strong backgrounds. Once they obtained the remaining pages, they would probably be able to escape immediately. It seems that I can't save money. He raised his sign and joined the competition directly. On the way, Lin Feng gave Lin Yan a gold card from Cheng Daozi, which contained a huge amount of money. Lin Yan didn't feel the slightest bit of heartache when spending it. Although Cheng Daozi's family looked poor, he was actually a hidden billionaire. He used to be the chief mage of the Dragon Summer Empire, and he could sell a high-level magic scroll for several hundred thousand gold coins. It can be said that the combined amount of gold coins in the pockets of the other six heroes of dawn was far less than his alone. Sir, what is your bid? The graceful female auctioneer asked. I don't want to beat around the bush. Let's settle it with one blow. 5 million gold coins, Lin Yan said confidently. The whole audience was in an uproar. Who is this kid? He's so arrogant. He just opened his mouth and it's 5 million gold coins, my goodness. He dares to challenge the face of the two empires, amazing. Many people looked at Lin Yan, their eyes rolling. Long when Jian and Stana represented the two empires, and no one dared to provoke them. The chief guardian had been famous for many years and had strong power. But this kid was young and unknown. Even if he killed someone and took the treasure, there was no reason for the forces behind him to seek revenge. Humph. Stana's face immediately darkened. She felt that something was different as soon as this unfamiliar young man appeared, but she never expected Lin Yan to be so wealthy. Are you trying to snatch the treasure from my Roland Empire? She questioned. Lin Yan smiled faintly, so what if I am? The capable should possess the treasure. If you don't have money, then get out of here and stop pretending in front of me. Wow, this young man is really bold. I like someone who's this bold. He dares to confront Stana, he must really value his life. The whispers in the hall continued. May I ask which family you belong to, young man? Judging by your appearance, you should be from my Dragon Summer Empire, right? Long Wenjian, with his sword-like eyebrows and starry eyes, smiled confidently. The remaining pages of the Book of Truth are needed by the royal family of the Dragon Summer Empire. Our Dragon Summer Empire has always emphasized loyalty to the emperor and the country, and patriotism. What the royal family needs is what the country needs. 
As a member of our Dragon Summer Empire, you should consider the country more and solve problems for the country. Lin Yan coldly glanced at Long Wen Jin and sneered, Get lost. Everyone was stunned. This kid is neither from the Dragon Summer Empire nor the Roland Empire. Admirable courage. The great protector law stood by and watched the show. Although the true faith church is wealthy, it cannot compare to the two empires. It would cost two or three million gold coins just for a fragment of the Book of Truth. Now, all they can do is watch the show and wait for an opportunity to snatch the treasure. Long Wenjian's face immediately turned cold, under the heavens, there is no land that is not the king's. Do you know the consequences of speaking to me like this? Lin Yan smiled faintly, oh, then let me ask, is the Black Iron City your land? Is the land of the Roland Empire your land? Long Wenjian was speechless, shut up if you don't have money, and if you dare to accuse me, I'll cut you down. Lin Yan said coldly, auctions rely on momentum. You have to make people believe that your wealth and confidence are unmatched, so that they lose the desire to compete. All right, you're good. Long Wenjian sneered, apart from the royal families of the two empires, no one else can freely teleport in the Black Iron City. If you dare to snatch the treasure from me, I want to see if you can walk out of the Black Iron City alive. He was so angry that he stood up directly, waved his sleeves, and turned to leave. Hey, broke loser who can't shut up without money, if you can't argue, just run away, Duanda laughed. You? Long Wen Jian really wanted to go on a killing spree right now, but the Black Iron family is the emperor in the Black Iron City, and he couldn't afford the consequences of breaking their rules. What about me? I love telling the truth. The fat man infuriated people to death and continued to provoke. Humph. Long Wen Jian's killing intent boiled, as long as you dare to take a step out of the auction, I will immediately take your heads for treason. Lin Yan looked at Long Wen Jian's angry figure and sneered. Is this the unparalleled strength of the empire? You're broke and running away. Do you still want to sit here? Lin Yan jokingly asked Stana. Oomph, wait to be executed. Stana gritted her teeth and glared at Lin Yan. Young man, you have a lot of courage. The great protector law gave Lin Yan a thumbs up. Unfortunately, you will die in my hands soon. What a pity, what a pity. He smirked and followed Stana out of the auction. The three powerhouses left one after another, and there was no suspense left. No one in the audience would spend millions of gold coins for a fragment. Lin Yan naturally obtained the fragment of the Book of Truth. After the auction, Lin Yan wandered around the auction tower with the fat man and Lin Feng. After the auction, there was a trading session. Many people would bring their treasures in trade during this grand auction. This critical strike fruit is good, I'll take it. The potion that permanently increases physical defense? Give it to me. Lin Yan went on a crazy shopping spree. After returning to the dark village, he had to return the gold card to Yuan Lao Tu and the others. Taking advantage of this opportunity, he naturally had to spend lavishly, considering it as a business trip expense. You bought a lot of things. Lin Yan spent crazily and felt very happy. But his generosity shocked many people, and many approached him to make friends. They believed he was a young master of a hidden clan or a protagonist with incredible luck. Ah, uh, sure, sure. Lin Yan naturally accepted everyone who came, but if they wanted to be friends with him, they had to show some sincerity. In this way, relying on extortion, Lin Yan's own gold card gained nearly a hundred thousand gold coins. Spending other people's money and earning his own interest, how satisfying was that? That's enough. Lin Yan was satisfied and, after almost emptying a few gold cards, he left the auction with the fat man and his younger brother. As soon as they stepped out of the auction, a terrifying killing intent pressed down on them like Mount Tai. Lin Yan remained calm and threw out a bunch of defense scrolls he had just bought with a huge sum of money, forming countless protective shields in front of the three of them. Lin Feng's hands were not slow either. He immediately used spatial prohibition magic to wrap the three of them inside. Boom boom boom. The attacks from the three were extremely sharp and terrifying, continuously shattering the defense barrier. With ten minutes, at most, I can only kill one person. Who should I kill? Lin Yan's gaze kept shifting between the three. According to the intelligence, the chief protector of the True Truth sect was the weakest and most likely to become an enemy in the upcoming battle in the Dark Village. Logically speaking, he should be the one to kill. But, who let you possess a valuable treasure? Lin Yan licked his lips and looked at Long Wenjian. Among these three, the one with the highest cost effectiveness for himself was actually Long Wenjian. As long as I unleash the Dragon Pattern Sword, my attack power can increase by another level. Lin Yan's gaze was determined as he fiercely attacked Long Wenjian. Chi Chi Chi. His sword was like a raging wind, landing on the dragon pattern sword. Instantly, it dealt hundreds of thousands of damage. Long Wenjin's eyes narrowed, and the dragon pattern sword in his hand emitted a light. Not bad, kid. Struggling before death? 
Useless. The chaotic battle between several heroic level forces caused the street to shatter, attracting countless onlookers. Impressive. Before we even had a chance to make a move, these big shots couldn't resist. It seems like it has nothing to do with us. The people with ulterior motives hidden in the dark were somewhat disappointed. In their eyes, facing the siege of three top-tier powerhouses, Lin Yan was undoubtedly doomed. Die. Lin Yan used all his means to maximize his output. With the combination of various potions and skills, he dealt millions of damage in an instant. Using skills after upgrading them feels great. A flame blade light shot up into the sky, sending Long Wen Jin and the others flying. So strong. Long Wen Jin's eyes revealed astonishment. He was the one directly facing Lin Yan's fierce attacks, so he had the deepest sense of Lin Yan's terrifying power. His strength was definitely at the level of a golden hero. You want to kill me alone? Trying to forcefully exchange one for one? Useless. Long Wen Jin sneered. Lin Yan glanced at Long Wen Jin's health, Long Xia, the royal guard commander, Long Wen Jin race, human, yellow, class, dragon roar swordsman level, 70 HP, 13 million, armor, 9 million attack, 307,000, physical resistance, 600, magic resistance, 600 equipment, dragon pattern sword, royal guard captain's armor, skills, cross sword slash, dragon roar sword chi, frenzied sword technique, core skill, treasure, there's too little visible data. Fortunately, I bought the intelligence in advance. Lin Yan remained calm in his heart. In that last wave, he had cut off over 2 million armor from the opponent. Humph. Long Wen Jin coldly laughed. Daring to show off your insignificant skills in front of me? Watch as I cut you down, you traitorous rebel. He waved his hand, and a terrifying sword aura surged from his sword. Buzz. The sword aura surged like a tide, plowing deep scars into the ground of the street. Boom. Ninefold thunder flash. Lin Yan instantly disappeared from his original position and appeared in front of Long Wen Jin. Triple wave slash. The two engaged in battle, and Stana and the chief protector also joined the siege. The sword aura that was dodged struck the auction tower, leaving a terrifying crack that stretched for 7 to 8 meters. Long Wen Jin, you're such a fool. Damaging the Black Iron family's property gives them a reason to intervene in this siege. Stana let out a sharp explosion. Long Wen Jin frowned. He never expected that Lin Yan would possess such advanced footwork, actually being able to dodge that attack. Thorn Shield. Fatty also saw through Lin Yan's intentions and stood in front of him. He raised his counterattack shield, taking on Stana and the Chief Protector's attacks. Now that Lin Yan's armor had exceeded 10 million, and with the shared armor, his blood armor value was also extremely high. For a while, these two couldn't break through his armor. This guy is also so strong. Feeling the terrifying counterattack damage from Fatty, the two were instantly shocked. Fatty's armor had greatly increased, and the damage returned proportionally to his armor had also increased. Both of them felt a bit of minor shock from the counterattack. Boom! Lin Feng used the spatial prohibition curse with one hand, and with the other hand, he had enough power to use precise magic spells. With the forbidden staff given by Lin Yan, the damage was extremely terrifying. Where did these three guys suddenly come from? The three powerhouses frowned. The weakest of Lin Yan's trio had reached the level of a silver hero. Such powerhouses could not be unknown in the Dragon Summer Empire, but suddenly three of them appeared, and they were all so young. I actually thought about robbing these three people just now. Many people felt a chill down their spine. They were only a thought away from death. Damn it! In the midst of the fight, Long Wen Jin's armor had already been completely cut off by Lin Yan, but he hadn't even broken through the layers of protection on the opponent's body. Lin Yan grinned. He had never fought such a wealthy battle before. It was a complete money-burning strategy. Afterwards, he threw all the scrolls he had purchased. Boom 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 boom. Dozens of high-level scrolls instantly caused Long Wen Jin to lose millions of health. You've angered me. Long Wen Jin was furious. He no longer considered the consequences and his eyes turned bloodshot. If he didn't use his ultimate move, he would die here. Dragon Mark Howling Kill Sword. Energy surged around him, and the dragon-marked sword emitted a terrifying sonic attack, like a dragon's roar. Anyone who was not far enough away from the scene was blasted and spat out blood. Bang 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 bang. The sonic attack shattered all of Lin Yan's defense shields. Long Wen Jin held a long sword and spat out a three-foot green edge, sharp to the extreme, intending to cut Lin Yan in half. It's a pity that the scrolls are used up. Lin Yan looked regretful, then waved his hand and summoned two ear pendants. The ear pendants hummed and transformed into a defense shield with a million armor. Long Wen Jian almost vomited blood in anger. How many hidden cards did this guy have? Chi Chi. The power of the dragon mark howling kill sword was truly terrifying. 
Even the top-level treasure with a million armor could barely withstand it. Hu hu! Long Wenjian's eyes turned bloodshot with anger. Until now, he hadn't even broken through Lingyan's armor. Ah ah ah! He shouted in anger. He had never fought such a frustrating battle in his life. If you can't break through the defense, then your sword is indeed useless. Lin Yan shook his head. The dragon mark sword is truly wasted in your hands. Why don't you give it to me? Swordmaster's will. Sword soul manifestation. Buzz. The powerful swordmaster's shadow merged with Lin Yan, doubling his attack power and skill effects. Every strike released a terrifying sword aura. The hundred meters of the battlefield turned into a forbidden zone, even the black iron city guards who came to stop them didn't dare to approach. Who would dare to enter the forbidden zone where heroes were fighting? It was simply seeking death. You forced me to do this. Long Wenjian was left with only three or four million health, and his face twisted in pain. Blood-stained dragon soul. He used his core skill. Half of his health was instantly absorbed by the dragon mark sword, and all his attributes tripled. His body cracked, blood gushed out, and he turned into a blood-soaked corpse. Die. With his already formidable attack power of 300,000, every skill he used now could cause over a million points of damage. Lin Yan was also fearless. He directly fought Long Wen Jian with his life. Chi Chi Chi. Sword lights and shadows filled the air, and the sword aura and knife aura that flew out from their battle destroyed all the shops on both sides of the street, turning them into ruins. Critical hit fruit. Lin Yan consumed a fruit that guaranteed 10 consecutive critical hits. Minus 1. 2 million inch minus 350,000 minus 1. 19 million inch minus 360,000. Terrifying armor and health deductions appeared above their heads, making people's legs weak. The final life or death battle was fast paced, like lightning. It ended in just 10 seconds. Who won? Everyone's gaze was heavy as they looked at the rising dust in the center of the battle. There, only one figure remained standing. Who who? The strong wind blew away the dust. In everyone's eyes, the person standing there held the dragon mark sword, covered in blood. Did Long Wen's sword win in the end of the bloody battle? Indeed, he is one of the unparalleled heroes. It's not easy for anyone to kill him. Many knowledgeable people nodded in agreement, their tone confident. When the dust settled, Lin Yan stood proudly, wielding the demon blade thousand blades in one hand and the dragon pattern sword in the other, covered in the blood of his enemies. Under his feet, the Long Wen sword had already turned into a puddle of flesh, with only a severed head rolling away. Damn! Long Wen's sword is dead. One of the esteemed heroes of the empire, killed in broad daylight. Black Iron City is in trouble. Many sensitive individuals felt a great fear after their astonishment. Long Wen's sword held a high position in the Longsha Empire, and his death in Black Iron City would surely anger the empire. A bloody storm is coming. This kid is really audacious, daring to actually kill Long Wen's sword. Sistana and the Great Guardian, who were fighting against Duanda and Lin Feng, were stunned. A golden hero of his caliber was killed within 10 minutes. Although this kid used a pay-to-win strategy, it would still be a serious event that would shock both empires. What, do you two want to die too? Lin Yan grinned and looked at Sistana and the Great Guardian. Gurgle. Now that Lin Yan was free to fight, the odds were not in their favor in a three-on-two battle. However, due to their pride, they couldn't just turn and run. So for the time being, they stopped fighting and stood their ground. Lin Yan sneered. He had already spent a lot of money on his equipment and obtained the dragon pattern sword. There was no need to fight Sistana and the Great Guardian to the death. Besides, there wasn't enough time left to kill another person. Brother, the teleportation channel has been connected. We can leave once it stabilizes, Lin Feng reminded. Hmm. Lin Yan nodded, not paying much attention to Sistana and the Great Guardian, but instead looking warily in the direction of the Black Iron family. As expected, right after Long Wen's sword died, a rumbling sound came from the direction of the Black Iron family, and the once clear sky seemed to darken. Boom! The sound of breaking wind came as a black figure approached from afar, traversing the air. He was dressed in black iron battle armor, his robe fluttering, wielding a giant halberd, like a king. So this old man has been alerted. Lin Yan urged, hurry up, the big one is coming. More and more people noticed the figure approaching in midair and their legs trembled. Black Iron King. Someone hoarsely exclaimed, unable to believe it. The Black Iron King, the leader of the Black Iron family. The founder of Black Iron City. A true king-level powerhouse, capable of traversing the air. Gurgle. The Black Iron King, who hasn't shown himself in ten years, has actually appeared. The captain of the Imperial Guards of the Longsha Empire died in Black Iron City. He will definitely bring the culprit to justice to answer to the royal family. With a king-level existence making a move, there is no doubt about the outcome. Many onlookers scattered, 
fleeing as far as possible. The king level was a significant leap in power, completely different from previous advancements. Each king was not to be trifled with. Do you want to leave? In the sky, the white-haired, black-armored old man sneered. He reached down with his large hand, and a terrifying palm took shape. I'll block him. The chubby man shouted, charging forward with the thorn shield raised. Boom! The chubby man's face turned pale, feeling an irresistible force pressing down on him like Mount Tai. Damn! What kind of damn monster is this? He spat out a mouthful of blood. A huge, minus three million appeared above his head. Oh my god. The chubby man had already fought hard, and this slap almost sent him back to the fountain. Indeed formidable. Lin Yan looked at the black-armored old man in the sky. He was already this terrifying without even using his king-level domain. Once the opponent unleashed their king-level domain, this slap would truly take the chubby man's life. It seems that this black iron king is a true king among gold-tier warriors. Lin Fang's brain rapidly processed information, increasing his speed of analysis. Humph, he has quite a lot of health. The Black Iron King once again slapped his palm, intending to break Lin Fang's spatial channel. Old man, don't be too arrogant. Lin Yan scolded, directly using his trump card, Life and Death Seal. Hundreds of Yin soldiers rushed out from the Life and Death Seal. Although it was just a treasure, its effectiveness depended on the summoner's own strength. The 100 Yin soldiers summoned by Lin Yan were all at the level of Yin soldier generals, each with a blood volume exceeding 100,000. Under the terrifying palm, dozens of Yin soldiers shattered one after another. However, more than half of the Yin soldiers still attacked the Black Iron King. These ethereal creatures could fly and burrow underground. Ha! The Black Iron King could no longer remain calm, staring fixedly at the life and death seal in Lin Yan's hand, seemingly unable to believe it. That is. No, how is this possible? The Black Iron King frowned. Dozens of Yin soldiers enveloped him, forcing him to use his royal domain. Buzz! The royal domain unfolded, and all the attributes of the Yin soldiers decreased by half. Annihilate. The Black Iron King unleashed a ranged skill, and a terrifying energy wave resonated from within him, reducing dozens of Yin soldiers to dust. Old man, do you think you're invincible? Lin Yan flashed out from behind the Yin soldiers and kicked the Black Iron King in the face. Then, with a teleportation, he used a displacement symbol to retreat quickly. You. The Black Iron King was dumbfounded. The entire Black Iron City fell silent. The sound of a needle dropping could be heard. The dignified Black Iron King, who had not appeared for ten years, the esteemed Black Iron King, he had just made his appearance and was kicked in the face by someone. The old man in black armor was furious, his hair flying in all directions, you're seeking death. He roared, and a destructive sound wave surged out like waves, destroying everything within hundreds of meters. The ground in the entire area collapsed. The Black Iron King clenched his fist. As a king, not only did he fail to keep a few juniors, he was also kicked in the face. This was simply a great humiliation. I will definitely find you and make you beg for life, unable to die. He flicked his sleeve and flew back to his mansion. Today, he had completely lost face. Buzz buzz buzz. Lin Yan and the others leaped out of the spatial channel one after another, and a terrifying aura spewed out from the channel. Yuan Tianrun was originally smiling as he welcomed them, but his scalp instantly tingled. It was only when he joined forces with several Dawn heroes that the terrifying fluctuations were suppressed. You guys really did it. Who did you provoke this time? You actually got so angry. Yuan Tianren questioned Lin Yan speechlessly. Hey, you don't know how thrilling and exciting it was this time. The chubby guy patted the dust off his body and couldn't wait to boast, vividly describing the events as if he were performing a skit. Yuan Tianren and the others listened anxiously, but after talking for so long, he didn't mention whether they obtained the remaining pages of the Book of Truth, which made them anxious. Finally, when they heard about the Black Iron King's actions, they couldn't help but burst into laughter. You guys survived even after that old guy made a move, it's really not easy. Yuan Tianren sarcastically remarked. These guys were really good at causing trouble. They went to Black Iron City once, not only killing the captain of the Dragon Summer Royal Family's guards, but also kicking the face of a king. It was truly earth-shattering. You guys have caused a big disaster this time. Yuan Tianren shook his head helplessly. Offending both the Dragon Summer Royal Family and the Black Iron City, two major forces, just thinking about it made one's scalp tingle. Forget about it, that old man, the Black Iron King, wasn't a good person to begin with. He only stayed in Black Iron City and acted like a king. We don't need to care about him. Wang Taijian waved his hand. As long as we bring back the remaining pages of the Book of Truth. Whom? Ching Daozi nodded. Now that all the necessary treasures have been gathered, we can begin the awakening ceremony. Lin Yan was also extremely eager. 
Wang Bauer is finally waking up, and the first divine template he has been longing for is finally within reach. Let me prepare, the awakening ceremony will begin tonight, Xing Daozi said, extending his hand to Lin Yan. Ha, huh? what does this mean? Lin Yan pretended to be clueless. The gold card. Are you so greedy that you want to keep our gold cards for yourself? Xing Daozi said speechlessly. Ah, the gold card. Lin Yan grinned and looked at Yuan Tianrun. You pay the reward for this mission first, and then I'll return your gold cards. Yuan Tianrun was speechless too. After cooperating for so long, don't you have any trust in me? Then, he glanced at the mission and was instantly stunned. The silver 5th tier mission assigned to Lin Yan had actually been upgraded to bronze 6th tier. Emperor Yan, why do you always increase the difficulty so much every time you receive a mission? Yuan Tianrun was exasperated. He knew Lin Yan's temperament, so without waiting for Lin Yan to argue, he took the initiative and said, Tell me, what compensation do you want? Lin Yan generously shook his head, I don't need any compensation. Yuan Tianrun couldn't believe it, did you change your gender? But, please ask the blacksmith to repair a weapon for me, Lin Yan said with a smile. Alright, leave it to me, Wang the blacksmith agreed readily, but when he saw the look in the old village chief's eyes, he realized that he might have fallen into Emperor Yan's trap again. Old Wang, you're generous. Lin Yan took out the dragon pattern sword. This sword has been covered in dust for a long time. In the entire Dragon Summer Empire, only you, Old Wang, can repair it. He didn't hesitate to flatter. Because this matter was too important to him. He he, that's right. I was the number one blacksmith in the Dragon Summer Empire back then. Wang the blacksmith confidently took the dragon pattern sword. Three seconds later, he petrified in place. Old Wang, I'll wait for your good news, alright? Lin Yan took the opportunity to return the gold cards to the others and took the reward from Yuan Tianrun before making a swift exit. After walking a long distance, he heard the miserable screams of the Dawn Heroes. No, damn Emperor Yan, I'm going to kill you. Tell me, where's my money? Apart from Qing Daozi's small treasury being too thick, Lin Yan couldn't spend it all. The remaining gold cards were almost depleted, with only a pitiful few thousand gold coins left. That was Emperor Yan's last bit of conscience. Damn thief, if I had known he was so shameless, I wouldn't have settled the mission rewards for him no matter what. Yuan Tianren felt heartbroken. He wouldn't be able to pay the wages of the next month in the ghost village. Everyone looked at Cheng Daozi together, Hey, old Qing, can you lend us some? Lin Yan held Xin Youwei's hand and walked on the road in the newbie village. The players now either joined the Church of Truth or left the ghost village to go to the main city. The newbie village now emphasized tranquility. Only some newly registered rookies kept pouring in. Lin Yan, have you heard? Today's morning paper reported that the number of players registered in the Divine Land has exceeded 3 billion. Xin Yuwei couldn't believe it as she read the news. Lin Yan nodded. Except for impoverished regions like Africa where computers were not widely available, almost all civilized societies had already registered. Have you also reached the third tier, elite professional? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. Aha! Xin Yuwei proudly puffed out her chest. Am I amazing? Lin Yan nodded, very, um, impressive. He passed the experience pearl of slaying the dragon when sword to Xin Yue, these should be enough for you to reach the full level of the third tier. It's best to have the blacksmith teach you his core skills in the next few days. I promise to complete the mission. Xin Yue saluted in a proper manner. After strolling around the newbie village with Xin Yue and deepening their relationship, Lin Yan escorted her back to the blacksmith's shop. He grinned, Old Wang, is the weapon repaired? Wang the blacksmith, with a black line on his face, took out the repaired dragon pattern sword and threw it to Lin Yan, saying, Don't ever have any ideas about me again. I really have nothing left. He was truly emptied by Lin Yan. His gold card was also empty, and his weapons were all given away. Now, he had helped him repair a high-level legendary weapon once again, and now he was so poor that he only had his underwear left. Originally, blacksmiths should be making money from players, but now they have been emptied by a player. I guess I am the most pathetic novice village blacksmith in history, right? Wang Hao sighed. Lin Yan inspected it and his eyes lit up. He repeatedly thanked Wang the blacksmith while shaking his hand. Then, in a peaceful atmosphere, he was kicked out of the blacksmith shop. Stingy. Lin Yan didn't mind, after all, he had taken advantage of the blacksmith so much, it was normal for him to be angry. He found a place where there was no one. He began to fuse equipment. He clicked on the equipment attributes of the Dragon Pattern Sword, Dragon Pattern Sword, Legendary, Grade, 5th Grade Attack plus 400,000, Attack Speed plus 0. 
3. Life Steal plus 10% Special Ability, Dragon's Roar, Active, stimulates the Dragon's Soul within the weapon, causing ranged sword damage, consumes 50 mana per second, Dragon Pattern, the user can awaken the Dragon Pattern during battle, Agility plus 5, Broken Army, deals an additional 10,000 damage to armor. It truly is the top weapon passed down through generations by the Dragon Summer Empire's royal family, it's really amazing. Lin Yen marveled. He just didn't know how the swordsman's sword in its peak state compared to the dragon pattern sword, which one was stronger and which one was weaker. He fused the dragon pattern sword into the magic blade thousand blades. All three special abilities were inherited. The broken army special ability merged with the mud cutting special ability. An unparalleled treasure blade. He looked at the magic blade thousand blades in front of him, feeling excited. Magic blade thousand blades, white, attack plus 550,000, attack speed plus zero. 8. Critical Strike Rate plus 10%, Life Steal plus 10%, Agility plus 5 Special Abilities, Mud Cutting plus, Decisive Action plus, Thousand Blades, Unity, Swordsman's Secret Technique, Swordsman's Battle Spirit, Dragon's Roar, Dragon Pattern, with a 550,000 attack boost, 8 Special Abilities, and many other attributes. Apart from those weapons that are enough to rule a country, this blade should be the number one in the world. Finally, I have agility attributes, so I won't be so passive when dueling with experts in the future. Lin Yan let out a sigh of relief. And it started with 5 points. Agility is the limit of physical ability that can be exerted in close combat. After adding 5 agility, he could display more unique techniques. With my swordsmanship, even if a hero encounters me, it can only be a fate of being abused. Lin Yan was full of confidence. Unless he encountered a numerical monster like the Black Iron King, numerical suppression was unreasonable. Next is the fusion of the swordsman's legendary equipment. Lin Yan looked at the lower body armor of the swordsman in his hand, feeling emotional. He truly was the strongest existence in the strongest hero group, without any dispute since the founding of the Dragon Summer Empire. Just the equipment he obtained, there were already four legendary pieces. In other words, the swordsman's entire set of equipment is almost all legendary. Lin Yen marveled. Hardly anyone could gather a full set of legendary equipment of the same grade, but the swordsman managed to do it. That's the value of being the number one hero in the Dragon Summer Empire. He fused the swordsman's lower body armor, increasing the armor by over a million. And after the fusion of its special abilities, it provided a new special ability, Last Drop of Blood, immune to one fatal attack, Buzz. Lin Yen also fused a lot of lower body armor into the soft hedgehog pants. Then, he opened his own attribute panel, ID, Flame Emperor Race, Human, Yellow, Class, Warrior Level, 9 Health, 400, Armor, 12,100,000 Attack, 5,500,025, Physical Resistance, 1,430, Magic Resistance, 1,425, Mana, 400, Movement Speed, 8, Attack Speed, 3, Agility, 5, Health Recovery Rate, 0, 5%, Life Steal, 10%, 5%, Critical Strike, 21%, Armor Absorption, 2000, Armor Penetration, 11000, Counterattack, 12000, Equipment, Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Swordmaster Helmet, Legendary, Snowy Wind Boots, Legendary, Magic Blade Thousand Blades, White, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, Tier 4, Skill, Wave Stacking, 3 Stars, Flame Blade, 3 Stars, Ninefold Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Advanced Detection Technique, 3 stars, ability, none treasure, life and death seal, water avoidance cape, stealth cloak, awakening fan, with 500,000 attack, over 10 million armor, and various characteristics and trump cards. It's enough. Lin Yen calculated for a while and nodded, it's time to start the final plan for the beginner village. Night. The altar of the dark village. Wang Bauer lay in the center of the altar. Xing Daozi placed all the necessary treasures beside her. With the divinity of the book of truth, the vitality of the thousand-year willow heart, and the power of life and death reincarnation in the life and death seal, her soul contract can be completely lifted. Qing Daozi took the life and death seal handed over by Lin Yen, and a surging magical power poured into it. The ceremony officially began. Wang Tai Smith, Yuan Tianrun, Blind Monk, and Wu Baihua guarded the four sides, and the atmosphere was extremely solemn and murderous. Lin Yen, along with Lin Feng, Fatty, Xin Yue, and Chu Qing Xian, protected Qing Daozi. The truth sect may come to disrupt the ceremony at any time, so we must not take it lightly. Yuan Tianren reminded in a deep voice. Just as he finished speaking, a gust of wind blew, startling a flock of birds, and the sky was filled with killing intent, dispersing the clouds. So impatient. Yuan Tianren laughed angrily, and a terrifying sword aura rose behind him. 
With a wave of his hand, sword energy swept through the entire block, shattering all the truth sect disciples hidden under the cover of night. Gurgle. Blood splattered. Hundreds of figures fell from the darkness, their heads rolling. Hee hee, it seems that you really missed the swordsman after he died. A cold voice came out. The person in the black robe and mask stood on the eaves, his eyes filled with mockery. You even switched to practicing swordsmanship just for him. Since you miss him so much, why not reunite with him in hell? You stubborn fool. Yuan Tianren snorted angrily, turning into a sword aura and instantly killing the person on the eaves. With his finger as a sword, he struck fiercely. Brother, you've grown old. The person in the black robe and mask flicked his cloak and retreated like a bat. The entire house collapsed under Yuan Tianren's sword. We'll settle these old matters later. Today is the day for Bauer's niece to be freed from the curse. Must you go to such extremes? Yuan Tianren questioned sternly. He he. Wang Bauer is the soul of the seven heroes of dawn. If her soul dies, you all are just a bunch of useless people. The person in the black robe and mask grinned, do you think I would just watch her come back to life? Beast! Yuan Tianren roared in anger, launching a terrifying attack at the person in the black robe. Everything is about to end. Let's have a good fight today. The person in the black robe and mask no longer dodged, wielding dual blades and fighting Yuan Tianren. Boom boom boom. The battle between the two powerful warriors was extremely terrifying. Wherever they went, diamonds flew and houses collapsed. In other directions, Wang Taismith, Wu Baihua, and Blind Monk also started to fight, each blocking a formidable enemy from the Truth Sect. The power between us was originally balanced, and even in terms of top combat power, we were slightly inferior. But today, Qing Daozi can't join the fight, so we have the advantage. The Dark Village is destined to be wiped out. The person in the black robe laughed sinisterly. Do you think saying these things can distract me? Yuan Tianren laughed loudly, yes, I switched to practicing swordsmanship. But as fellow fate masters, how could you not foresee the disaster that awaits you tonight? Disaster awaits. The person in the black robe sneered, I have foreseen the only variable. The one you rely on, isn't it the player Emperor Yen? A fool who has just arrived not long ago, indeed, his combat power is not bad. But do you think you can turn the tide tonight? I have to say, brother, you've become stupid. You're the stupid one. Yuan Tianren's eyes were cold. Tonight, he had set up a big plan for the true teachings. Tonight, the true teachings will be destroyed. Let your downfall be a celebration of Bauer's awakening. He he he. Alright, let's see who will have the last laugh. Yuan Tianren and the man in the black robe were brothers, but also enemies. Both of them were extremely powerful, killing without hesitation, even the dark clouds and strong winds couldn't stop them. The four battlefields in the dark village were in chaos, filled with the sounds of fighting. The rookie players accepted the village defense mission with confusion on their faces, thinking that the generous rewards were a stroke of luck. But once the real battle began, they realized that they were just cannon fodder. The elite disciples of the true teachings could easily kill a group of rookie players with a single strike. These players, who kept resurrecting from the spring, were filled with resentment. Damn it, how is this game balanced? I just reached level 3 and they throw countless level 30 opponents at me to attack the newbie village. Fuck your ancestors. The cries of the miserable players reached Lin Yan's ears but he wasn't in the mood to laugh. He looked at the old man in black in front of him, his fighting spirit boiling, so it's you. He he, we really have some fate. The old man in black grinned, his smile as stiff as a corpse, I never thought that the flame emperor mentioned by the leader would be you. This time, you won't escape. Is that so? Lin Yan looked at the old man in front of him and smiled coldly, I was also puzzled why I didn't kill you last time, but this time it will be you who dies. You think you have heroic strength just because you killed Long Wen Jin with a pay-to-win strategy? The old man sneered, mocking him. He was the chief guardian of the true teachings, the highest level among the three heroic level powerhouses at the Black Iron City auction. He <laughs> he, killing a small silver level hero like you is extremely easy. Lin Yan's killing intent was chilling. Boss, I'll help you. Fatty and Lin Feng also stepped forward. Xin Yue drew her bow, Xu Qingxian accumulated her energy, preparing to unleash her martial arts ultimate move. Lin Yan also took the time to teach Chu Qingxian a set of Tai Chi boxing, maximizing her output. With Fatty's shared armor skill, it could be said that they all possessed the strength of a hero, and could even crush a bronze-level hero. If we cooperate well, we might even be able to fight against high-level gold-level heroes. The core team is starting to take shape. Lin Yan felt gratified. Hoof. The chief guardian frowned. Although the young newcomers behind Lin Yan were only around level 30 or 40, they still made him a level 90 silver level hero, feel some pressure. Where did the dark village find so many outrageous things? He muttered, feeling a bit timid. 
His eyes shifted and he looked at Lin Yan, Kid, since you're so arrogant, do you dare to fight me one on one? Sure. Lin Yan nodded. The chief guardian sneered, but in the end, he was still young and couldn't see through Lin Yan's provocation. Lin Yan sneered and waved to Fatty and the others, however, it will be the five of us against you alone. Ah. The chief guardian was dumbfounded, his scalp instantly tingling. He already felt pressure from just Lin Yan's individual strength, let alone facing all five of them together. Fortunately, on the four battlefields of the Dark Village, many experts had broken through the encirclement and arrived at the altar. Seeing the reinforcements, the chief guardian immediately regained his confidence and laughed heartily, in a group fight, the true teachings have never lost. After speaking, he leaped forward like a falcon, pouncing towards Lin Yan. Youth, you're responsible for long-range attacks on the miscellaneous troops. Xing Xian, you handle the true teachings disciples who enter the perimeter of the altar. Lin Yan began to strategize, Fatty, my friend, let's quickly kill this old man and then clean up the battlefield. Alright. The core of the five-person team was Lin Yan, so naturally, they all followed his orders. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. In Xin Yue's hands, the willow demon arrows kept shooting out. Terrifying attack power with armor penetration. The miscellaneous soldiers of the truth sect couldn't withstand it at all and were continuously pierced through. I'll give everyone a buff. Xin Yue displayed the core skill of the blacksmith, Seven Treasures Glass Arrow. The blacksmith is a forger, and their favorite way of fighting is stacking buffs, so Xin Yue has now changed jobs to become a buff shooter. She can bind teammates with arrows to give them beneficial buffs or share buffs. She can also mark negative buffs on enemies with arrows. My level is too low, so I can only use three treasure arrows, which means I can share three attributes between teammates. Xin Yue asked eagerly, how should I choose? Share my movement speed, your attack speed, and my agility. Lin Yan immediately replied. Okay. Xin Yue fired arrows continuously, and everyone received a tribute sharing. Damn, boss, your agility is ridiculously high. Fatty was dumbfounded. Right now, I can only achieve 50% attribute sharing, Xin Yue reminded. I gained a 2. 5 point increase in agility, which means, your agility is at least 5 points, boss. Fatty exclaimed in amazement. Normally, agility attributes are not touched before the hero stage. Lin Yan is only at level 9 and already has 5 points in agility, which is simply inhuman. But he is not the happiest one right now. The one who is laughing the most is Lin Yan. As an archer, Xin Yue consumes very few attribute points to increase her attack speed, so she currently has a full 5 points in attack speed. That means she can shoot 5 arrows in 1 second. Lin Yan himself has 3 points in attack speed, and with the shared 2. 5 points, his attack speed reaches 5. 5. You should know that his base attack power is 550,000. Even without using skills, he can deal at least 3 million points of damage in 1 second. How terrifying is that? The Black Iron King, a boss with such powerful data, can only deal this amount of damage with a single slap. Yue, your skill is really awesome, Lin Yan gave her a thumbs up. But the Grand Protector was in tragedy. Lin Yan's sword was so fast that it was almost a blur, even faster than his own attack speed as a level 90 silver hero. Where can he reason with that? I can't defend against it at all. The Grand Protector lamented. Lin Yan's attacks were too terrifying. Even if he could defend against them, he would still suffer tens of thousands of impact damage. One attack that couldn't be defended against would deal 500 plus damage. If he landed a critical hit, it would be over a million damage. His total health and armor were only 9 million, and he had already lost a third of it just from their first encounter. How can this be so outrageous? How can this be so outrageous? The Grand Protector's face was even uglier than if he had eaten shit. He roared, you hid so much strength that day. I understand now, you wanted to kill me. You, at such a young age, have such deep scheming. Lin Yan chuckled at the Grand Protector's foolishness, are you even worthy of me hiding my strength from you? The truth is, he really didn't have such high output that day. M. Fatty and Lin Feng, one on each side, assisted Lin Yan in battle, but they increasingly felt that they had no presence at all. When Lin Yan made a single attack, it dealt at least several hundred thousand damage, but the two of them combined couldn't even reach 50,000. Brother Duan, don't you think we're a bit useless here? Lin Feng was deeply affected. He thought he was already abnormal enough. As mere elite professionals, they had mastered high-level spells that even hero-level individuals would find difficult to grasp, and they even possessed top-tier equipment and treasures. But their combat power was instantly reduced to ashes by their older brother. Lin Yan could see Lin Feng's frustration and couldn't help but smile inwardly. There's no way around it. This is the gap between the son of destiny and a top-tier noob. Little brother, you'll just have to adapt slowly. 
ah ah ah. The Grand Protector went mad. He had roamed the martial world and gained fame for many years. As a level 90 silver hero, he was actually being suppressed and beaten by three young kids, and they were still laughing and joking around. Do they have any face left? Fine, you're good, but this old man is not so easily dealt with. The Great Protector shouted angrily and unleashed his core skill. Traceless steps. Buzz. Under his feet, wind and snow condensed out of thin air. With one step, his entire body became ethereal, reducing the damage he received by half. Tap tap. Stepping on the snowy path, his movement speed and agility increased dramatically. In the blink of an eye, he broke free from the encirclement of Lin Yan and the others, and with endless killing intent, he headed towards Wang Bauer's altar. This is bad. Lin Yan's heart trembled. The Great Protector's core skill turned out to be a rare body technique. He he, I have gained a reputation over the years, relying on this core skill to deter many strong opponents. The Great Protector boasted. With this kind of body technique as his core skill, he could come and go without a trace. As long as he didn't provoke a king, anyone he targeted would be in trouble. Die. He looked at Wang Bauer with a cold gaze. Everything today was centered around killing Wang Bauer. As long as his mission was successful, everything would be over. The battle between the true teachings and the dark village had already been decided. Boom boom boom. On the battlefield, Wang Taijian and the others also noticed this scene and felt anxious, wishing they could teleport over immediately to rescue. But the top experts of the true teachings were not weak either. Even with their injuries, they couldn't break free for a while. He he, brother, is this the variable you mentioned? It's not enough. Yuan Tian Gang looked at Lin Yan, laughing mockingly, trying to disturb Yuan Tian Ren's state of mind. In a battle between top experts, as long as a flaw was revealed, it would be fatal. It's too early to talk about winning or losing now. Yuan Tian Ren's face remained calm and composed. I see that you're not giving up. Yuan Tian Gang's momentum grew stronger, and his clash with Yuan Tian Ren became even more intense. You want to stop me from obtaining the Divine Gift Template? You've already chosen the path of death. Lin Yan's killing intent reached its peak. Three treasures into one. Speed boost. Xin Youwei's combat intuition was strong. She directly suspended the attribute sharing of the other three people and only provided a single attribute enhancement to Lin Yan, movement speed. This directly doubled Lin Yan's movement speed. His speed went from 8 to 16 in an instant. Crush. He crushed the speed enhancing potion, increasing his speed by another two. Wind treading. The special effect of the snow treading boots activated, doubling his movement speed again, reaching an astonishing 36. Ignite. He took out the unified transfer talisman he had obtained from the auction and ignited it. Sizzle 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 he then threw 10 small teleportation talismans into the fire, which were ultimately melted down by the unified transfer talisman into a single targeted teleportation talisman. Song in the snow. The effect of the body technique skill doubled. Ninefold thunder flash. Lin Yan made his move. Originally, the maximum distance of the ninefold thunder flash was 100 meters, but with the blessing of Song in the snow, he directly crossed a distance of 200 meters. Then, using the targeted teleportation talisman, he instantly crossed another 100 meters. He instantly caught up to the Great Protector. The Great Protector looked at Lin Yan, who suddenly appeared behind him, with a bewildered expression, as if he had seen a ghost. How is this possible? Old man, you're celebrating too early. Lin Yan's eyes turned bloodshot. With a movement speed of 36, he was almost like lightning. Are you a monster? The Great Protector's scalp exploded. You see, as a level 90 silver hero, even with his body technique core skill, his movement speed barely reached 35. This kind of speed should have been invincible at the hero stage. But now, a level 9 newbie had surpassed him. Die for me. In order to catch up to the Great Protector, he almost used up all his trump cards. And those were all money. Boom boom boom. With this strike, it was as if thunder was slashing through the air. The anger of losing a massive amount of money made this strike terrifying and unbearable. Soul Sword Secret Technique. Skill Effect Doubled. Top Tier Critical Strike Potion. Skill Guaranteed to Crit. Lin Yan crazily played his trump cards. With each card he played, the anger attached to this strike became more and more terrifying. Stacking Waves 3 Strikes. Flame Blade. Stacking Blade. Swordmaster's Battle Spirit. Kill. In the dark night sky, the sound of thunderous blade strikes echoed. In just three seconds, Lin Yan emptied all of his skills. Dash 200W Dash 230W Dash 280W Dash 300W. This wave of explosive output, with just four strikes, instantly killed the terrified Grand Protector in midair. The following two strikes, pure damage overflow, turned the Grand Protector's body into fragments. The scene fell into a strange silence. 
The besieging Truth Sect disciples were motionless, and several Dawn heroes were stunned. Yuan Tian Gang and other high ranking members of the Truth Sect were even more numb. Damn, boss, you're amazing. The fat guy was the first to snap out of his daze and exclaimed. This output was simply explosive to the extreme. Worthy of the name Flame Emperor. That damn old ghost finally died. Lin Yan waved his hand and collected all the items dropped by the Grand Protector into his backpack, taking a few deep breaths. Large beads of sweat rolled down his forehead, he had taken too many drugs and overexerted himself. He was very satisfied with his extreme output data. With a base attack of 500,000, each skill would cause one. Five times the damage, which was 750,000. The Sword Soul Secret technique doubled the power of the skills, reaching a threshold of one. Five million. The top-level critical strike potion gave the skills a critical effect, resulting in that astonishing 3 million attack data. A combo, smoothly executed, cleanly beheading a level 90 silver hero. Hey, old Chang, what are you staring at? Hurry up! I've paid a lot to kill him, after this battle, you owe me. Lin Yan looked at Cheng Daozi, who had a blank expression. Oh, oh, I got it. Cheng Daozi stiffly turned his neck and continued to operate. Ha ha ha, Yuan Tianrun's laughter echoed joyfully. Tian Gang. It seems that after so many years of practicing swordsmanship, I have a better grasp of the heavenly mechanism than you. How did you practice these years? Practiced on dogs? He was as panicked inside as he appeared calm just now. Now that the situation was settled, the Grand Protector of the Truth Sect was dead, and no one could stop Wang Bauer from resurrecting. Crunch, crunch. Veins bulged on Yuan Tiangong's forehead as he stared at Lin Yan, his tone icy, this is simply impossible. His calculations had no loopholes, but unfortunately, Lin Yan was too overpowered. Who could believe that a level 9 could kill a level 90? It was simply outrageous. The outcome is already decided. My brother. Yuan Tianren's palm pressed down with an imposing manner, and terrifying sword energy swept away everything along the way. No, I will never lose. Yuan Tiangong's eyes turned bloodshot. Even if I lose, I won't lose to you, you imperial lapdog. Humph. Just as Yuan Tianren was about to engage in a final battle with Yuan Tiangang, he suddenly felt something and paused, looking towards the altar. Buzz. On the altar, the power of life and death circulated, and black energy steamed from Wang Bauer's forehead, manifesting a blood-colored contract. In the end, that contract was erased by the power of life and death, turning into ashes and drifting away. It's a success. Xing Daozi couldn't help but cheer. Hmm. On the altar, the enchanting and beautiful girl frowned, then slowly opened her eyes. Her pupils were clear and bright. She sat up, and the suppressed power of her soul turned into a storm, sweeping out with a thunderous force. Terrifying pressure enveloped the sky above Ming village, declaring an indisputable fact. The souls of the seven dawn heroes had completely awakened. Retreat. Sensing the overwhelming mental pressure, Yuan Tiangong's face darkened. He knew that the situation was hopeless and could only give up. Boom, boom. The siege of the truth sect immediately collapsed, and they frantically retreated from Ming village. They were chased all the way to the outskirts of Ming village before successfully escaping. It's about to end soon. Yuan Tianrun looked at the disappearing figure of Yuan Tiangang, flicked his robe sleeve, and returned to the altar in Ming village. Uncle Yuan. Wang Bauer had already returned to normal at this time, her aura converging. Bauer, how do you feel? Wang Tysmith trembled with excitement as he regained his daughter. In another two hours at most, you should be able to recover to normal. Wang Bauer took a deep breath. When she first woke up, she was at her weakest, which is why she forcibly released her pent-up spiritual power to scare away Yuan Tiangang. Otherwise, if the true truth sect fought to the death, the outcome would not necessarily be certain. Great. Now that the great protector of the true truth sect is dead and Bauer has recovered, we don't need to worry about the true truth sect anymore. Wu Baihua said happily. Wang Bauer shook her head, we must quickly destroy the true truth sect's base, preferably starting now. Why so urgent? It wouldn't hurt to wait until you've fully recovered, right? Wang Tai Smith quickly advised, fearing that something might go wrong with Wang Bauer again. No. Wang Bauer explained, the True Truth Sect has been preparing a creation called the Puppet of the King. Previously, they took a risk and stole the Zombie King's blood from the Ming village's preparation for the Puppet of the King. What? Yuan Tianren suddenly remembered the incident of the stolen King's blood, which he had overlooked in the past few days while focusing on saving Wang Bauer. That's right, there are mechanical noises coming from the True Truth Sect's main hall, as if they are building something terrifying. Lin Yan said confidently, if they succeed, it will be very dangerous. With his knowledge, he naturally heard of the puppet of the king. However, according to the plot of the previous life, 
the puppet of the king would not appear for a long time. It was just a background setting for the plot of the destruction of the newbie village, the resurrection of the zombie king, the revival of the true spirit of Lu Wang, and the reappearance of the life and death seal. Once the true truth sect succeeds, the puppet of the king will possess the false power of the king, which we cannot resist. Wang Bauer shook her head. In these years, she had essentially been an undercover agent for the true truth sect and knew too many secrets. What? The false power of the king. Yuan Tianren's heart trembled. Now that they were all old, carrying old injuries, and their combat power was only one-third of its peak, and they were missing the strongest combat power of the swordmaster, it was unlikely that they could resist the false king. From what I know, to forge such a puppet, they need the divinity of the remnants of the Book of Truth as the central energy, right? Lin Yan's heart burned with excitement. That's right. Wang Bauer was not a fool. Lin Yan was so powerful and yet he still suppressed his advancement, he must be plotting to obtain the divine template bestowed by the gods. The allure of the remnants of the Book of Truth to him could be imagined. If we can get the remnants of the Book of Truth from the True Truth sect, and then get the page from the Dragon Summer Royal Family. With three pages, we can obtain the second divine template. Lin Yan was extremely excited. Now that his strength was sufficient, the road ahead would be smooth. Once he left the newbie village, he would be invincible in the Dragon Summer Empire. At least he could easily obtain the divine templates in the territories of the two empires. By then, leveling up would be as easy as drinking water. Awesome. Although he had been suppressing his advancement for the sake of the divine template, it didn't mean that he didn't feel inferior with his mere level 9 rank. So, it's true that we have to strike the dog while it's down. Mengsen also spoke up. Yuan Tianran nodded. Originally, tonight's plan was for Wang Bauer to wake up and immediately counterattack. But Wang Bauer's condition after waking up was not good, so they didn't make that choice out of concern. I estimate that the puppet of the king will be completed at the latest tomorrow. Wang Bauer urged, Uncle Yuan, don't worry, I'll be almost fully recovered on the way. Let's set off quickly. Your body is just right. How can we let you participate in the battle? Wang Tysmith shook his head repeatedly. Only I know the true truth sect inside out. If you blindly go in, you will suffer a great loss. Wang Bauer argued logically. Although Lin Yen wanted to say that he also knew the true truth sect inside out, since Wang Bauer was willing to be the guide, it saved him the trouble. This is probably the luck of lazy people. And brother Yuan still needs to guard the altar, and the dragon summer royal family is also keeping a close eye on us. So, even if tonight is a special decisive battle, brother Yuan absolutely cannot leave the village. Qing Daozi was very clear-headed. In fact, there is another reason that the heroes all know, the leader of the true truth sect, Yuan Tiangang, is the younger brother of the old village chief. They can't let the brothers fight each other, right? After much consideration, Wang the blacksmith could only nod in agreement. Don't worry, brother Yuan, we will do our best to bring Tian Gang back alive. Unless absolutely necessary, we won't kill him. Wu Baihua patted his chest confidently and promised. No need, don't get hurt because of that scum. Kill him if necessary. I am already utterly disappointed in him and wish to personally execute him. Yuan Tianren said coldly. Then he looked at Lin Yan, Yun Lin Yan, I cannot intervene tonight, so I have to ask for your help again. Lin Yan was about to agree when Yuan Tianren stopped him. I know, you don't need to say more. As long as you destroy the true truth sex base, I will give you the last piece of equipment from brother Jianhao. Lin Yan was speechless. He had wanted to bargain before, but Yuan old man was not interested. Tonight, because he wanted the remaining pages of the Book of Truth so badly, he didn't even think about bargaining, and as a result, he voluntarily gave away the equipment. But since it was not for nothing, he accepted the task directly. It seems that being able to remain calm can lead to unexpected benefits, Ling Yen began to summarize his own success experience in his heart. And, establishing a persona is also important. As long as you are good at bargaining, after the other party gets used to it, they will naturally give you benefits. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Lin Yan urged. Once the puppet of the king was successfully refined, the book of truth would be completely integrated with the puppet's core, and it would be too late to regret. Good. Let's set off immediately. Several top fighters from the Dark Village, along with Lin Feng's disciples and most of the armed forces of the Dark Village, set off together towards the True Truth sect. The players in the Beginner Village also received the task. Although they were just useless people, having a large number of people would boost morale. They were also known as the Atmosphere Group or Cheerleaders. It was not until the main force disappeared from sight that the old village chief realized something was wrong. I always feel something is off. Right, why is Lin Yan so active tonight? He was burdened by the conflicting emotions of his brother possibly being killed tonight, and his mind was in chaos. 
It was only now that he came to his senses. It's a god-given template. Yuan Tianran understood and smiled slightly, shaking his head. Forget it, he was originally chosen by me as Brother Jianhao's successor. These equipment were meant to be given to him. Unfortunately, he didn't want to become his disciple, so they can only be given through tasks. Ha! Ha ha ha! Little brat, you want to compete with me? You're still too young. He suddenly felt very happy, and his complex feelings towards his brother dissipated a lot. He walked home with a light and brisk pace. This is the base of the True Truth sect. Lin Yan pointed to the cave in front. They really hid it well. Wang the blacksmith frowned and complained. The True Truth sect was hidden in the mountains, with a huge underground city dug out. The True Truth sect has three levels of defense. Wang Bauer was about to explain the defense layout of the True Truth sect when she saw Wang the blacksmith turn into a blood red light and charge straight in. He had hated this place that had harmed his daughter for so many years, and now he could finally take revenge with his own hands. Naturally, he couldn't wait. All buffs, be bestowed upon me. Wang the blacksmith shouted, and numerous lights flickered on his body as layer after layer of buffs erupted from within him. Boom! 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 Many pieces of equipment were thrown out by him and shattered directly on the defense barrier. Then, he punched the defense barrier. Crack! Crack! Instantly, the ground shook, and the entire defense barrier shattered. Along with the defense barrier, rocks rolled down from the surrounding mountains, and the ground cracked. Damn! So powerful! Lin Yan exclaimed. This was the full power of the Dawn Hero in a fit of rage. He was somewhat fortunate. If it weren't for the fact that he had fought with Wang the blacksmith that time and the other party didn't fight back, he would never have been able to exchange so many moves with him. The outermost layer of the formation is only for detection, and its protective effect is the weakest. Wang Bauer covered her forehead, wondering why her father was so impulsive. Buzz! The second layer of defense formation was activated, and terrifying energy gathered into an energy giant sword, slashing angrily towards Wang the blacksmith. I'll help you. Wu Baihua flew up. As a martial artist, close combat explosive damage was her strongest skill. Shatter for me. Wu Baihua grabbed the sword blade and transformed her body into the most terrifying weapon, with every part being a deadly weapon. Boom 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 boom. In just a few seconds, she actually shattered the energy giant sword with her physical body. Female Tyrannosaurus. Duanda looked dumbfounded. Oomph, my master's nickname is Tyrant Flower. Chu Qingxian proudly smiled. You two step aside, my forbidden spell is complete. Qing Daozi's ultimate move had already been prepared, and he pressed his hand towards the formation. Quick, let's go. Wu Baihua grabbed Wang the blacksmith and quickly left. Boom rumble rumble rumble. A Tenjianlong flame dragon flew across the sky and crashed into the defense formation. Boom. The fire dragon exploded, destroying the entire formation. Terrifying energy pulses spread out, causing the robes of the people to rustle. The entire mountain protected by the formation was ignited by the flames after the dispersal of the fire dragon, illuminating the dark dawn as bright as day. Damn! Is this the combat power of an NPC in a beginner village? Damn it, I'm playing a fake online game. So cool, in the future, I will definitely become a super mage. The players who came to complete the mission were all dumbfounded. This scene was too grand, completely beyond their current understanding. They probably strengthened them temporarily for the plot, just to let us see the battle effects at a higher level. I admit that this game does have something. I was almost scared to death just now. An NPC in a beginner village probably has a low level. We can have such cool battle effects with just a few more levels. Let's go everyone. The players were excited, their emotions high. Break into the True Truth sect and capture Yuan Tian Gang alive. Qing Daozi shouted. Charge with me. Wang the blacksmith and Wu Baihua, the two golden heroes, led the soldiers of the Ming village and the players as they rushed towards the underground base of the True Truth sect. Gods and Buddhas couldn't stop them along the way. Let's go find the puppet of the king after enjoying the big scene. After appreciating the grand scene, Lin Yan said to the fatty and the others. Wang Bauer was still weak, staying behind with the blind monk. Qing Daozi was the core damage dealer and overall commander, so the task of destroying the puppet of the king naturally fell on Lin Yan's shoulders. It's a familiar smell. Lin Yan wrinkled his nose. The underground dungeon was filled with the stench of decay and stagnant air. Last time, he had to be cautious and wear an invisibility cloak. This time, he was openly killing his way in. Who would dare to stop him? Sizzle sizzle sizzle. The five-person team moved through the underground dungeon, encountering many members of the True Truth sect and players who had joined their side. Unfortunately, the strength of these people was far, far inferior to that of the five-person team. They were easily defeated. 
The new players following behind Lin Yan were all dumbfounded. Are these really players? How can they be so strong? Even the NPCs in the beginner village are this strong. They probably played for a couple of months before us and just leveled up. We'll be this strong soon too. I'm really looking forward to it. Lin Yan heard the discussion in the player group and smiled slightly. It seems that every group of players has their own understanding. That, that's the Flame Emperor. The guy who was evaluated by the gaming expert as an arrogant outdated player. The players who joined the True Truth sect were also dumbfounded. The gaming expert had once posted that joining the True Truth sect was the correct way to play the game, staying in the Ming village was a dead end, and they couldn't level up at all. But now, not only Lin Yen, but also several old players around Lin Yen, are incredibly strong. Is this the dead end he was talking about? Damn it, all of them are third tier elite professionals, and they're almost at max level. Is the late game welfare in the newbie village really this good? The only one still at first tier, Emperor Yen, has such insane combat power. These players discussed discontentedly, but as they discussed, they were all killed. There was no more discussion in the field. After resurrecting, they naturally saw the situation clearly. The Dark Village army was too powerful, and going to support after resurrection would only be meaningless suicide. So either they squeezed together and surrendered at the spring, or they secretly ran away. Especially those labor players who were scammed by the True Faith Church, they were all running away like crazy at this moment. Thank Emperor Yen for liberating us. We will definitely thank you after we get out. These players were all in tears. Lin Yen didn't sympathize with these players, he even wanted to laugh. How could they be scammed into becoming laborers while playing games? Their intelligence is truly lacking. Can you expect these idiots to repay him in any way? Die. A furious shout came. The top experts of the True Faith Church were all guarding the hall, and when they saw Lin Yen arrive, they all attacked him frantically. Let's see who dares to hurt him. Wang the blacksmith and Wu Baihua rushed over and stopped these experts. You focus on destroying the puppet of the king, we'll handle this. Xing Daozi shouted. All right. Lin Yen nodded. His goal was the remaining pages of the Book of Truth, and if there were experts from the True Faith Church to help him, he naturally couldn't ask for more. Who? He flew to the center of the hall and tore off the huge cloth, revealing a humanoid giant creation that was over 10 meters tall. I found you! Lin Yen exclaimed excitedly. However, before he could even laugh, the terrifying artificial giant's dull and gloomy eyes suddenly brightened. Boom! The body of the puppet of the king immediately moved, and it slapped down towards Lin Yen. Damn! Lin Yan's heart trembled. Has the puppet of the king already successfully fused? If that's the case, then it's dangerous. Although he is not afraid of the golden heroes now, he is well aware that he can only run away when facing the pseudo king's combat power. Is this a trap within a trap set by Yuan Tiangang? Qing Daozi and the blind monk's faces turned serious. No, if it had already successfully fused, he could have just released the puppet of the king to destroy the dark village. Why bother luring us here? Wang Bauer, who was perceptive, reminded them repeatedly. That's right. Lin Yan also felt relieved. In order to verify his thoughts, he took the initiative to rush forward and directly clashed with the giant hand of the puppet of the king. Boom! The underground dungeon trembled. Lin Yan took a few steps back, but there was a hint of joy in his eyes. The damage from the puppet of the king was only a little over 700,000, far from the combat power of the pseudo-king. However, even so, due to the high level difference, he still couldn't read the damage data of the puppet of the king. I must obtain the true eye skill for investigation. Lin Yan's ability to kill enemies beyond his level is incredibly strong now. He can't even figure out the enemy's data with advanced investigation skills, he might be the number one player in the Divine Land. Humph. Seeing that the intimidation plan had failed, Yuan Tiangang sighed. Originally, he only planned to slightly activate the Puppet of the King to scare away the Dark Village experts, and by tomorrow, the Puppet would be fully formed and sweep everything away. Indeed, he is the biggest variable. Yuan Tiangang looked at Lin Yan, and the killing intent in his eyes grew stronger. But now, he was being attacked by Wu Baihua and Wang the blacksmith, and he couldn't spare any hands to deal with Lin Yen. He could only curse him in his heart. Damn it, my core skill isn't a curse type. Boom! Lin Yen directly threw out a bunch of defensive treasures and scrolls, shattering many defense shields of the puppet of the king. But Lin Yan's attacks were faster than the puppet's, and his damage efficiency was even higher than that of the puppet of the king. Seven treasures lapis lazuli arrow. Shared life armor. Forbidden curse. Wood revival. Phoenix battle technique. Xin Yue, Duanda, Lin Feng, and Xu Qingxian all fought fiercely, using their core skills. These little devils, each one more outrageous than the other. Yuan Tiangang felt frustrated to the point of spitting blood. Awesome. 
Lin Yan felt extremely satisfied. Xin Yue's support doubled his attack speed, and the fatty increased his armor by several million out of thin air. Lin Feng's forbidden curse doubled his armor recovery speed and even created a space channel for him to dodge the heavy blows of the king's puppet. Although Chu Qingxuan's phoenix battle technique couldn't directly assist him, it provided excellent control effects. Even the huge creation like the king's puppet could be stunned multiple times. It was like having four support cheats. It was incredibly satisfying. Invincible. Lin Yan killed with great enthusiasm. Various skills and crazy slashes kept coming down, and the king's puppet, known for its indestructible body, was covered in wounds. This won't work. The king's puppet's armor value is too high. After injuring it, Lin Yan barely managed to see its data. Although he couldn't see the specifics, but king's puppet, creation, level, health, armor, skills, characteristics, treasures, nine digits behind the armor. In other words, it still has at least a hundred million armor left. Lin Yan's scalp went numb. When would he be able to cut through it? Fatigue in the Divine Land was a hidden attribute that didn't appear on the panel, but if the battle lasted too long, the state would decline accordingly, and eventually, he wouldn't be able to swing his sword. With over a hundred million armor, even if each strike dealt 500,000 damage, he would have to strike 200 times. Not to mention that the King's Puppet had numerous defensive measures and basically only took impact damage. It would be good if 1 out of 10 strikes could deal effective damage. Boom! 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 The king's puppet used the king's stomp, and its big foot landed, cracking the ground. Lin Yan dodged left and right, and the people from the Ming village anxiously watched, afraid that Lin Yan's team would suffer any losses. Xiao Feng, create a space channel for me, build a platform in the chest of the king's puppet. Lin Yan shouted. Okay! Lin Feng formed a circle with his left hand and a square with his right hand. Space channel! Iron armor generation. Sizzle. Sizzle. In the chest of the king's puppet, iron armor automatically derived and constructed a foothold. The space channel materialized, and Lin Yan appeared directly on the iron armor platform. This battle feels really comfortable. Lin Yan grinned. Although Lin Feng's level wasn't too high and his damage wasn't too strong, his understanding of spells was extremely thorough. Just being able to comprehend space-related spells at the current level could be called the strongest support. Die for me. Lin Yan roared lowly and fiercely struck the chest armor of the king's puppet. You brat, have you gone crazy? The chest armor of the king's puppet is the thickest. Its defense is the highest. Yuan Tian Gang deliberately mocked, but his heart was in a panic. This damn brat seemed to have found some clever trick again. Hee hee, the more anxious the enemy is, the more it proves that I've chosen the right direction. Isn't that right? Lin Yan looked at Yuan Tian Gang's reaction and knew that his guess was correct. He grinned even wider and struck the chest armor of the king's puppet with even more force. Fatty, block the attacks. Here, boss. The fatty was sent to the metal platform by Lin Feng's space jump and used the thorn shield to withstand the king's puppet's chest attacks. Bang! 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 The fatty's face turned bitter. Boss, these attacks are too fierce. I might not be able to hold on for long. Don't worry. Lin Yan explained while slashing, the weakness of the king's puppet lies in its core. This tightly guarded place is definitely where the core is. The more heavily defended a place is, the more it becomes the enemy's weak point. Damn. How does he know so much about the king's puppet? Yuan Tian Gang gritted his teeth, unable to believe it. This kid not only had incredible combat power but also seemed to know everything. Being enemies with him was simply the unluckiest thing in eight lifetimes. Roar. Yuan Tian Gang knew that if he didn't stop Lin Yan, everything would be in vain. He ignited the fire in his chest and activated his core skill. Tian Gang True Body. Countless aura surrounded his body, converging into a 3 meter tall aura true body. Boom boom boom. The true body wildly threw punches, with terrifying attack speed and knockback effects. Even Wang Taijian and the close combat Tyrannosaurus Wu Baihua were momentarily stunned and could only defend passively, being blasted away a hundred meters. Die. Yuan Tian Gang, filled with boundless anger, slapped towards Lin Yan. This palm contained Tian Gang True Qi in the Curse of Heavenly Mechanism, making it his strongest palm. Lin Yan's killing intent surged as he turned around and shouted angrily, Come on! Fight to the death! Who's afraid of who? Ha! Just as Yuan Tian Gang's palm was about to hit Lin Yan's chest, Lin Feng, who had already received internal messages from Lin Yan's team, instantly constructed a spatial channel. Buzz! Lin Yan and Fatty disappeared in an instant. Yuan Tian Gang's mind went blank and Lin Yan stood in front of Wang's puppet. His palm was too fierce, and he couldn't stop his momentum. No. Boom boom boom. This palm hit Wang's puppet's chest directly. Endless shockwaves spread out, reverberating throughout the underground city. 
Tremble and follow Lee Jo Young to get the latest news from the author. Crack, crack. The dust settled, and Wang's puppet's chest armor began to shatter, piece by piece falling off. Everyone was stunned. The scene fell into an eerie silence. Many people wanted to laugh, but they felt it wasn't a good time. Yuan Tiangong's mouth twitched continuously, feeling like he had been made a fool of, and in front of so many people. Thanks, old Yuan. Lin Yan waved his hand and laughed recklessly. I'll kill you. Yuan Tiangang exploded with anger and continued to attack Lin Yan. Enough. I see that you really don't take me seriously. Wu Baihua, forced back, unleashed her close combat ability as the female Tyrannosaurus, directly activating her core skill and transforming into a fire phoenix, pouncing towards Yuan Tiangang. Humph. Yuan Tiangang snorted angrily and had no choice but to give up on Lin Yan. Wu Baihua's close combat ability was too terrifying, and now that she had activated the fire phoenix technique, he had to be careful in dealing with her. And me. Wang Taijian wielded a large hammer embedded with seven gemstones. These seven gemstones were Wang Taijian's core skill, Seven Treasures Luminous Manifestation. Each gemstone gave him a powerful buff, boosting his combat power. Damn it! Yuan Tian Gang was under immense pressure. Faced with the full force of the two Dawn heroes, he couldn't sustain the fight for long. Spatial Channel. Lin Yan shouted loudly. The next moment, with the help of Lin Feng's channel, he once again arrived at Wang's puppet's chest. Found you. His eyes brightened as he forcefully pulled out the remaining pages of the Book of Truth hidden in the puppet's hub. Two pages, obtained. Boom. Wang's puppet lost its divinity and could no longer move, falling backward. It crushed many innocent players. As the dust settled, Lin Yan held the magic blade thousand blades and stepped on Wang's puppet's chest, surveying the entire scene. The situation is settled. Who dares to resist? His domineering question made many truth sect disciples shudder. With the great protector dead and the puppet, considered the ultimate weapon, also fallen. The outcome was indeed predetermined. Many disciples gradually began to put down their weapons and give up resistance. Many truth sect disciples panicked and fled in all directions. In the crowd, two disheveled men and women turned their heads. They were none other than Poison Prince and Mu Qingwan. They had long been treated as small fry and had been killed countless times. If they didn't run quickly, they would drop back to level 1 again. Damn. How could he become so powerful? Poison Prince gritted his teeth, leaning against the large guild. He was now weaker than cannon fodder. On the other hand, Lin Yan had already grown to the point where he played a crucial role in such a major plot twist. He could even contend with legendary figures and ultimate creations. Mu Qingwan's eyes flickered, and she had to admit that she had underestimated Lin Yan at the beginning, which was her mistake. It's a pity that he has become such a brilliant and dazzling powerhouse now. Even if I want to seduce him, it's probably difficult to succeed. She regretted deeply and thought to herself, it seems that I can only seek advice from my mother. With her skills in manipulating men, she can definitely make Lin Yan fall in love with me again. The situation became more chaotic, and the overall situation was collapsing. Who dares to surrender? Yuan Tiangang fought with his hair scattered, roaring like thunder, burning with anger. You can't even protect yourself, stop shouting. Wang Bauer sneered and provided long-range support with Qing Daozi. A spatial mage and a psychic mage, both extremely formidable. Ha! Huh? Yuan Tian Gang looked in astonishment and found that several top experts from the true teachings had already been taken care of by the blind monk. The situation is lost. The situation is lost. He looked at the chaotic underground city, filled with sadness, and couldn't help but shout angrily, My plan failed, it's not my fault. It's fate. He was not wrong in saying this. Lin Yan, as the biggest variable, was indeed too overpowered. Otherwise, with Yuan Tiangong's planning, the plan would have definitely succeeded. Lin Yan also did not deny this, because in the original timeline, the true teachings successfully created the perfect puppet king and used the psychic puppet Wang Bauer to infiltrate the dark village from within. Yuan Tiangang personally destroyed the altar, resurrecting the zombie king Yi Qi from its seal. The remnant soul of King Lu also revived, preparing for the final battle for the people. After that battle, the life and death seal emerged completely, triggering the next chaotic plot. But now, everything has changed. Lin Yan whispered. Rebirth. The blind monk chanted the rebirth mantra, and the grand scene was on a completely different level from the fatso. The entire underground city was enveloped in scriptures, emitting golden light, as if the western pure land had descended. Seal. Ching Daozi also shouted, and the terrifying power of space formed layer after layer of spatial cocoons. What are you trying to do? Yuan Tiangang roared in anger. Humph. Wu Baihua, in the form of a phoenix claw, captured one of Yuan Tiangang's hands. Wang Taijian exerted all his strength to capture his other arm. 
Harmony of the Mind. Wang Bauer's incantation changed, and the terrifying power of the mind transformed into substance, harmonizing and condensing these forces. In the end, the power of rebirth, the power of the mind, and the spatial cocoons merged into a terrifying seal. Yuan Tiangang, with his arms bound, was completely unable to resist this seal. I, Yuan Tiangang, would rather die than be captured. Yuan Tiangang wanted to self-destruct, but under the combined efforts of the five dawn heroes, his struggles seemed feeble and pale. Soon, he was completely sealed within the spatial cocoon, unable to move a single bit. Fatso, Xin Yue, Xu Qing Xian, and Lin Feng were all in awe. Although they had learned core skills, compared to the true dawn heroes, they were still inexperienced. This kind of battle between powerhouses was like a live demonstration, and they gained a lot from it. Lin Yan's expression also turned serious. Although he was no longer afraid of ordinary golden heroes, he still felt a tingling sensation when facing the full force of the dawn heroes. After all, their strength was reduced to less than one-third of their peak. Even so, when the five dawn heroes joined forces, they became powerful to such an extent. Yuan Tiangang was already strong enough, but unfortunately, he encountered these five monsters. Lin Yan deeply understood that his own path was still long. After all, he would most likely have to snatch the fragment of the Book of Truth from the Dragon Summer Royal Family, and his current strength was not enough. I understand. I understand. Lin Feng was the first to snap out of his enlightenment. He flipped his palm, and a crude spatial cocoon formed in his hand. Even though Lin Yan knew about his little brother's potential, he was still shocked. He had only pondered for a dozen seconds, yet his little brother had directly comprehended a spatial prohibition. If it weren't for my cheat, my little brother would probably be the protagonist of this world. Lin Yan shook his head helplessly. Finally, it's over. Cheng Daozi looked at Yuan Tiangang, who was sealed, with emotion. After so many years, you have misunderstood your brother too much. If you knew the whole truth, you would regret it. Yuan Tiangang couldn't move his body, but his eyes were bloodshot, clearly not believing Qing Daozi's words. Return to the village. Qing Daozi was extremely delighted after the great victory overnight. The burden that had been weighing on his heart for so many years was finally lifted. Until everyone withdrew from the underground dungeon, Qing Daozi cast numerous forbidden spells and completely destroyed the dungeon. The sun finally rose completely. However, the sunlight was not bright, even though the sun was high in the sky, it always made people feel gloomy. In the nether village, Yuan Tianren sat at the altar, holding the heavenly fate disc, opening his heavenly eyes to peer into the heavenly fate. His originally smiling face suddenly froze at this moment. The bright star has just risen, while the dark star has fallen. The balance between light and darkness is becoming more and more tense. Yuan Tianren frowned and murmured, it seems that things are far from being as simple as I thought. At the same time, at the bottom of a tomb, a man wearing a mask and a handsome robe slowly woke up. In the blink of an eye, he looked exactly like Yuan Tiangang. The only difference was that his eyes were green and eerie to the extreme. Back then, I faked my death and passed on the position to Yuan Tiangang, using him to achieve a series of my own purposes and plans. The masked man waved his hand, and a ruin appeared in the magic mirror in front of him. It seems that he failed. Master. Three figures, completely wrapped in cloaks and stiff bodies, emerged from the darkness. Although Yuan Tiangang is stubborn and foolish, he is quite skilled in layout and planning. It is truly surprising that he would end up in such a miserable defeat. The master behind the scenes sneered. However, all of this was within my calculations. Whether he wins or loses, he is just a pawn in my plan. The master stood up. Now that Wang Bauer has awakened, the seal of my king must have loosened. The day of the decisive battle will not exceed three days. We have been waiting for this day for a long time. The three figures wrapped in cloaks couldn't hide their excitement. Immediately activate the king's awakening plan and awaken all the warriors in the underground palace. The master waved his robe and took off his mask. We no longer have to endure this dark tomb. The day of my king's return will be the day we establish the kingdom of the undead on the surface. The only ray of sunlight in the underground palace flashed across his face. It turned out to be the face of a zombie with dead hair growing all over it. If Lin Yan were here, he would definitely recognize that this was a thousand-year-old zombie of a higher rank than a blood corpse. The commander is wise. The three zombie figures praised in unison. Then, they turned around with infinite anticipation and began to chant the necromancer's scriptures, Capricorn Chuckles, Nguyen Corpse. The chanting sounded like whispers in a dark nest, echoing throughout the entire underground palace. One pair after another of green eyes awakened, and the pale arms of the zombies broke through the ground. Countless zombie heads emerged from the coffins in the underground palace. Looking around, their numbers were countless. Death will eventually descend upon the world. 
In the nether village, the team returned victorious, and Yuan Tianren welcomed them at the village entrance. There was a festive atmosphere. Yuan Tianren's expression was complicated, and he finally asked, That monster. Brother Yuan, I didn't let you down. Cheng Daozi looked at Yuan Tianren's complex expression and smiled slightly. He waved his sleeve and threw off the spatial cocoon that sealed Yuan Tiangang. You've worked hard. Yuan Tianren's eyes were filled with mixed emotions as he patted Qing Daozi's shoulder deeply. The high-level members of the nether village gathered in the village chief's house. The spatial cocoon that sealed Yuan Tiangang was placed in the center, and everyone sat around it. We were able to succeed this time thanks to the help of Emperor Yin. Otherwise, it would have been dangerous. Wang the blacksmith sighed, the puppet of the king is almost complete and can fight on its own. It was all thanks to our disciples and Emperor Yen working together to defeat it. Lin Yen smiled faintly, not sparing any words, don't talk about these empty words, give me something real. You really know how to ruin the mood, Yuan Tianren teased, then he seemed to think of something and hesitantly asked, so, does that mean the task I gave you has been upgraded halfway? What do you think? Lin Yen rolled his eyes. This time, Yuan Tianren gave him a fifth order golden task but unexpectedly, the king's puppet could actually move, so the task was directly upgraded to a sixth-order bronze task. It's confirmed, you definitely have a special buff. Yuan Tianren felt uncomfortable. It seemed that he couldn't escape the fate of being taken advantage of. Emperor Yen was simply a nemesis to tasks. What do you want this time? The remaining pages of the Book of Truth that I brought back from the Black Iron City, and casually give me ten or eight three-star skill books. Lin Yen made a sky-high offer. The Church of Truth had been destroyed, so he could only take advantage of Yuan Tianren. He couldn't let go of the opportunity to take advantage of him one last time, or his conscience would bother him. Yuan Tianren laughed helplessly, those remaining pages of the Book of Truth were auctioned off after emptying the wallets of the six of us, and you want them with just a word? And three-star skill books, do you think they're cabbages? You want ten or eight with just a word? Old man Yuan, you should have a conscience. Lin Yan frowned, I almost died several times in your tasks, all because of your problem with task ratings. If it weren't for my overwhelming strength, I would have died several times already. You should compensate me for this, right? Yuan Tianren was so angry that smoke came out of his nostrils. If it weren't for the sake of his face, he really wanted to beat up Lin Yan. You're just a player, you only lose one level when you die. If it really doesn't work, I'll give you a million experience pearls to make up for your loss, alright? Deal. Lin Yan was afraid that Yuan Tianren would go back on his word, so he quickly sealed the deal. Yuan Tianren was completely confused. So you're playing tricks on me? Put. The fat guy was the first to not hold back and burst into laughter. Lin Yan grinned, you can't go back on your word. Give me the million experience pearls quickly. Leveling up is so tiring, and in the future, when he forms his own faction, he will definitely need a massive amount of experience pearls as faction rewards. It's definitely right to prepare in advance. All right. Yuan Tianren's scalp went numb. He had to be careful when talking to this black-bellied brat. If he wasn't careful, he would be stripped down to his underwear. All right, take these Swordmaster's boots, three-star skill books, and experience pearls and get out. Lin Yan took the task rewards, smiled faintly, and left with Xin Yue and the others. Boss, you're amazing. You completely tricked old Yuan. Duan De gave Lin Yan a thumbs up. Lin Yan smiled, then his expression became serious, don't slack off practice hard when we get back. The real test is still ahead. Ah, uh, there's still a test? Didn't we already take down the Church of Truth? Chu Qingxian couldn't understand. Yuan Tianren promised me that after Wang Bauer wakes up, he will give me a divine gift template. Lin Yan's voice was calm, but from what I know, that divine gift template is used to suppress the zombie king. To obtain the divine gift template, we must open the seal and fight the zombie king. What? Lin Feng shook his head, the reason why the old village chief and the others have been guarding the dark village and even fighting against the Church of Truth is to protect the altar. They will never agree to open the altar and release the zombie king. Ha! The time has come, whether to open it or not is no longer up to him. Lin Yan was determined to obtain the divine gift template, and who said we have to stand with the old village chief and the others? Don't forget, we are just players. Before, I needed a legendary weapon, so I would do his tasks. Now that I need the divine gift template, I can naturally change my target. He glanced at the others. Brother, I'll do whatever you say. Lin Fo nodded. I will naturally listen to the boss. Duan Di didn't hesitate either. Xin Yue grabbed Lin Yan's hand, expressing her feelings. Only Chu Qingxian was a bit conflicted. The world of Xin Tu is too real, and everything that happened felt too real. She is a person of strong character, so betraying Wu Baihua is indeed difficult for her. 
But in the end, she looked at Lin Feng and nodded. Lin Yan smiled slightly and nodded in satisfaction. Just now, he was only testing the team's cohesion. He didn't really care about the old village chief and the Dawn heroes. He still respected them in his heart. Don't worry, I wouldn't say this if I wasn't confident. This plan won't harm your master and Yuan Lao too. Lin Yan continued, if I'm not mistaken, they should be interrogating Yuan Tian Gang right now. After Yuan Tian Gang and Wang Bauer's information is combined, it would be impossible for them not to open the altar. If that's the case, then that's great. Everyone felt relieved and smiled. We must make good use of our time. I have a feeling that the altar will open soon. At that time, we will have to face at least one pseudo king's power. Lin Yan said in a deep voice, it will be a completely different battle. I will upgrade your main weapons as soon as possible. You should also think about your core skills, as they are the key to turning the tide of the battle. Okay. Xin Yu Wei and the others nodded seriously and then left one by one. Although that's what I said, we still need to find an opportunity to deceive the remaining pages of the Book of Truth. Lin Yan searched for a fusion point while thinking about how to arrange everything properly. Buzz. In the village chief's house, Wang Bauer initiated a mental connection. What else do you have to say now? Yuan Tianran frowned and asked his younger brother. You, the imperial family's lackey, a spineless person who sells yourself to the royal family. Yuan Tian Gang angrily shouted, I have nothing to say to you, just kill me. Yuan Tianran shook his head, you are too impulsive. The Longxiao royal family can control such a large territory, their strength is unfathomable. How could we have been able to shake them back then? So you just want to bow down and return home? Let others bully you? Yuan Tian Gang sneered, I would rather die than suffer such humiliation. He said coldly, in order to seek revenge against the royal family, I carefully planned this scheme. As long as we release the zombie king, let it fight against the Longxia royal family, isn't that good enough? You are stubborn and insist on being a dog yourself, why do you still want to stop me from seeking revenge? You bastard! What about the people of the world? Have you ever considered them? Are they just sacrifices in this power struggle, bones on your path of revenge? Yuan Tianrun's anger made his veins pop, moreover, even if we release the zombie king, do you think it can weaken the power of the Longxia royal family? How naive you are! He hated that he couldn't make his brother understand, pointing at him angrily, those royal family members are always high and mighty. When something happens, they will just manipulate others to take their place, manipulate the common people to sacrifice themselves for them. Do you really expect them to personally face the danger and fight against the zombie king? Let me tell you, even if all the people in this world perish, they will never suffer any consequences. Do you think all kings are as benevolent as the ancient King Lu? A series of questions left Yuan Tian Gang speechless for a moment. After a long silence, he finally said in a low and cold voice, then you are also a lackey of the royal family. This fact cannot be argued. Yuan Tianrun's lips trembled with anger. You misunderstand your brother. Qing Daozi shook his head, Yuan Big Brother's plan goes far beyond your imagination. Compared to him, you are far behind. He he, a far-reaching plan? Is that referring to hiding in a small village for 20 years? Yuan Tian Gang sneered disdainfully. You will see that day, and you will regret everything you have done before. The usually silent blind monk couldn't bear it anymore and spoke up. Yuan Tianren waved his hand, it has come to this point, we can only let the facts speak. Let's not discuss future matters for now, I have a few questions for you. What is the origin of the establishment of the truth sect? Who was your predecessor as the leader? Hoof. Yuan Tian Gang confessed honestly. With Wang Bauer, the spiritual mage, around, even if he didn't say it out loud, he couldn't hide the secrets in his mind. On the surface, the True Truth Sect is an organization established by the Roland Empire to attack the Dragon Summer Empire. We will do anything that can harm the Dragon Summer Empire, Yuan Tian Gang sneered, including releasing the Zombie King. But that's just a cover. In reality, the true founder of the True Truth Sect is actually several trusted generals of the Zombie King. Those four hairy zombies who narrowly escaped in that battle. Yuan Tianran immediately realized. That's right, Yuan Tian Gang nodded. No wonder you members of the True Truth Sect are so tightly wrapped. It turns out those hairy zombies are hiding their identities as zombies. Wang Taijian mocked. After I joined the True Truth Sect, those hairy zombies pretended to die and retreated behind the scenes. In this final battle, no matter how I called for them, they never responded. Perhaps they are already dead. Yuan Tian Gang sighed, otherwise, with those additional forces, it's hard to say who would win or lose. Where are they now? Yuan Tianran asked urgently. I don't know. Yuan Tian Gang shook his head, but you haven't won yet. Before the zombie king was sealed, he placed a secret curse on Wang Bauer. 
and within the boundaries of the dark village, all the power of death can be absorbed by the altar. Even if we can't break through the dark village, when the surrounding death power accumulates to the extreme, the zombie king will use Wang Bower to resurrect. Especially with your attack on the true truth sect this time, it has added countless death power. In short, whether I win or lose, in the plans of those few, it is all a means to resurrect the zombie king. Since you know all this, are you willing to be a pawn? Yuan Tian Run frowned. Don't make it sound so harsh, it's just mutual use, Yuan Tian Gang sneered. In any case, those hairy zombies seem to have some powerful cards in their hands, so you better take care of yourselves. With that, he fell silent and stopped talking. Yuan Tian Run's face darkened. He didn't expect there to be another layer behind this. Could it be that no matter what, they couldn't stop the resurrection of the zombie king? Let me check the secret curse that Wang Bauer mentioned first, Qing Daozi intervened. What? After a while, Qing Daozi's expression changed drastically, so that's how it is. So that's how it is. It's hidden so deep. What exactly is going on? Wang Taijian was the first to approach. The zombie king planted a cocoon of the soul in Bauer's heart. It is also the fundamental reason for Bauer's mental collapse and madness. Qing Daozi's face was heavy, now the cocoon of the soul is almost mature. If forcibly removed, Bauer will die. Then how can we remove it? Wang Taijian asked anxiously. Only the zombie king himself can remove it, Qing Daozi shook his head, and the more mature the cocoon of the soul becomes, the more power the zombie king will regain when it returns to his body. If we delay for another three years, as long as the zombie king can break the seal and devour the cocoon of the soul, it will regain its peak strength. What? The dawn hero's face is all changed. Conspiracy, using both yin and yang, such a clever calculation, such a clever calculation. Yuan Tianrin sighed. Yuan Tian Gang was in the light, while the hairy zombies were in the dark. The bright star rises, while the dark star falls. So this is the true answer to the celestial secret I have glimpsed today. He clenched his fist, it seems that there is only one choice for the current situation. Yuan brother, tell us. Whether it's life or death, we will follow you. That's right. I only hope to save Bauer. Wu Baihua, Wang Taijian, and the others all looked over. Strike first. Yuan Tianwen's voice was icy. While the cocoon of the soul is not fully mature, we old folks can still move. Let's fight for the sake of all living beings in the final battle. Are you suggesting? Releasing the zombie king voluntarily. The dawn heroes all widened their eyes. This time, we will accomplish everything in one battle. Yuan Tianren stood with his hands behind his back. We sealed evil Qi back then, in order to completely kill it one day in the future. Put an end to the curse. Hmm. This is indeed the best method now, Qing Daozi nodded in agreement. Let's do it. Slay the zombie king. Before our lives end, let's have one final glorious battle. All the dawn heroes stood up, their eyes burning with flames. Finally, I will complete the swordsman's equipment. Lin Yan looked at the swordsman's boots, feeling great. After collecting all five pieces of the swordsman set, it would activate a special attribute. He was looking forward to it. Let's begin the fusion. He merged the snowstep boots and the swordsman's boots together. Buzz. After a while, the two pieces of equipment completed the fusion. Hmm. Lin Yan looked at the fused boots, snowstep sword boots, white, armor plus 1666666, physical defense plus 300, magical defense plus 300, movement speed plus 8 attributes, wind step, active, doubles movement speed, consumes 40 mana per second, song in the snow, doubles the effect of agility skills, cooldown, 3 minutes, avoiding heaven's net, wind and snow attribute attacks have a 10% chance to dodge, swordsmanship, enemies on the path of movement receive 10% of attack damage from sword slashes per. Second, lasting for 10 seconds, additional attribute of the swordsman set, Vengeance, increases the maximum limit of counter damage, from now on, every attack received can return counter damage, too powerful. Lin Yan's eyes lit up. From now on, his movement would also deal sword slash damage. And after completing the swordsman set, the counter damage attribute received an epic level enhancement. Previously, the counter damage could only return the damage equal to the enemy's attack. In other words, if my counter damage attribute is 1000 and the enemy's attack power is only 500, then at most, I could only return 500 damage. But now, no matter what attack lands on me, it will be returned as 1000 damage. Lin Yan grinned. At least for now, he was truly invincible among the players at this stage. Even if tens of thousands of players surrounded him, what could they do? His physical defense was over a thousand points, so basically, no one at this stage could break through his defense, they could only cause a little force damage. But now, his armor automatically recovered 1% per second, which was close to 130,000 points. 
At the same time, all attacks that landed on him would receive a counter damage of up to 15,000 points. It could be said that even if 10,000 people surrounded him, they would all be killed in one second. Moreover, he wouldn't lose any armor at all. Too powerful. Lin Yen grinned. After completing the swordsman set, his strength instantly increased by several levels. No wonder the swordsman is known as the number one hero in Longsha. Just with this equipment, he's invincible. Next, I should get a new skill. I have too few skills. Lin Yen sighed. Although the equipment skills brought by his current equipment were unmatched even by the king, he still lacked skills. Lin Yen glanced at the skill book given to him by Yuan Tianlun, sword drawing technique, one star. Damn. The old man is playing with me, right? I guess I have to explode his gold coins. Lin Yen sprayed when he saw the star rating. But when he saw the introduction of the sword drawing technique, his expression immediately became serious, and then his eyes sparkled. Skill effect, draw the sword and make one slash, increasing attack power by 1%. Note, every hundred sword draws will increase proficiency by one point. When using the skill, the power will increase by 1%. After 10,000 sword draws, the skill can be upgraded to a 4-star skill, sword slash. It's actually a growth type skill. Damn. Old Yuan, you're really generous. Lin Yan was extremely moved. This kind of skill that becomes stronger as you practice is very hard to find. Especially a growth that only requires a low threshold action like drawing a sword to level up. It is extremely rare. Although this sword drawing technique is only 1 star, its value is comparable to ordinary 7 star skill books. It can even become the core skill of a generation of legends. Lin Yan's eyes were sharp, and he immediately recognized the potential of the sword technique. Lao Yuan, you're really something. Lin Yan flipped to the last page, and his smiling face suddenly stiffened. It was a message from Yuan Tianren, Kid, when I give you this skill book, it means you have fully inherited the equipment of Sword Master Big Brother. By receiving his equipment and mastering his core skills, you can be considered as inheriting his legacy. Although you don't have the title of Master and Disciple, you have become Master and Disciple in reality. As a generation genius, Sword Master Big Brother cannot be without a successor. You are the most suitable successor I have seen in all these years. You are proud and unwilling to take on a master, so I can only pass on Yuan Big Brother's legacy to you in this way. I hope that these equipment and skills can be further developed and bring glory to the world, upholding the reputation of Sword Master Big Brother. Yuan Tianran old man, you're quite cunning. So this was your plan all along. Lin Yen sighed. If he received someone's legacy, he had to pass it on to others. Don't worry, in the future, I will find a true disciple for Sword Master and truly pass on his Tao. Lin Yen understood Yuan Tianlun's intentions and secretly made up his mind. He had his own Tao from the beginning and was destined not to truly take anyone as his master. I need to hurry up and continue integrating the equipment. Lin Yen adjusted his mood. By now, Yuan Tianrun and the others had probably finished interrogating Yuan Tian Gang. The time for the altar to open is getting closer. Buzz. Light flickered on his body as various equipment rapidly integrated. As his proficiency in integrating equipment increased, the speed of integration also became faster. In the blink of an eye, three days had passed. During these three days, Lin Yan leisurely integrated equipment in the new B village, occasionally going out with Xin Yue to relax. He lived a carefree and comfortable life. However, the atmosphere in Ming village became increasingly gloomy and tense. The number of players gradually decreased. Many players were persuaded by the Dawn heroes to leave and paid for their travel expenses to go to the main city. The teleportation channels in Ming village gradually closed, and it was rare to see players arriving. A storm is coming. Lin Yan looked at the dark clouds on the horizon. A battle that would soon be renowned throughout the world and recorded in the imperial history was about to begin. Mr. Yen, the village chief requests your presence at his house. The guard in the village respectfully said to Lin Yan, Hmm, Yue, come with me. Lin Yan held Xin Yue's hand and went to the village chief's house. Several Dawn heroes, Lin Feng, Duanda, and Xu Qingxian were there. Please have a seat. Yuan Tianren smiled kindly. Lin Yan had already anticipated the topic Yuan Tianren wanted to discuss, so he wasn't curious. Yuan Tianren got straight to the point. Tomorrow, we will open the altar in Ming village and release the imprisoned zombie king, Evil Chi. The scene fell silent. Yuan Tianren was stunned. Aren't you guys surprised at all? Ah. He had tried to create a mysterious atmosphere, but these guys clearly showed no reaction. Oh, this is truly amazing. Fatty, as the flatterer, forced himself to praise. Ah, uh, he he. Yes. Village chief, your words are really unexpected. We didn't expect this. The two kind-hearted girls also spoke up. 
Yuan Tianren became even more embarrassed and coughed. In any case, I have officially issued the expulsion order. All players must leave Ming Village before tonight. What does this have to do with us? Fatty asked in confusion. This expulsion order naturally includes all of you. Yuan Tianren's voice was calm and decisive, leaving no room for doubt. Including us. Why? Xin Yuwei and Chu Qingxian both asked in succession. The time they spent together in Ming Village made them really like these Dawn Heroes. And they also knew what releasing the Zombie King meant for the Dawn Heroes. The Zombie King was extremely terrifying, and having more fighting power at this time meant having more fighting power. At this time, why do we have to drive them away? Well, the several Dawn Heroes exchanged glances. Yuan Tianren spoke directly, let me be frank, a few days from now, if we are defeated in battle, the underworld village will also be destroyed. The rebirth spring of the descendants will also be destroyed. If you die in the underworld village at that time, you will die completely along with the destruction of the spring. You must quickly go to the main city and bind the main city spring to ensure your safety. Lin Yan furrowed his brows. In the god's land, dying meant being deleted. You couldn't register again within a month. So, you must leave today. Yuan Tianren looked at Lin Yan. He knew that Lin Yan was the absolute leader of the five-person team. Lin Yan furrowed his brows. You haven't given me the divine gift template that you promised. If after this battle, a few of us old folks are still alive. Even if you go to the ends of the earth, I will definitely find you and give you the divine gift template. Yuan Tianren solemnly promised. Lin Yan shook his head. You, Emperor Yan, don't act impulsively. Do you want to harm my disciple too? Qing Daozi was the first to object. In his eyes, Lin Feng was the future archmage of the mage world, a presence he was proud of his entire life. How could he allow him to take risks? Although they knew about the descendants being players, they didn't know that death for players only meant deletion. After all, in the God's Land world, after death, you would never see that character again. The NPCs in the God's Land naturally believed it was permanent death. Lin Yan firmly shook his head. According to the development of the plot, the underworld village was bound to be destroyed, and without his involvement, the underworld village would definitely be defeated. Even if the best outcome was a mutual destruction, he had to obtain the divine gift template, which was the key to reversing everything in the starry sky battlefield. Advancing the entire rank of the divine gift template was the only way to become a true god. Only as a true god could he have the power to influence the struggle of the myriad races. Why are you so stubborn? Don't you believe in our promise? Wang the blacksmith became anxious. Yuan Tianren waved his hand, forget it, since they are willing to participate, it is their fate. Let's not discuss this anymore. Brother Yuan. Wu Baihua also wanted to say something urgently. I said, don't dwell on this matter anymore. Yuan Tianren said in a deep voice. After the swordsman died, he became the leader of the seven heroes. Since he spoke like this, the others naturally had no choice but to listen. Go back and prepare. The big battle will start tomorrow. Yuan Tianren waved his hand. Then we'll see you at the altar tomorrow. Lin Yan stood up and left with Xin Yuwei and the others. Do we really have to let them participate? After confirming that Lin Yan and the others had gone far away, Wang the blacksmith asked urgently. Killing the zombie king was their destiny, but Emperor Yan and the others were still young and there was no need for them to sacrifice themselves for this. Of course not. Yuan Tianren shook his head. Then why did you just now? Wu Baihua was puzzled, then suddenly realized, Brother Yuan, what devious plan have you come up with again? Yuan Tianren rolled his eyes. Because he had the most thoughts and could glimpse the heavenly secrets, he had always played the role of the cunning strategist among the seven heroes. Right, Brother Yuan, just tell us, how should we arrange things tomorrow? Wang the blacksmith kept asking. Alright, tomorrow. After returning to his residence, Lin Yan immediately began to integrate his equipment with all his might. He didn't sleep all night. It wasn't until the eastern dawn rose, breaking through the darkness, that he finally breathed a sigh of relief. He looked at his attribute page, ID, Emperor Yen race, human, yellow, class, warrior level, 9 HP, 400, armor, 2190 W attack, 700025, physical resistance, 2030, magic resistance, 2025, mana, 400, movement speed, 11, attack speed, 3, 5, agility, 5, HP recovery rate, 0. 5%, life steal, 15. 5%, critical strike, 26%, armor absorption, 8000, armor penetration, 50,000, counterattack, 15,000, equipment, soft hedgehog armor, white, soft hedgehog pants, white, swordmaster helmet, legendary, snow stepping boots, white, magic blade, 1000 blades, 
white, ultimate artifact, unique, effect, infinite fusion equipment, tier 4, skills, 3 wave blade, 3 stars, flame blade, 3 stars, 9 fold thunder flash, 3 stars, advanced detection technique, 3 stars, draw sword slash, 1, star, abilities, none treasures, life and death seal, water avoiding cape, stealth cloak, awakening fan, armor has reached 20 million, and attack has reached 700,000. Even the top tier golden hero is nothing compared to this. Lin Yen grinned. He fused so many pieces of equipment, but without any legendary attributes, he merged all these characteristics into existing attributes. For example, the poison armor attribute can now deal 10,000 damage per second. The iron cutting attribute also deals an additional 50,000 armor damage. Most importantly, the upgrade of the entangling silk attribute. Upgrading this attribute consumes a lot of attributes. Lin Yen sighed. But the rewards obtained are incredibly powerful. Entangling Silk Plus, reduce enemy attack speed by 30% when attacked. And both my upper and lower body armor have this attribute. Lin Yan's eyes burned with excitement. If the enemy attacks both the upper and lower body armor, there is a chance to trigger the stacking of attributes. That means reducing attack speed by 60% as soon as we meet. This is a disaster for archers or bosses with high attack speed. If your attack speed is reduced by 60% as soon as the battle starts, how can you fight against me? My overall combat power has increased by more than double. He felt exhilarated. The biggest achievement these days was upgrading the main weapons of Xin Yue and the others. The damage and attribute effects were completely different from before. The fusion progress bar of the 4th tier equipment has been filled halfway by me. I'm afraid I have fused tens of thousands of pieces of equipment these days. Although he felt a bit like a sweatshop worker, the feeling of rapidly becoming stronger was truly fascinating. Dawn. The bell in the center square of the dark village rang. This was the signal for the decisive battle. After distributing the equipment to Xin Yue and the others, Lin Yen came to the dark village square. On the dark village altar, Yuan Tianren and the others were already waiting with serious expressions. You're here. Yuan Tianren smiled, but his smile seemed stiff and out of place. Come, ascend the altar, and Wang Bauer will use the power of the mind to open the seal. Yuan Tianren waved his hand. Lin Yen frowned, feeling something strange. Previously, Yuan Tianren always called Bauer by her nickname, so why use her full name now? Was it because the great battle was approaching and his mentality had become serious? With a furrowed brow, he and the others climbed onto the altar together. Yuan Tianren nodded at Qing Daozi. Qing Daozi began chanting the incantation, and Wang Bauer's power of the mind began to surge. Buzz! The altar shook and emitted a dazzling light that soared into the sky. Something's not right. Lin Yan's pupils contracted as he looked at the spatial barrier enveloping the sky. What are you trying to do? Before he could finish speaking, the spatial barrier had already descended. Yuan Tianren remained calm, looking at Lin Yan and the others. This is a war from the old era, left for us old folks. You don't need to get involved. Send them away. All right. Qing Daozi raised his hand, and the spatial teleportation channel was constructed. Lin Yan and the others were instantly absorbed into it. They looked at the closed spatial channel with reluctance in their eyes. They knew that this was probably the last time they would see Lin Yen and the others in their lifetime. Brothers, are you ready? Yuan Tianren exchanged a glance with Qing Daozi and the others. They had no intention of leaving the dark village alive. Because of the cocoon of the mind, Bauer must stay here. After Ichi retrieves the cocoon of the mind, immediately teleport Bauer away. Yuan Tianren secretly transmitted his message to Qing Daozi. Cheng Daozi nodded and gave Yuan Tianren and Wang Taijian a reassuring expression. Let's begin. The few of them started reciting the true opening spell. At this moment, the heavens and earth turned dark, and the chilling wind howled, as if all the evil spirits in the world had emerged, and a hundred thousand Yen Luo demons were beating their drums. Dong, dong, dong. Terrifying heartbeats resounded, causing the earth to tremble, and the Ming village altar began to crack bit by bit. In the spatial channel, Lin Yan's face darkened. Damn it. The course of history was difficult to change, and the final battle between the seven heroes and the zombie king was about to begin. The remnants of the Lu King's soul revived, and both sides perished together, leaving behind the imprint of life and death. This was the predetermined major plot, seemingly unchangeable like destiny. What should we do now? Chu Qingxian asked anxiously. I knew it, destiny is hard to change. Lin Yan's eyes were determined. But the Great Tao has 50 days and 49 branches, and everything has a slight variable. For now, we must wait or find that slight variable. He clenched his fist. Yes, he wanted to change this fixed plot. He wanted to defy the heavens. 
If he couldn't even reverse the ending of the Ming village, how could he change the fate of the future Earth, the fate of Xia country, and his own fate? Join forces to strike the spatial barrier. At the very least, we cannot be transported too far away. His will was like a knife, and the roaring blade illuminated the chaotic spatial channel like thunder. Sword drawing technique. Good. The fatty and the others also didn't want to see their master die in battle, so they all frantically attacked the spatial barrier. Crack, crack. The spatial barrier began to shatter, but Qing Daozi had obviously put in a lot of effort, and it would be difficult to break it before the teleportation ended. Is fate really impossible to break? Flames burned in Lin Yan's eyes. He didn't believe it. He was reborn in this world to change all the previous misfortunes and regrets. He wanted to reverse everything. Boom, 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 boom. He was cold and fierce, using all his strength to strike the spatial barrier. Buzz. In the next instant, the spatial barrier shattered, and the passage disappeared. Did we succeed? Shen Yuwei exclaimed in surprise. No. Lin Yan shook his head. Based on their progress just now, it would take at least 10 more seconds to break the spatial barrier. The spatial barrier was broken from the outside. Prepare for battle. He immediately reminded them. As soon as they landed, hundreds of terrifying blades came slashing towards them. The absolute kill trap. Humph. Lin Yan coldly snorted and his sword danced. With 5 points of agility, 11 points of movement speed, and his exquisite swordsmanship, he managed to block all the dense blades. Not a single one fell on anyone. Clap, clap, clap. Applause rang out. At the border of the Ming village, a figure in a black robe and mask walked calmly. His eyes were green, and endless death energy rose behind him, transforming into a billowing giant battle robe. Yuan Tian Gang, Duan De shouted. No. Lin Yan shook his head, furrowing his brows as he activated his advanced detection technique. Underground Palace Mao Jiang, Hong Three Races, Zombie Profession, Demon Blade Warrior Level, 90 HP, 22. W armor, 2, W attack, 6, physical resistance, magic resistance, equipment, necromancer's cloak, skeleton ring first blade, skills, core skills, treasures, a level 90 Mao Jian, Lin Yan's fighting spirit boiled, it seems that you are the one who broke the spatial channel, Mao Jian was impervious to blades and spears, with tough skin and strong bones, its jumping ability was close to flying, and it even disregarded sunlight, surpassing the concept of ordinary undead creatures. It was comparable to a human golden hero of the same level. Today, no one can leave the Ming village alive. Mao Jiang Hong San let out a hoarse and sinister laugh. You are the mastermind behind the destruction of the true faith sect, right? Your strength is not bad. So you are one of the few Mao Jiangs that escaped back then, Ling Yan sneered. Why is it only you who came to kill me? Did the others die? To kill you, I alone am enough. Mao Jiang brandished his demonic blade. They have all gone to witness the birth of the king. After quickly settling you, I might still have time to rush over. Don't waste my time. He transformed into a black wind, his demonic blade tainted with a green, paralyzing poison, spreading along with the black wind. Area poison technique, Lin Yan shouted. Buzz. Fatty immediately chanted the spell of rebirth, adding a poison resistance buff to everyone. Clang. Lin Yan's blade clashed with the demonic blade of the hairy zombie, creating a terrifying shockwave. Sword energy crisscrossed, cutting through the endless vegetation around them. Ha! The hairy zombie was startled. This kid's attack power was actually stronger than his? Attack together, quickly deal with it. The situation over there with old Yuan is probably not good. Lin Yan shouted. He realized that this battle would be very difficult. But now it seemed that in addition to the resurrected zombie king, old Yuan, and the others would have to face at least three level 90 or above golden hero hairy zombies. It was too difficult. They were all already old, and they had many hidden injuries. Although each of them was a level 99 max level hero, their combat power was only comparable to that of an 80 level golden hero. Unless they choose to go all out and return to their peak state when they were young. This state cannot last long, we must kill our way back before they run out of energy. Lin Yan swung his long knife even faster in his hand. Humph. The hairy zombie went mad, directly using the ultimate demonic blade technique, attacking at an extreme speed. The demonic blade was like a whirlwind, instantly slashing at Lin Yan's entire body. In the next instant, the hairy zombie was horrified. His attack speed actually plummeted by 60% the moment he slashed at Lin Yan's body. 